Since I was born, but now I am getting old. I gonna go down, I gonna go down. And there it is, right there. You should be used to it by now. As soon as the music stops, your friendly neighborhood or your laughing man, one man went to more. He appears on your screen, sir. So, uh, and this time, no different as well. So the uh the uh, hold on. <clears throat> so so yes uh as soon as the music stops uh up pops my face i was going to say my ugly mug but uh all that self-deprecating stuff i think it went up with the 80s Do, you know if you don't say i am nobody will say you are so let me say i am so that you can say you are so i am you are um good day to you all good to be in your company and how are you hope you've had a wonderfully glorious day so far and i hope you continue on that trajectory in the course of this session so all of that good stuff all of that good stuff um the usual protocol click on the like button just as soon as you come in uh subscribe if you haven't done that already and the hyperlink that says stream yard invites you onto the screen so avail yourself of that and the dollar sign at the bottom of the youtube uh, uh uh streaming that invites you to donate towards the platform as does other facilitation in other uh platforms that we're streaming to as well so tip towards the platform use the dollar sign at the bottom of the screen so uh chioma works welcomes you guys as well evening guys she says so so good evening if you're not taking good evening from you at least you can uh take good evening from an elegant pretty girl so <clears throat> so so all, all that funky stuff so uh all that funky stuff uh should we just launch into it no no need for the preambles uh so click on like click on subscribe i have to repeat that again as uh, just so if you missed it uh, uh yeah, it's an odd for you to take an action so take that action click on like click on subscribe and if you want to come join me on the screen click on the hyperlink that says stream yard so let's launch straight into it and let's kick it off then with the let's kick it off then with the headline piece uh so let's kick it off uh so let's kick it off uh, with the headline piece. Uh, breaking El Rufai prepares to fight Tinobu in two courts. Details surface. So anybody that uh, anybody that claims that this news catches them off guard, then they don't have any real understanding of the political of the Nigerian political landscape because the drum beats, the smoke signals of this thing has been churning through the skies, has been uh, whizzing through the skies. Uh, for the past week, a uh, few weeks, uh, not few months, but a few weeks. So this catches nobody off guard. El Rufai prepares to fight Tinobu into court, details surface. So, so what exactly is going on here? Um, Nasir El Rufai, the immediate past governor of Kaduna State, is reportedly preparing to fight President Bola Tinobu in at least two courts. 
All right, let's take that again. Nassim El Rufai, the immediate past governor of Kaduna State, is reportedly preparing to fight President Tinubu in at least two courts. As reported by correspondents on Saturday, April the 6th, the prospects of the battle are to be staged in the Nigerian courts, where El Rufai ex expects to clear his name of the allegation of being a security risk which denied him a ministerial position. So I think that is uh, that entry point now. Um, I'm not sure what that meant at that time, and I can still tell you that I'm especially sure what it means even till now. What does it actually mean uh, that uh, El Rufai did not pass a security report, and that was where this, that was why the Senate could not clear him to become a minister. So uh, there's the dark, shadowy hands of our uh, politics in there, uh, because I, I, I don't expect that El Rufai will pass any security report any more so, though, than expected at least uh, eight, sixty percent, sixty-five percent of the ministers would not have cleared uh, security reports. So why especially him? So that is to tell you that politics is simply there and he wants to challenge it. Uh, so he wants to challenge it. Um, so Nassil El Rufai, the immediate past governor of Kaduna State, is reportedly preparing to fight President Bola Tinobu in at least two courts. Uh, correspondents reported on Saturday, April the 6th, the prospects of the battle are to be staged in Nigerian courts where El Rufai expects to clear his name of the allegation of being a security risk, which denied him a ministerial position. Uh, and by the way, uh, uh, the way uh, El Rufai was acting, um, uh, was acting all coy and demure uh, in the build-up to all, everything, he said he wasn't interested. He said he wanted to take a break from governance. He said he wanted to go and pro pursue academia. So why why is this so bent out of shape now that he, di he didn't get a ministerial position is the bigger question. But uh, there it is, uh, and that was that was what cost him the presidency. By the way, um, breaking up. Uh, can people tell me if I am breaking up? Uh, Somebody is telling me in the in the studio that I am breaking up. So if I'm breaking up, please let me know in the comment section. Right. Uh, so is this uh, acting coy and playing hard to get that cost uh, El Rufai the presidency? Because El Rufai was actually meant to have been the Nigerian president a long time ago. Uh, Yadua, when... Yes, when Yadua wanted... Uh, when Yadua... Um, El Rufai was actually ahead of Yadua when they were looking for somebody to succeed uh, uh, Obasanjo. But they went, they even sent Pastor Bakari to him, and he was playing all of those games that he played in this now next uh, last uh, cycle of uh, opportunities, and that cost him that space. So they got um they got fed up of uh, trying to persuade him to take the presidency, and then they moved it to Yadua. So it's that sort of similar sort of game that has cost him a ministerial post till now. The former governor uh, also alleged. Uh, the former governor also allegedly wants to exonerate himself after several uh, uh, commenters. Uh, let me I don't like that, the way that is written. I'm going to have to take it from the top again, but I'll just go through it in one swift motion. Anytime I pause, uh, I always uh, difficult to pick it up from a... Uh, now, Sarah Rufai, the immediate past governor of Kaduna State, is reportedly uh, preparing to fight President Bola Tinubu in at least two courts. Uh, correspondents reported on April the 6th, Saturday, April the 6th, the prospect of the battle are to be staged in Nigerian courts where El Rufai expects to clear his name of the allegation of being a security risk, which denied him a ministerial position. The former governor also allegedly wants to exonerate himself after several commenters said he would challenge Tinobu's re-election in 2027. Allies of Nasser El Rufai reportedly stated that the 64-year-old has been publicly humiliated by the Tinobu administration. The all-progressive Congress APC chieftains have failed to get a security clearance, allegedly shocked several of his associates, given his strategic role in moving the hands of the Northern governors to back Tinobu during the elections in 2023. So he says, uh, you think you think Malam will allow this tag to abide on him? I can assure you that he is going to clear his name in court. So that is uh, El Rufai headed to court. Um, 
So that's El Rufai added to court. So there are two spaces actually. So El Rufai, uh, El Rufai is intent on taking on Tenobu in 2027. I think all of the signalings from the political space indicates in that direction. So El Rufai almost started to take on Tenobu, and, and I think it's going to continue to rebel rouse uh, all the way through. And so it's going to uh, institute this court case now so that his name is high octane within the uh, the, the, the uh, attention cycle. And of course, his son will act as backup on social media and they'll continue to to you, they'll continue to grate at the Tinobu space. So there it is right there. El Rufai takes Tinobu to court. So so there it is. Uh, let me give you this one as a he headline. Uh, Niger Republic Junta drags the post-president Bazoum to court uh, to fail treason charges or to foul, not fail, but foul. I, I can't reach today, as, as, as you can probably tell. Um, So Niger Republic, Niger Republic Junta drags the post-president Buzum to court uh, to file treason charges. So I, I think they, they, they are intent on uh, doing away with this guy. The, the, Niger, the Nigerian Junta has approached the country's Supreme Court to strip the post-president uh, Mohamed Bazoum of immunity. Officials from the country's Justice Department on Friday prayed the apex court to strip Bazoum of his immunity to enable the state prefer charges of treasonable felony against him. This is coming amidst pressing demands from the international community for the detained Bazoum, his family members, and cabinet officials to be freed unconditionally. So, so. I think it's a, it's a pushback uh, actually against uh, that uh, push for them to free him. So uh, let's move on from there to this. You lack the presence of, you lack the presence, you lack the presence of mind to reenact what happened in Senegal. So this is a uh, Obono Obla blast article. So article trying to associate himself uh, probably with uh, the excitement coming out of Senegal. Former presidential aide, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, whatever his name is, has slammed uh, former um, former presidential aide Obol Obono Obla has slammed from has slammed the former uh, People's Democratic Party presidential candidate in the 2023 election, Atiku Abubakar, over uh, the comment on Senegal. What comment on Senegal? Correspondents reported that Atiku was congratulating the newly elected president suggested that Nigerian opposition parties must unite to remove uh, President Bola Tinubu in 2027. He highlighted the significance of democracy, emphasizing its superiority as the best form of government and praising Senegal's electoral process as a model for others. However, in a statement on, in a statement on Saturday, Obono Obla, the former vice president uh, uh, said the former vice president has a poor sense of political history. He stressed that Atiku lacks the presence of mind to reenact what happened in Senegal or the discipline to form the opposition political party like the formation of the All Progressive Congress in 2023. The statement reads, Atiku left the PDP in 2007 to join the Action Congress formed by Ashwa Dubola Ahmed Stenobu, which gave him the platform to contest the 2007 presidential election against Yadoa. Atiku was uh, therefore initially part of the discussion between former President Mohamed Buhari Bola Tinubu, and other opposition figures way back in 2009 to come together and form a broad national coalition to defeat they beat him off, which the PDP had become then. A Rolling Stone never got, got us any more. He certainly lacks the presence of mind to reenact what happened in Senegal or the discipline to form an opposition political party reminiscent of what happened uh, in Nigeria in 2013 with the formation of APC. So, so that's somebody just, uh, you know, I, I think has now become somewhat of a laughing stock uh, uh, within the Nigeria. It's just, uh, the guy is just a, uh, it's a great, it's a great one clown now. So, 
So the, to the people poo-pooing uh, infrastructures uh, in Nigeria, here is another one ticked off. Tinubu to inaugurate Abuja Rail Mass Transit May the 29th, say, says Wiki. So that, that, uh, that glorious rail service that we see in Lagos to be replicated in Abuja, and slowly the country starts to pull itself into the 21st century. Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Yemse Wiki, uh, said that the Abuja rail mass transit is 97% completed and will be commissioned on May the 29th. We can make this done on Friday after he inspected the station at the Inandekano, uh, not Inandekano, Inandi Azikwe International Airport and the metro station in central area Abuja. The minister stated that President Bola Ahmed Tinobu has approved the schedule for the in inauguration of projects to celebrate his one year in office and described the project as a dream come true. For me, it is a dream come come true. And we are so so essentially that's another one completed. The, and, and I don't think Buhari gets the attribution because the completion, of course, under 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 Tinobu, the body of the work was done under Tinobu. Our foreign carriers engage in price war to frustrate air peace out of London. So this there was, there's somewhat of an inevitability to this because this guy, he has busted their cartel and they're not, I'm not going to read you all of it. I'll just give you about three, four paragraphs. Uh, in the fast paced and ferociously competitive airline sector, price wars has, uh, uh, in the fast paced and ferociously competitive airline sectors, Price, price wars have become like Siamese twins that cannot be separated by the actors as a surviving strategy. Uh, so I think this guy is going to try and write it in a poetry type thing, which always annoys. Uh, while, while price wars are, are, are a common occurrence in the airline sector, they represent intense comp com competition that sees airlines cut prices in an attempt to snatch passengers from their competitors. The subsequent implication may automatically trigger reduced margins and profitability. To thrive amid these price wars, airlines need strategy and competitive intelligence, specifically competitive price data to survive. So um, this is what is presently playing out in Nigeria's air transport sector with focus on international flights since airpace and Nigerian carrier commenced flights to London Gatwick. Prior to the entry of airpace to the Lagos London route. Can anyone can anyone still hear me? Uh, this thing seems to be dipping and fluctuating somewhat. Uh, prior to the entrance of Prior to the entrance of airpace to the Lagos and uh, to the Lagos London route, foreign carriers had for many years not only monopolized the lucrative routes but exploited Nigerian travelers who were made to pay the costless fares in the region, whilst neighboring countries like Ghana, Togo, and Benin Republic enjoyed very low fares. The exorbitant fares by the foreign carriers reached its peak following the over $800 million of their proceeds trapped in Nigeria with the mega carriers withdrawing their lowest inventory fares, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so essentially, a uh, price war competition coming, coming there. So, so let me just leave that there. Uh, let me leave that there. Uh, he, is, uh, he is a consuming fire. I am nothing but don't mock my God. So I think this is Pastor Adeboye clapping back at that uh, pastor that was mocking him for claiming he drinks tea with God. The general overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church, Pastor Enoch Adeboye, has warned that his God is a consuming fire and should not be mocked. Ad Adeboye said he is nothing and can be mocked by those criticizing him. Um, oh, all right. Uh, I, I think it's just... Right. I, I think it's just clapping back at the pastor who mocked him for claiming that he drinks tea with God. So so we leave that there. Let's go on to this one. Um, 
Google puts Naira to dollar ex uh, 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 exchange at 1,245 to the dollar. So uh, th this is just the Naira gate gaining strength now. Uh, uh, there's just no going back. So so well done, Tinobu, for that. So well done, Tinobu, for that. Uh, this was a story we covered. So let's just uh, touch base with this. Gospel singer Nathaniel Bassi petitions IGP over defamation. So that's the... That's the thing that that guy that said, uh, p p pardon me, that his newly born son uh, not, not, does not look at like him in the slightest. Lagos cracks down on supermarkets without price tags. Fines, shutdowns, loom. So this is uh, the narrative then of consistency in pricing. Um, the Lagos State Consumer Protection Agency is flexing its muscles directing all supermarkets and grocery stores within the state to ensure clear price tags on all products. Failure to comply will result in hefty fines and even closure. This directive, announced on the Lagos State Government website, comes as part of uh, whatever acronym, uh, 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 whatever acronyms ongoing efforts to protect consumer rights and ensure transparency in pricing. Uh, so, so there it is right there. So there it is right there. I, I would say, uh, I would say that's an excellent idea. Actually, I, I, I don't object to that. So I say that's an excellent idea. I don't object to that. And this one as well, an excellent idea, which I don't object to. Federal government unveils new national national identity card with payment features. So that payment features is actually that payment features is actually a crucial part of all of this. Uh, if they are continue to if they are going to continue to be given um uh, whatever it is stipend to the poor and needy then they must be able to audit trade it somewhat the federal government has and now and this is this this is a carry on from what i was saying yesterday by the way that it's not so much uh chasing down co uh, uh, corrupt uh actors but blocking the portals for corruption and this is another portal for corruption being blocked right here. The federal government has announced uh, the federal government has announced plans to introduce a new national identity card with payment and social service service features in collaboration with the Central Bank of Nigeria and the Nigeria Interbank Settlement System. The National Identity Management Commission revealed that the in, in that the innovative card will integrate payment functionalities from various social and financial services powered by AfriGo, a national domestic card scheme. According to a statement by the head of corporate, blah, blah, blah. So, so I think we get the gist of that. I think we get the gist of that. We need people in the studio, by the way, for, for the session to take place. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, let me play you now this clip and, and then... Um, let me play you this clip, play you the Kegite music, and then we'll see what happens after that. Let's, let me play you this. This, this is, this is, um, this is, uh, it says, uh, New York to legalize adultery. So this is coming off the back of uh, what we were discussing yesterday about um, the price of uh, being a playboy, which then pivoted into conversations around prostitution and all that stuff. Uh, New York to legalize adultery in... Uh, 1907 this law was enacted to stop to stop divorce uh the oh, anyway let me play you the clip uh because I, i'm not uh quite uh fully with it with the reading today so let, let me let me play you the clip for is what lawmakers are saying needs to change there are some laws that are a joke and you know the fact that this is still illegal at this point in 2024 is what lawmakers are saying needs to change. Mm -hmm. This law was put in place in 1907 mm -hmm. and the whole idea at the time was to stop divorces from happening because then the only way you could have a, a clean split was for one person to commit adultery and then you could get divorced. And it's always been considered a misdemeanor crime, which means you could face about three months in jail for it. But it hasn't been used that much. There's only been 13 instances of this law actually being used. All of those have been since 1972. And there's only been five convictions. 
Now, let me tell you about the last time this law was used, which you're <laughs> going to love this story. Okay. It was last used in 2010, where, okay. when a woman called Suzanne Corona was prosecuted. Now, you might wonder, how did the police even become involved in her cheating on mm -hmm. her husband? Well, it was to do with where she was cheating on her husband husband she was caught having sex on a picnic table in a public park in new york and she was reported to officers by a mother who was nearby playing with her children in the park wow yeah i thought you might enjoy that wow one. yeah <laughs> um so and it's it's a strange one because why was she then charged with adultery rather than like Public. public disturbance exactly. or something yeah but the officer clearly decided that that was what he was going to charge her with and that was what happened so that was the last time it was used we know now the lawmakers have voted to repeal it only four didn't and it's on governor kathy hochel's desk waiting to be signed oh, 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 all right that 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 one i'm not sure what what it was a bit of a nothing really but uh they are repealing divorce laws in the United States. That's essentially what that tells us. Uh, so uh, let's play the Kegite music and then we'll see if the room populates before then. So where is it? Yeah. And it says right there, Ikuko Niru Agbeshime, death have nothing to do with us. So we've got Ajale Koko with us. So we kick it off with him and then we see how it goes. Uh, that's if he's ready to go. Uh, Ajale Koko, are you ready? Yeah, what's up? What's up? Uh, not, not, not a lot, Ajale Koko. The, the usual uh, uh, stuff. Um, I will try to take to law uh, to try and redeem his... Uh, do you remember when they were doing the ministerial screening and um, they suddenly told us that El Rufai, who, were, who we were all anticipating would be the Minister for Power, they told us that he could not pass ministerial uh, the Senate screening uh, because something turned up in the security report. So he's now going to challenge that security report uh, in court. Uh, what are you making of that, um, Adani Koko? Yeah, thank you, Mom, man. Uh, greetings to our listeners around the world. Click on the like button. Share and subscribe if you haven't done so. Um, the issue of uh, AeroFi, I think APC must handle it with uh, absolute um, wisdom and uh, manage it uh, carefully. Uh, if not, uh, the problem 
um, of disintegration of that party will start from there. Um, uh, if we want to go by history, uh, this is what happened with PDP. Uh, PDP <laughs> uh, was uh, uh, once a, 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 um, the strongest party in Nigeria. Uh, be, but because of even the largest party in Africa at some point. <laughs> okay, so uh, but because of um, uh, poor management of uh, the internal wrangling, uh, they disintegrated, and uh, it caused them to lose the presidency in two thousand and fifteen. And the same thing happened in the last election uh, when they lost to Tinumbu. So look at uh, the way it started in 2015, and then um, it, it happened again in 2023. So APC, I, I don't know why they have not resolved this problem with the Rufai. Um, if I were if I were Rufai, and I believe you if you are Rufai as well, you'll be so um disappointed. They did him, they, they did him dirty. If you remove the Rufai, Tenobu probably will not be president. He he, he moved everyone else for that guy. Yes. So I believe if I were Rufai or you are Rufai, you'll be so disappointed in the way in the way that um, um, the way they treated him by the bad politics they played against him when he was nominated for the position of uh, um, minister and the way they, they, they scheme him out on the basis that he didn't, he didn't pass uh, uh, security screening. How dare you want to tell us that this guy did not pass security screening? A man that just getting out from the office of the governor, governorship position, is still walking around in the country. And nobody have picked him up. EFCC have not invited him. They are. He doesn't have a a, a criminal uh, suit against him at the law court. No charges whatsoever against him. And you said this guy did not pass a security screening. Having worked very, 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 very hard, took all the risk for Tinubu to be president. The way he fought before Tinubu secured the ticket, he was the one, he was the one that was um um speaking for the southern presidency for power shift to go to the south he was the one that in the lead of that you know power shift within the party you know from the north to the south and the role he played as well during the um um what do you call it um during the campaign and uh, the it, even swap. during even even the naira swap, yes, even the naira swap, it, it was yeah. the one that led the team that went to court. Yeah, it was the one that led the team that went to court, that got judgment in favor of the president. Today, I mean, he, he, he did everything for Tinubu to be president. So, what was responsible? In fact, for Tinubu to even get the ticket, he is it was a major factor. Yes, I said that earlier. I said he was the one that fought hard for that power shift within the party from the north to the south that gave the Nubu the ticket. He was speaking in favor of the power shift. So I don't know what was responsible that they have to play him up like that. They have to deny him ministerial appointment 
and having denied him that ministerial appointment has caused a very serious, you know, um, injury on his political um, um, name, on his, uh, um, you know, um, it, it has caused a very serious injury on his personality and he must clear it. And I believe that is the reason why he's taking up this uh, matter in the court to challenge the government. Come out, come and tell me what is that in that screening that define me as a security risk and that which, which, which um, resulted in... Do, do, you, do you think his personality is too big for the presidency? Because he's one of those sort of people that like to uh, hog the limelight. And I'm not quite sure that this sort of administration, especially uh, that, that they can handle that sort of a personality. Uh, I, I, wouldn't, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't think that his personality should be a threat to the president. Who is that person in Nigeria that, you know, uh, at the moment constitutes a threat to the president, the most powerful man? So, and if um, uh, a, a, he appointed him as the minister, who is that minister that will overshadow the president when he is working for the president, when he is holding the position of the mini um, that ministerial position at the grace, at the mercy, of the president, how would he constitute a threat to the president? So I don't know the politics, the dirty politics that is going on within that party, and the wish hunting that is uh, something. Do, do you think? Do you think he's a victim in all of this, but or do you think he got his just desserts? Uh, uh, um, Chioma is reminding you that he threatens to Islamize Nigeria. Ah, uh, nobody can Islamize Nigeria. It is very, very impossible. Nobody on earth can Islamize Nigeria. The only way somebody can Islamize Nigeria is to wipe out the entire population of the South. <laughs> wipe them out. <laughs> that is the only way. But if that's not possible, which everybody will agree with me, that is not possible. So how would you Islamize Nigeria? It's not possible. So um, yes, we 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 we. He's a very controversial guy when it comes to um, um, his action in line with um, you know uh, in favor of uh, um, you know uh, 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 Muslims um, um, uh, supremacy uh, against the Christians in the South. I mean, sorry, in in the state. And the statement that is made, he made sometimes that, oh, this country uh, for Muslim, the president, the Muslim. So, so you remember that statement that he made? Yeah, to one. Uh, he, he, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes. We, we, they said it's in Nausa, but we. It's he, in I, Nausa, I think, yeah. uh, yes, he, I think it was unfortunate for him actually, because that yes. clip came out just round about the time that that screening was going on. Uh, was going know? on, yes. Yeah. So. And I think it was deliberately, some people deliberately, you know, um, you know, uh, brought out that uh, 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 that clips, that video clips in order to damage his image in, and portray him as uh, a, a Islamic uh, supremacist or something like that, you know. So, but this is the guy as well that, you know, in his state set up a, uh, how do I dis uh, describe it? It set up uh, a commission of inquiry or maybe commission or, or uh, a, a kind of committee, investigative committee, you know, um, to look into the crisis between the Southern Cardinal, I mean, in the Southern Cardinal and, you know, in, in Cardinal especially, crisis, the religious uh, crisis uh, and, and, and which the the, the outcome of the result, um, you know, recommended that that state, that state should be divided into two, giving the southern Cardinal a, 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 a state on its own and the northern side of Cardinal another state, whereby, you see, the Christian can have their own state, you know, and the Muslim uh, majority 
in the north can have their own state and the Christian majority in the southern Canada can have their, maybe that would be a permanent solution to the religious which, crisis. Which, 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 one, which one do you think is, is, more, is more needed? Um, a state in the, in the east or, or Kaduna being split into two? I repeat that question again. I said, which one do you think the country needs the most, most urgent? Which one is most urgently needed? A, a state in the east or, or Kaduna being split into two? Kaduna oh, should be split into two. Kaduna should be split oh, into two because that... A am I breaking? I think it's better now. It's better now. Go on. Oh, 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 all right, carry on, Ajali Koko. Oh, 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 all right. Um, I, I think Adele Koko needs a moment. Do you want to pick that question up, um, uh, Rational Mind? Um, we want to repeat that question again because I know you. No, no. I, 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 I was just asking that um, we were discussing um, El Rufai, and Adele Koko was saying that um, El, Rufai, El Rufai had set up a, a commission to to look into the uh, permanent, possible permanent solutions to the southern kaduna uh, crisis and that's that that commission came out uh that um uh, ha them having their own state breaking, is probably you're breaking heavily oh, oh, oh all right yeah, you're let, let, let me go out and come back in <laughs> let, let me go out and come back in all right all right um yeah let me just hold on let me hold force for him before he comes like uh, our listeners yeah um i, I think if i understand uh, that question you were asking uh, What I just want to say here about um, the Southern Cardinal thing is, uh, if we were to factor in the issue going on in Southern Cardinal, that has always been lingering for many years, the issue of uh, North versus uh, South, um, predominantly South, uh, Southern Cardinal uh, people are Christians and the uh, majority North Cardinal are Muslims. Well, I think for me, uh, the best would be this is just, um, you know, separate that states, uh, create, like we have here in America, we have South Carolina and North Carolina, I think, something like that. So we can also have something like that in Kaduna, where they have Southern Kaduna and Northern Kaduna. And let them, because if this thing concerning festering of this um, perceived inequality among uh, the indigenous of those states, of that state, that the indigenous of those states believe that the Northern are lording it over them and we see what in recent years uh this ethnic cleansing ethnic um, um genocide that is going on in that area where that used to be predominantly uh christian uh, south are you there woman I, I am here can you hear me better now better now you want to ask that question again if you want to. No, can, no, you, I was, uh, can you hear me one man if we can hear you now, we lost you for a moment. We thought maybe yeah. uh, you, you had to attend to something. I, I was disrupted with the phone call, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. Did you, hear, did you hear the question? Yeah, I had the question. Oh, all right. Which one is most important now between giving uh, Southeast uh, another state or splitting Kaduna into two? Into two, no, yes. I think, I think splitting Kaduna into two will be better because that will save life. That we put a stop to this, um, you know, this religious, um, you know, conflict, and um, uh, uh, and there'll be peace, and everyone, uh, both sides, we know their boundary. So, uh, it, it, and the and the and the and the and the Christian majority in the east. Oh, sorry, uh, Christian majority in the in the. Southern Kaduna can govern themselves in 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 the best, you know, in, in, in the best way that they believe that is good for them, you know, that domineering um, um, a Muslim uh, a, a factor will be eliminated. So they're gonna have a governor that is a Christian. They're gonna have people in. Um, um, uh, constituting the um, 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 a majority 
position in the government as Christian, and you know, they they will have the same a, a common purpose, you know, to govern themselves well. So I, 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 and and the and the northern casino too, you know, being majority Muslim, so they will govern themselves in such a way. If they want to govern themselves with Sharia or whatever, they can do it in the best way that is good for them. So it will save life. So uh, I, I think that is what is most important than giving the southern, uh, I mean, south. You, you, you know, you know, you know, I agree. Um, th there is no, uh, outside of sentimental, there is no argument that really uh, lends itself to a state in the southeast. But the, you know, uh, or your state probably should be cut into two as well. But I think the most paramount one is the, is Kaduna, which it, everybody can see that it's not one state. You know, uh, is is a is a master servant relationship. Oh yes, oh yes. As a matter of fact, before a a a, a, a Kassina state was was uh, carted out of Kaduna, <laughs> before it was uh, Kaduna was uh, uh, the combination of what we have today as Kaduna and Kassina state, but it was because of religious problem, wrangling killings and all the rest. That is why they split it into two. Give the Kassina, who are a, a, a core conservative and majority Muslim, absolute majority Muslim population. That's why they give them their own uh, uh, state, separate from Kaduna, thinking that, you know, the Kaduna um, Christian and the Muslim can manage the, uh, 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 um, uh, the religious um, uh, uh, crisis well, but uh, uh, what is it we, we uh, what we're having today it, it shows us that you, you see, there cannot be religious harmony in that state and and, uh, and to, 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 it's a very difficult space to, to, to manage the, uh, the religious harmony. So the best thing is to cut it into two, let the Christian side that in Southern Cardinal have their own, own state and let the Muslim have their own uh, own state, which is the northern part of Kaduna, that will save life, bring peace. Uh, anybody will live in uh, uh, with peace of mind wherever they belong. So um, that 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 that's the way I see it, one man. Oh, oh, oh right, brilliant, excellent. Uh, so, let so me take in it. the case of um, 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 Rufai uh, and and the and the um, uh, I mean, in conclusion to that, I think Tenubu must show leadership. I don't know if personally is the one responsible for this or some plead around here. No, he would have been persuaded now, but he would have let himself be persuaded. But the arguments to persuade, persuade him would have been so compelling, you, you know, because he knows what uh, he owes El Rufai now. So the arguments that they would have given him not to give him a position in government would have been a compelling one. I don't know why. I don't know after the screening, I don't know if the president invited him personally on one on one basis to talk about it. I'm, I'm not sure he did that. So, what is it that is so damning, that is so bad, that is so, you know, in terms of security, that is so bad about this guy that they, 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 they just have to jettison him, jettison him in and, and just abandon him like that. It is not good. The president to show leadership by inviting him personally, put before him the problem, they say, let hear from him to know if what the, um, uh, 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 the that came up against him is actually true, or maybe he has some explanation. You know, they, they, should, they should settle it immediately because, look, one man, let me tell you, El Rufai, has been coming a long do, way. Do, do, do you politics. think he's? Do you think he has? Been, do you think he has been outmaneuvered by uh, people looking to succeed uh, Tinubu in 2031? Do you think he was? <laughs> uh, it does. It, you have to factor that in as oh, well. Oh, oh, yeah. This is 20 oh, yeah. a, a lot a part of it almost uh, certainly 2031 politics. Uh, 20 2031. I mean, yes. yeah, 2031. It, yes. it, look, one man, you are not far from, you know. A reasonable conclusion. That is a reasonable conclusion. What you just, uh, uh, the way you just look at it, because look, 
If you look at the vice president, he's from the east, not east. Rufai from the northwest. And the vice president will like to take over from the president after eight years. So, and the northwest, they have the number, they have the strength, they have the influence that the northeast. So, what are they trying to do? Are they trying to just, you know, destroy his political image, destroy his political um, uh, um, uh, 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 is 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 his political career and ambition from day one before twenty because because if you look at twenty thirty one and you look at as far as um by twenty twenty thirty one hopefully Atiku would have uh, read the tea leaves and known that uh this is one ambition that so the, if you look at twenty thirty one who are the possible northern repl replacements. There are names like El Rufai, Zolum, uh, uh, Kashim Shetema, uh, Abdullah Ganduje, uh, and Baby Kwakwanso. So, so, and, and out of that list, the most potent, the two most potent are El Rufai and Kashim Shetema. So, if yes. they get rid of him uh, from the from the start, then uh, you know. So, it, 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 look, I agree with you. Some might be playing that. Um, game to eliminate him right now so that we, the those that will be in contention in 2031 will uh, 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 I mean uh, they can uh, uh, I, I don't even know what what to say because this guy whether we like it or not one man this guy has been coming from 1999 from 1999, he has been at the corridor of power at the federal level. He started with Tobasanjo. And then from 2015, he has been at the corridor of power, both at the state and at the federal. He, during the time of Buhari, this guy doesn't need to book appointment to see the president, he can walk into the press into into the uh, what do you call it, um, um, uh, 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 the Azo Rock, and they allow him to show how powerful he was. More than even more than many minister that were appointed by Buhari. So he is one of the most powerful politician in the north as of today and if this crisis is not well managed everybody has seen it everybody everybody uh, people people know that he, he work very hard for the president to be there he will start a campaign against Tinumbu as an ingrate as a person that instead of paying back with good, you know, give, giving a good return to people that got into power, but rather he was, you know, he is eliminating them. I'm not talking about killing them, uh, taking, it, taking them out around the corridor of power and, um, you know, sh showing, a, an habit of an ingrate, so the northerner, because they are going to, um, you know, uh, 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 inject on tribal, you know, um, uh, connotation to it that it is the treatment of Buari, the bad treatment that they effected of Buari is a, a bad treatment against the north. So because Buari's, I mean, I mean, Rufai's standard as a very strong politician and a potential presidential um, 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 hopeful in 2031. And in order not to allow that power shift to the Northwest, that is why they are taking this out. So your, 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 what you said earlier that, yes, it, it might be because of the power gain for presidency 
in 2031. That is why they are doing it. People will conclude like that. They don't want the power to come to the Northwest. And they have the number. They produce, produces the greatest, the largest vote for APC in every joke of, uh, 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 among the, all the joke political group, I mean, uh, political zone in Nigeria. Northwest is the most, um, is their stronghold, the strongest hold, and the, the outcome of a, a, a result, election result, they always come on top. <laughs> the, 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 the history, the record is there that in the past election, they came on top above other zones in the country. So, and they have the greatest registered voter, voter in the country. So they are going to picture you that, look, this is a win shunt against the Northwest. You understand what I'm saying? And they have the number, <laughs> if wherever they, 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 they switch their vote, that is that is that 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 is where the the power might uh, 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 might, might get the power. So, Tenubu have to manage this situation well. He must show leadership. He should be able to resolve it with this guy. I should be able to compensate him in one way or the other. I don't know how I want to compensate him. Maybe I want to. Um, maybe when uh, he carried out um, what do you call it, uh, cabinet reshuffle, maybe he's going to find a powerful ministerial appointment for him. I don't know what he's going to do because this guy has started political campaign with all the fraternization with SDP and the way is 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 connecting with some political power across the country now. So if Tenubu is not careful. The economic situation in Nigeria, which is so bad, which everybody going through hardship, this guy might use it, you know, to 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 to, to challenge Sinumbu and possibly, you know, to 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 kick him out of office the way APC did in 2015 against Jonathan. They used all this campaign that. Jonathan was managing, managing the economy well. Jonathan was not managing the security well. And Jonathan was not uh, doing this a third one that he was not managing well. And they resonated with the people. And the people voted Jonathan out of power. It could, it could happen against Tenumbu, particularly from the north. Because we have seen most of the, um, I mean, um, we, we have seen it with uh, what Tenumbu is doing. What do, you, what do you call this thing? This uh, reorganization or particularly the appointment, the way he has taken them out from strategic position, where you're talking about the security, you're talking about the military, oh. when you're talking about the custom, you're talking about the immigration, a lot of position that they were uh, they were holding during the uh, Buaris regime, he has taken them out. So all these it could be used against the Nubu that, look, it's an anti noise in stress and, you know, they have to take him out. And you know the bad politics they play in politics in Nigeria. They won't they won't look at all the good things he have done for the for the for the national interest for the for 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 um um uh, all right. Start to wrap up that. What national interest are you talking about? What national interest? You just you just said so many things here. I'm just boiling here, but I just wanted to finish. Maybe one more man get to my own turn, I would be able to pick on them, pick on them one by one. What national interest are you talking about? Talking about oh, selfish, okay, okay. Selfish so, you are, so you're telling me their national interest. What is national interest? So yeah, you want to say he has never done anything good for the national interest of the country? What 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 are you talking about? Okay. So the the um um let me give you instances the the educational loan that he just started, is it not good for the national interest of the country? No, I'm talking about uh, Erufai. He said he has done something for national No, interest. I'm not saying... No, no, about I, I, think, I, I think he mentioned Sinobu, but uh, I, I, I don't know, bring, bring, bring that space home. I think we've been there a, a bit long. Uh, bring it home and then we'll move on. Yeah, yeah. We, we, one more, we are few here now. 
So, 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 um, uh, it, it, that would be good for uh, the political stability of their party and his presidency as well. So, um, <laughs> if they look at him that well, he doesn't, he cannot do anything. Well, I want to tell you, this guy, he can pull the string. He can, he can constitute a very serious. Before you know it, you will see the number of, you know, opposition party. We have the PDP there. We have Obedia. We have them. They can join together, line behind him, or they can from among themselves bring out one um, a, a, a powerful politician to challenge the APC. That is what they did. APC did that. I mean, have they forgotten? They did that in 2015. We have ACM. We have CPC. We have uh, ABGA. We have another. They joined together and kicked Jonathan out. They could they could do it again against Tunumbu. So he, he must look at this guy as powerful as he is as a as a politician. He must not allow him to spread his tentacle of opposition against him, particularly when Nigeria is going through hard time. When Tunumbu really need, you know, um, you know, um, what does he need? I think he need uh, to bring people together so that he can consolidate himself in power and you know. Uh, manage his leadership and the, uh, the his leadership well as the president of Nigeria. So that's the way I see it, one man. Let me leave it there. R Rational man, did you want to come in? I saw you on mute. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I thought I. Oh, sorry. I thought I was muted. Anyway. Um. Yeah. yeah um. I, maybe when you come to me, um, it's just what um, I didn't go for just talking about this Erufa. I mean, for me, Erufa is a dying man who is dying politically. Who is gradually uh, going to political oblivion, but um, he's trying to hang on, hang on to whatever he can hang on to, uh, because he knows um, the Tinubu and Lagos boys they did, they've done him dirty, um, uh, and then thanks to uh, maybe Bubasani himself too, uh, the guy, the puppeteer um, governor that he put there. Yeah, do, do you see the hands of APC in that Ubasani as uh as what I'm it could be both the um uh, uh you know that um, what's his name? Uh well uh every file now, you know, audition why in Lagos, you know, if you remember during the COVID time when he came to Lagos and he was started telling he was telling that like Godfather is over, he came yeah, uh, he yes, he was, he was he was um he was attacking Tinubu with his speech, you know. And uh, and uh, you expect the IA, the IA people to forget to forget his, uh, his sins, you know. So it's paper time for him now. They've used him, and uh, he has served the purpose that he's, he was supposed to serve. And now it's time for him to do him dirty. And they use his uh, closest person, uh, Bubasani, to use uh, to do that. So, Allah, I'm so I'm so I'm so not saying I'm money. That's what I that's my prayer. But may God start, uh, may God start but, but Nigeria is the loser for it, though. Tell him, man, so no, 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 come on, come on, come on. If we, if we don't go through this, uh, you see, like I don't like quoting Tinubu, but so when the Baba, Baba came here, was quoting Tinubu, baby step. I mean, I don't like using that crap. That crap, uh, oh, 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 hold on. Um, uh, enigmatic, unmute and uh, um, um, unmute and unmute. Your device is not connecting properly, so I'm not able to put you on the screen. Uh, so that's the enigmatic. C -c Carry on, um, yeah, rational okay. right. uh, So no, press no, the no. mute button and then unmute, and then that should fix it. C Carry on. Yeah, I mean, for me, I believe Nigeria has to go through some kind of pain because uh, the rot in the system is not going to be fixed uh, through just some um, some one person, not even OB, not even anybody, not even sure. Right? Uh, but I believe that it's going to be uh, uh, the so-called baby step that uh, Tinubu used to talk. It's not going to be true to Nubu and all these criminals. I don't believe they, they have, um, they, they will make us go through that baby step and whatever crap as they cause it. Uh, let me never use baby step. Let me say, go through this, the tough time that we need to go through to be able to realize that um, uh, that uh, that better moment that we'll have after that. Um, 
for me, I don't believe Tinubu has the answer to that. I mean, let me just go. So my point is this, is that uh, talking about um, uh, Shawanye, so now is the time to pay him back. So, and I pray God, God will continue scattering them. Mama Darin, Mubu, Mama Amar, Sot, Jibodi, Jibodi, Darin, and all of them, they will start fighting themselves. So that they will just, they will just exterminate each other politically. So for me, I, I think what uh, to Agadeko was just saying here, saying that, oh, he did this. What, what national interest is he doing? They are all doing it for their own selfish interest. Tinubu has said it now. It's, it's my person. It has been my lifelong ambition to be a president. I mean, that's what he said. Not because he wants to come and serve, because he wants his name to enter the issue. What of the student loan? Is student loan not good? Oh, for Joe, Joe, what my man? Yeah, that's what I think, woman. I mean, we shall see how that plays out. Let me know. It's too early for me to be saying anything right now. I mean, um, I just don't see how it works. It's just another, um, uh, what was that thing um, uh, for the former uh, vice president was doing when they were going at uh, market people about that trade that money, just like another trade that money, you know, to bribe people to come and vote for them in 2077. That is, that is, if he live to live to see that 2027 and uh, well i wish him good health but that is if he the, the, the Lord you don't sound as though you wish him good health no, if you are no, saying no, if you no, wait, if no, you no, live no, to no, see no i, I, I also for myself too i mean we all live to see that time let me let me, let me, let me just use the word because i'm not saying the Lord Jabba, what, the Lord Jabba, the Lord Jabba, what, i mean to back, to back, back, to back, i mean what are we going to do i mean nobody can say it's certain of tomorrow so that's why i say it in that because he's an older man he's older so one will look at him that he's more nearer to the great than me, who is more younger than him. So I'm not wishing him dead. I'm just saying the state of the reality, the obvious. The obvious here is that it's looking like it's, you know, so but then I just wish him longer health and better health. But, but the point is, if we see 2027, we shall see how it plays out. But for me, the point I'm trying to make here is this, is that, you know, uh, every five for me, I think um, he deserves whatever he's saying, you know? Um, and even if I, I want him to be politically assassinated, I mean, just, let me just go out of his space. Because well, all the things you just said here now, what is what is even his use? It was a Kaduna, we saw all the crap he did in Kaduna. Some people come here, people like a bishop and all of them, they came here, they were championing this guy. And we saw all the whole list of uh, the corruption that, that that followed after he left office. All the money collected from, uh, for example, for World Bank or IMF. And all the uh, all the uh, tokenism that he gave to them at the end of the day. And then we, we, we were riding, on, just the same way we were riding on the glory of um, Bupu of 19, 1984, I mean 1983 or 84. The same way we were riding on this idiot of uh, the way he handled the uh, FCT in uh, 1999. We were riding on that glory, not knowing that this guy, this, you, I mean, when he put uh, Camelo on, uh, what they say, he cannot change his skin. I mean, we don't know that this guy was just, uh, was just a pretense. And he got power. Look at what, what look at how he, he, he subjugated a whole, a whole, a whole community in the South of Canada, you know. I mean, in, for the first time in the history of uh, the new, this nascent uh, democracy, or well, should we call it nascent democracy? It's been 25 years, 26 years now. So this is like democracy. He's the first person to have ever gone to have two Muslim Muslim tickets. He deliberately removed the the, the 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 deputy that was a Christian so that he has, he has to he has to send a message to them. I mean, this is an idiot. We had him, but we see, come, come on, what are we talking about here? This guy has so many sins. And we have, some people are championing him here, like oh, he's oh, nice hold on, hold on, Russian man. Let me tell you. Let, let me, let me tell you. I mean, why would we promote all these idiots, all these, all these uh, charlatans, no, all these, uh, no, all these oh, 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 Hold on, hold on, uh, Rashida man. I am not promoting him. I am just talking um, to what he did to get the president to where he is. He worked hard for the president to be where he is today. And he deserves some, uh, he, he, he deserves uh, to be compensated politically you understand what i'm saying so it's totally different for what you are saying that okay he embezzled money he did this or what he did in Kaduna. those one are separate game entirely but he worked hard for tinubu to be president and it's not good the way tinubu have compensated him the, he, 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 by rubbishing his uh uh, his personality, his political image is in um, is 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 um, has been rubbish, and uh, that will um, harm his uh, political ambition for uh, for the future. So uh, that is what I am speaking to. It is not good. What Tinubu has done is not good. What is it that is between them that 
they don't want us to know. They said he, 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 he couldn't pass security screening. A person that couldn't, could not pass security screening is still working free in, in the country. So it's a, it's a total um, uh, double standard or contradiction right there. I don't get it. So uh, some people are behind the scene that are trying to destroy, to assassinate him but politically and make it impossible to be a very strong force to contest for the political, uh, for the position of presidency in the future. So that is what uh, we can speculate. So uh, it's totally different. All of these are totally different from what you are saying. Is a, is a, uh, 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 all right, uh, Rashna, mind because the room is starting to populate a little bit. Uh, let me take a dandy uh, uh, Let's do it this way. Uh, we do, um, we'll do uh, two topics each just so that we get to people's voices uh, and then we we'll open it up for a more rounded conversation. Now, uh, 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 Koko, so uh, Tinubu to inaugurate Abuja Rail Mass Transit on May the 29th, say, says the MSN Wiki. So that's another thing. You you know, uh, Nigeria is uh, slow, is quietly, not even slowly, but quietly developing into the 21st century. So they are interlinking the whole country via uh, interstate rails. They are doing metro. Uh, very soon, you see, uh, just for the competition of it, you now see this replicating in rich states like River State, in southeastern states like Anambra. So uh, good governance has started to compete against itself. What, what are you then making of this inauguration of this uh, 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 mass transit uh, rail? In a, this is an in, a, intra-city rail, essentially to, to, to funnel people through the airport because uh, I think the main hub of it is the uh, Namdi Azikwe International Airport. But uh, what are you making of this project one that's going to be inaugurated and who are you giving the attribution for it? One man, please, uh, Baba Aja, just a second, just before Baba Aja will proceed with his uh, uh, monologue. Let me just, for the purpose of, uh, you know, putting things uh, in proper perspective and saying the truth on your platform so that your platform will not be a purview of uh, fake news, right? Uh, it should be um, on record that uh, APC... Um, National Assembly leadership. When I mean National Assembly leadership, I mean those 10 people at the core leadership of National Assembly, starting from the senior president, the principal leaders, and the ASO Rock being led by uh, Tinubu. They do not have a hand in Erufai's uh, fiasco, ministerial appointment fiasco. His problem is from the north, right? Um, and he's trying, that's what he's trying to do now is basically to have a legal, uh, a legal back into whatever the claim is or the whatever they're trying to, to hang on his neck. Do not forget that uh, he comes from the Northwest and the Northwest will be a hotbed of a political uh, campaign in 2031. So he's trying to do that ahead of time. And then people who are really very close to, to the situation they know uh, Tinubu and the uh, Erufai, they do not have any issues, personal issues whatsoever. They don't have it. And uh, he does not have personal issue with anybody in APC. In fact, they, they, a lot of people were trying to stick their neck out for the for him at the height of that uh, you know, uh, chaotic situation then. But they, they more or less like they were in a situation where like a cash 19 situation where their hands were tied. So he needs to basically appease some people in the north call not now because they felt that he 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 uh he uh how that he derailed their plan to have a uh a another northerner right in Aso Rock. he basically uh worked against the uh, some certain political uh interest in the north so he what he's trying to do is basically trying to a clear his name legally so that he will be able to use that as a uh you know uh, as a sub uh, in a subsequent election so yes they did actually tried especially at Pablo and the leadership of the national assembly they did actually try to find a soft ground for him but at the point they had to choose they were like uh between the red blue sea or the how do they say it 
So the, the devil and the deep blue sea. So he needs to find a way to appease those people in the north. Is it the call north? If, who, who, if Ribadu or the other northern guy is here, they will confirm what I'm saying. This problem is coming from his, this, the major problem is coming from his people from the north, and they are very powerful people that he must find him himself, Erufai himself, must find a way to uh, find a common ground with them so that his political career can move on. And then uh, number two, Rational Mind is uh, condemning the way he governed uh, Kaduna State by way of uh, his um, the death profile and everything. Okay, that's that's a that's a, that's a that's a given, right? But does he know actually that uh, Erufai was there for eight years, mm -hmm. and we have a governor in his own political party now, Labour Party. I don't know if he's still going to be in Labour Party tomorrow. In Labour Party, unless OT less than eight months in office he has um he has he has a debt of uh, over two trillion as we speak now he just actually he just got an approval for another 125 million dollars 125 million dollars from the house of assembly this is a governor that is less than a year in office and soludo is still there almost three years almost four years i'm trying to make comparison now because if you want to do that for eight years, and the governor is less than a year, who is already amassing more than almost three million, almost three trillion in debt. So look at that. And then talking about uh, just to round it up now, talking about um, uh, uh, Eru Five to try to paint him a red, a red, uh, I mean a, a bad person. If Eru Five is that bad, right? The headless mobs of the obedience they won't be on social media trying to converse Eru Five to be a VP. Even though we know that that is so, and that that would never that would never happen now because th that destroys El Rufai's political future. You can't even know no, yes. no TAA, no prominent northern politician, right? We we take a ticket that will that will, the, that the will balance happen. the balance of that ticket will be for Peter B to run as deputy to El Rufai. Number two, nobody. Yes. But I mean, in the core, because he already has a catchment, and then a Rufai can uh, use the argument of seizing power from Tenobo to, so to get him It's going to be a dead. It's going to be a dead on arrival. He has, he has six million. What does he do? What does he have? Hold, hold on, hold on. Uh, for, uh, what has, what has a, hold on. It's going to be a dead. El Rufai has the north. The, the is, we are not talking of the numbers now because the number wouldn't be there in the next four years. No, you, you know, oh, thank you for saying that. Oh, a lot of people don't realize that that it doesn't have. He, he has a, a, he has the southeastern votes. No, those are those are those are those are his banker votes. It's not. It's not going to be. No, no. I, I mean, going forward to twenty. Going forward to, to twenty twenty seven. We are talking twenty twenty seven. We are. Twenty twenty seven. Yeah, are over in, okay. in 2027, only, only have the the yeah. We are talking of the future now. 2027 yeah. started from 2027. That's what we are talking about, not 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 the 2023. Because he was, he's not gonna run on the ethnic and the religious card any longer. You see now that he's trying to go to the to iftars, right? He's going to break fast, he's going to the Muslim communities and everything. Of course, they will welcome him as British as as practiced as as pre, uh, the practicing of Islam, the doctrine of Islam. You welcome everybody, right? But you know where to place them when the time arrives, because you cannot say the same person who declared fatwa, who declared jihad on Islam on Muslims, right? Basically telling telling them it is a religious war, and then Christians should take back their country. Of course, they will welcome him. They will take his money. They will associate with him. But when it is time. To actually stay to tell him where he belongs, they will do it at the appropriate time. And then the numbers that you are talking about coming to 2023, the guy that cannot even put a that cannot even provide leadership, a leadership in his political party as of now, right? Going to 2027, right? Now look at the northwest. I mean, look at the southwest. The two states that he probably had the Lagos state that you are speaking about, it's not going to happen again. All the places that he, he has some numbers, right? It's not going to happen again because the, the political terrain will be different. And people, and like, we've always said this. How, 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 how many votes do you think he has going forward in in um 
in 2020 that 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 are banker votes so that's what, what banker votes what, what, the bank the bank of course vote, yeah the, the, the bankable vote and the one that we i can beat my shares that he will continue to have right mm. will be the one from the south south east because of the unzo bunzo bu politics the place yes that will be there that, that's what I think as well. So when they say all these six million votes, it's not there now. Hold on, hold on. Can we interject you? Can we interject you? Hold on. 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 So, so they're not coming back to him in 2027. They, they vote in the South-South. It's not likely to win anything in River State. Uh, I think that played out already. And then the special interest votes that came in of the NSAS, all of these sort of uh, special purpose that were just using him as a leverage to, to see what... So a lot of... So it boils down still to the Southeastern votes, and those are his short votes. So, so Rashna and come in, and then back to you, en Enigmatic. Yeah, okay. it's easy for us to come here and just uh, conjecture and do whatever, whatever I want to do. Um, yeah, being realistic, fact, this is not conjecture. If you, if it's you okay, it's okay, my friend. It's okay. Let me, let me, let me just, let me have the moment. Let me have the moment. The point have realistically, we are talking about six, seven now. You say what? I say, if you understand uh, the dynamics of politics in Nigeria, I do, I do, I do. You, but you're not getting because, it. You, you, you because come here in 2027, the South South is not going. to South South, look at, hold on. South South, do you, do you know what South South is doing now? What I is South South? Can I say something? Can I say something, please? Hold on. Do you know what South South is doing now? South South, they are trying no. to define uh, their place. Can I say something? Can I say something? Okay, go no. ahead. Say it. Please, please. Yeah, thank you. So my point is this, is that <clears throat> we, uh, we just heard somebody say, I mean, uh, Eli Marty said here that uh, about every five and uh, trying to pin the whole thing on people from the north, whatever it is, I mean, we, what, I, I'm, I'm, I don't even care <clears throat> if they like let them do whatever to themselves. But the fact remains is that um, what is playing out between them, all of them, is that's their problem. And talking about the issue of um, the 2027 election, I if if Obi ever don't ever get with the um, the numbers anymore, I I can understand why because what played out in 2023 was because you know, apart from uh, <clears throat> Tinubu underestimated them um, OB. That was why they, they could not spread their, uh, they could not spread spread that rigging machine that they thought they were going to use perhaps to rig Lagos because they felt maybe Lagos had, they were only so, had Lagos. So, so they didn't rig Lagos. Exactly why they didn't rig Lagos. Why they didn't rig Lagos. So they did not, you, you are saying you want can to- I, can, I, can I land, can I land, can I land? You can, you can take it off, you can take it off when, I, when I'm done. So <clears throat> we know what they're playing, we know what they're doing. Um, <clears throat> so we you know are, what we, is we know what they're doing because, too. You're not the only one who knows what they're doing. One man, one man, let him just continue. When you already come to me, I'll, let, I'll, let me, I'll let me, because I think Ajali Goku was speaking. I took, I, I said I wanted to uh, chime in, and it's just uh, I was supposed to chime in for just a few seconds. But what I'm trying to say now is that, like we all say, we are Nigerians and we, we know how politics works. Like what happened in 2023 definitely will not happen in 2024, right? I mean, 2027. We have the a, a candidate then. Then who is now an incumbent and who will be an incumbent in 2027? And then in the South South, South South, they are becoming they are they are defining their political future. They are getting ready to become to to take the to take the VP's ticket when it comes back to the South West to the South South. I mean to the South versus the North, because in 2031, matter of fact, power will be shifting back to the North. So when the northern part will be trying to will be will be coming to the south to pick who is going to be their VP, right? There's every possibility, more than 50 percent, that it will be between South South and South East. And South South, they're already having a very big edge, right? Ahead of South South East because of the politics they are playing. They are playing the politics of inclusion and they are playing the politics of al al alignment and alliance to the to the center, right? They have a senior president number one. They have Osh they have Wiki in the cabinet, right? South South. They have Oshomole, who is getting stronger by the day. They have all the PDP governors, right? They, they have the PDP governors in South South who are basically ambivalent towards uh, who are uh, who are friendly to the center, as you can see. 
I sent you some things the last time on man, what the governor of Delta State was saying. You see the position of Joe Ediri in Bayesa State. You see the position of Akwaibon State Governor, right? And this is what they, these guys, they are playing the politics as it, should, as it should be played. They are not playing politics of emotion or politics of, of, uh, of, uh, of, of uh, ethnic now. They are playing politics of when it comes back between them, who between South South and South East, right? Who is going to be the region, which region is going to pick that VP ticket? I can tell you for fact, if they continue with this game, they go, they are, they are, the, the, the VP ticket is going to be a default setting for them to pick. So that is what they are doing. And how do they, how would they continue to do that? They will continue to align and 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 and, and then uh, coordinate with the with the with the center. They don't care if it is APC or if it's any government that is there, right? So this is what we are talking about. So ethnic, uh, the religious Christian vote or whatever that played out in 2023 is not going to be there because Obi is basically going back to the is 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 parading himself now around the Muslim communities now, right? And they will re remind him again. Are you trying to do the Christian take your country back again after you've actually been, run, been running around the north, right? Trying to do what with the Muslims? It's not going to, going to be there. The ethnic stuff is not going to be there any longer, right? So this is these are the things that we are looking at that you should look at, not about what or will be which what political party is even going to be uh, running through in 2027. Does he have a party now as it is? If he's going to, is it PDP? Is he going to back to PDP? Is he going to be in Labour Party? Is he going back to Abga? Or which party is he? Or SDP? So you have to even find, you have to even factor that into your conversation first. What political party does he belong to now? Because obedient, they don't belong to any party. They are just subservient to a single man, right? Labour Party is not their party for now. So the Labour Party is still having issues. So first of all, he needs to sort that out. Before you, even, before you start even talking about his chances. So these are the things you need to put in. You can't, you can't put the cat before the horse, right? He needs to put the party first before he knows where he belongs in 2027, not people who already have a political party. And PDP, they, st they still have leadership issues and they still have the directionlessness issues as, as, of, as of now. So when we are talking of parties that are even ready if, as of today, we'll be talking of APC, SDP, uh, or rest party, not Labour Party, not PDP, as it is. So you have to. You, you have to. I, 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 I have to say that in terms of preparedness for 2020s and 2027, uh, actually, it's just a sleep and a wake up. Uh, to you, you know how quickly these things come around. Uh, in terms of preparedness, Labour Party is not even anywhere near anything. Uh, it's just uh, like you said. Even uh, to worry is more ready than him. It's, it's only political Lilliputians that will be going back to 2023 that is uh, saying they underrated. This is not a matter of underrating anything in 2023, right? What happened in 2023 will never happen again in Nigeria political setting. It's not going to happen again. You, you know, let me disagree with you. I think 2023, no, no, no. 2023 will repeat in 2027 because they will still need Obito to do relatively strongly to still yeah, talking, hold up I, in, terms yeah. number, in terms of numbers mm. no you won't right? get those numbers because, ever again yeah, in terms of numbers because what, you know it goes half, half a million from lagos so you have to deduct that from the six million that they parade yes so that's why yeah. i'm talking to the numbers now not the personalities because when we talk of personalities ob we certainly run as a major can as a major candidate in the political path we don't know yet because obedience will not allow him to be number two to any 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 candidate, they want him to be on top of a of a of a ticket. And article cannot be VP to be an article will run in 2027. May God continue to spare his life. Article will run in 2027. Article will not be number two to be right. Kwakwanso will, will most certainly run in 2027, and uh, Kwakwanso will not be number two to be. So that's why that's you are you are we are seeing multiplicity of political parties again running against an incumbent party, APC, right? And they will be crying that they've, they've rigged them out again. When you see OB on the ballot in a different party, you see Atiku in a different party on the same ballot, you see uh, Kwakwansu maybe on another ballot, or maybe Kwakwansu uh, will be running in another uh, in, a, in the same election, 
we are having like four different opposition parties now against against an incumbent party, right? At the end of the day, you see the numbers split. And then when you look at the numbers, where are they getting their number from? Certainly, I've said this. Obi will continue to champion the cause of his uh, uh, ethnic tribe in the south. And, 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 and you know, a lot of the a lot of the um, a lot of the votes he got from the middle belt that was all wrapped around the religious narrative, which uh, by the time Tinubu completes uh, uh, four years, it, it would not be a factor anymore. And and, and because he's been outed as a religious jingo, you see, cannot straddle that line. Uh, that guy uh, is, I, I can only really see him getting uh, uh, not, uh, the this out taste and then, and then the smitterings from here and there. Yeah, the, the North Central, the North Central, right? What is happening in the North Central now is that the, unlike what happened in Buhari's administration that he never really factored them, he didn't, he, in terms of appointment and recognition, right? They have the SGF, they have almost very, they have uh, the SGF, uh, from the south, uh, the north central now, and the governors, they are very united, right? They will definitely continue to work with the northeast. So when we say in terms of number, in terms of the 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 arrangement that happened in 2023, certainly it will repeat itself. But in terms of number, it won't go the same way. Even in that south south, in I mean in that southeast, right? There will be some. There will be some politicians. That we have issues with this guy in 2027 because it's like he's basically setting those. In, in, in fact, that, 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 that 2027 en enigmatic, you can see a marginal, uh, uh, in fact, it, even a respectable increment in Tinobo's lead uh, because the North will make the pragmatic say, uh, give him a second half and let him just get out of there. And, and then Obi, Obi will lose uh, all the votes, uh, as, apart from the southeastern votes in Lagos, of course. He will lose a lot of that. Uh, and that uh, se the north central, middle belt, whatever, that's gone, you know? So, but what, uh, what, what, but, what be, but, 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 Roman, do you think he, he will do as well in the southeast like he did before? I, I think, what, what I, 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 no, no, he will do, he will do as well as he did in the southeast. Well, but, uh, but I think Tinobu might well put a big project there just to steal from it's, him. It's not even about the project. Let, let Tinobu go and cut his head and bury it in southeast. They will, they hate him naturally. He knows that what will happen in the southeast is this one man. You have Dave Umai in the cabinet, right? You have Soludo trying to tilt to the center, right? You have Uzo Jima who will be completing his eight years. You have Soludo who would have completely uh, been in office again for the second term. Umai will be getting ready to see if he can be one of those people that will be considered for the VP coming to the South next time. Then you see all these people that they already believe that Obi is setting them up, right? These big time politicians in the South is that Obi, because of his pretentious nature of politics, is setting them up, right, against those truculent and the virulent, virulent obedience in the Southeast. They will take a certain position at that time that we are aligned to the South South politicians, right, so that they will be able to prepare for 2031. So the numbers will still be there for him, but not as the Unzobunzobu way that it, it happened the last time. First of all, a boy in people, right, do not, do not forget uh, 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 Umai is from Ebony State, right? And if you know the trajectory in that place, you know how the Ebony people take things. And things will happen, things will change in 2027 going forward. And then when you look at, I'm not talk, talking about the numbers now, what Nibu will get or what article we have or what Obi will have at the end of the day. If you want to see the trajectory to that, look at the, look at the uh, post, post uh, presidential election. In 2023, look at the numbers of the House of Reps, of the I mean of the governors. Have they been able to pick up any state governor or any state after the election? None. They've had almost we've had like almost five off elections after that. We've had the most state. Uh, we've had um, what uh, um, Imo state, um, Bayesa state. I think four other states. Now we are having a do state. Look at what is happening in those state now. They have basically abandoned their political, uh, their their candidate in a do state, and this is just 2024, and we are going to 2027, and they do not have a state governor more than one, and they already the party is divided on one part, obedient on one part in a do state where they should be having having a number to say let's move let's move to have more governors. 
they are not having the governors. In Enugu State, they have maybe six of their of their folks, right? They camped to live to PDP. This is 2024. Who, who tells you, how do you know that before 2027, half of their National Assembly members wouldn't have the camp to, to PDP or to any of the other, other parties apart from Labour Party? So, so uh, these, sorry, these, sorry, these, sorry. These are the factors, you, these are the things you need to factor into the input into the consideration going to 2027. We understand the fact that obedient, hook, line, and sinker, right? They will swim and die with Peter Obi. That's a fact. But how, where, where would that take them to? Because they will always tell you that. I, 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 so, so, sorry, enigmatic. I think, um, I think, um, um, uh, um, uh, Le, Le, uh, Lobito wants to come in, uh, oh, previously okay. known as Babati, but and I think our uh, rational mind wanted to come in as well. Yeah, uh, I want to ask you yeah. the question. You know, I, I, I thought that the, 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 the geopolitical landscape is the highest uh, political officer in any political party is the head of the party. So technically, Oti is the head of the Liberal Party because he has the highest office right right now, not Pitobi. So is it is it a failure of him not taking action, or are you still blaming Obi solely for the problem? I mean, what is the role? What should Oti Oti be, be doing in resolving the the conflict? Is what I'm, I'm trying to get the response here. But but if you have to look at it, Obi is the, as we see now as as it is, the national leader and the and the and the leader, the the the, the person who spearheads the affairs of PDP is Atiku, right? As it is now, Obi is the leader of Labour Party. Obi shot himself in the foot when he came to the national TV and took a side. Even if you want to take a side, you don't do it that way. He took a side against a papa when you know there are factions. Yeah, but, but, but no, 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 no. Uh, uh, against no, 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 I do. I care less about. I care less. No, no, no. The no, why, the reason why I'm asking that is because that would determine. Because if they if they were together or they were at least friendly, they, they should be able to resolve this behind the scenes without it coming to this point. To, to look, Baba, let, me, let me tell you one thing. When you look at Alex Ot and Obi's uh, political trajectory, they have one thing in common. At least we cannot really speak much, right? We, they have the two of them. They have this. Uh, you, you, so, uh, uh, ap apologies, enigmatic. But um, Alex Oti actually resents uh, his association with Peter Obi because um, Alex Oti is already a, a senior politician within that space who had already aspired to that office and has been extremely close. So you may say that the Obi uh, phenomenon pushed him over the uh, the the fire. Yeah, but what my do you do? Yeah, he resents the, 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 the narrative that uh, people put him under the banner of saying, yeah. Yeah. What, what you are saying is 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 a given. Let me let. I don't want to. I don't really want to uh, dwell on that. But I want. I know for a fact, Alex Oti, being a politician, we in in, in we probably have we probably not that. I'm not sure of that, but there's a possibility for that. Because at the point he said Obi did not win him, I think he came out to say something like that. Maybe he said Obi did not win him the election, or Obi's Obi's win did not make him win the election, or whatever. And people should understand the fact that Alex Oti, as equally, he, he, he was at the time a candidate under PDP and APC and Abgati three times. This this should be his fourth time running for the same office. He's but, been very close to that office. Only a few votes are... But uh, it was, it was, it, this yeah. is the time he has been able to be declared a governor, for real. But what I'm trying to say is that the two of them, they have one thing in common, right? One, they have this uh, peripatetic nature in them. They are vagrant, uh, you know, this ambulatory and the you know, migratory and the nomadic nature to their politics. They run from one party to the other. They have that in common. One, that is the antecedent. So now, when you look at who should control the political party between Obi and Alex Oti, under the normal political arrangement in Nigeria, the president is usually the leader. The presidential candidate will be the leader of the party. So who is going to be the boss between Obi and Alex Oti? by virtue of this narrative, it's going to be OB for a fact. But if the leadership structure 
is on is is in obese hands. So Labour Party failing now. You can't say Labour Party is failing because of Alex OT. Labour Party is failing because of obese lack of leadership, right? Labour Party is failing because he has not been able to 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 bring to bring different interests, the functions together. Instead of doing that, he has taken side with, with one of the factor of the of the factions. I know they want to throw uh, they want to throw uh, excuses around to say it's Aburi or no Aburi. But we were here on this platform a month ago or three weeks ago when Dr. Damages invited Aburi to his platform. People should go and watch it out how they were eulogizing Aburi. All of a sudden, you cannot say Aburi is the problem when you have a leader who cannot who cannot lead. So if anybody is to be blamed for what is happening in the Labour Party for today, it is Peter Obi for a fact, because he has not provided the leadership. How would you say? Let me let me play a simple scenario within a second one man. Okay, you they had a they had a conference or a convention in your backyard in Inewi in Anabra State, your state. Let's flip the coin that oh, there was the the something something happened, they shifted, uh they shifted or they moved something within three three days in a week, and one way or the other, APC convention landed in Ikoyi, but Tinubu does not know about it. He was in Bodilon in the state, but he didn't know about it. How do you think people will rationalize that the, the, the conversation or that excuses? No, he's the leader of the party, is the presidential party leader of the party, but we, they have almost two the politics, they have two, they have two factions or three factions. Things are happening. Who do you think they'll be blaming? Because this these same people, even when Buhari was the president and was supposed to be the leader of the APC. They were always, almost trying to pin everything on Tinubu's neck, but they don't want to pin anything on Obi's neck. They always want to excuse him. No, he doesn't know. He wasn't alive. He just woke up to find, find out that Abure was running the party uh, you know, uh, in the way he wanted, or he brought something to Anambra State. I wasn't alive to understand. So people, those are just from lame pedestrian excuses. People should hold him responsible for the failure. We held Article responsible for the failure to put Wiki together and to coalesce the factions in, AP, in PDP. So you cannot separate Peter Obi with the failures. In, and nobody should hold Alex Obi responsible in, when, in, in whatever way, shape, or form. He's the governor, Obi is the, pre, so he's the presidential candidate. Until he finds a way uh, you know, to resolve it. But you know, in his, in his political a trajectory he has always find a way to run away he has never been able to build you you what know you, you, you know um um yeah um uh, uh, en enigmatic what i am actually the only really thing that interests me about because of course i agree with a lot of things that you've said especially the permutations because i've endlessly explained those permutations anybody that knows politics knows that uh 2023 was a one-shot deal for Peter Obi. Uh, but uh, the only thing that interests me about Obi is uh, what he would do uh, uh, from the uh, 30th of May to uh, 2027 when they raise the hands of Tinubu again. Is he going to set his people out to burn down the country? Because he, would have, he, he has such a stranglehold on them. Um, so that's really the only thing that, uh, apart from that, is... Uh, it is right. not even a factor in anything, really. It, it won't be, it won't be. Uh, I think OB is 60. How old is he now? I think 63, 65. Is he 65 now? Uh, two, 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 was, two, two, yes, two. okay, 62. Yeah. Uh, may God con continue to spare his, his life. It will be 66 uh, by 20, uh, 20, 2027, right? And we should, we have to put things in the, in the right, in the right order. One man, even Aerofy that people are yelling all over the place. Aerofy is not a problem. It's not prominent when it comes to it, when it comes to the presidential, uh, presidential material in the North. When you, it's not, it's, it, uh, Aerofy cannot stand toe to toe with somebody like, uh, Kwakwanso, right? Take it or leave it. Atiku is still a big factor in, in the Northern politics. Atiku is still a very big factor. Article had the clearest chance, the clearest pass to his presidency in 2023 if uh, he had played the right politics or if he had done the right thing, right, to put 
to put the fact factors uh factor factors together probably to not his ego uh you know played the best out of him so article is still coming back strong in 2027 i, I don't see a refi being pushing too much it's just i think he's just going to be around to do the, the one or two things but of course i know for a fact right that obi will come out because obi's obedient right those people those headless people they won't let him play politics as he should be played less for obi as a politician that he is he, will, he wouldn't mind to be the vp to article or vp to kwakwan or vp to any any northern politician wow. but they wouldn't want that they, they wouldn't want that and he cannot he can't go anywhere with whatever they want how do we want to be president when you are not shaking out and uh, obi is building why is people are they are pushing they are they are they, okay he's trying they, to they're tearing it down they are tearing it down it's in the north moving around with the muslims somebody two days ago came out with a with something on the on the internet de depicting muslims as pigs did you see that one thing one man it depicting islam as a poetry you know religion oh, who, who was doing that sorry who was doing that I think I sent I sent the images to you. It went all over the place. They even they even had to like uh, you know screenshot it to the Arewa Twitter. And while Obi is moving hundred uh, like uh, 10, 10, 10 steps uh, forward, they are pulling him 10, 100, 100 steps backward with their violent and their truculent nature. And how do you want to make Obi president by just basically focusing on narrow narratives? And those narrow narratives they, they only play once, and you can't repeat it. It can't repeat itself. You are basically on a very on a daily basis, right? Alienating the Yoruba people that voted with you, with Obi, alienating the South South people, the Edo people. You are alienating the North Central people. The, even the few Muslims that voted with you guys, you guys are basically calling them almost everything just because you lost, you know, a round of election. You you can't just do that. Atiku has been running for how many times, and they're still keeping his cool. So oh, I'll just leave oh. it at that. Oh, 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 all right, Brendan. Uh, let uh, let um uh, let BT come in for a moment, uh, uh, um um, and then uh, Russell might come in for a moment, and then uh, uh and then uh, uh Ajande oh, Koko move us on. Okay, all right. No, no, they they have been waiting to interject. Ajande Koko. No, like, I, I I I think we've talked about this. Um, uh, thank you, uh, the love for actually. Uh, I I actually enjoy listening to you. You know, uh, but uh, you were you you were right. Um that uh, the obedient space would not even allow or entertain the idea of Peter uh, um running as a vice president candidate, even though that would be the best path. You know, I mean, if he wants to be in, uh, in Abuja and affect change like they claim, that would be the best path to Asso Rock, uh, both long term, short term and long term, but they would, they, that would not be allowed. So um, I was sharing with the platform yesterday, I came on briefly yesterday, and I, I I was sharing with them uh, that a call being of mine, uh, as a it's a it's a, it's a doctor friend of mine, a very good friend of mine, co obedient, looked me in the eye yesterday and told me, he said, listen, the way the way to know is going, if he keeps this up, he's going to vote for him, or he's going to support him in twenty seven. And I was shocked. That's that's a new, he's from a new group, by the way. He's, he's a new group, man. And I, that shocked me. It's like. He's seen some moves, you know, because he, he pays attention to the business the environment in Nigeria. He's, you know, he does both countries, so he knows. He's like, if Tinubu goes at this pace, he might consider uh, uh, voting the APC. And so I am, I've, I've talked to some few people that I, that I turned to Anita. I mean, he compared to the way you know, you know, change their mind a little bit, at least open up their minds to what he's doing. So. And that is not working well for Peter. I would where it goes, I, I have no idea. I have said that he has to stay in labor because he has this reputation of always running from from from, 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 uh, from uh, adversity. And if you leave, if he leaves labor again, that's not going to be in his favor politically. So he has to stay and figure that out. How he does it, I don't know, and I don't care. But if you truly, yeah, but is he capacitated to? He, he, to, to, yeah, to, to I, I don't believe it, but he has to fit for his own political future. Is what I'm saying. He has to figure, find a way. I don't care how he does it. Just find a way to do. You, he has to do this because if he leaves the Labour Party, where is he gonna go? Go back to the Labour Party? Go to SDP? Go to PD? Where is he gonna yeah, go? That's the that's the only space left for him. SDP. 
Right. Oh, mm-hmm. well, oh, oh, we don't want him. You know, uh, one man, we don't want him in SDP. Uh, we are okay. We don't. We don't oh, want that. We won't, we don't he, won't, want... he won't survive as because SDP yeah. they, they go for they do they no matter what they will go for their primaries. Yeah, so we we, we don't want, want that toxicity. Is... You, you yeah, know, yeah, uh, uh, the, the law, the law for full disclosure. You know, you know, I'm a I'm a big fan of Adewale. You know, I'm a yeah. So we don't want I'm him. Adewale, Adewale. Adewale. You know, Adewale. Yeah, Adewale. we don't want them to come with their yeah. toxicity. Yeah. I don't want to wipe the floor with him now. We've had him here. He's a sharp mind. So we don't want him around that. But what what is failing to do is he, he why can he just he has to call these people to order why can't he just do that they, they're not going anywhere they, they're not going to go vote for article or well, it's a case of the tail wagging the dog though he doesn't oh, have you mean, I you think, yes he, he, yes no, uh, it's but, the case of the tail wagging the dog you fail to understand you fail to understand one thing right when a sheep leads a head uh, a head of lion at the end of the day what will happen they will, they will have the sheep for dinner. But when a, just only one lion is leading a, a, a flock of sheep, there's a possibility that that lion will survive and will succeed. This is the case of Obi now. Obi is the sheep while he's leading some a lion, right? He's leading a number of them. So he has to basically tow the path of what they want. He's not in control. They are controlling him. Can't you see? Yes, it can't, it can't uh, make, I, I saw that it. during uh, when the campaign funding thing came out, and it, it, it was literally reading. It was like me reading obedient tweets on, on, online. That's what it was basically saying. It's like the a compilation of obedient tweets online, given to him to read to the public. I'm like, this um, is, um, is, yeah, but <laughs> one man does not believe that he has it. Somewhere because uh, look at it this way: those guys are not going to leave him anyways, so they're not going anywhere. So just do what you got to do to bring in more people towards you. No, 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 no. They they, they could turn against him though because what what he has um. What he has created is a very, very, uh, it's a very, very toxic sort of a uh, violent sort of a uh, following, and, and they could turn against him if, if he doesn't do their bidding. That's right. what I think oh, it's oh, a fair. Oh, okay. Let me speak on one more. And thing. if they turn against him, they will destroy him. Right. Yeah. And this uh, gallivanting all over the place now is now is now. Uh, Did you see with the email? <laughs> can't can't know the last. Oh, God. Didn't even know how this yeah. is. I, I, I'm sure they're just laughing at him behind. It's like, who is this? Fool? Like, I, I'm sure that's what they're saying when he like, who is this guy? Would you, would, would you, would you be surprised if he told you that he's converted to Islam? Guys, don't forget that's one thing I I have to credit. They don't even know Islam. If they know Islam, they 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 are well they they study this thing properly. They 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 haven't forgotten the the last moment when they use those two words for you that you declared jihad and fatwa for them, it's over for you. He just if there's because what he's doing now, they know he's pretending. He's just they, this guy is just pretending. Well, oh, no, every, every everybody knows now. What's all this nonsense suddenly sitting on the floor eating with the hold on enigmatic and, and also somebody from the southwest? What bothered me because I always pride myself as somebody from the southwest. That religion is not is not something that can divide the Yoruba people, and for the first time in a long time, that was an opening for a brief period, where this guy came in and tried to split the Yoruba people using religion. That to me is unforgettable. I can that was you, that cannot divide a lot again in Nigeria. Trying to divide a tribe that is pride itself in in because if I ask one man or if I ask a buddy now, we all have. Everybody in our, in our family or that, that practice all the three, right? If I ask you now, you probably have a Muslim cousin or nephew somewhere or grandparents. And for you to come in and try to use that fault line to divide the Southwest was to me uh, was terrible, it was a terrible move. And now it's now switched to the other side now, it's now going to mosque. I'm like, I don't know what the end game is here for him. I don't know where it's going with this. I will watch and I will observe, but I don't know if this is going to work well for him in the long run. And if it cannot solve the Labour Party crisis, it's a simple attempt at of so, sorry, but it's a yes, simple sir. attempt at obfuscation, uh, uh, which um, enigmatic just said that. Uh, uh, can you not see through what he's doing? Somebody that told us, "Church, take your country back." 
And then because the church did not take their country back, suddenly you flip over it and now you're a Muslim going to mosque and it's just it's so uh, silly. But, 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 but by the way, uh Ogbeni, did uh, I know they amended the law, but I'm not sure where for you to become there has to be some party crisis, right? For you to leave your party without being is that that's the new law, right? Let's say you wanted to leave the Labour Party to PDP or APC, there has to be some crisis in your party that justifies the need for you to leave. Am I correct on that? I'm not. I'm not too sure. He, he has, if he if he wants to decamp now, he has a. He I mean, has, I mean the people in the house on on center. I mean, I'm talking about now those that the are house of rep, the Labour people. If they want to decamp from Labour, yeah, of course they have they have a, they have a leg to stand on us to stand on now because they because of the, of the okay that's the new law now that's some kind of party crisis right yeah uh -huh. okay so how many you know one man do you remember when those guys won on this show I said that. Within one year, half of them will leave. Do you remember me saying that on the show? I said within one year, half of those people will become from labor. Of course, I mean, even Alex Oti is uh, is at risk. You know, he's always making complimentary remarks about the president. Uh, but it will be just that. Uh, is is wait? Man. Can, can I say something? Go ahead, man. Yeah. I I don't think that people that are supporting him, they're not really like a party people. They're people that. They if they don't have an option that they like and they see someone that suits what they want, they just have those. We have those group of people and they just go ahead and back that person. I think that's what it is. The people that um are backing um this guy now, um Peter OB, if you look 2019, actually majority of them actually back um Shore. So when it doesn't suit their co it doesn't suit them. They they not it's not aligned with the what they really wanted. They 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 can just leave him and back somebody else. And that's what we're seeing. A lot they, of boys I'm glad that. you brought that up. Okay, I, I'm, I'm glad you did because I watched the show where the moment have you seen that new show where interview you did in New Jersey? You should, it is very you should watch it. He described the Labour Party as uh, that uh, obit obit Labour Party like it was Airbnb. Just rent the space for a while, and when you're done with it, take it over. But OB, you can't tell me you have six million people, and how many of those guys have you registered as a party as Labour Party member? How many of been actually a card carrying member of Labour Party? Yeah, but that's what they're saying. He's not in charge. He, he, he just people. Those people, they're there. Like those people can turn around now and go and so, uh, support Tinubu next time that is running. Those people are there. They can just support anyone they so, want. So, so, don't blame Labour Party for the way they they, they turn against them. You can't blame them now. So, what is your benefit to our party? You only hear the leader. No, no, no. So, basically, listen to me. I've been a party member for thirty years, for instance. You show up, run for office, and you don't add any value to us in terms of membership. And we're supposed to just sit down and take whatever you want us to do. You don't bring any value now. Okay, Luani now. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. The guy doesn't have leadership skills. You can see that he can't even speak to people that are following him. He can't determine if you have if you ask him that, tell us your um as a person, what do you what, what are your belief? What do you see when it comes to politics? This this guy doesn't have it. He's, I'm sorry, he looks slow to me. He looks like uh, it, 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 it looks slow to everybody, but that, that's a point you just make. Nobody knows his um is political ideology. He you doesn't know? have one. He doesn't. He doesn't know. It's not, I mean, it's not like I'm trying to talk. Is he left of center? Is he right of center? Do you guys really look, uh, listen to him with an um, un, unbiased mind or you listen to him with a biased mind? Because the way you were talking about that, he has no political uh, direction. What, 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 do you, what would you say is a uh, political ideology is? Goodness, woman! Why, why, are we, why are we going back to all of these things? We must we have to go back and talk about this thing again? I mean, you saw you saw him when he was talking about it that he wants to put people back to work. Rush on your mind. Tell us now, since you know. Alright, more, 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 more. I'm already, I'm already talking. So he said he wants to put people. He said he's going to put people back to work. They all, all said people, that. Oh, they, they all said that. No, 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 hold on, hold on. Uh, they all said that, but you ask him about him, right? No, no, I meant his ideology, not his manifesto. Well, well the, 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 you see, the ideology that he, he, he has been championing is that he wants Nigeria to become productive. That's the ideology. 
It, it has not an ideology. It has a manifesto. Well, you, 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 are, you are talking about political ideology like uh, the crap of, uh, of the APC. There are shenanigans and the crap that has brought that led Nigeria into the mess that we find ourselves today. Let me ask you. Let, no, let, let, let me, let me, I, I, let me I, I, tell you I, I, what I, 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 let me tell you what I'm asking you that, so you understand. Yeah, yeah. So you know the ideal the political ideological divide. There's the center, which is the libertarian sort of our space, and then there is left of center, which you find uh welfareism, all of those uh, sort of things. And then there's right of center where you have capitalism, those sort of mindset, and then the extremes of that of the right goes towards our uh, uh, like the, 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 the man the capitalist, but he wants bigger government, but it's running on a, on a party that is pretty much he, 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 very, well, 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 there you are. He doesn't he's not even aligning with uh, whatever is running with anywhere the left face, anywhere the left face among the three major the other two major parties, PDP and um, APC. What are their political ideology? Okay, um, PDP is right of center and uh, APC is left of center. So those are their ideological so, 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 that's flaws. That BS, yeah. well, that's a BS. I mean, they, they don't have any political ideology. They do not. It, 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 it manifests in their what, policy you, and you, governance. You know it manifests, but then have you heard them say they are, they are uh, left of the center, right of the center? Well, uh, they say it in their practice. Have you had claim any of such? Or, uh, uh, did they say not introduce a whole raft of welfareist policy? Uh, so when, when you hear them, did they tell you so that's left, left of center? Left, they're left leaning. I mean, yeah, but that's left. Know, that's left of center now. That's you left of center. Know, so that's the Democrat. That, that's the Republican. Or or... SPV in our country. APC is an SPV. Labor is an SPV. PDP is an SPV. Everybody just use, use them to realize their political ambition. You, you and when it's not SPV, convenient for them, no it or not, please. When it's not convenient for them, they, they, they teleport or they can just move again, move yourself from one party to another. What are we talking about here? And then you want to vilify one party, one party, one particular party because they gave you guys a tough time at the last election. And then you want to man, them after them. this question, let me put you this. Never leave them the hell alone. All always come here and just want to vilify them. We like are I just see, talking. Nobody is we are just power. having conversation, rational man. But answer this question real quick. Now, if as it is now, right, we understand that uh Obi said PDP is a is a party of criminality of how did they, how did how he said how did he say it? Now, if Obi if it goes back to PDP now, what will you say? Well, um, for, you see, um, that's a good question. That's a good question. Yeah, well, well I'll I, I tell you, I'll tell you my mind. Um, you see, it's a very difficult question at this point um, because I've always, um, uh, I just, uh, I just had my view uh, some time back when I was saying to show whatever I show. Whereas sometimes you have to do a little evil to accomplish some good. So at this point. I would, I would welcome some kind of evil just to accomplish good. As long as that evil would <laughs> lead, hold on, hold on, hold on. The evil will lead to the, the greater good that we're going to see. So, if okay. going back to the PDP, but that would, that would be predicated on some things, on some of the things that I'm going to so see. So, you are creating excuses for, for him? No, 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 no. Uh, when he's going somewhere, please, please let, <laughs> let him lie because this is, very, this is very important. So, can you clarify? Going back to PDP as a VP candidate or runner as 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 the president candidate for PDP, so will you be comfortable with him being the VP? I'm not accepting anything less. Anything short of he being the being the, the major person person on the on the ticket. Okay, anything, anything short of that, forget it. I'm not going to ask. I'm not going to. I'm not. But going to. the point is, you know, and the reason the reason why I would I would allow I want him is because all the things he said as the president, the one the main guy, he will be able to do it. So he will have no excuse. If you, if you, if you, right now, you are not getting the point. Baba, you are not getting the point. What I'm saying is, just less than a year ago, right? He vilified this same PDP and everything about structure, structure of criminality. They are this, they are that. Now, right? The righteous people were playing the righteous indignation, all right? And the man who came, who dropped from heaven, right? He's going back to the same party and to the same people he called criminals. And the straw, and then manifest. When did they call them criminal? When did they call them criminal? Ah, uh, 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 now what? When did they do? When did they do? How did many? Do? Go and look. Go, I'm not going to check. How many yeah, times? He did said he that. He also said that. I, I, well, I'm not saying he does. He didn't say that. I'm not saying he said that because sometimes when I hear things like this from people like yourself, I doubt. I, I take them. So even people. is it, 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 it ethically, eti from from the from the way he's painting himself now, okay. right? Does it sound good to any any reasonable person? When any reasonable obedience so far now? To say OB is going to PDP or any of these two political parties, 
and then they will be trying to create an excuse for such a misai a you, you see, you, you see uh, one, one thing you don't one thing you don't um, you don't put into uh, consideration is that no at you point, answer that first at this point in the history of that country i used to play this righteous uh older than thou kind of politics <laughs> uh that everything must be clean 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 like no uh, i realize in the nigerian context it cannot you cannot get it clean clean that was what i was saying to cook I, I said it here i, I repeat myself I said to Shore that Shore sometimes it might be good for you to for you to do a little bit of evil to the affirmation of good. Meaning, maybe if you need to go and join some of those big guy parties, like here in America, people will vilify a uh, democratic party, they could vilify the Republican Party. But yet you see see people who want to make a change, they believe that this is the vehicle they could use to get a larger base of people to vote for them. So my point is this is that if PDP give, will give him that um, give him that uh, base. Where you could get more people to vote because already yes, there's has... no info. There's no, I'm not putting a cover to cover. I, I, I'm just speaking for myself. I mean, I'm not saying there's okay, let's, okay, let's the in my own opinion. Because we know PDP. No, no, no you ask it. Let me, let me, no, 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 they have soft support for PDP. Lower part, the PDP has been their natural home for almost 30 years or 25 years. There's no need saying that. It's not, we, we, we forget it. I mean, we know. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. Okay, it's... let's say OB now. Let's show OB, 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 OB is going to be to APC. No, APC. No. APC is going to give him ticket. What well, will you say? That, then it, then oh, 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 yeah. You have to let him respond, though, even yeah. if the response if is not consistent. Then, then, yeah, yeah. Yeah. If it goes to APC, then, then that's, that, that's, that's it for me. I'm, I'm done with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm done with it. Because, I, I thought you uh, said it, you it, can it, allow for them well, to do well, a bit of evil. Context, evil. Context, that that evil yeah. is too much for him. It's, it's, too, it's, it's too evil. It's too evil. Yeah, yeah. I'm now, right? Yeah, I get you. I get you. But my point is this is that, you see, the Nigerian politics, it doesn't work. The way some of our uh, maybe obedient or some of our people, not even obedient, some even some of you, the Agbado people, the way you even think about it, uh, it's 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 not um, it's it's too toxic, it's too corrupt. So uh, and I realize sometimes you might just have to join them uh, sometimes to be able to. But I realize sometimes if we want to join them, you see that you join them totally and then you become like them, and trying to you see it's it's a, it's a very very difficult thing for me to support. But for me at this point in the history of that country. If I could find somebody who already has another motive, but he wants to pretend to be one of them, I'm all for him. Uh, Mike, uh, quick I'm question, please. Uh, PDP primaries, article will be who wins? Article will be, I mean, what are you talking about? I mean, no, he said, no, he goes back there, right? And he wants to be the head of the ticket. So he has to, he has to contend. Uh, uh, you, you know, you know, you know, um, uh, this time. Uh, I think that would be pre agreed before the primaries. No, no, let's just say it, I, I, I think he's not backing down. Like he, he's going to run. I'm not yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't see. It's only just by. You see, that's the thing about uh, 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 Obi. Uh, Obi. You see, he, like I said at the beginning when we when he started this, this race, said this, yeah, I said he's, he's naive in some ways. Obi is naive, and I will say it. Being somebody who's Obi, Obi leaning, Obi leaning, I will say he's naive. Uh, there's a way he plays politics that I feel like he still needs some kind of tutoring at some point. I don't get me wrong. I'm not saying I'm a master at politics. I know he's more ahead of me. But I'm just saying that I could, I could read some of the things he does and I could read that oh, this is just naivety. You see, I, I, I admit that you guys have a point to it. It's not showing leadership. But something you need to understand is this, is that, again, the Nigerian political uh, atmosphere, it's, it's, it's quite different from maybe your regular ones in other countries like more structured countries like where some of us live here. Is that, okay, let me take you back to what happened in APC. You know, when you were making your submission uh, enigmatic a while ago, and I want to interject you. I mean, I, maybe I forgot that point, but now I remember it now, is that you remember that there was a point when, there was a time when Tinubu was called the national leader of the APC. He was always there at their national headquarters in Abuja. But when they kicked, because he was trying to use Adam Oshomole to all this, uh, which I eventually realized, because I know he has plan A, he has plan B, he has plan C. If one doesn't work, he should sort of that one. That's, that's to tell you that this guy is a very good, I mean, let me not say good, he's a very um, mischievous kind of a politician who knows is, who knows how to play his game. So, remember they were calling him uh, uh, the leader of the APC. But look at what happened in the APC. That they kicked him out at some point. They sat him. 
the CPC arm of, 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 the, of the APC that led to uh, Mimala Boni becoming the uh, chairman, at the, even at the, at the, against the will of um, Tinubu. Tinubu never wanted the Mimala Boni to become uh, the, 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 but, So why, 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 why can't we say that Tinubu could not exercise his authority as the leader of the APC, as they call him, national leader of the APC, even though Wadi was the, was supposed to be the national leader, but I know they used that to compensate him, so that he would like have, have some kind of relevancy. But look at how they sideline him and his, uh, his, uh, his uh, uh, SCN uh, arm of the government when uh, Ashamo Adam Oshomole was removed there, when it seems like the CPC arm was reigning supreme in APC at, that, at some point. So why didn't he, why, being the national leader, why didn't he, why didn't he say, okay, no, I don't want Mina, Mina Bolin, let us do another uh, convention. See, that's the thing you need to understand about this issue of, um, um, of uh, what's it called? Um, uh, well, policy. That's, not, that's not the same issue because- It, it, it Buhari, is, in some, it, in some way, it, it is, it no, is. Buhari was, Buhari, hold on, Buhari- It, it is, it is. Hold, hold on, hold on, Buhari, right? Being the president, like Obi now, Obi is a president. He's a president. He's not, he's not a national leader. What are you talking? Is, is, Come on. Is, is, is the, is that's what, that's what I'm saying to you. If you look at it very well, strictly, it's similar to what it's not similar. Obi, uh, it is. It is. It is. It has the instrumentalities oh, of God. office. It's okay. He has it's okay. the instrumentality of office over the governors <laughs> and over the elected officials. Yeah, well, I understand. You can always, um, I mean, promote anything. No, you can't. You, you I know you very well. Okay. Oh, 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 all right, oh, all right, we must yeah, move on. Uh, we are concluded, and then we we'll get back to Adan yeah, yeah. uh, Koko. Yeah. So, for me, in conclusion, I just believe the Nigerian political uh, scene. It's, it's. It, it, I mean, I expect him, yes, to um, to act as a leader, but I understand there are some things in front of him too that are making him like make him look like uh, I don't only just use you guys as. As a special vehicle, uh, special purpose vehicle, SPV, or whatever they call it, but um, the, the the rot within the party is so it's all humongous that I don't know even where he's going to start from. So if they can't fix themselves, it's better for him to just pull out. But I agree that he should have. But there are some things acting as a hindrance, as a restraint from him being acting as a national leader of that party, being the presidential candidate in the last election. But the way the, the party has even before the way he even came to that party, and it didn't even bring much structure apart from. Is obedient that were not really registered member of the of the APC. They were just outside that chanting, chanting, chanting. We vote for labor, but they were not registered members of it. So there's a many things mitigating against him that could not really make. I mean, that could not really make him to really resolve the problem of that party. There are so many moles within the party from the APC. So where is he going to start from? So he wants him to just call me waste his time and do that. So I will excuse him on that, and on the same time, I have no excuse him because it's a national party leader. He should be able to at least do something. But I understand he cannot. One man leave it at that. Oh, 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 all right, Brendan. Uh, back to Ajale Koko. Hmm. Oh, man. Uh, uh, oh, oh, God. We thought we were going to spend 10 minutes and, uh, then, and then say good night, Ajale Koko. <laughs> but by, uh, Koko, uh, by the way, did you see that interview of show already, the one you did uh, is it yesterday? I, I've not watched it. Okay. Yeah, we watched it later. So, look, Enigmatic said a lot of things. And, um, what he said in particular that um, I don't agree with is, um, is that some people in the north doesn't want Erufai for any ministerial appointment and the president and the president of Senate uh have nothing to do with it and about it that's not true president is the commander in chief of the armed forces is the most powerful person in the party nobody can stop him from appointing one person we are not saying group of people just one person from one position. No group of people can stop him from appointing one person from one position if the president himself doesn't um, um, uh, uh, how do I put it? If he is not uh, if he doesn't align with if it doesn't have sense to it. If it does not have sense to it. So 
is um Tunuba has not gone done good. He did he is the one to be blamed for not putting for not giving Rufai ministerial appointment. So the game they were playing is well known to them because ministerial appointment is shared by you know it, it, it's here among the state of the federation each state of the federation is given a slot it's whether you are substantive or you are a um, minister of state so how can some people in the north said the poor what is um, to come from cardinal state they should not give it to them it's not it's not possible they are playing a very um a very dangerous political game that is not good a party should not particularly the president should be a person that people that work with him should see him as a person that will compensate them politically in some kind of way haven't achieved what they work for rufai work hard for him and we saw all what he did before the election during the election only for him to say and now they are, they are playing some kind of game and they they thought they are smart they are not smart and you call him that is nothing he cannot pull anything in the presidential this is the same thing we said. A lot of people said for OB that OB is nothing. He can't, he, some people say he cannot even get one million votes. He cannot even win more than one local government in his own state. But look at what, what came out. So, Tinubu, I think he have, um, he, he must act like a real leader by reabsorbing this guy. That is the only way he can prevent a future. Sorry, when you say reabsorb him, to make him as what? Can you clarify? As a minister, it, it, that's he, it. Yeah. He, if not as a minister now, uh -huh. he must settle with him. Whatever is going on between them. But that is the that, that was the main issue that they didn't make him minister. So if you want to settle, you have to make him a right? woman, right? It is, yes, and, and, a, and a high profile one at that. Uh -huh. So it, it has to be, I think the guy wanted to become a, was it power, right? That, that's the one he wanted, right? Was it power or something like that? No, no, that's no, no. Let, let me, let I, I, think, I think he could give him the petroleum portfolio. Uh, that's another thing, one man. So, mm. but what we are saying is that it looked like the relationship is strained now because since that incident happened when he was rejected after nomination, have not seen a Rufai at Asho Rock meeting the president or anything. I've not seen any kind of, um, you know, um, he, I, I've not seen him visited Asho Rock or I've, we have not seen um, or heard in the news that um, they are working towards, um, you know, uh, giving him anything or, you know, compensating him in any way. So I, I, I think the, the president must compensate this guy. He must oh, oh, compensate, all right. compensate him. Doing oh, that oh. will bring peace in the party and will cut him off from making move that can you know divide the party again because let me tell you that a lot of people within the party that might not be happy with the president particularly a lot of people from the north northwest particularly they are just holding they are just keeping quiet it is not that they are 
they are very, very happy. So, but when somebody lead and and uh, 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 lead by making move in opposition and it's gaining ground, that is when they will start to join one after the other. And that is when the crack will come. And before you know it, it will spread. And uh, uh, <laughs> and uh, it will be uncontrollable by then. So the president must act or do something about it. That's what I, it must be compensated. I don't care for whatever he, he did in the Cardinal or something like that. This guy worked hard for you. He deserves to be compensated bigly. He deserves it. Um, so, but give us an example. Uh, uh, so, uh, so, sorry, BT. Uh, let me move Adele Koko on from there. I think we've been on this topic for uh, an, an hour and a bit. Uh, so when Adele Koko lands, then I'll move him to another one. Okay, so because um, it, it, there's so what Enigmati is saying, oh, some people constituted from the north, they don't want him. No, it doesn't work like that. It's just representing Cardinal State, and I don't think anybody has at that time will say, oh, it should not be, particularly when he's a governor, executive governor, the most powerful person just getting out of power, and some people want to stop him when he has already worked hard for you. It's, no, nobody stop. nobody, no, there's no power that stops him. It's Tenumbu. And it's for a bar that did this thing. No. You say clearly, you should compensate him. That's the way I see it, woman. Oh, oh, all right, Bilan. So, 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 I then the Coco, let, let's do this. Let me take you to this next topic. Uh, uh, give us a, a, a brief uh, submission on this. And then after that, I, I'm going to do eight, eight minutes uh, just because people are starting to stream in. And, and uh, so, 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 after that, we go to a uh, rational mind, enigmatic, BT, Oriola. Uh, uh, a can emits, but uh, I don't know what the head other topics you have other than this. Uh, we, we have quite a few. Uh, we have uh, Tinobu to inaugurate uh, Abuja Rail Mass Transit May the 29th. So, this is Yemsen Wiki telling us that. And I was just saying because I was trying to lead you there earlier, and I was saying then that um, we spy it quietly, but Nigeria is making quiet steps towards the 21st century. And in terms of infrastructure, the country is starting to wake up in that space. We've already seen, we are already taking, uh, we are already taking for granted uh, rail travel in the country. We were watching even a consideration some 20 years ago. Uh, and now we are now having intra-city rails, which is already rested and expanding in Lagos State. Now we are having intra-city uh, rail service in Abuja as well. And very quickly, we have the expectation that the richer state will want to compete in that space. So are we seeing the infrastructural pulling together of the country at last? So that's one. And then who gets the attribution for this uh, mass rail project in, in, in Abuja? Yes, of course, uh, Buari kicked it off, but Tinobu made the final big spend to, to bring it to fruition. So the inauguration of the mass rail, uh, just a, a, a short submission on that. Well, Buari kick it off. Tinumbu completed it. The glory will go to Tinumbu, whether we like it or not. So, Iberek in Tunisia, Ediba Pari, Toba Farati, on Loma Lai Makonsarasi. So, whoever that uh, uh, completed the project is what is the person that will carry the uh, the glory. So, but, you know, this intercity uh, train. Um, 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 uh, uh, I mean, transit in uh, Abuja. I think it's good for that city because Abuja is an is is an international city, whether we like it or not. It's the capital city of uh, Nigeria. That is where all the diplomats around the world that are in Nigeria. That is where they reside, and uh, that's the seat of power. So the seat of power must uh, have some. Um, you know, um, infrastructure, uh, including um, this intercity transit that uh, can project the city as uh, a place for anybody around the world, you know, to visit or to come and transact business. So it, it, it is it is good. And um, the most important thing that they have to do uh, is, is about the safety, uh, security and the safety. So the safety aspects of it, they have to work hard on it. And the security of the city as well, 
uh, uh, they, 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 they have. Ajan de Coco, do you know that a 10 year old Nigerian boy, or even a 12 or a 13 year old Nigerian child, by the time they get to a working age, they won't understand any of this language that we speak now. Baba is telling us that the Portacot to Aba rail is already ready. We know the Itaoko, something or the other, that's already done. They got Sibado done, Kaduna, Abuja done, and these things are interlinking. Uh, we're getting in, in, intra-city rail services, and people of that age, by the time they grow, they grow into that sort of uh, infrastructure uh, and they take it for granted, they would not understand the sort of Nigeria we talk about. <laughs> Definitely, they won't know uh, where we are coming from uh, <laughs> to where we are today. So, uh, it, it, it is it is uh, it is one thing to build infrastructure; it's another thing to maintain it. Uh, the the most important aspect of uh, um, uh, I mean, uh, building infrastructure is the maintenance. We are very poor. We are very bad in maintenance uh, culture. I think they have to develop uh, a, a, a very good maintenance culture so that we can maintain this. We can make it work uh, efficiently and effectively. So that of Abuja, kudos. Wiki, um, you know, in some video that came out uh, some time ago, he was very furious at that project when he visited it and he saw some sh sh shady work that uh, the Chinese um uh were doing he even challenged them in that video that can you build this kind of uh, he was challenging the contractor can you build this kind of rail in uh, in china that this is he was saying it this is a very poor job who awarded the contract who was the supervisor of the contract he was asking he was asking the official that who was the supervisor of this who allowed this guy who allowed them to do this who allowed them to do that? This is very poor job. So, and uh, maybe uh, a lot of things would have been corrected. Um, uh, and he has promised us that by May, they will use it to mark the first year uh, anniversary of the president in power. Uh, but most importantly, it is good for the city. It's going to uh, help a lot in moving people from one place to the other within that city and uh, it does go to ease uh, transportation uh, you know um uh, 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 services in that state i mean in that city so abuja is an is an international city he deserves to have such a great infrastructure good road good hospital good schools so that uh, the ambassadors in the country can you know when 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 they talk of abuja a, a, at international um, um, a gathering, Abuja will they, they can they can you know uh, portray it as a a a, a, a modern city that uh, it, it's is uh, ready for visitors around the world to come and visit and 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 to for tourism as well. So I think Wiki is trying to do a lot of things there, and I I I um, I hope that it will succeed. When you succeed, the country succeed, the president succeed, and all of us will be will be very proud uh, at any time that we visit there to see that yes, our country is going in infrastructure, in development, and everything. So question, question. I, I thought this rail started back when uh, this guy was there, um, Jonathan. And he was actually working then. So what happened to it? Why did why did they stop it? And why is he just being no? This particular one, no, this particular one was uh, it's a different route. It's not by Jonathan. It's Buhari. Uh The one that uh, Jonathan built, um, I, I don't know. It, it's just it, it, I don't know, man. You know the way they do that, things. That was the one that was for the rich, from 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 the main line to the airport, just for rich people. With no, with, with, with so they, they, that was just for the rich, just to go to the airport. That was what that was built for. So, that, yeah, 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 this one is a different. Right, so right. what happened to that one? They stopped that one, or it's still working? Because it's just for the big men. Like so, imagine uh, uh, building a rail line in the middle of nowhere that only shoots up at the end of the airport. 
So is there, it's all in the middle of four, nowhere now. Forest, Igbo, Igbo, there was nothing. It was just like from the city center to the airport. So it was for the big men to just take a ride. They didn't even consider the poor people, like the cool boy, all those areas now. They didn't consider those guys now. Oh, yes. I, 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 I think Wiki, I think it's really up to the job. And it's, try, it's trying all his best to make sure that everything is well done there. But um, in, on this uh, um, uh, rail uh, uh, transit and other infrastructure, and I hope that uh, he will do the right job. He will put the best of the best in place, you know, for the good of uh, that city. So that's where I see it. One more, let me leave it there. Oh, all right, all right, brilliant, excellent. Thank you, Ajale Koko. So Ajale Koko held the fort, uh, so that uh, so we do have a session. So thank you for all that. So. Uh, let's go on from uh, we do eight minute monologues, like I said, uh, 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 rational mind, enigmatic, uh, 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 BT, and then we carry on. Uh, so, rational mind, uh, you, you are up next. Uh, so, I, I'll, I'll run through the talking points and then you can either speak to them or, or just uh, free flow as you will. So, El Rufai prepares to fight Tenobo, uh in, in, in two courts. So, those two courts are not two legal suits, but. Uh, but the court, a, a legal court and a court of public opinion, that's also what uh, that uh, article had to offer. Niger Republic junta drags the post-president Bazoum to court to file treason charges. So this is the pressure from international community asking for its release. So they've made that move. You lack the presence of mind to reenact what happened in Senegal or Bono, Obla, Blast, Atiku. So Atiku always trying to leverage everything trying to lever what is going on in uh in uh in senegal to say we form a coalition to uh to remove tinobo quickly slapped down what ajale koko was just speaking to tinobo to inaugurate abuja rail mass transit may the 29th so this is jem Wiki, minister of the fct uh bringing that news to us so the infrastructure coming together uh uh uh, uh well, it slowly within the nigerian space Foreign carriers engage in price war to frustrate airpace out of London. So that London route that airpace are got, uh, a lot of people feel he might not be able to hold on to it for too long. Um, so this one, uh, he's a uh, consuming fire. I am nothing but don't mock my God. This is our uh, pastor Adeboye responding to the guy that was somewhat incredulous at his narrative of drinking tea with God. Uh, so now, this one, much to the chagrin of the obedience, Google put Naira to dollar exchange at 1247 to the dollar. So the Naira strengthening, strengthening whether our people like it or not. So this one now is a follow-on from a story that we've done previously. Gospel singer Nathaniel Bassey petitions IGP over defamation. This is a, a chap that went on social media to question the paternity of his child. Lagos cracks down on supermarkets without price tags. Fines, shutdowns, loom. So this is the thing now, the arbitrariness of uh, the way that uh, things have been done uh, in terms of pricing uh, for, for essentials, in, uh, in especially Lagos, but the wider Nigerian space. Federal government unveils new national identity card with payment features. So we are, this, uh, when we talk about the fight against corruption, it's not so much ch chasing people around, like we said, with Black Marias, but actually plugging the holes of, uh, or, or for, for corruption. And this one right here, a major plug. So uh, just pick from that or, or, or flow, flow as you will, rational mind. Eight minutes monologue. Yeah, I mean, already AB is saying that uh, I'm going to use 80 minutes. <laughs> AB, I will not use it 80 minutes if they don't interject me. If I have to free flow, like he said, like one man said, I should not be, I should be done. All right, real quick. Um, the the topics are so many. I eight minutes would be too much. I mean, too uh, too little for me to finish up everything. But I'll see you can just pick a couple. You don't have to speak to. Yeah. Uh, so pick two or three. So yeah. that's uh, and that to everyone as well. Yeah. Right. So um, let me let me begin with this uh, national identity card um, something. Um, uh, you see, I, I don't want to sound as a as a pessimist. As a skeptic, I mean, I'm always that when it comes to this Nigerian space. But it's a good, it's a good, um, it's a good thing if they um, should I say it's an innovation. Well, it's, uh, it has been in both. some countries have been using it. In some countries in Europe, they do that. Uh, everything is linked to their national ID. 
they I think they are even their bank card. I understand some countries they, they are even their bank card is linked to their national ID, so they can trace. Uh, yeah, so I think it's um, uh, but some people will say like here in America, people will say oh it's infringed on their privacy and that kind of a thing. Um, yeah, uh, in the way the world is going right now, um, I don't know if you people have been hearing recently. Uh, the, the FBI has been upping uh, their games now. Um, I think they just they have a lot on their plates in recent months, in recent weeks. Uh, a lot of raids have, have been done, and they keep warning uh, U.S. citizens of different fraud. I was reading um, 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 I was reading uh, an article while we were talking here uh, about a new um, 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 a new. Uh, something from the FBI, they said somewhere in Indiana and in San Francisco, there are some um, some mafia, well, should we call them mafia groups, some group of people who are, uh, they've been trying to like um, track them down here in the United States. They've been trying to track them down. In Indiana, they've been telling one of US citizens they should be careful of um, those areas or anything, reports or whatever coming out for, 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 for whatever financial thing coming out from those areas. So, and um, they've been, I mean, they've had a lot on their plates in recent weeks. Um, so um, I think it's one of those security things that we need in that country. Um, but will it work? That's the question. That's, that's another question we should be asking. Will it work? I mean, if, if it can work, I mean, it's to some extent, it will be, it will be able to, but then do they have the infrastructure? That's another thing. Because you see, when we say APC and their propaganda, when I go off this, when I go off this tangent sometimes, because I don't know if they even have all the infrastructure on ground to be able to say they want to implement it. This is because if they do it, it's a good thing. Don't get me wrong, because that way they're able to track not even all these um, these guys collecting, uh, kidnapping people and collecting money. But whenever they see money landing to people's accounts, at least they can understand that. Okay, this person, where what do you do? What what's your occupation? Well, how did you get this um, five um, hundred million naira in your account at once? How how do you do? You have to be able to question them. But the other question, the other thing is that, you see, in the Nigerian context, it's, let me not go there, but one, let me just say, what you say, it's a good innovation, but I just, look, I just look at the gains that we gain from it. It would, um, it will minimize both financial fraud and maybe other kinds of criminality. You know, uh, people will be able, they will be able to track people uh, because when they have that database, they could know what how many phones is linked to their, um, to their name, is a national identity number. They can understand, they can trace whatever I mean, that way. So, but the thing is, uh, do we have do we have the people trained for this? Do we have infrastructure that could accommodate all of this? That's another question we should be asking. So, um, on the issue of the Bazoom and uh, Niger, I think um, um, I know the the junta they're trying to like uh, uh, make Bazoom look really bad, um, uh, either it truly or not. But I think Bazoom too has been a trade has, has been a sellout to the French. Uh, for the French people. So um, I would think that, um, yeah, if really Bazoum is guilty of those things. So, see, that's what we're saying. Somebody, because somebody is, a, look at what um, Donald Trump is going through here in America. You know, some of the civil and criminal cases is going through, which can land, some of them can land him in jail. So the question now would be, if he goes into that election, even if he's imprisoned, will they be able to, will they, be able, will they, will they have to go and bring him out of that prison and start becoming a person that see? U.S. Constitution is um, it's so um, so. Uh, how do I say it's uh, some of those things that are not clearly spelled out. That we have to see, just wait and see how it plays, plays out. But the thing is that for a governor, an ex-governor, I mean, I say God, ex-president to have his mock shots. You know what it means? <laughs> he has a mock shot. I don't know if you've seen that mock shot. So that's what we're saying. When we have countries whereby people are brought uh, accountable, you know, that's why I said governors should not have immunity. But I can understand that of a president when he's there because he has to take some decision that is of national scale. So I can understand that. So, boy, Bazoum is um, is guilty of this. Let him face the music. You know, I think the guy is a traitor in some in some ways. You know, uh, letting the uh, French people to come mine their uranium and um, not really getting what is due to his people. You know, I mean, his people are. I mean, Nigeria is one of the most poorest country on earth. But look at those resources they have. And uranium and their oil that is recently they had, that should not at least they should be able to lift at least thirty percent of their of their people out of poverty, you know. But um, the the mass poverty in that part that part of that um, world is just it's just um, it's just unimaginable if you go if you go there. I've been there before, 
I mean, it's just, it's, it's insane. I mean, it goes way that way. I'm talking way back in the nineties, you know, so you can, I mean, you cannot imagine now, you know, so when the population has even exploded than what it used to be. So uh, yeah, if Bazoum is, um, if he's guilty of that treason, I don't, I just don't want him fabricating anything against the guy. If he's not guilty, let him go. But if he's guilty, then let him face the music. Now, what other, other, other topic is there, woman? Woman, are you there? Yeah, yes, I'm here. There's the supermarket um, uh, in Lagos State. Lagos State cracks down on supermarkets without price tag. One market is already it, free. Eh? Huh? Can you not hear me? We can hear you. We can hear you. We just. Uh, oh, 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 all right. I, I thought, no, no, no. More mute around me because our uh, background noise. Uh, uh, yes, uh, Lagos cracks down on supermarkets without price tag, finds shutdowns loom. So uh, Lagos is uh, fast removing itself from the Nigerian experience. It's almost uh, turning into a... Forget the what this thing you're talking about. You see, this is your promotion of Tinubu and his Lagos minions. I mean, I don't know what you're talking about. Show you any problem in Lagos. I mean, it's, it's price tag, the problem in Lagos now. Today we have price control, that you say price tag. So because there's no price tag on anything now. You see... I don't just understand these people. They just want to just, just want to throw narrative out there, show that they are they are doing something. Yesterday, I don't know, you were not here when we were talking about some people were talking about Lagos. I mean, Lagos is a mega slum by by my own by my by the standard of the I mean the different capitals countries that I've been to, even some cities that are not even that are not even considered as world class city. A whole Lagos, come on, the parks. Oh, when the uh, Baba Lano was telling me, yes, uh, the one in front of uh, Shita there, uh, the one was the one again, the, the, the Burio Kuala, those are uh, roundabout, uh, roundabout, they call them uh, parks. I mean, like my, my bum, you know. And you come to our countries here, you see parks. You see, when people don't, when people don't do what they're supposed to do, they are doing something different. You start asking questions. Kilo, I mean, what are, are these people serious about governance? I'm not saying in a normal sense society here, yeah, there should be price tag when you go to a store. You should have a price tag for your stuff, but you know it, there, are, there are certain things that you need to put in place first before you can start. Where, where is the price for price control in this? Thing? So people just put any price there now. All right, they sell uh, they sell off tomatoes. Is, is price tag not price control? Oh, come on, come on, come on. So where, where is the price control? To, where, to, where, where, where well, it, 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 that's standardization of pricing now. Uh, so who, 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 where is the price control in Nigeria? Who, who, where, where is the agency for it? Can you give me the agency if you know one. I'm sure there is. Uh, oh, the, come, on, the, come on. When was the last time you heard them? And you, you are selling different station, you're selling and uh, you're selling gas, like you're selling petrol, you yeah, different prices, and they're telling me price control. One man, you see, when you people come here and you bring all this your session now, APC propaganda, just to distract us so that we don't talk about it. You see, now look at the time I look at because when you sell this kind of thing, you trigger me, and then I want to talk about your shenanigans, and then I don't I was waste all my time talking about this crap. For me, it's just crap. I don't I don't believe do what you're supposed to do first, make food available to people. Develop the city very well. Like they are doing in Lagos, like they are doing in Lagos State. You mean building all these uh, um, mega markets? Mega market. Okay, that's good. If they are building mega market, I, I we brought it here now. You commented on it. Yes. Mega market. Maybe I wasn't here. Maybe 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 I don't know. I can't remember ever commenting on mega market. I don't know. Um, I, I don't know what you're talking about, one man. So, and I've not had people talk about mega market in Lagos. You see, this is one we're talking about the propaganda that APC will throw throw out there. I mean, and then you, you, you was in the last week here. Yeah, we were talking about where some only were talking about uh, kitchen, a uh, soup kitchen. I was like, what was it? What you call it? They said soup kitchen. Would you, have you had, had anybody going to any soup kitchen? We are seeing people being trampled down because they are going to collect uh, whatever palliative or crap they call it. The APC has, has stole Nigerian people too. And you're telling me that uh, now they want to do price control. You see, when you see all this kind of uh, people, want don't want don't niche, don't don't to just come there and just waste people's time, waste their life like that, the lifetime, and then you know they nothing to show for it. Telling me, uh, rational mind. Yeah, rational mind. Yeah, uh, yeah. Watch, watch this. So, so that's the that's one of. It, it, I think there are about fifty of them now. Uh, these are the mega markets being built in Lagos State. Um, uh, food being sold at knockdown prices. Bokarion. So, so, yeah. 
Whether you like it or not, Lagos is pulling well, itself that's up. A good thing. Yeah. Well, I'm saying this now. That's a good thing. I, I, I would admit that, one man. Yeah, that's a good thing. What I'm saying here is, um, that's what is only propaganda, you know. But if it's true, because these days we don't even know what to believe anymore on this on the online anymore. Because if, if you see the way all the dowry, all the dowry, all the dowry, everybody, we need, we, even people here come here and uh, some of them are here right now. Just come and talk and well, just. Uh, well, man, where is this market located? I, I, that's what I'm wondering now. Because where is it? Where is it, man? Uh, the, the girl can tell you. Let me see if I can. Oh, hold on. Uh, hold on. In today's video, I'll be taking you to one of the latest modern food markets in Lagos. Come with me as we go. This is the Lagos Fresh Food Agro Hub. And it is a modern food market that was built by the Lagos State Government here in Mushin. It's is it Mushin? Wow. Hey, Mushi. Yes. Oh, Mushi. Okay. Oh, Mushi. Yeah, Mushi. Yeah, and, uh, and the price, uh, price of things are cheap, dear Abi. It's okay. It, yeah, yeah, yes, it's, it's, it's discounted. Okay. I think it's discounted 25 pesos. Um, uh, if you carry on, uh, you, you hear people I think giving... I would have want to know the location in Mushi because... Yeah, Mushi is Mushi now. Go there now. I don't think it'll be difficult to find. Yeah, there, there must be a particular name in Mushi. Mushi, Mushi is a very big. Uh, Somebody says in the video. Uh -huh. So, so, so that, that is. No, no, I, I think they have like five. Yeah, they, 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 they have several. So, so you don't even have to go to Mushi. Yes, go, I find, 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 find. There should be one not far from you, uh, Kenne. So, so you go there and do a video and send it. No, I've not seen anyone yeah. in Nigeria. There is no one in there. Is there? So, Don't worry. Yeah, I said there is no one in Ojo. So let's. I want to go to that one of Munshi. Uh, okay, go there. Do a video and send it in. Yeah. And, uh, yeah it's a good nobody thing, has said that. It's a good thing. Uh, it's a good thing if it's uh, if it's real. And then I yeah, if it's real, woman, well, I told my, I will applaud them for that um, because I love to see things like this. Um, um, uh, as a country, if you, like you go to like um, um, in, in Cote d'Ivoire. It's the way the country you see that country is one of those countries that I mean they lost track of how they really designed that country. They, I mean that's why they call it Petit Paris. Uh, years and years ago when Ofo Brian was um, the president, that, the way that country was built. I mean like you would see a, a design. They, they, they call it they sorry they call it Onje uh, Onje Eko uh, food discount markets. Okay. So 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 uh, it, it, it's it's everywhere. So. Uh, how is it possible that somebody stays in they stay in Lagos and they don't they've not heard about this? Uh, look look at this now. What are you talking about, um, anybody? I mean, let me all right, uh, Rational Mike, I'll get you one minute. Rational Mike, are you okay? Oh, yeah, yeah, please go on, please go on, go on, please. Yeah, yeah. you see, one man, yeah, you see this uh, designated uh, um, um, farmer's market, or what do I say? It, it is not every day, it, it is um, uh, some particular days in the week. And then you go and bulk buy it now for the week. <laughs> yes, you go and bulk buy it for the week now. Yeah. Hold on. The way you are seeing it being shown on TV is not the way it is. So it's hard. You have to line up. You have to struggle. You have to be giving ticket. They don't want people to, you know, uh, maybe they don't want people buying it and then going out to resell it. So they have to put structures in, yeah. No, other than people uh, buying it to go and resell it, it is it is um, a, a, a ticket base. You have to get tickets to enter, and then there is a limit you can buy. Is you know, but yes, it, uh, you have to buy household quantity, not commercial quantity. Oh, yeah. No, no, yeah, you we have to line up before you get in. Yes, you enter, you enter in an orderly fashion. It's not this, that do be, it, it, yeah. be able to do it better. You know, I'm it's not better. They, they it should be rowdy. This is the uh, they, they just started. Maybe they will get better along the, you know, uh, on the way forward. But 
you cannot even go and buy something there if you are there because you go through the pains that you're going to go through to even get in it's talk less of uh, you know um, before you get and they ration it inside there whatever you are buying like i said it's only one kilo you can get here it's only one kilo you can get on this thing. so it's not that uh, you can buy quantity as you want that you think is uh, enough for your family so they ration it you understand what i'm saying so um they have to do better it's good it's good you said i mean but the a, point is a, the right point right. is a the yeah. point but is I was even uh, trying to deny that it, it doesn't uh, exist. Want, it, 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 what it, 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 I, 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 I noticed here, yeah, just like you say, it's everywhere. It's every. It's in every local government in or in, in Lagos. I once I noticed it, I will go there, but I've not heard about it, and I've not uh, hear people around me talk about it, or saying that there is a place you get uh, uh, cheap food in Lagos State. There is a particular market that when you go there, you get a. Uh, a uh, cheap uh, uh, product in that market. I've not heard about it, and I've not heard people around me speak about it. But what I promise one man is that if I had, if I hear anything about it, I must try to visit it. That's that's why I've been asking where is the location, and you have just confirmed that it's everywhere in in, in Lagos State, which means there must be one in Ojo. You say this, you know, in every local government. So I'll look for it, and once I go there, I'll video it one man. So there is no two ways about it. But I've not oh, had it. But oh, if I see, oh, I will visit. Oh, oh, all right, Rashida might give me a minute. Let me just see if I can locate one for a can I? Well, you'll be buying at a reduced cost. Three weeks after the pronouncement was made by Governor Babajide Somolu, the Lagos Sunday market. Oh, oh, okay. It doesn't give you. Uh, okay, I thought this gave us location, but uh, but now it's 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 been built everywhere. Uh, can I? It, it will knock on your door soon, and you'll find out. Well, but do you, do, do you approve of this uh, rational mind? Is this well, a pattern on the back? Yeah, you see, I, I'm, I'm for anything that is for the people. But this, this is tokenism, you know. Uh, I know what this is all about. On this one, yeah, on this one, yeah, you rather that, and you're your last one. Like, you just turn our people to, I mean, that's the noble for you. That's just politics, you know. Uh, keep the people poor, they will come back to you uh, so that they can always vote you and sing your praise. That's what that's the kind of politics it does. It's not about empowering people, it's not about business for himself. He runs the Lagos. He launched really got still like a, like a business, you know. Um, uh, all he cares about is uh, make money, make money, you know. Uh, make BRT, uh, put toll gate here, uh, do this one. Uh, that's all he cares about. He doesn't care about how does how do we how do we make water pipe bomb water into people's home. People can get water. I mean, in the seventies, eighties, when Babaki Kere was there, this guy did a lot. When it comes to infrastructure, all those um, uh, illegal conde that we used to have back then, a lot of them, even some of them, even some of those flats, those illegal goro, illegal goro on um, Western Avenue, Western Avenue there, uh, Shita area up to even those uh, Eric more towers there, all of them they have waters. Even there is a water, is it water works very not far from the, very very uh, in somewhere in the, uh, Eric more there. There's a place where even all the whole excrete and everything goes into in Eric more there, Eric more towers there. The way they design those places. But then, ever the, over the years, these guys just they just abandon all this thing or sell, sell them to their cronies. People just make money out of it. They don't even care, taking care of all these properties and all of that, even all the roads. You see, the point is this, one man. What I'm not trying to say is that Tinubu is just running, and all these people that he put there, they all run Lagos, and that's the same template he's bringing to Nigeria. We're talking about the now, now super or whatever highway that he's trying to do. Don't even care about the ecological impact and um, maybe some of these uh, places people will not be able to go out for leisure anymore to the sea anymore because everything now. It's, uh, it's it's has been taken over by the road. You see, all because he wants to tow that place and get money, and you know that's all they care about. So you see, when we have people who are not visionaries like this, who are just all for themselves and just to make money, uh, it comes to nullity. You don't run a country like that. I mean, I, I was saying to somebody here yesterday, go to places like uh, Namibia, go and see how they build their own coastal road. You can still go to those those those. Um, uh, so, so those coasts, and you still see beaches there. You can still sit down and enjoy the, the beauty and the, the good, the good breeze. Yeah, but who build, 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 build them? Though? Is it not good for us to wait? No, no. We we'll, we'll build them before we can start. Talking. Well, well I, I hope, I hope. But what I'm seeing already, you know, well, I, I, you I understand what you're saying. But yeah. on the people you want, 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 what I'm saying is this: 
for the fact that we read here that somebody's property is going to be chopped off. And I, I, that was why I'm saying all of these things. So if the fixation is that area there, they want to... That, that's, a, that's a false uh, narrative. Uh, I, I was listening to it yesterday, but unfortunately... So what's, what's, what's the correction there? The, the, what, what's the narrative? The and, is, um, and when I still, I still probably send it to one man. So what yeah. happened was that the guy, he, he, uh, he had a communicate, they actually communicated officially to him through the Lagos state government, right? And the guy acknowledged, right? But because of, uh, there's a there's this guy on Twitter that is always trying to, one of those propagandists that came to, you know, spread different narrative. So the guy, they said, is going to be a portion, right? And even when the guy himself, I think his name is something on who, on who, whatever his name, on who he be or whatever it is. So when he was describing it, he said it was just a little portion, right? That is probably less than, if you have to put it together, less than probably like a mile together, that was going to be affected. That they wrote to him that by virtue of the ongoing project, right, this would be the consequence of what they are doing. And he acknowledges that they, and thank them that they, they are even considering having to compensate him for they, they told him to, in fact, they told him to file for compensation. Yeah, God, God bless you, one man. And then he acknowledged it and he, he, he replied and responded. That it's okay for him and they, everything that he will provide every details that they need about his compensation and then he'll put his team together to like to have uh you know uh, a meeting with the state government officially and if the federal government is involved uh the state government will be able to help him you know uh you know uh pitch his point to the federal government so it can be respond it can be re refunded they said that's okay everything was fine but yeah. some some house you know somewhere there's this guy, Kalu Aja, whatever his name is. On, uh, By the time the obedience got over the bit, it became a so different they story. It, they brought a, a different story to it. And the guy, through the uh, through the media communication of his company, came out again to debunk it and no, so that there won't be there won't be a clash between him and the Lagos State government and the federal government about what they're trying to do. And he actually said he commended the federal government and the state government for even looking forward to have such a gigantic project going through different the nine different states. So we have to, if, if they are making projects, people will complain. If they are not making projects, people will still complain. What actually do Nigerians actually want? But everything cannot be politics. But well, well, all he just said now, oh, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. What, all he just said now, I thought maybe there's something not to, but the fact is that they're going to, that, either he got it or he doesn't got that uh, property, whatever, however I get it. But the point is that, 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 that place where that guy has that property, those structures are going. They want to build of course, road. it will go now for yeah, for no, national that's, for that's national. That, no, that, so let's not let's okay, leave out the other. Which one you take? We rather no, no, take. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's not that, that, that's not the that's not the debate here. National interest. What are you talking the, the, about? No, this is not national. No, come on. It's come national come interest. We are talking about national interest. It is not national interest. It's national interest. If it's not national interest, no, no, it is not. It is not. It is not. Okay, that's to you. It's a PPP. It is a PPP. No, forget the PPP. Do not think that. Come on, come on. Who gets, oh, hold who, gets, on. who gets the money? Who gets the money? No, hold on, rational mind. Who, who um consider this? Does uh, that super highway does it open up the economies in all those nine states that it will pass through? Woman, well, I, 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 I'm not I'm not here for this year boxing in no one corner this year. It's not this boxing kind of now. You want to box me? Like, an individual. Yeah. We, we understand. We understand the. No, uh, the uh, rational mind. You are considering oh, an individual businessman. As what? against the as against the interest of nine nine states and their okay. and their interest, their businesses, okay, their IGR, yeah. just okay. because of only an individual, and they have they've already reached an agreement about having to compensate. So what else do you want? What I, if I, wish, I wish them the best for that. I wish them the best for that. So uh, we have we have we have a um, uh, Biniore Expressway that links up to the up, up up to the east. That one they are bad on that. You know they want to go and go to the coast and and. and and, and do that one. people yeah, yeah, the country. It means you are not current. It means you are not current. And it's okay. This is the fallacy. It's okay. of having conversation. And this is the fallacy of having conversation. With anything it does is right, right? Anything it does is right. 
That's what you know, if we, we are not saying anything. We are, we are you know, that's what you are. you're saying. Everything he does is right. You are that's not listening because you are not listening. You are you are listening with a biased mindset. I'm talking to you right now. No, no. I've heard what you have to say. If, you have to okay, say, how don't you? Why yourself. don't you know? Why don't you know the fact before you before you start? You know what is the fact? What is the fact? What is the fact? You did you say anything anything different from what we read? Yeah, last. But you are not. Hold on. The debate we're having here was that we're going to chop down. But you can't differentiate between an individual interest and a national. But you came here. You're saying that oh they. He has applied, they are asking to apply to the Lagos State. No, but you cannot differentiate interest. between national yeah, interests. That's not what we're talking about. That's why you people, you people come here, you spin, you spin. We are not spinning anything. If you don't understand the meaning of spin, you don't use it Those again. Those structures are going. Those structures are going. If you don't going, understand what spin means, don't use it again. If you don't understand the differentiation between national interest and personal interest, then don't talk, don't, don't talk about it. If you don't know what the national interest, what is national interest? What you are talking about? People come under the guise of whatever on national TV. People, people That's come, what I'm people come under the guise of whatever and saying it's national interest. What, 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 what are what screaming? Do, do you not do you not think um yeah, that, do you think it, do do you not think that um a a, a, a super highway traversing right. nine states? It, you don't think that's national interest? Superhighway, super highway, my super highway, my foot. I mean, we, we, we see, we see, one man, we, we say... Uh, it's Shonipawa. already in construction. There are about seven, ten kilometers going. But it's only power. We all live to that time. We'll see till that time. We'll see even beyond that time. We'll see. Because this, the project, they say, is going to last. It's going to, it's going to, out, it's going to out, out, um, outlast him. That's how they say it. Even after, beyond when he's left the office. So now, we're going to now see... You're, now you're, you don't get the point. It's in faces. It's in faces. So that's what I'm telling you. If you don't understand, come on, come on. You don't understand what you're talking about. Don't call me and create whatever I have to say. Do, 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 do. Oh, all right. If I'm talking, if I'm talking, if I said it's going to outlast it, whatever it is, faces or whatever faces, the point is that you are not listening. You allow me speak. Enigmatic. Yeah, rational mind has to flow. Let me carry on. Yeah, but my parents now and let us know. No, the 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 that's what I'm saying, and then you're trying to spin it, make it look as no, if it's going to terminate in 20 in, in 70 year of the administration, as in the in same phases. The last phase, the mm. last phase will be concluded. Mm. The last phase will be concluded, I think, is in uh, Calabar, where it will be ending. The last phase will conclude and it will be handed over officially okay. to Nigerian government and Aquaibon and uh, Cross River State government. But the other state, they would have been using when, other when, 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 when will it be done? Go and check it out now. Since you should know, you should know what you are talking about. That's what I'm telling well, you. When we, I say we, we, we were here talking about this, it means the one problem. in Edo State would have been used. They would have been using the Edo State yeah. both before even the seventh year. <sighs> the one in Edo State, the one in in other state would have been used before the seventh year. When? How long would the whole project last? Because from what we now again, it is in phases. Okay, it means uh, the uh, one in Odo State would have been effectively let's, let's not let's not do this phase three years before the before we, the last one. We understand. We understand how project works. Some of us understand how project works. It is in phase. We know. State. But so, the totality of it. That's what we're saying. The totality of it. it when is it going to end? Go and find out. You cannot really see. That's what we're saying. Don't come here and telling me it's in phases. It's going to be seven years. I just told you now. It's going to be seven point five years, and then it's going to be phases. It means the one in Odo State. They would have been using it before even the one. You, 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 you guys do, 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 do. You guys do, 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 do. It's enough. <laughs> I mean, we do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Oh, 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 right. You have to let him land so that we can. I, I did say eight minutes, but about the interjections as well. All right. Let me take you to one more space, uh, rational mind, and then I'll go to enigmatic. Uh, we, we have to try and adhere to the eight minutes as much as we can, just so that. But People I, I are wish, not kept. I wish I would allow me to interrogate him like this, though, because he keeps interrogating me. I, I, I mean, I, I could not even put more word in. So I hope he does that because he goes on a long, on a long monologue. So I hope you do that. You allow me to target to you. Uh, I, I mean, uh, enigmatic. No, I, so, I, 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 I do no, oh, 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 All right, let me take you to the uh, uh, Alan Onyema space. Um, um, it looks as though the voters are circling around that they want to destroy that route. Uh, because that's the route that, you know, a good 20% of some of these airlines' profits actually come of that Lagos, come out of that, uh, come from that Lagos London route. So he now slashing the price to 30% of what they, 
So they are circling around him to, to, to kick him out of the space. So what are you making of the headline? Uh, foreign carriers engage, uh, engage in, in a price war to frustrate airplanes out of London. Well, man, you see, uh, if you see this um, Alain Oyema uh, saga, I mean, I know he has a uh, water uh, What are you making of the ego, ego? Well, I, uh, I, uh, yes. I come to that, at least. They are hosting something, uh, yeah, and it's multi yeah, Nigerian, of yeah, course. This year, go. Yeah, it's a good, it's a good uniform, yes. It's a good, yes. Yeah, yeah, go on, man. It's a good, or it goes, I mean. All right, so yeah, well, so um, well, right now, man, you know how to pronounce Igbo words very well. Ah, uh, I don't know Igbo now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I I understand, I mean, I understand a little, but I can't speak over much because I, I do have a lot of Igbo friends, uh, mostly my friends. Yeah, so let, yes, let's just leave. I don't know, maybe I said it very well. I don't know Igbo, I mean, whatever. I mean, I, let's leave that. So <laughs> it's, it's okay, anyway. So, my point is this is that, um, uh, what I'm saying is that, um, you see. Uh, some people came here a while ago. Uh, this person is still here. That's enigmatic. Enigmatic. I mean, you know, you and I, we have this our beef, our personal beef. He, he came here. He said something about, oh, um, some people started this uh, ethnic, ethnicizing the whole um, uh, election. What about it now? What's well, wrong now? I mean, I mean, okay, this is not personal. I mean, when I mean personal, I mean, you know, you and I will be going on forward on some of the issues. You and I obedient and I but don't we, we clash ourselves on that. So there's nothing personal here. I'm not trying to attack your person. I just want, I hope you understand that. So now you said here a while ago that some people ethnicize this whole thing. No, Tinubu started the whole ethnicizing of the whole thing. When you people point finger and you don't see the rest pointing at you, and you will just blow up the thing because somebody just did it too, and then you start make it like, oh, <laughs> they are the one that started before before us. I mean, what kind of I mean, you see, when we say this, we just lies and half truth and half lies that you people tell, you will paint a narrative, you will bring some kind of truth to it. Yeah, it's a truth. I mean, it's a, it's a given. It's a fact that, well, maybe not, not well, I don't know if he, if he admitted to it, but at least some people say that he was, um, it was a doctor, it was, was AI or kind of, um, when he said uh, it's a religious war. I mean, we, you can spin it however you want to spin it. Yeah. Uh, we, you know, I heard it when you were saying it now. Oh, when you said uh, war to the people from the other religion, it's a jihad to them. So you're declaring jihad on them. You know, that's what it is. So look at how you took it to, and anybody could anybody could spin it that way, but in the context of what he was saying, we understand what he was saying. But look at how some people spin it like yourself, or, um, uh, enigmatic. But no, it's okay, it's okay. But we knew how it began. Who started the whole thing about religion? When he said he was going to the north, and then he has turned uh, religion to another thing. But we saw how Tinubu turned the clergy to some to some some kind of um, comedy, where some of them were, were, were not even some of them were not even real. Uh, real um, clergymen, <laughs> they were giving clergy clothes just to, you know, just to promote their Muslim Muslim tickets because just to make it look like, no, it's not, uh, it's not, uh, it's not what you people are thinking. We, we, we accept every religion, you know, who started the whole thing? Who, 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 who paid um, uh, the, the, the kind of state governor money to go and look for all the mullahs to even make prayers for him, even before the, even before the, uh, the primaries even began. There was a guy who was his campaign, who was championing his campaign at the, at the beginning. Even when him, uh, Former, former vice president, they were all contesting. There was a time they paid some mullahs, about 70 or 800 mullahs in uh, Kano to pray for Tinubu. What was that all about? Is that not, is that, is that, is that not, is that not a religion? So what are you talking about? So when somebody went to uh, Abel Kuta, he was saying, our locum, Yoruba locum, Emi locum. When he said all that, what, 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 what do you read to that? And all this why we've not even heard about uh, it's a religious war that you people go and went to go and, um, go and doctor or I don't know if it's true or whatever it is. He bring he brought it out at later that he, I mean he said this. I mean, so when you are pointing finger at other people, look at yourself. So between people started it. And so when we're giving it tip for that, or as it, as it, as it appears to be, then why are you complaining? And the same thing that you know this issue of this guy's uh, uh, business is a pi is a private business. You see all the Abado people masturbating online online over this matter of this guy. Calling this guy name, the thing will fail. He said, "Airline will fall down." And I mean, like, I mean, what is going on? The toxicity that APC, this demonic party, has brought to that people, that country, the psyche of the, the psyche of the of the people of Nigeria, and that is what is following some this some of this uh, Yoruba ham of um, wing of the uh, of uh, Tinubu people. I mean, you people just run with anything or whatever the narrative this that this 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 bigoted uh, Yoruba uh, arm of um, uh, of APC. 
they will just spill out there and then some of you will come here and just throw it out here on, on platforms and you say we want to reconcile we want to we want to bring people together we want to harmonize people all of us realize that we are all one people as a country and you continue spewing this in online go on twitter go and see how some people are I mean, on instagram and even on facebook go and see how some people are i mean wishing death on this guy's uh, business so am i still not, am i not surprised when they when foreign uh, foreign airlines are trying to skim him out of the business too because we are talking about almost nine billion dollars how much how much how much was that billion dollars that nigerian naira nigerian uh, cbn fails to pay these foreign airlines these are money that we could trap in our own vault in the cbn our manufacturers can borrow from it they can get go and buy whatever they need to buy it will push dollar down the dollar versus naira it will push it down because when we have enough foreign currency in the system but this guy is trying to help so that this money does not keep going to these foreign foreign airlines like ba and maybe Emirates, and maybe United Airlines, and all of So we can trap it so that if the dollar that people should be paying to this foreign airline is trapping our system, that will solve that aspect. But the people don't see that. All they see is because an Igbo man has it. So we must just run his business down. I mean, when people now say Igbo, some Igbo feel that people, some people are, 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 are victim, I mean, I, I mean, are targeting them. You wonder why they said that. Whether it is true or it's just imaginary or perceived, but the reality is what we're seeing. How people go, go, just go, go online, go and see some of these APC people. Look at how they attack this guy's uh, business. He's an Igbo man. Oh, wow. I mean, somebody I, I, I was listening to somebody a while ago, and he was saying that when when uh, uh, this Adenuga that owns uh, what's his name, uh, Globe, when he was introducing his uh, because it was his, when uh, when night when night when uh, night failed, when they sold Nitel out. And Adele Nuga came and bought, uh, I don't know if he bought Nigel, but he, he created Glue. We knew how, how we started his own business too. How we use uh, uh, your, and uh, uh, this uh, Yoruba cultural thing to promote his, uh, his business. But nobody said, oh, a national carrier, our, our, our national carrier, Glue. Uh, but, but rational mind, rational mind. mind. This is the rational mind. Okay, okay, that's me, but those me. people, those people you said are attacking online, they are just rascals doing their yeah rascals so but who are these rascals is, 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 hold on hold on now you cannot rob a pc with that kind of uh, 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 a rascal so because if not for tinubu apc or yemama not even have got this rouse that he he got with uh, britain so you have to give the, the credit to Tinumbu administration and Kayamu, particularly as the minister, for putting all the resources behind Oyema to achieve this, uh, um, um, uh, uh, this, this uh, uh, scheduled flight that uh, has been granted now um, uh, by, by, by British you know, to fly between Nigeria and Britain. But, so, but you, but after seven years of frustration. Hold on now. Why are you asking? For his own country. Why are you talking like this, for God's sake? If this no, why, why, am I, why, should I, why should I not be talking like hold that? After now. seven this years of frustration yeah. from the APC yeah. yeah. government for eight years, for almost this seven years. And and there for eight I, years. Are they the same, are they the same people? Is the APC team? Is APC team? Is it the same what people? The rational after, same people? after saying that, uh, after coming on, on national TV to say that uh, he's not competent, that he is doesn't the have the capacity. Worry plus is worry it Tinumbu that, that was there the in the last eight years? Year. No, you are saying you are saying, saying that APC should not be this and that, but it's APC now. Rob, it's not the same APC now. I said don't rob Tinumbu APC. Don't rob Tinumbu APC with this rascal idiot that were doing all this thing. it is not the number apc because it's the who APC are the who are the current people, people who are the current people that is uh, angry of the of the attire that is being worn uh, the attire the ACI attire. who are the current apc is it the last apc which apc a a apc the only APC thing i know is that apc has divided this country more than what it used to be uh -huh. so anybody can everybody they go their way now if it's a different direction we are going on a different direction if apc don't divide make everybody they go their way the the point remains that is tenumbu and his team that make it possible for yema to get this thing if they have not put their weight behind him it wouldn't have got him 
if they have acted the way that um, 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 uh, Buari and his team did, Oyema would not, wouldn't have got this thing. So these people talking nonsense against Oyema online, you should not see them as Tinumbu people. They are not. They are not Tinumbu people. But, 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 but what's, what's, oh, what's, what's, what's the issue? Don't rub the new that stupid people that are politically correct. It's not fear. It's not fear. You've got to balance your argument. You have to balance your position. Can I balance it now? You have to balance it and make it look objective. Even when we want to classify individuals here, right on this platform, we do not say Labour Party or Igbo people, we say obedience. So if you are saying, uh, because the same, there's a different minister, Hadi Sirika was there for those eight years that punished this guy, the, uh, the whole, the entire, um, uh, uh, what is the uh, entire board under Ministry of Aviation, all the director generals, 13 or 15 of them, new ones, brand new ones, a new president, right? New cabinet. Now, when you have people who are going after themselves on social media, you know, as, uh, I saw it to call it Ishiago or whatever, would you say because obedient are always acting in a stupid manner on, on social media, you say it is Labour Party or you say it's Igbo people? No, you always have to differentiate. So you don't lump things together. Don't say because uh, uh, Buhari, under Buhari's administration now, Oyema, uh, Alan Oyema's airpiece had issues. And because in eight months of a new administration, there was a there, there was a pathway for him, and then you, you want to say it is Tinubu. How 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 do you want to that rationalize that? Let, 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 let me not rationalize it. But you 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 enigma, yeah. enigmatic oh, used oh, to oh, put it uh, some people from particular yeah, region yeah. now. Yeah, That's yeah, how you used to put your own your own, your own narrative. When I'm talking oh, pragmatic, oh, 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 all right, uh, uh, rational mind, bring it home just to manage yeah, the I mean, time. Uh, I did say eight minutes, but uh, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, and they said you were going to use 80 minutes, so oh, you used yeah, 80 minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 But the thing is this, um, you know, when we make comments like this, I mean, no, there's no, I'm not trying to attack you here. Uh, I understand on those states, um, the, I think one of the, um, one of the um, presidential, I mean, uh, governorship aspirants is also married to an Igbo. And I had a, I had, I had, not as if I was told, I saw it. When a comment was made, I don't want to talk. Let me not mention. But who knows? Who knows himself? He knows himself. Ah, no, enigmatic, enigmatic. You don't need to go too far. Uh, I mean, uh, rational mind. You don't need to go too far. Uh, enigmatic uh, supported uh, 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 that that man should not contest on uh, in on those states. Uh, enigmatic uh, supported it. I had it clear because because he married an evil woman. Hear it from me now. Hear it from me now. Pure and clear. Okay, hear it from me now. Hear not hear see. Look at listen carefully now. From enigmatic on the right, Olusho Lauke is a prominent politician in Ondo State, right? From Ikale, your region, in Ondo State. He has two wives, one of them from Ondo State, the other one, I think, second wife from that, from uh, from from wherever he come from, right? In the southeast. Now the 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 conversation was around the proprietary of Ondo State next governor having an outsider. So quote and unquote now. Outsider means somebody out of Ondo State, particularly from Southeast, by virtue of the, the experience, the, the nasty experience they had, right, with the last uh, First Lady. My comment was so succinct and was, was, was very straightforward that if that is what is going to stop Olusholauke, then so be it. So, and I put conjecture and I put scenarios, right, that even Ojuku's wife, who were from Enugu State, was was rubbish in the southeast. The guy Umba, the current the current governor of Enugu State, is from he, he has his roots from Ebony State. There was a campaign of calumny against him, never to be governor of Enugu State because of that. And I put everything into perspective. Go and listen to it. And Ekene, who is spreading it to you now, 
I saw him that day that he was there. Go and listen to what I said, and I'm repeating it again. If on those state people say they don't want an Igbo first lady, they don't want it. She should go and be first lady wherever she comes from. How many? How well, many state that, governments? That's not even state what you said. Has, 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 when has, I come out, I will tell you what you said. The Southwest Igbo well, lady. It's okay. It's okay. Um, it's okay. So um, if if if, if anyone want to be going everywhere to be looking for an no, no, no. I cannot. Apart from enigmatic, enigmatic. Apart from where I cannot say that. I I found out myself. I yeah. So and I'm saying it to you again. I understand. Tomorrow, tomorrow, they don't miss you. Ah, and they tell you now. You are true. You are true. Jackie, sorry. So, Aja, 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 you cannot say that these are these. So you don't talk about that. All right, gentlemen. Contributing to that. Gentlemen, let let um, um, rational mind land. Um, uh, bring it on rapidly. Yeah, so, so that uh, you see, uh, uh, why I brought this up? Oh, oh, hold on, you are next enigmatic. Then you can, uh, but yeah. you, I will have to restrict you somewhat uh, because uh, uh, so many people still waiting to speak. Uh, but uh, yeah. I'm sorry, um, yeah, no, no, yeah, Karen, yeah. So, so when we make when we make we know how the atmosphere the, in which that country is. So when we make this politically, I mean, ethically charged comment like this, it, it kind of makes people wonder that you see. What we've been saying that's what is going on look at it somebody just said you know, he was wishing death or whatever to this person because of his wife he would i mean what, what i mean he's a human you know so wishing uh, death who, who is, no, I'm, who not saying, death? I'm not saying wishing death okay for woman i'm just saying in a sense like oh i mean wishing him i mean because of his wife because wishing he's not, you Heal, whatever. When I say death, the woman, I, mean, I understand. I'm not trying to say. Oh, hold on, enigmatic. Yeah. So on. My point is this. My point is this, guys. Is that we need to cut this crap. It's it's a BS. It's not. We're, we're talking about trying to bring everybody together. But when we make this comment that are very that are divide divisive comments, I mean, it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't bring people together. I mean, I understand the the uh, Akaridu narrative of his wife, how Betty became some kind of a powerful woman in Nondo State, and even at the detriment of the Yondo State people. I understand that. And that is why when people like Ignatic will be expressing that kind of view, I can understand it. But you know, sometimes we just have to restrain ourselves. We're starting to I understand that even the Igbos today. Did, did you hear did you hear about Akere Dodo's brother going to remarry his wife? Uh, we have that Omashi Omashi Maloko, Omashi Loko. But he went to ask for her again. So I married Mary Betty. Yes. Okay, Professor yes. Akere Dolu, his name is. Yeah. Okay, so that's our Omashu in our side. Omashu in Lopo. So, I'm So, uh, if my, let's, like, there's one of my um, cousin, if it's his, his brother that followed him, he doesn't, Omafu, he's breaking me off. But I won't do that. I don't want to do that. I get my own truck. I get my own wallet. Say, I want to carry my cousin, I mean, his uh, wife. So, that, that, we do that. We still do that. I mean, when they, when they asked me recently, my other brother called me, say, I'm the next person. I said, no, don't get, don't give me that crap. So the point is this, is that we do that. Uh, we still do that. You know, some people does that a lot. So my point is that, you see, we need to call this BS. I mean, we're talking about national unity. But when we see people like this, you know, we know when people like um, this uh, advisor to Tinubu will be making comments, let this be the last time that the uh, Igbos will be, you know, like me. And now the guy is serving in Asura. So what do you expect to, to think about the APC have not been the orchestrate, uh, people who are orchestrating this whole religion and this ethnic division in that country. So we will we, we think about it like that. When people like, like, like you, like Edimati, when we say, when people hear comments like what you said, people will also say, oh, you see, he's an Agadu person or as an APC yeah, person. They, they, they go hold transformer now. Oh, oh, all right, it, it, it must land, otherwise we so, won't get so, to you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, bring no, it over. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 We need, we need, we need ah, reconciliation. Okay. We all need reconciliation. So if Tinubu wants to be that person that wants to reconcile everybody, he needs to call his attack dogs in APC. To, to, to shit their soul, that it's, it is time for us to move on. Because this whole thing, narrative of always um, uh, What about people. the obedience? Who's going to tell them to shift their sword? And or if, are you... If they, if, they, if they do not, I for one, I'll be one of those people that will be call, calling them out there and I'll be attacking well, them. you never did. No, I did. I do. I do. Oh, you see, this is, this is, <laughs> I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, you see, let me, let me just conclude so I can pick up from there. So, in conclusion, one man, I think we all need to move forward. Enough of this uh, antagonizing this guy's business. It's a private business. It's not called Nigerian Airways or Nigerian Air. It's called Air Peace. You need to understand it. So if he decides, like like Adenuga, uses Air Yo or uses whatever your back cultural thing to promote his global com, uh, business, same thing. This guy has the right to promote his business with his own traditional attire. So we need to call these people loose. Let us call them. I mean, when I mean call them loose, let them let them be. They're part of the union. They are also part equal. 
uh, a, uh, equal member of the ad union. They're not subordinate to any of us. The Yorubas, the Igbo, and the Hausas, they are also part of it. So I mean, I'm not trying to be apologetic, but the point is we need to cut this off and move forward and stop this. Okay, what you, that you, 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 you don't think there's a... Price no, no, price don't, don't ask him a question because I want, I want to... Break. No, oh, it's oh, not speaking oh. to the topic. That's what I'm saying. What does uh, that yeah, well, you know, price but price on a different on a different angle. My angle is this: I I had to link this all at, uh, attacking this um, uh, airline to Tinubu people and all of that. But I understand that it was like Ajayi Koko said. It was during Tinubu that this airline had this license to fly to London, which is commendable. I don't get that. Tinubu needs to call his attack dog, attack dogs to stop this crap. But uh, about the foreign airlines, uh, well, it's competition now. So, uh, if we, our own people, can be antagonizing our own uh, our own airline that should bring in us, that should be helping us to trap foreign foreign uh, uh, foreign uh, hard, hard, hard end foreign uh, forex in our in our system, and then other people are now attacking it, trying to bring in some kind of shady way of frustrating the air business. I mean, our uh, local air business. Then we we'll continue in this drama of having to continue paying out this hard end dollars or pounds selling to these foreign airlines. So we, if we are fighting them, we Nigerians are fighting APIs. Same bad things about it. What do we expect these foreign airlines to be doing? So, uh, Oriola, my the way I, the angle I'm coming to this topic is different from maybe the way you are expecting me. I will go on a different tangent. So that's what I'm saying. We need to unite and promote on the land bill aruge on 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 Oh, you're a because we need that money. Because we're talking about Naira falling every time, every time. We need to trap this money in our system. So let us promote our thing, whatever how they want to promote, whoever owns the business, whatever. Will, let us promote it so that even if these foreign airlines are attacking it like they're trying to do now, we will stand our ground. No, it's our it's our local business. We want to support. We want to promote it. Oh, yeah. So what? Oh, that's oh, why oh, I really that. Oh, oh, all right, brilliant, excellent. So that was rational mind. So uh, on from rational mind to enigmatic, I did say eight minutes. Uh, let's see if we can contain uh, enigmatic within that uh, time slot. Uh, so enigmatic, you know the talking points. You can either speak to them or whatever is more germane to your thoughts. Uh, uh, you're up next, enigmatic, Hondi. Okay, one man. Thank you so much. Uh, let me. I think uh, rational mind made uh, he made uh, the bed for me already. Let me just uh, sleep. You know comfortably on it so let me just start with this to put some things in proper perspective uh i know uh the uh the obedient uh let me say guy here he comes to say to report me wherever he finds me which is okay there's another one that uh, he says almost everything uh everything about individuals but i don't nobody cares about that but I will say this, my other state in Oshun State, the governor, we, uh, one of the first ladies, there are two of them, she's from the Southeast, right? Uh, we know that uh, the Adelikes, they have this relationship with the Southeast folks and stuff like that, right? And we've been able to see how they're able to manage it in that space. But in those states, there's an election coming up, right? They said one of those things, that they will be looking out for is they will not support. Olu Sholaki is a very good man. When he was the um, director general of the oil producing area in those states, he did a human job. He's been there. He, he was at the time a national you know, party member in APC. Even, even in this election, he doesn't have a fighting spirit because the last uh, presidential election, he did some stuff that would not actually work for him. So the ticket is not even going to go to him, so to say. But they said, these are the things that we are looking out for in our next governor in you know, those states. That's what they said. And they requested, you know, a conversation from a couple of people. So when I was speaking, I said, in this manner, in this manner, this is what they say they want. If the people of those states say 
for you to be our next governor, right? We will identify with you only if we can identify with your wife coming from Ondo State or any part of the Southwest. Would you say they don't have their right or they do not have the liberty to choose who they want to be their first lady? So if your albatross is your first lady, so be it. So what do you want them to do? So when you flip the coin, because everybody, they want to play the victim card every time. And Ondo State people do not care. They care less about that, their victim card pulling. They don't care about that. You know those State people very well, one man, right? They are very straightforward and they will say what they have to say behind you just in your presence. What you want, what do you want to do? So they told them black point blank. Olusha Locke is a good candidate, but he, he has an evil wife, and because of that, we will not go with him. So be it. So if he wants to go to, to really be prepared to, to be the governor, is, is, say, is that a backlash uh, for the obese, obese, obese? Yeah, because they never actually nobody cared about that in the past. Nobody cared, but this is part of the consequences of the 2023 election and how Obi ran his campaign. Ah, uh, no, no, Adipatic. no, no, no. Papa, well, they don't, nobody cares oh, who you hold married. On, hold on, hold on. Let me interject one minute. I, I don't think it's because of Obi, but it's because of what Akere Dulu wife did. The way it, it did not, she did not open up with women particularly in that state the way she you know um arrogate so much power and um um how do you, this arrogancy uh, she, with, def no, she no, deflected no. a lot of projects yeah, and yeah. there's there so, this particular that board I, right they, if, um, uh, it, 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 somebody that is not even son of the soil or daughter of the soil treating us like this because it's exactly. the first lady no we are not going to accept this anymore so she didn't she didn't open um she, she didn't have an open door um uh, 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 practice or open door policy she didn't she didn't she failed to to um uh, 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 unite or you know she she failed to bring the woman particularly closer to her but rather she was she was running a one woman show and so arrogant and so you know talking down on them and you know so they don't want something like that to happen she, to them. she's she's just a very pugnacious human so being that, that was right. you know that's just to summarize it one more so and when they say going forward we do not want this type of human being right this woman this type of woman to be the first lady of our state so what? So do they actually expect me to come to this platform and say I, I didn't say it because you are because you are you are my daddy, because you pay my bills and who you who are you to say I shouldn't say what I have to to say speak my mind because it makes you feel bad and so what? Go and hug transformer now. You know what to do if it makes you feel bad. If you hear my voice, if it makes you feel bad. Log out of the program and move on. So I'll keep to say I'll never make me feel bad. I'll not I'll not hold on to my You keep saying it every time. No, 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 now you know, what is the fifth time? This is the fifth Just for you to start, continue to be spreading your no problem. That's your bigotry and everything everywhere. It doesn't concern me now. Now you be taking concern. You know, me, not be person. We don't be person where we are. You know, we are in the pain. Now you know where the bigotry they pay you now. So continue to wear and the worker now. What is concern me? Bigotry is the language and the lexicon of the obedience. Uh -huh. That is the lexicon that you guys learned in 2023. You guys have misused this. Everything bigotry, bigotry, bigotry. But when we are talking about bigotry, go back to Southeast and look at the numbers in the last election. It's just to tell you the, the kind bigotry. of uh, person you are, nothing more. So why the kind always, of uh, why bigotry always, you, have, uh, you have, you have in you. So there is why nothing more about that. You've never seen me before. I've you never, I've you never had, had anything, before. anything uh, educating from you that more than more than bigotry. You, so okay, that's what I wanted to let you. And I'm pointing at number, number. Numbers and places where you have displayed it is okay. not a hidden really? thing. So sometimes that's why I said. Uh, I that's why I, I said I, I I I always I always pinpoint it so that you I know. Tell you, I will tell you where I will. Oh, so, you know now you know where the issue they pay you. If yeah, you see an Igbo woman, if you think they pay you for, but then I use a bill. If you say if you see if you see a southeast and I think they pay you for, but then I use a bill. You know, I know consign me. I think consign me. No, now you go to speak and for platform the worker. If we finish, you if we finish you uh, on one man, you go to Twitter, you go and speak about it. Now you the thing they pay for, but they know the new. If you don't you know consign me.
If you know it's just there to pinpoint that to reward you know, the kind of character that I see every day. It's just you saying that uh, whether Tinubu will perform or you not perform. Or you are crying now. Must come, you are crying. must come back in 2020, 2027. Or All these are your words. So, what do you me? But now you crying. crying with him. Crying say what you know, you know, concern, you If you know concern, you make I will not I it's just to let you know who you are. Nothing okay, nothing there. Let you, let you keep now you wear the shoe. Now you know where they pay you. So sometimes when we come here and talk about by God three and all these things, you 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 talk about people being by God, but you are the major I, character I, I in it. That's I what I wanted I to know. Talk about people that you are, are the major character in it. So that's it. When, that's what it is. Thank you. Okay, thanks for crying. One more, let me continue. So, when I speak, right, and you want to keep crying almost every time on this platform, it won't stop me from saying my mind. Because when people are speaking their mind, the first thing that goes to you, you, you people's mind. Now, as I'm saying you people's mind, you will say I'm talking about Igbo people. I don't know why when you, as a person, becomes the voice of the Igbo, right? Because that's what you people say almost every time, and I'll keep using it. So, if it does, if it does not hurt you, you won't keep coming and here and every time. I'm crying every time. I don't. Call, I know that one is coming. I'm. I'm expecting man of prestige. I'm expecting man of prestige too to come. I'm you go up as a I'm expecting man of prestige too to come. I'm expecting man of prestige to come. That's number two. Number three, man of prestige. And then you have one on that one on the on the, on the comment section. You okay? You are in the room. A bonus man like you, you came out on this show, and this can is what you are saying. Oh, man. Oh, man. In the state, I don't understand the educative at all. I don't know why people are doing that. What a waste of space. An educated fool. That is who you are. Enigmatic. If no one is telling you this, I am telling you this today. Now, maybe we'll pile on our finale for this platform. Enigmatic. You are a fool. <laughs> Come on, get out! You stay. I don't want to all of you now. Man of prestige, I'm expecting you to come along. I don't know the people who said this. I don't know the people who said this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. everybody. Hold on, hold on. everybody, hold on. Let everybody hold on. Um, please, gentlemen, let let, her, let him have his say. You don't have to agree, but I let him have his say. But uh, carry on. I just take away for a moment and uh, carry on. I'm expecting man of prestige to, to come on board to come and to come and cry like the two of them. So one man, one one thing is very is very obvious and very okay, you know, when you know, when you know their secret, when you know much about them, they don't want to, to speak, they don't they want to silence you. But basically, you will see that you are not even mentioning their name, but they are triggered about even what you are saying. When a state says this is what we want, and some people are crying on the platform, what is your business about the choices of a state? Do they come to your state to cry about how you make your choices? And one man, do they, do they as Odo, or as have you ever seen Oshun people, Ondo people, Ekiti people, all of them come to your state to say this is how you must run your state? But you guys come on every platform, you want to control the narratives. But the platform where you have the majority, you kick people out, you don't even let them have a voice. This is what you do. So elections are gone, but you guys, you guys are still talking about bigotry, bigotry. But when we talk about the, the nitty gritty of bigotry, we know where we can point the fingers. But I'm not gonna stop talking. If you are so triggered about enigmatic, keep it, keep him out of your out of your mouth. If it doesn't hurt you, keep quiet. So, like I was saying, I wanted to speak about uh, I wanted to speak about the ID ID card payment in Lagos. You know, basically introducing a national ID. Uh, card with payment features uh, in any country I, could, could potentially be of uh, several benefits to that uh, country, especially when it comes to national security and the ease, uh, ease of doing business. You know, it's, um, it, it's, you have to look at the, the benefits of those, uh, of, of it than the, than the negatives. It enhances uh, in ident uh, identity verification. So, for instance, if you have a national ID card, which is uh, embedded with payment features, it could it could serve uh, you know as a reliable and a secure means of identity uh, uh, you know identity verification, which will actually call, you know help to uh, combat a number of issues like identity theft, like fraud, 
the Yao Yao boys, they won't be able to have free day as they used to have. You know, unauthorized uh, transactions and thereby it will basically enhance the national security of the country. Because when stuff like that happen, then it means they will be able, they will have a synergized platform, right? To basically trace and then uh, they, they, they basically basically trace the root causes. And then they can, when it comes to the operational ability of it, they can have an audit trail of how it come and how, how it is being practiced and how they can actually make some, some, some few progress into it. And of course, it, it, it can improve uh, financial inclusion as well. Because when you integrate the payment functionality uh, into the national ID card as it is, this can promote financial inclusion, you know, basically by um, providing easier access to like uh, banking and payment services for like uh, those in the rural areas on the south, you know, populations, which at, at the end of the day, by extension, it will contribute to economic growth and the development of the uh, of the population and the country as a whole, especially when a country is trying to have a leverage and you know transmission to uh, e-commerce, basically. And of course, you have to consider the convenience in transaction as well. So, for instance, in Nigeria now, I know we are just uh, trying to go into that space, but it will benefit Nigerians uh, for the convenience of using single card, you know, for identification and then for their financial transactions. They wouldn't have this overlap of a uh, identities or probably having to have a different platform for having to identify themselves. So which we reduce, you know, the need to carry these bulky multiple cards or documents just for you to identify who you are. And then by extension as well, it will streamline business processes. And then of course it will uh, create an everyday ease of transactions for an average Nigerian uh, as against what it used to be. It will reduce cash dependence. You know, the, for people who live in the diaspora, you you don't have to carry cash almost everywhere you go. You know, encouraging digital payments uh, through this national ID uh, will and can help reduce cash dependence. So, which will even lead to greater transparency in financial transactions, and then uh, combating you know illicit activities associated with cash carrying or uh, over dependence on the uh, you know bulk payments, basically. And then when you look at the the the, uh, the efficiency of uh, information technology into it, to the data integration and the analytics of it, so the integration of payment features with the national ID card system will facilitate the data analytics for government and for governance and the agencies and businesses of government to have ease of payment and then a little bit better decision making and policy formation for government. And they will be able to even track easily those who are who are uh uh who are ensuring a strict adherence to certain regulatory standards in the country and compliance uh, agencies like uh frs all of them. Uh, uh so the importance is uh exhaustive but we we have to consider some other potential challenges and the risks that can be associated you know with implementing this uh this uh, uh, system social you know like the including data privacy concerns and of course, the cyber security risk and the security risk generally when it comes to infrastructure requirements and ensuring that equitable access to all citizens will be ensured. Because in some neighborhoods in Nigeria, so like some intern lands in some parts of the villages, they may not really have access or probably facilities or structures you know, to have this uh, equitable distribution of these uh, you know, data processes. But of course, with a robust regulatory frameworks and the public awareness, uh, with this through this um, through certain government parastatas and the agencies of government, it will be very essential to have to address these challenges and then maximize the benefits of the of the national ID, you know, with the payment features for of course uh, to ensure that uh, everybody is on board and understand how to use it. And then I noticed that. Uh, um, uh, what is uh, rational man was talking about if they have the infrastructure of it? Of course, Nigeria as it is, we have Ministry of uh, Digital, the one that Bosun Tijani uh, spearheads, and we have uh, Ministry of, uh, I mean, the NCNC, National Communications Commission, and we have NIT, the National Information Technology Development Agency. So when we have all these all these agencies on ground. The, it, it, I mean, it becomes so it becomes so irrational to talk about not having the structure or probably the infrastructure on ground. All we just have are just 
we, and we, I can, we can say we have a lot of experts within the cybersecurity space, and then uh, we can see it, it will even create jobs. You know, there are so many other jobs that you can create under this, all under the payment card industry alone, like the PCI DSS experts. You know, if you do, uh, are you playing some sort of computer game and are you winning? No, that's my boy. <laughs> That's my boy just on the background. So it will create jobs for a lot of cybersecurity folks because under cybersecurity, the subset of it, which is uh, PCI DSS, they can have uh, you know expertise of that in Nigeria. A lot of the, a lot of us who, who are into that, we know how um, profitable it is and how uh, uh, let me say um, how it is when it comes to the the. The check and everything so of course it's a very good career that a lot of nigerians can be a part of so i, I hope it will it will uh bring further uh, opportunities for a lot of nigerians and i can even be in nigeria and work remotely from nigeria as pci dss analyst cyber security analyst you know basically focusing on grc and some other subset of uh, cyber security through this payment card industry and of course i will speak briefly on the price control in Lagos state uh, of course, Lagos is uh, becoming to is 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 like a different. It's like a country be, within a country now. The way they are operating and the way they are actually are doing their things. We may not like the face of the politicians in Lagos, but we cannot say we hate the uh, face of progress in Lagos. If people really hate the face of politicians in Lagos, but the, uh, the, we can say for a fact that they do not hate the progress because. Uh, Almost every Nigerian is represented in Lagos, right? Almost every region in Nigeria, they have one member of their family or the other in Lagos state as, as against other states that you can basically see other people in other, in other states. So people can uh, debate, you know, the, the, the politicking in Lagos, not trying to, de to detach that from the progress of, or from the people, the actors, but you cannot actually de detach the progress in Lagos without actually, you know, giving kudos to the facilitators and to the, to the actors, the political actors in Lagos State, because they're basically doing what they have a template for, and they're actually working on a certain mission, mission program and mission, uh, you know, a, a certain structure that actually, they've actually created over the years that they are working on, you know, administration by administration. And then we can look at the nitty gritty of the price control itself. You know, and the, uh, how it prevents price gobbling, and then especially during uh, inflation, you know, like we find ourselves now globally. So it is very germane that uh, a regu regulatory oversight of that is, uh, you know, within certain regulatory agencies in Lagos, you know, we should be responsible for this price, uh, uh, monitoring this price and enforcing regulations to prevent this uh, price gobbling. Uh, and then these bodies, you know, of course, they will set certain re guidelines, certain regulations, you know, on uh, permissible prices, incre uh, price increases, and they conduct regular inspections of all these businesses. Because as we see, they, there's this general saying that when when things go up in Nigeria, it doesn't come down, and we'll be seeing that uh, there, there has been an upward uh, regression into uh, in the dollar prices of late. You know, within 24 hours when the dollar started rising the other time, you know, it could, uh, 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 exponentially at the same time, you could see the prices of items almost matching the prices of uh, of dollars. And when you ask them what is the reason, they always give reason for uh, high dollar prices or high dollar rates. But now that dollar is actually crashing almost on a daily basis, you see people are now actually trying to uh, crash the prices. So price, this uh, price got price control is quite very uh, germane at this point in time, and it's very timely. And then the price target enforcement, there are no stores, there are probably no stores you go in to the, in the US or probably in the UK or any of these climb, uh, same climb, because Nigerians, Nigerians always want to uh, rationalize what happens in, in, in uh, uh, same climbs, right? When they, are try, when they are trying to be cheeky or be hypocritical, hypocritical but when it comes to Nigeria, they always want to find excuses. Of course, price tag enforcement in Lagos is very important now, so that a lot of these uh, a lot of these dubious businesses who just want to focus on 
on profits and not focusing on the humanity or side of it or the humane side of it they will have to deal with the government you know they they will have to there should be a mandate that uh, all retailers uh, businesses you know and uh, uh, all entrepreneurs basically you know prominently display their prices on their products and uh, with clear price tags so that there will be a clear cut definition of what you are selling and how it should be sold and what the state if you're actually violating a certain uh, regulatory standard of the state so this will help consumers you know especially uh, the end consumers now to make informed you know purchasing decisions and to discourage arbitrary uh, price increases so you know what stores you have to go to you know what store you have to avoid so and then uh of course the continuous monitoring of the prices too well of course i know legal state they will implement system for monitoring prices fluctuations and especially in key consumer goods and essential commodities like home items and stuff like that so this can uh uh i think this can involve like collecting and analyzing you know price data reg regularly and identify instances of price gogging and uh, take appropriate actions if you have to slam them in court i mean in in prison for short periods six months three months or you know in lieu of uh probably some few token in lieu of those uh, prison sentences that could be that could be a thing too but i would i would advocate that there should be a public awareness campaign it's a rigorous one rigorous public awareness cam uh, campaign in lagos state to educate you know these uh, the consumers and the marketers marketers now the entrepreneurs the business people about uh, their rights and responsibilities and during this uh, during the inflation and during the period that they are actually enforcing these rules so we oh. of course we include that uh, to identify price going when they see them and how to report them basically so oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 all right brilliant do you want to give us a, a very very small flavor on the alan oyema uh, 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 being squeezed out of uh, London, and and then uh, we go from you to to BT. Yes, uh, Alan Oyema is one of those um, uh, fortunate businessmen in Lagos. So he's he, he's, uh, he's just like a typical businessman, right? Who knows how to who knows how to play his card right? So and then it whether you like once again whether you like the face of the politician in office who has made it possible for him right to have this opportunity of to act, to actually have this um, um path finally to to the uk it's a different ball game it's a different conversation but people will always want to inject politics right into their biases or probably trying to have this primordial sentiment of who is in power who is not in power Buhari was there of course we know he was a chambolic uh, president you know, he basically, we had an attorney general who basically demonstrated the willful nuisance in the legal framework of Nigeria, the legal, the legality and almost everything he did in office was almost, uh, you know, as you can see in Shuarez's case, how he boggled almost everything. So when we have a minister of aviation for almost eight years and you have a, a, a businessman as Alan Oyema who knows the route, who knows, the, who knows his way within the aviation industry, and he was pushing for a certain uh for 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 a session a certain route and you did almost everything to basically frustrate him uh, i mean people should notice that that these are the people who did that when they need a set of new people came into power and they were able to make things work and the guy being the businessman came on national tv he has always said nothing but eulogize and uh, uh and then actually say good things about Festus Kayamo and by extension, the entire administration who has actually made it possible. But because of the primordial sentiments of people, they don't want to see that. It is, it is uh, people should see the positives of this. Do I have issues about people who were so short-minded, who were so narrow-minded, who were so, uh, you know, basically following this route of a consensus fallacy of having to talk about uh, Ishiagu or no Ishiagu. What does, uh, what does Ishiagu or Abada or Babariga have to do with somebody? Is it, is it Ishiagu or Ishiagu? <laughs> Ishiagu. Well, I, I are, you, are you sure? It's not Ishiagu. Ishiagu is Uri is now. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> Ishiagu is, is me. That, that uh, you know, goat head, you know, where in a platter, in a 
Made and which one is the Ishiago? Go- is the Ishiago go- the red cap? Which, well, which one is which one is, go- is the dress? That that the dress. Is, yes, okay. Ishiago is the is like native dress. So I care less about what they even let them if they let them wear. But one man, Ishiago is head of a lion. Ishiago is them, head of a goat. So yeah, let them. Oh, they call oh, Ishiago okay. because in our in our outfit they draw head of a lion on our outfit. That's why they call it Ishiago. You know. So let them wear, let them go and wear a Burberry or Louis Vuitton. I care less about that. All I care about is that he's been able to, 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 you know, enforce a disruption in, in that space. If you look at the, if you look at um, the, the numbers, I go with the numbers. Look at the numbers before and after, right? Now, Lagos, I mean, uh, London to Lagos is less than $400. Bucks. It used to be almost $2,000. A business class then was 15 million naira. I don't know the equivalent of dollars to that. And then normal routes, I mean, normal uh, economy is like maybe 8 million or 7 million, which is almost half the price or more than that. So for him to have, to have actually caused that disruption within that, uh, you know, mono, monopolistic market, that monopolistic route. And then beyond that, if you listen to Alan Oyema very well, he, ma- he mentioned that. Uh, they were actually giving him issues because what people tend not to understand is that in international relations, right, there is a tool that you have in your box that you almost, you can always wield and you must always wield every time when things are not going your way and you see in the other way, in the other way around, you are satisfying that uh, you are fulfilling your own part of the game, right? Is they call it the uh, rule of reciprocity, right? If, for instance, if UK is threatening to to is 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 not treating your it's not it's not tra- treating your guy your people right you have the right to say okay no problem we're going to do the same thing in our own country right I, I don't know why we are not using that now we have I think I bless God now that we have a a minister for the first time who does not even because aviation industry one man there is nothing in avi- you can run aviation industry perfectly all you need to do is focus on the compliance and the regulations aviation industry is about regulations and compliance and law if you are able to do that kayamo is a son he knows the law in and out right then he understands the regulations and the and the and the compliance of it where he does not know that now that's why he's been able to have uh the director generals in all the agents in all the agencies under the aviation industry under the aviation ministry almost 15 of them experts right so those are the things you need so when you have this resp- uh, the tool of reciprocity and you don't use it, it's on you. And that's where we are. The ambassadors that we are going to be having now that Nigeria will, will be unveiling very soon, they need to actually ring it into their head. The tool of reciprocity, they must be able to use it in all the countries that they actually uh, you know, posted to. And I, I, I congratulate Ke- Festo Keyamo, I congratulate mm-hmm. Ayala Yolima, and I congratulate the... Nigeria people and the Ashura Jews presidency for being able to make it uh, in okay. control. Thank you, Omar. Oh, oh, all right, Bidan. So that's the majestic, enigmatic on D, of course. Uh, one like no other. So the elegant, enigmatic on D, we go from you, enigmatic to BT. Hopefully, still there. You know how people delight in hearing from BT. BT. Look at that. Uh, 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 oh, oh, okay. Did, do we have Oriola? Yes, Oriola is there. O- Oriola. Yes, I'm here. Uh, good. good, good to have you. Uh, so, so to the conversation, coming coming at whichever entry point you like. Um, if I still remember them all, um, let me see. Um, okay, so I can start with the uh, the junta thing. Um, where the, in in Niger? Yeah. So I just have because um I believe was the rational mind or someone actually spoke on it um. But I have a different take that um, they don't mind taking the guy to to court. I, I I actually don't. It doesn't make sense to me because the even the people that um, did the coup. They, I, I mean, are we? I don't understand how we think. Are we actually like normalizing this because they're illegal in the first place? Now they want to take the guy to court. I don't understand. It just does not make sense. And the thing they're doing is this, um, where the, here's how I see the thing. 
the uranium that they're crying about and all of those things. If those foreign people then uh, were not able to locate or they didn't decide to like mine and use those things because uranium, I don't even think any African country actually have any use for it in the first place. And if the foreign country that they are now, to, I mean, I understand the reason why they want to let them go, but there's some certain things they need to put in place. So um, if they don't, if those foreign countries didn't see the use for it, I don't think um, Ninja know what to do with it. I mean, I don't even think we have any nuclear plants to use them for, um, to generate the electricity. I don't think we have anything at all to to use those uh, resources for. And even, I don't even think Nijay know the location if those people didn't locate it. That's not to say that I support them uh, taking advantage of them. But I just think sometimes we just keep repeating the same mistakes. You're taking him to court for what? Um, you think he was colliding with the France government? It makes no sense. Um, and you, you, I mean, you could have done it the right way when during election, put the right, um, fight to put the right people in, but you didn't do that. Now you, you planted a uh, coup, you, um, you took him out and now you want to take him to court. I, I don't think how, I don't understand how we justified that. And I don't understand why everybody's, um, it seems like a lot of people just want to talk down on some other things. And they, I mean, are we normalizing that um, we should, um, countries in West Africa should have um, code to tell? I, I mean, is that what we're like acknowledging? Are we all like pulling for that? I mean, I don't understand. I don't understand. Uh, it just doesn't make sense to me. I don't understand why he's taking him to court. For what? It, it makes no sense. Um, so that's that's that. Um, what's the other thing? Oh, yeah, the hairline. What I would like to hear from everybody, I didn't actually, I wasn't hearing that. I see nothing wrong with um, the price war at all because um, the hair piece started it. He was able to get the, the, the root, and when he got the roots, he chopped the price, he cut it down. And when he cut the price down, everybody else that was in the game before him, they're losing now. So what do you expect from them? Of course, they're going to come for him. So um, all other things surrounding this, that's just noise. I, I don't, it makes no sense. I, I don't even understand why a lot of people are taking it to heart, right? I, the only thing I see with this is the fact that um, he's playing the game. He's going. He's playing the game. He cut the price down. Of course, all other uh, hairline will try to do the same as well because they don't want to lose money. I mean, you're already like he's taking it. The, they they won't allow him to take it, take them out of business. So of course, everybody else is going to like see what they can do to match him. So it's now up to him if. The, I mean, like um, the previous uh, speaker said, he cut it to four hundred dollars. Yeah, of course they will try to match him. Maybe cut below. Now we're going to see if he can stand the E. If he can stand the E, probably we just turn it to three hundred dollars. So that's how it works. Like, I mean, a lot of people that live in foreign countries, we you know, like you can go to any store you want. They all have different prices. They're not forcing you. You go to the one that you think um, you you can afford. That's how it is. Same with cars. Even, even it's playing now with the electric cars now. BYD is trying to play the same game with um, Tesla. So there's so many. I don't understand why. Um, it's not about, like, it, this is a business thing. It happens in business. If, um, if I want to control... Um, it won't be all about, I mean, I know quality has to be something, but it's more about quantity. Once you have a lot of, you can get a lot of people to you, then you, then for you to get your, um, your profit, you can get profit from there. Because once you have a lot more people like uh, patronizing you, then you can get profit from there. So I, I don't, I don't understand 
I don't want to say people are crying, but I don't understand like the thing. I mean, they're not just gonna sit there and just let him take over the entire business. Everybody will try to fight for it as well. So that's what I see. And with the all all other things that we're talking about with the um tribe or ethnicity thing, I don't see that. I I, I don't think even think is a thing. Um uh, I, I I don't subscribe to that. Um what else can I speak to? Um, um, the Lagos thing. Um, I don't. I I saw this. This is on the screen now. Um, I saw this, but I have different perspective. The way I say, it. I just think that it's more like you're going to a store or a supermarket, and they're supposed to have a price tag on every single thing they're selling. And I I don't think this has anything to do with the the market lady like if you go to different big market like or uh, the tomato sellers they i don't think they use the pro price on things you have to speak to them and they'll tell you the price i don't think this is speaking to that i think this is speaking to more like the big store on or uh, owners like if you have um what's this big uh mall that i forget the name in lagos now shop um, right Yes, we like if I go to shop price, shop price usually have price tag on everything. So it's more like if I go in there and they don't have price tag, yeah, they, that would not make sense because they're trying to pull a fast one on me, meaning that um I would go to the um to the checkout and they would tell me I mean they can tell me any price they want. I think that's what this seems this this is how I'm taking it. Like that, that's how that's what this looks like to me. That there are some people decide not to put a price tag on things, and when you try to check out, they will just gauge. Um, they will put a different price, whatever, on it, and which I don't think it makes sense. So whatever Lagos is doing now, I think it makes sense to do that to like let people know, especially the store owners. You can't do that. It makes no sense. Um, you have to put price tag on everything, and I think it's just to the to the greedy of our people ourselves. It's more like it's the greediness, more like um, they everybody's saying that the the dollar's going down, and they didn't want to. I mean, they're quick to tell everyone why why they're changing prices. That oh, it's because the dollar's going up. Now that dollar's going down. They they don't they're not quick to change prices and we can hear people here. Um, I think there was a discussion in the past um, days saying that you buy stuff um, you buy stuff for cheaper price but dollar went up after then you're quick to change your price. So it's the same thing now to put your price down and the only way we can know that is if you have a price tag. If I go to your store today and I come back a week later. And I'm still seeing the same price while I know like dollar is going down. Uh, that, that means something is wrong. And um, I, I can see where I live that sometimes when I go to the store, they will actually let you know that the price was a little bit higher like a week ago. And this is the new price. So you know that um, the the things are going down, like the prices are they they jacking the uh, they're not jacking up the price, but they're lowering the price. They will let you so you can know. I mean, they don't have to spell it out for you, but you can tell that prices are going down. So I think what um if that's what Lagos is trying to do, I think it makes sense. I just hope that they have enough people and they can enforce this because the problem that we have in that country is the fact that we we don't. I'm sure there's a law they just not enforce. And it's more like the problem. This one might just play to the gallery or to people that know people. They won't face them. They will face people that don't have much. I hope it's not that. I'm hoping that they will take it as it is that, okay, they want to tackle this problem. Excuse me. And they, they, they face, uh, they tackle the problem. Um. Yeah. So that's what I would say on that. Um, I, I see this one. I, I don't know much about this, to be honest with you. With this, however, I don't know much. I'm not going to speak on that. I'll speak about the 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 the, the rail in Abuja. Um, yeah, I like what they're doing and all. I just think that I, I think I've said this before. 
I like when whatever project we are going to do, it would be like majority of the main people would be our own self. So it would be more like the project manager would be our people. A lot of like the technical guys, maybe some. I mean, I at least I believe there's um very educative and very knowledgeable people too that can do some engineering design will be part of the team as well. So when this project is done, um, we the maintenance will be will, won't be that we we'll look up to the people that design or that put the the project together. We will be able to carry on. So we will be able to carry on, take care of things. Um, I hope so. I, I like that we are, some of these things are being done now, but the hope that I have is our people are trained. We are part of the project. Um, let's say 10 years from now, we wouldn't even need, like, we, I mean, we can still get a foreigner to join us, but the most, um, um, the main people will be ourselves. Um, so I, I don't know how this is playing out, but what I'm thinking and what I would like, even though I like the project, is the for us to be able to like maintain it and see that um, we don't have to overspend when it comes to maintenance. The because the the problem would be if we need help with anything, we go back to these people, and I mean. To be honest, some of the project, like I feel like they're robbing us because it seems like we don't really have hundred percent idea. But it's okay, we're doing things now. It's just the culture of maintenance and able to do things in the future. I hope we 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 can do some of those things. Um, um, I I know like for like the Lagos to Ibado or train and the Cardinal or Abuja. I don't think we're the main guy that is main maintaining those things. Um, but I've, I definitely would like us to maintain it because this happened in the past. We, like if we look back, um, when the color, uh, colonizer was, was still in that country, and even when they left, they, they left us with rail lines, like we have railways. What happened to them? So they left us with so many things will happen to them. So I just hope that this doesn't end up to that because I know like, uh, I think one man mentioned that, oh, don't you think um, the people like 10 years from now, the people that are growing up now, they will just think the country is like I'm brought. That's if there's culture of maintenance. If the, no maintenance is there, like they, they just let everything, you know, they don't take care of things. They, they're going to like suffer the same thing that we suffer where we had these things, but by the time we grew up, we don't have it anymore and they have to start all over. So that's, I just hope that money don't go to waste. So that's what I, that's what I think. And yeah, that, that's me. Oh, 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 all right, brilliant. Thank, thank you, Rela. So thank you, Rela. So, so gentlemen, let me bail out, uh, hand over to, to, to Mike. Uh, I think Mike might be dry. Uh, he can multitask anyway. So let me bail out, uh, hand over to Mike. Uh, still, uh, I can to speak, uh, Joel of Nashville to speak, uh, uh, Baba T when it's ready. Uh, so, 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 so still plenty of conversation. So a lot of your favorite voices yet not spoken. So stay with us. Um, let, let me acknowledge the super chatters Boson, as we mentioned almost with on a on a daily basis now. So that's Boson right there, that Lato Rage, as we mentioned almost on a basis, daily basis now. So that's Lato Rage. Uh Ayo that we sadly mentioned on a daily basis. That's Ayo right there, rattling it off in rapid succession. So that's Ayo, as it often does. Uh and that's Ayo. And there's a duel of natural. Anytime the super chance is only ready to insult someone and no different this time around. So, so thank thank you to all those. I think everyone see you tomorrow. Uh, a mic takes over. Uh, I think a Kenneth takes the floor. If we if we real love, uh, feels it's done. Hey, Kenneth. Yeah, one man. Well, eh? I wish I wish a uh, mic will allow me to speak. You, you know, say Mike, Mike, will, allow, and... Mike will allow you to speak now. 
I don't think so because like, when, when you don't talk around how you speak, you if you say uh, why, you why, why, why you go go like to interject my talk. They don't allow you to talk. Yeah, they even give you they allow you to talk because I'm making you accuse me of this kind of thing. I ain't making yeah, you talk. You used to okay. sometimes you don't allow me to say my mind. If, if, if I to speak my mind now, you you start to cut my thoughts. So that is that is why I fear your mic. I know so you be my guy. Yo. I know they. I know they hide mouth. Now you be my guy, but sometimes you do. You they like to because if I if I start to speak things that is against the APC government, you will not allow me to say all the things that I want to say. But let me try okay, a little okay, bit to okay, know. If, let me just give you. Let me just give you a benefit of doubt. Yeah, let me just give you a benefit of that. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> I, I know the tactic you want to. You want, you want to start with real lies. So you know, yeah, you know. Yeah, you know. <laughs> okay, start your no. lie. Go begin. I'm not gonna stop you. Just no, stop no, that's not like lie. That's not like lie, Mike. You know, I wanted okay, to I'm speak gonna... after enigmatic, but it's like enigmatic has run away because I have a lot of issue against him to die. Uh, I would have had that opportunity to speak uh, if, if, go if go but I don't know well. Go, go yeah. debug everything they talk. Are we saying they are going to leave now? Being, being debug yeah, everything. Yeah, he, he, he was, uh, you know, anytime he came, I would like to stay around to listen to him because, uh, and I wanted to speak after him, but one man just uh, decided to go to Oriola, but no, I'll share. One man but is saying, let me just... there's a woman like you. you only... <laughs> no, nothing like you, bro. I, mean, I, get the, I get the powers, I get the powers. I, get, I will just talk what I want to say and just oh, go out. Nothing can try me. Enigmatic will embarrass you, so you know what I mean? Which enigmatic will embarrass me? Not about speaking English, yo. Which embarrassment, <laughs> Mike? Is it about you speaking can't... English? You Listen to me. <laughs> no, you know they embarrass me now. You know now. You know if you embarrass me now, <laughs> because I've identified a lot of his, uh, his. Uh, I've identified a lot of things he does. You know when we talk about uh, bigotry and all those stuff, when you're pointing fingers to another person, you don't know that the finger is the other finger is pointing directly to you, and these are the kind of people they are. He's making are a moron. He's making a moron of himself. I have oh, never why? seen. I have never seen a low life. You know when they I've say somebody never... in Aguero, even in Aguero, not even get class. Uh, I don't know how no. God even give them. You know the only the, you see in my place we say sometimes, right? There are certain people you will say, may God just bless them. You know why? If God no bless them, they go be weak or they go be arm robber. You understand what I'm saying? So I am so thankful that God blessed her with education. So making just day two because if this kind of person is poor, the education, if this kind of person education is poor, not educating. Oh my God! Uh, Jua, Jua, the education is not educating. What are you? What are you? You are, you are preaching by God everywhere you go. No, the what education is educating make, about make, that. Make the education making feet chop because if this person know the chop, well, for me maybe he, he, he he people, people like uh, he is educating oh people God. like you. Uh, He's educating people like Ganiyu. Ganiyu that will come out and say, you people should leave Lagos. That's the kind of people he's educating. And I'm not surprised about that. So, but uh, anyway, Shia, it's still, a, it's still a long way for us to go because that's why, Mike, most of the time I say I don't like uh, most of the educated people we have in our society because they're not using that privilege to educate the public on the way to go. The right things to do. I think that's the importance of education. But when that education turns out to be a kind of uh, use it to defend the uh, nonsense, use it to defend the uh, air policies and everything, just because of bigots, as in use it to defend their bigotry, all these things are the problem we have in the society, and they are the one creating this serious problem. I can you say that somebody will not be a governor because he's married to a, an evil woman in Ondo State, and you have all the gods. Education, all the education you have, you come out on a national platform and say that somebody will not be a governor because he's married to an Igbo woman. I don't care what the past first lady has done to the people of Fondo State. If they have any law to to punish her, they can do that. But somebody, just like you said, that man is competent, he has all, all it takes to govern on the state. But the only only problem he has is because he's married okay. to you. Okay. Okay. To okay. Okay. That, that is not that is not um no, I yeah, Baba, yeah, leave hold me, on, leave me. On, let me hold speak. On, hold on, hold on. No, it I listen to him. It's not what he said here. Hold on. I followed him right and left. It's not what he said here. No, no, no. He was reporting what is going on in Ondostein. That is not his own position. He was no. Only reporting he's not reporting anything, Baba. Yeah, he's not reporting anything. I, 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 are you were you the person that told me what he said? 
I said I followed him on on the edge space. I had what he said. It's not that it's not that I reported anything. He gave them clear di direction. This is what they should do. In fact, to protect the noble ambition in 2027, so they don't have to go. They don't have to vote, uh, vote uh, an Igbo, Igbo first lady. So when I listen to all those stuff, I mean, and the other one, he said that uh, 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 he whether Tinubu perform or he doesn't perform, he must come. He must come back in 2027. Um, Kenneth, doesn't he so, has doesn't he has right to his opinion? Well, he has the right to his opinion, but his opinion is divisive. That's what we are saying. When well, he's the one pointing out. Is the one saying that somebody is uh, is a bigot that somebody use by is using bigotry? Okay, but when you look at okay, them, they are the people okay, promoting. Okay, can I can I ask you one question? Do you remember you said on this platform that you never you don't you're not interested in learning how to speak your language? Do you remember you said that? Then what does that what does that have to do with what I'm saying? That is, 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 you that's my own I believe now. But that's my you, you, what, you, 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 will, will you force your robot on me? What are you, what what kind of question is that? Speaking your robot is this the stream? Is it is it the ticket to heaven? Should I speaking your robot does it make any changes in my life? The state you are making money. The state you are making what money. What if that doesn't concern you? It concerns me. Must I speak your robot to, to make money in your robot in your robot land? Does that concern you? What concerns that with it? Is that it? we are we are talking about promoting by country? What does that mean? Do I force you to learn Igbo? Do I force you to learn Igbo? So if you don't know what to ask, you keep quiet. Don't ask me that such question. If I don't have passion for you, I don't have passion for you. You see now, you see now. Does that make any sense to you? You guys, you guys always pretend that like you know. Sense if I don't have passion for it, I don't have passion for it. So you could not ask me such question. You understand me? Which which victim game? Who is playing the victim game? I'm telling you that the people that is saying that somebody is doing by God, that the main people promoting by God, wherever they go, and I can confirm to that. What does what does speaking Yoruba have to do with that? Never speak Yoruba language. The state you are making money, and you're saying that. Is it by force? Why are you crying that I cannot speak Yoruba language? Is it by force to speak Yoruba? What nonsense that guy is talking about? I don't know. Speak Yoruba because he making money. What? What nonsense what are you mean, talking I'm, about, man? I'm talking, I'm talking. That's your mentality. That's your mentality. That's a nonsensical word. Nonsense mentality. Because you live in Yoruba and you have to speak Yoruba. Are you, are you out of your mind? What's wrong with you, Nigerians? Nothing wrong with you, Nigerians. You live in another man's country. And you are benefiting from whatever you live in overseas. Uh, and you're trying to now because I'm in Europe and I must speak Europe. You must speak Europe. What, 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 look at the look at the kind of mentality. And they said it. I want the government to say it. Can you guys This is the reason why Nigeria Nigeria will never get well. You just ate full honey. Now you are back. What is your problem? What is your problem? You cannot eat your bar. You cannot eat your bar. You gonna fit. You gonna show your face. There's no way you can hide. You can't. You can't. You can't take it. Okay, move your mic. Make I talk. I beg. Move your mic. Make I talk. Move your mic. Make I talk. You don't die. Your die. Your statement doesn't make sense. You cannot force me to speak Yoruba. If I decide not to, speak, if I in short, if I decide my children will not speak Yoruba, it doesn't concern you. If I decide my generation will not speak Yoruba, it doesn't concern you. It's my personal, it's my personal opinion. Which are you not saying another man's land? Are you not making money here? Do you know how to speak their language? Okay, if you don't know what to speak, just just talk up your mouth. Then. Who is that anyway? Who is that? I don't know. I don't even know the guy now. Nobody's going to beat you, boy. You are you know, you, 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 you are not intelligent. It doesn't matter what kind of education you have. You, you sound like an illiterate. Come on, come on. Why you? Why you? Come on. Come on. You, you, you said you will never speak your. Calm down. You never portrait for anybody. Don't say that there. You, 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 you. I'm trying again. Move the guy. Move the guy. Let me talk now. Move the guy. Let me talk. The guy is disturbing my talk. You want me to post? You want me to prostrate to you? To you? I be, come. Let me prostrate to you now. You wait for it forever. Let, come. Let me be bowing down to you now, as my God now. 
Bowing down to your to your to your by God tree. Come, let me be by on that. Let me come and bow down to your by God tree now. At your God. If you don't know what to say, you should of you to keep quiet. You'll be talking all the time. See this one, maybe like maybe like I be no. Come now, make I bow to you. Come, let me come, let me bow to you now. You wait for you, you wait for it forever. Let me be by on you. No, 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 no. I'm not a hypocrite like you guys. I want make it come back. Come here. Bowing to somebody and be doing a, doing something at the back. Only. That no be no be only bow. Come make I bow to you. Come. Come make I bow to you. You know, get him. You the best person to bow to you. I will just come out on the public and be begging somebody to bow to me. Are you God? Are you the God of Nigeria? Are you the God of Nigeria? Shut up. You cannot. Come, no. Let me be bowing to all the Yoruba people because I'm doing business in your land. I'm doing, I'm doing business in Yoruba land. Come, let me be bowing to you. And you say you educated. See the kind of education you have. Who educated yourself? The same way you hate Fulani, you want to hate Yoruba. It's not possible. It's not. It's not possible. After I'm jumping from Fulani, now it's your bar. Mr. Ma, yeah, use this time where they take talk problem. nonsense. Go buy hair piece where they walk. We know they hear what you they will talk. Well, we'll go get better yeah, hair piece. Moku, yeah. Moku, I beg, hey, Mike, you, let's you, go. Let's you, move you, forward. Do this tomorrow. I mean, I don't have time. You said something stupid. Look at you guys. You guys just talk like someone that doesn't have any sense. Eh? You said someone is stupid for, 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 for someone standing for his own opinion. Sunday for opinion. Look at the kind of bike. You, you next time you, you you come to Europe, you come to people and marry a woman. I don't know what people like David that are married from me, but what they will say. Look what the, the kind of bike that you guys are promoting, but you are not aware of it. Many people, even your Tinubu son, your Tinubu son is married to your uh, to an evil lady. One day you will come out to say he wants to be the governor of Lagos State. We remember him all these things that you guys are doing. Very uneducated people. You think you're educated? Look at you guys. You 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 rock people land, you marry a Yoruba, you, you marry an Igbo woman, you, you come to your state, you, just, you say you you will not come your 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 you, governor will not contest because you married a, a, a an Igbo lady. Yeah. The people say the people. The people say they don't want. I don't understand the kind of bike that you people are promoting. Don't want. What do you want them to do? You come here, you clap for yourself. Yeah, and you, you accuse another right. person of being a by God, the but you are the most by God I have ever seen, and you claim to be dedicated. The same way you guys did in South Sea. You guys do now you, now you, 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 Thank God, my thank God, I still have the ones that will marry. That, that, these ones, uh, go, go for big. Oh, go for big. Look at you. Go for big. You see, you only play this thing game. That's the, that's the, you play this thing game eh, too much. Eh? Every time, crying, crying, complain. Gibo, they, 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 they demolish Gibo property. Every time. The same way they did for full army for. No, you they demolish them. No, you don't tire now. Make you, you go, go now. You go demolish tire now. Yeah. Who they, they complain to, against? They they demolish property. They Maybe you come to demolish now. They want to do the same thing for you over again. I will not swear for you people now. I beg. Ah, wait till now. Eh, you don't share that. Wait till now. Oh, allow me to uh, to use my time very well. I don't know where you come from. Yeah. You just decided to. You just decided to hijack my space. Allow me to use my time very well. Go and uh, go and uh, go and do your your bike or I mean I don't care. Yeah, an airplane, an airplane, an airplane, an airplane set up an airline to London. You guys woke up, woke up because as it's a new business. You start to talk about uh, is here go and die or not. Instead of you to think about what is the benefit of that airline, the only thing that you guys can see is the is here go and die. And when you come out, you say you're educated. You're banning that book in flight, right? What are you talking about? And you are the, you are the people promoting it. This Kumi, the guy and the guy. All of them, they are the people promoting that kind of monster spy country. Talk the country, talk the party. Let us hear you. Let us hear you. We should talk about that. But that I want to tell you, I want to, I want to point out your things at you this night so that you guys will cool down. I know that you are the most spy up people we have in this country. You are the people, you are the people dividing Nigeria, but you guys don't know. You are dividing Nigeria. You guys don't know. If you don't want to change, and most of the, the thing that pains me the most is that you claim that you are the most. That's the most. The thing that pains me the most. You claim that you are the most dedicated, or you are the one dividing Nigeria. 
This one will say that uh, even if Tinubu doesn't perform, he will still remain the president in 2027. Yeah, he said that he will not contest because you marry a Yoruba woman. Yeah. The kind of nonsense politics that you guys play. But you 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 keep on pointing fingers to other people. Wait but the other mean? fingers is pointing at you, but you don't notice it. You, you don't notice it. Very you uneducated guys, people. You, but, 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 you point uh, fingers to other people. Uh, the uh, fingers uh, will uh, be pointing uh, at um, you. Ghani, is it Ghani? Can we move away from this? Um... And and discuss what and go 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 to another topic. Baba, you mean now? I want call this night too. I not come here to speak, grandma. Now, let me try join because I know. No, you but but I can. We have bullying. to. We 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 have to be civil. We have to, you know. Um, this um, uh, overflogging of uh, this tribe or something. I think we have to stop it. We have to we have to make it conversational so that we can enjoy each other and we can learn from each other. So go go straight to the topic, cause the the topic in the real sense of it, and then we shouldn't make it travel or go after each other. You know, that's Baba, Baba, yeah, I know, but I, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying. To, I'm, you know, most of the time I cannot hide the reverse. Hey, I please not to die on this platform. You understand? Uh -huh. So I wish an equality was here so that we we'll talk it out. It's not today that I joined this platform, so I know what has been going. And I, this is not the first time I've, I've had him. You know, it's not in this platform. I'm not saying it that he said it in this platform. I'm saying what I had him say. Uh, so coming here to talk, can't uh, be talking. About uh -huh. So there are the people. I'm trying to tell you that the people dividing the nation. That's what I'm trying to tell you. But they come here to point say, people be do this. This yeah. one use uh, uh, this one use religion. But they are the real people. When you go at the, when you go to their platform, you see these guys. What these guys are doing to cause division in the nation. Ekene. And when they come here, they, they pretend as if they know what they are doing. Ekene, you can't be talking of uh, 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 enigmatic when it's not on the. Thank you. We don't do that here. It's when uh, 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 if he, he, if he said his nonsense and ran away. You have to still respond in his absence. Uh, you you, if you if you do anything wrong, yeah. if you do anything wrong, if you poop, you can if you poop, that poop go follow you. You, you understand me, Babaja? you're old. Babaja, you're old enough. You don't you're old enough. So I believe. I believe. In, hold, in, hold, in, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, It is good. It is good to allow people to vent. When that moron comes here and he's talking, none of you. None of you will tell him, they will not guy, him calm down. Nigeria don't pass this level. If, if we have to move forward, let us start thinking differently. But we allow that moron to come here and come here and cause division. And the reason why we respond to on this show is to tell him that the one man show too must not be used as a vehicle for division. Wait, and if as what, long as I'm on this show, I am not going to allow that to happen so that wait, people will wait. know that we all have the same voice. That wait, the one man show is not about disability, like, but wait, just to tell us how tell how, us how divided like, and moronic that we are in Nigeria. Wait, you see, because this place, this place like, is a little, this right. place is like a little, a, this panel that you see is a mini Nigeria. Any person listening from us here, if he has listened to us for the past one month, would understand that this is how we behave. No. And it is sickening. See, it is sickening. And when people like that come here, I beg, I beg, I beg, mute your, mute your mic. Don't Tell shut us. up, please. No, no, you come on, up. get out don't, of here, please. Who are you? Don't talk to Come me. Come like on, we, we are talking. Tell we're we're grown up the talk. This is just going to talk. Wait, wait, wait. You see, you start. But the fuck. You start Come on, shut up. You start calling the very arrogant people. You start calling. I know here yeah, if I if I look, let you me tell you, I don't know who you are that is responding. If you are, I will I I go cost you John. I know here. I know here. I will cost you join, and I don't care what your age be because your age does no matter. It no matter. We have to respect. No mass nonsense. Look, I can I can see I can see. Don't take don't give this don't give this moron a a wings to fly. Let us discuss more important topic. Leave this idiot. These morons cannot cannot they cannot grow. Well, and I know the people I'm talking about. The my my problem now is you know what is happening. What is happening? Here? What is happening? I don't even know wait, wait. what they are trying this, to do. This dumb motherfucker talk. Oh, you, 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 I didn't you think that yet to when you are speaking you, now. You don't have I didn't no think that yet to now. Dumb fuck. 
he never said nothing about you guys. But you come up here and you're talking nonsense. Tell us what he said. That business motherfucker was talking to me. Who fuck is you? Who fuck is you? Who's your fucking mother? It's okay. Fucking it's cunt. okay. Let's you fucking cunt. You fucking cunt. You fucking cunt. You fucking cunt. Now why? 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 Mike, Mike, this is not good for what man platform. Mike, you need to control the situation. This is not good for this platform. Please. All right, all right. Are you guys not fighting? Please, this is uh, not good for this platform. Uh, I'm you see, uh, uh, you man, of, man of prestige. You try to get them out. Why? Why wait, you wait, left? Wait. Why you that? left? Uh, why you leave? Don't be uh, You can't talk to me like that. I'm asking you, uh, what he said. He said nothing. Oriola, I didn't interject you now. It's okay now. Let me Oriola, speak now. He's on the F word. I think one man doesn't like the F word. He's the one putting you in the back. So he maybe doesn't like the, like, the F word or something. I don't know. Uh, but, uh, so, for me, for me, for me, for business to thrive in Nigeria and for things to go well, we have to put away all this. Uh, this man is from this place. This man is from this place. Then open up the space. Give everybody that has the capacity. Well, one man, hold on, hold on, hold on, hey, can I, hold on, hold on, hold on. One man, I told you before, if you want to, if you want to put people in the back, come on, I mean, come on and do it. And also, this double standard thing, hey, can I, I mean, I'm not taking side, again. I'm not going against you or anybody. Well, it's like, when two people are insulting each other, I just hate when one man take a side, you know? It's almost like, uh, you guys are insulting oh, each oh, other. Oh, oh, hold on, and Mike. I wish you guys, I, 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 I wish. I'm not, I'm not taking a side. I, I don't mind robust exchanges. But, but is the f words and the swearing and the mothers? Uh, uh, it was the same thing with Bishop. Uh, it's the same thing. You you know the treasure. But, but, but uh, you put you put Gumi as well in the back. You put Gumi no, and no, I, I, put, I put Joel in the back too, and he left. Oh, you put Joel in the back. Oh, okay. Yes, I, I put I, all I three. Don't, I don't know yeah, that I put it was Gumi and. Okay, no, okay, I put okay. I put Gumi to, uh, so that Kenne could have the floor. It wasn't. I didn't. I don't even mind the intensity. It's just the swear words. You, you know, I'm, I'm a bit old school when it comes to swear words. Well, one man, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. The I, mean, is, I, mean, I never, I never went for the guy first. He was the one cursing. The thing is, the guy you're talking about is not here. So why are you bringing him up? He never said anything wrong tonight. So why are you bringing him up? A guy don't do. He don't say anything. He don't do. Wait, he, I'm talking to you too. And you have to watch how you speak to people. Uh, can the guy you're talking, talking now. about is not here. Hey, don't do now. Where, where, hey, where? Do now. Watch your I mouth. Watch you your you mouth. I'm telling you. Watch your mouth. Watch what you I talk to I say don't do. Don't well, do don't say that you. Don't say that you. Don't tell me don't do. What the hell that means? You want me to back you again? If you don't know how to respect people, Lilu, here, son, son. Learn how to respect. No, you want me to. You want me to bow to you. Come, let me bow to you. Come, let me bow to you. Learn how to respect people. I didn't think that yet. Why won't you allow me to speak? Because you're not making sense. I'm telling you, you're not making sense. Learn to respect people. Respect which people? Keep it quiet. If you don't know how to talk, I'm telling you, learn how to talk. When you're fighting someone, they're not here. They're not here. Are you giving me command? What type of command is that? Okay, oh, okay, shut you. up now. Let me talk now. You What's your problem? Don't, don't, I'm giving you enough time to, 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 yeah. to, to, to say whatever you want to say. Can't. But you don't want to respect that. It's okay now. Let me stop. Let me talk now. Yeah, at least your body don't come down now, right? That's it. I'd like to hear you. I'll go I'll okay, okay. All right. Yeah. No, no, well, I'm, I'm, still, okay. on, I'm still on I'm still on the business. Can you get floor, but now you get flaw, but use your flaw, they provoke all of them. So now you they cause all this wala. So I don't know how you so now you no, get flaw, no, use your flaw. And if I know if I they, if I they try to model, no, what, you, you know, say, you know my problem no, is that no, my no, problem no, is that no, if no, I want no, to speak, no, they don't want me to talk. Allow me to talk. But you know no, you go accuse me say I know they I know they allow you to talk. You understand? If I want to moderate uh, yeah. your your you go say I know so that's why I allow you to talk. But now you don't talk, you don't provoke all of them, you don't talk to war be against you now. You know, so make you no blame me. Now you get flow. But if you want to attack, if they attack you back, no blame me. Now which me I go tell you that. So go ahead, continue your flow. 
So me no go. So we have to we have to open up this uh, allow everybody that have the capacity to 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 do business, give them what they need. Just like what happened in NPs today. You see how the price has just come down because of competition. But when you talk about that, uh, some people will think it's because of it wants it for, for it to benefit a particular region. No. Just like in our cement industry, what is happening there is not palatable. They need competition from everybody that has the capacity. Give them license, let them produce cement so that the, the price will come down. 10,000 naira, 9,000 naira per bag of cement is not, is, is not a good price for us here. And it's because it's just a one man or two people's business. That's why you see it, uh, they go there, they control the price, they do whatever they want to do. But when you allow people like Ibeto that, have, that wants to do the business, give them what they need, give them the license, you see all these things, business is all about competition. When I have it, you have it, all you need to do is just to bring your price down. Then I will now buy. That's how business is. But once you know that I'm the only person doing this, I'm the only person producing this, you can sell whatever you want, any price you want to sell. And people will suffer it. The masses will be at the receiving end of it. But we think we are doing some particular people or a section of the of the country. But we are doing ourselves. I'm not the I'm not the one that is going to enjoy the the APC uh, price cut. It's you people that is living abroad. It's easier for you now to travel back home. You understand? You are the one benefiting it, whether you are Igbo, Asa, or Yoruba. But we don't see it in that direction. We only see it in the direction that is wearing they are wearing in Siago. That's the only thing we see. We're not seeing the benefits. So, for me, we have to change our mindset. Accommodate whatever everybody in this region. Everybody has what to offer for this country to develop. It's there. You come out, a minister will come out on national TV and say, somebody that is in your region that is doing all it takes to make sure that the airline is working in Nigeria doesn't have the capacity to do that. You see somebody producing a vehicle in Nigeria, you come out in the, on the national platform and say, uh, the vehicle is not, a, it's not a, doesn't have, have quality for our roads and all those stuff. So how do you promote now the local product? How do you promote it? Use your hand, use your mouth, even as a government, to kill your Nigerian product. And you want them, you want the nation to be patronizing local products. These are the problems we are facing in this country. And the government are the major contributor to this. And people, a lot of their followers are buying to it. It's very unfortunate. What we have in terms of vehicle production in this country, if we make use of it, will not be importing much in vehicle. I know what I'm saying. The trucks we are producing there in Ninewe can serve us in every part of this nation. But we don't see it. When we begin to talk now, we say, you say people are using bigotry and all those stuff. But we know what we have. We are going out there to, to invite foreign investors. When you have a lot of local investors, you have a lot of capacity that can invest in many sectors of this country. Instead of you to give them the platform, give them license, just monitor them, give them good law, guidance, and all those stuff. Then the market will be open. You see, things come easy for us. Imported cement is cheaper than the one produced in our country. How can you be explaining that? That when you import a cement outside the country, it's cheaper than the one you produce in, in your country. And you don't want to give people license to do to do the business. You continue to suffer the masses because of personal interest. And you say APC has done well. This is happening. You took uh, you took naira dollar to two hundred and something naira to one thousand one thousand uh, two thousand naira. Now you brought it down to about one thousand three hundred. You want me to be clapping for you? You reduce the purchasing power of the people. You come down every day. You say the government is doing well. What are they doing? What do you want me to clap for? When I know the life I'm living nine years ago or ten years ago. I know my purchasing power those days. And you want me to be clapping I for think, you? I, what I, are you doing? I think Joel was supposed to speak after you, right? 
Uh, now, Joel left because he thought I was the one that put him in the back, and it was one man that put him in the back. See, that's what, and now Joel would, he won't come back because he thought I was the one that put him in the back, and that's why I keep telling one man if you want to do these things, uh, let them know you are the one that did it because. Joel will not come back because he would think I'm the one that put him in the back. And if he, if for that reason, he won't come back. But if he knew it was one man that did it, he would have came back, you know? So that, that's what I keep telling one man. Let people know who's doing what. Because when you put people in the back or mute them, they, when they think it's me, they, their perception may be different. Their uh, reaction to it may be, will be different. Because Joel would think, oh, okay, Mike is the only good man to talk or something like that. But if he know it was one man that did it, he won't think that. You understand? You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Because if Joel yeah. think I'm the one that put him in the back, he would think it's because I have something against him. But if he knew it was one man that did it, he won't he won't say it like that. You understand? He would, yeah. he would understand that one man put him back because of the argument, you know. So that's why I was telling one man that if you want to put people in the back or you want to mute their mic, just let them know you are the one that did it. You know what I'm saying? So and now they are they have left and uh, so but then yeah, yeah. that's all I I don't have much to say. That's all I have to say. Let us be open-minded so that this country will move forward. Everything that is holding us down in this country is all about lie down on tribalism and nepotism. And we are still practicing it. We are, and the followers are even the more promoting it. That's my problem. So whenever I speak against it and when I see people in this platform doing it, I will always come here to call them out. That's what I will do. You understand? So anybody can call me whatever they want to call me. Uh, well, anybody, even if I see you here on this platform pretending not to be a by God, but I see you in another space, I see you in another space doing it in a high level, I'll come here and call you out because this is the major problem. Can with I, in this hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's one thing though. See, I don't disagree with what you say. Like, you don't like uh, by God, you don't like all those things. Those... But my question is this but whenever somebody from your ethnic stock does it right in front of you, you don't, you don't correct the person. It's like you only see something wrong with it when people from other ethnic groups do it. And that's one issue so I was If I see anybody, if I see anybody from my if I see anybody that is here that goes on the on another platform here called because a lot of what what we oh, do no. here is just we are we are pretending that we are we are one Nigeria, everything okay, is fine. Me, wait, 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 wait. So are you telling me that you you are against bigotry or ethnic uh, this thing, no matter who does it? Whether it's yeah. my so whether it's my, it's, whether it's for my hold region. On, hold on, hold on. When have you ever uh, addressed Pansat? Pansat? Yeah. Okay, maybe one day I will come to him. You oh, understand? Okay. Because oh, I've okay. not, all, all these I years, have, I've, not, I've not had him. I've not had him. I've not had him talk anything about the. Uh, uh, yeah. By God, they kill these people. He takes these these people, just, just, just people away from Ibo Land and all those stuff. It is people like uh, it is people like Ganyu that come here and say these people from Lagos and the people from other part of the. Yeah, no, we come here to tackle you guys. Even you, even you, Mike, Mike, you know you are also a contributor to all this. It's just that like you are moderator tonight. So I just have to, I just have to, I just have to leave you alone because you are the moderator. You are one, you are one of them, but I just have to be nice to you because you are the moderator. You know, you understand. Okay, can I let me tell you about me? See, me, I do it to respond to. It's more like, uh, okay, like when pants are now throw, start throwing shot at my ethnic group. I have to throw shot at, at, back at his own ethnic group. You understand? It's more like you shoot at me, I shoot back. You understand? So that's why I won't be a hypocrite and see him start saying, oh, I don't like anybody that does this, you know, this, you know, this, you know. And then no, the only, my, 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 my point is that we have to stop it because that is that it is the, it is contributing to our to our own development. But hold on now, hold on, hold on. Uh, listen, listen, listen. No one no one disagree with that. But what people hate is hypocrisy, where people only see bigotry when it's being done to them or being done by someone from another ethnic group. But then when people of their own ethnic stock is doing it. It's like they, they, it's not, they don't see it. It's like, I don't know. It's like, I don't know if, I, 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 can someone explain it? Like, it's, and it's very common with your, your people. I'm sorry. Even I have friends, like Igbo friends, who I, will, I will literally point at. Uh, uh, the only thing you have, the only thing you have to do is that. Now. But I, I, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I would point at a bigotry being spilled by uh, maybe a hypopia or even who can, you know, they kind of does it. 
and they will look, they will just dismiss it. They won't even like they, they don't say anything, they don't see they don't say anything wrong with it. But then when I'm so okay, fine. If you don't want to address it, it's okay. But the moment somebody from another ethnic group does it, oh, they, oh, that's when they see something wrong with bigotry. And I'm like, come on, that, that is it, 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 that is it. Yeah, when you when you see people, like, when you see people that 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 say no, it's from I, other I, religion, I, 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 would, I would have when you said that, I would have supported that statement because it's a right statement. You say you don't like bigotry, you don't like it, and I would have jumped behind you and say, yeah, there's nothing. Absolutely, that's a noble thing to say to humanity or to people, to Nigerians. Like, hey, it is wrong, but. No, well, just have problem with no, you. Uh, Mike, 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 we are, we are, we are coming, we are coming close to that. You say you didn't, you didn't know, you never see Pansa said it. Are you kidding me, man? Uh, you want him? Come on. No, okay. well, <laughs> then call him out now. Call him out now. We'll support you. Yeah, no, no, call no, him no, out. No, no, but you have to. You, you. But you, you always call him out now. So if he's, if he says anything here, <laughs> you, Pansa, 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 I know is the most, the most hated person in this platform. Wait, you understand? That, that's not what we are talking about. You, you easily no. remove him. You easily <laughs> shut him out. You easily do whatever you want to do to him. And the guy is so nice that he will still come Hello back Mike. even after everything you do to him. Hello so Mike. what else do you want me to do? Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, guys, thank you very much. I think I enjoyed our discussion today when it was rowdy. But I just stood back and see the way we argue among ourselves about oh this and that this is bigotry but have we actually stood back to look at our country look at what the kenya is saying what stops them from giving license to everybody and making it a playing field uh, but I, can i interject you on that don't interject i just started don't okay. interject can't why can't a anajale koko put all his documents together without knowing anybody, apply for a license, approach a bank, raise some money among friends, and start a small cement manufacturing company. Mm. So that's how people grow. That's how capitalism develops. That's how ordinary young men, like you know, most can become the richest man in the world. But we are not doing that. Their own children are making all the money. They are giving licenses to their children yeah advert license in the whole of the state a major player is the guy is making money what stops maybe a anekene to say look i want a license to be the one advertising amu world of i do business there i live there without without constraint without like who does he know this one does he know which party does he belong to why can't we just prosper in our country we get harassed by police a policeman can look at a man and say, look, I will shoot you and nothing will happen. We threaten you. And it's true. And we are not even talking about that. We are talking about Tinubu doesn't know whether we are there or not. Who even might not even care? I can pay for him because he was the best among them that time. If I see somebody better, I would have supported him, that person. That's how crazy things are. And we argue among ourselves. What stops them from saying, eat better, open your cement. Eh, Kene, open your cement. This one, there are limestone deposits all over the country. Oh, okay. Can I come in here? Because no, I was you only... Know, you, 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 co you continue to say something that is not right. And I want to quickly... Oh, no, it's not let, right let, there. Let me, let me interject a little bit. Now. Let, let me interject. Let's, interject. Let's hear you. Okay. Uh, the, the cement license was given to everybody. It was given to even Ibeto. Can you it get was, a cement license? You now, you. Can you apply to get a cement license? Uh, let let I'm not, I don't care. I don't let, care. Let, let, let let him hold on. Hold on. Let him laugh, please. Man. Let him let laugh. Calm down. Calm down. Let him laugh his point. Cement license was given to everybody. Can be given to anybody. Know. That's what I'm interested in. I'm not saying. Oh my God, man. Okay, no, 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 no. Let me. Hold on. He misunderstood me. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. He misunderstood me. I said, why can't anybody? get a cement license can anybody if you have your money today approach nigerian government and get a license for cement or oh, approach the Nigerian government and get a license me, for hold on. can you guys hear me dude if i say hold on you guys hold on now I'll, I'll just be stop putting you guys in the back uh -uh. hold on now uh -uh. but those have you applied for license and they didn't give you 
not give you, they will not. Let's not stop. No, I mean, no, it's not what I ask you whether they will not. I didn't not. apply, they will make okay. it difficult for you to even get. So, who do you know that has applied that they made it difficult? There's one company they call Gateway Cement. It was my, I, I'm not even supposed to mention names now. You see, you're making me to mention names. I know people who have applied and they didn't give. Because well, of bring my the people job. here to come and bring them here to come and explain to us. What kind of, because of my job and the sensitivity of the, the, the thing, I have some confidentiality that I, I, I was not supposed to even mention. I, I've, I've almost mentioned one of them now. I'm okay, telling anyway, you, uh, let me leave you. Let me tell but, uh, you, let me tell you, between well, you and me, the uh, one uh, uh, Mike, I cannot come here and lie and say they gave some, but they didn't give some. I was supporting Tinubu now, you should know. So if I say I know somebody that they didn't give, you should believe me. If you tell me you know, I will believe you now on the strength of so, that. Have I come to you and done something that suggests I'm deceptive or do I have a particular political interest that I'm supporting? That no, the thing is, I don't know you personally, so I can't just... I, can't yeah, but you. It, I mean... I have to, I have to... No, no, if you present something... So, but to... that means I will look at everything anybody say on this platform with distrust. I have to trust so, people. Ah, let me tell you. To, I will advise you to, because you are talking to my, my principle is so, this. I would believe what you tell me until I have a reason to say, no, it is not true. If you but, come but, to me, but, but if you to come to me, that, 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 or whoever, if you come to me and say, Mike, if you say, Mike, my name is Mike, I'm calling, I'm from the U.S., I have every right to believe that you are from the U.S. until I have a reason to say no. But, I'm, but the only, okay, 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 let me go by your logic. Uh, you say if we apply, uh, now I have to believe. That's why I ask you: Have you applied? If you say you applied, they didn't give. I know yeah, people. I did say I have applied. Oh, I said no people who have applied. But well, you have to bring those people here for me to ask but, them. No, that uh, because, because you are who? Because, because you, you want me to believe he said she said. I don't want to believe it. Mike, we should not be fighting. Who we should not be fighting. You? It does. The fact that you are believing something does not increase the credibility of it. If you have, if I have a truth, <laughs> if I have a truth Patrick. and I present it to you, the fact that you Patrick. disbelieve it does not reduce the credibility. You are speaking on behalf of somebody else. Does not make it more true. Patrick, so Patrick, that. Patrick. Sorry, sorry for. Is I don't think we need to be fighting over this issue. Yes. You understand what Remy is saying is that, and then you know, if you are talking, this is a solid mineral. Yes. And then uh, if. It, it, it cannot be the the application cannot be open and open forever when they said they should apply a lot of people apply and they give a lot of people and i'm very sure there'll be criteria for application some people will meet it some people will not meet it so for the fact that you you know somebody that applied and was not giving does not mean does not mean that they didn't make it open maybe it didn't no, meet the criteria Exactly. where me and you grew up, we know that it is not likely to be possible for ordinary people like you and me to get such after ban So uh, that ah, means so that, that, uh, you know, if we are basing it, hey, excuse me, if you are talking based on all all this notion that you have now then we don't have any any time any right to even discuss anything because that means whatever we don't even have to discuss anything about that country that no, we don't have, have to address we to address a fundamental issue we have to address a fundamental issue wait wait as far as i know as far as i know let's not do this now ah Let's not just rush, talk over each other. It's not good now. Come down. You know, you had your time too, and somebody is making a statement. Let the person land, and one at a time. You land, let the Patoski land his point. Remy want to come in. He already asked to come in, and you just want to go over there. I mean, it's not fair now. Let's do it. Let the Patoski land his point. Let Remy come in, and then you can come after that. And let's do it like that, one at a time. We all can talk at the same time, you know? You know, Patoski you. land your what point. I'm let Remy come in, and then you. Can I, can I, can I come after him. Okay. My okay. what I'm trying to say is this. In that country, there are some fundamental issues that must be settled. We need to create a system where an ordinary person can have opportunity to thrive. 
where the market will be free, free market, free entry, free exit. That those are the foundational framework of true capitalism. You understand? We need that in that country. We need a system where if we create structure to raise money today and we say we want to set, start a, a bank, they will not limit us by saying, let us increase the capital requirement to, to a level that we know is not likely to be possible for ordinary people like you and me. To, to All right, you get your point. Let me come in now. So let me that's the point. Okay. It's not a political yeah. issue. I'm completely supporting Tinubu. But I'm not okay, supporting the fact that he's not doing so something right. on that. Okay, but those you, we get your point now. Let other people come in too. Okay, first Ramin, and, go ahead. First and foremost, when they do that round of uh, licensing, it was given to a lot of people, and they give them years to grow. Some of those that get licenses, they continue to import cement and then they bag it and then they sell it to Some others, they went to get the natural resources. They, they build the factory, and those ones that did like that, because they have the uh, financial muscle, or maybe they have the business network, they were able to go. Let me just say the truth. In business, even if they open it to everybody, this is a big business. It's not just that. You cannot just say, okay, everybody just go to cement factory. That will not be a kind of uh, uniformity, and there will not be a kind of quality control. So this is a this are big business. Just like when we talk about telecommunication, when Obasa just started it, they opened up to the world. And those who are interested came in to bid for the licenses. And Nigeria collected about $247 million from each one that was successful. Out of all of them, at the end of the day, only two were picked, Econet, that is Airtel today, and MTL. Later, Global Com also joined them. And the Airtel continued to metamorphize to different names. Let us be frank here. In Nigeria, everybody have opportunity. And you cannot tell me in a capitalist world, which is a cutthroat business world. If yeah. you are not ready, let me finish this. It's a cutthroat business world in which even if you are a small player, a big player can acquire you. If you look at Facebook today, they acquire what's up. This was up belong to Facebook in the, in the initial stage. So you cannot, so sometimes you blame Everybody will blame the government, the government, the government. What about the followers? What are we having to do ourselves? I've listened to when you guys are fighting. When you guys are fighting about this, about that. Remy, I want to speak. Don't go to the fight. You have made your point. Let me go to my point, please. Don't go to the fight. What I want to respond to you is this. We cannot come here every day and blame the citizens when we know the problems of we have in our in our government. Every day we come here, we say you blame no, the citizen. No, are removing? Can, no, let me can. let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. No, I have no, to respond no, no, to you. No, no, no. I am the one talking. Let me tell you something. This I is my space. So you. before you came, you know, I just get Patoski to interject you, and you you want to hijack it. Okay, so if I say I want to come back, you just allow me to come back. I'm the one speaking before you came in. You cannot just come and hijack everything. I say you allow you to talk. I've given you time to talk, so you should allow me to respond. Can That's how it is. Look, look, look. So you, for me, you don't come and say that everything look, in Nigeria look, do this. Look, we know what is happening. And if you, if you, if yourself, you say that this the the license is given to everybody, this and that, you know you are lying. Because I live in Nigeria. Wait, wait. Just like, just let me finish. Just let me finish. Just like DSTV. Let me finish. Just like DSTV today. Let me give you another example, Mike. I don't know. Wait, wait, somebody want to talk? You say wait, 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 wait. Allow me to talk now. I, I said you are going after Remy, but let the guy learn and then you go after him now. The guy wasn't done what he was saying. <laughs> okay, I, let me quickly learn so that I can come in. When I said license was thrown open, uh, cement uh, business is not for Tom, Dick, and Harry. Take that one first. Because if you don't have the capital and the technical know how, you, can, you cannot just say, okay, we'll, we'll give you license. You only have 100,000 and you want to go and do this. Place. It's not, they have a criteria. These are the things you must need before we can give you the license. So you cannot just say, okay, because I want you to just do and then get it. It's not done that way. That is one thing you must know. And those that pass that time. Why is it that it's only their friends that are meeting the criteria? Why is it that it's only their uh, friends that uh, are uh, the criteria? Uh, uh, Remy, uh, plan your point uh, so uh, uh, can I come after you, man. Let's, let's yeah, yeah, uh, so the point about business is this. 
if you say it's only their friend that are meeting the criteria, so what about other players that come in that we don't even know? Or do you think like uh, when they give license to telecommunication company, people like MTN from South Africa are also friends of the government and they give them licenses? So you can't be talking that way. And when you're really talking about business, business have to do business connection. You know it, but don't see. You know that. So if you are a friend, there is a possibility you have more edge over the others. That is how business is being run over the world. So you cannot tell me in the so-called America, why do people like Donald Trump continue to have their way easily over there than the others? So you can't just say because they are friend or no friend. If you want to do uh, this, you need to build your network also. So in a nutshell, uh, in, a, in a nutshell, quickly. Uh, Remy, Remy, try to wrap it up. So yes, in, 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 in a nutshell, I know that everything is not cast in gold and everything cannot be fair across board. But at least, if you want to make it, there is opportunity for people if you put your house in order. Thank you. All right. Well, um, first of all, what I want to say is this. A lot of people, a lot of company has grown. A local manufacturer has grown, wanted to survive. But because of government policies, they are out of business today. We don't make policies that even favors the ones that manage to, to come up or to do business in Nigeria. It's just like uh, uh, DSTV today. There was a time we have a uh, high TV, a Nigerian competing with DSTV. But because of some interest of our political class, they could knife and high TV was taken out of our system. Your own how, how did they do it? Product. How did they do it? How did they take them out? Because of some offer now, the things that uh, the things that the DSTV offer to them, most of them today are receiving free channels and they some they buy some shares, they do this and all those stuff. High TV was taken out, but this high TV is one of the highest competing Nigerian this thing competing. Then the last one I know, the last one I know is uh, so they were there is the one we, know, call, we know the reason why ITV left, so don't come here and be lying to us. So we know the reason why it's it left because of it's because you know, whatever it is we want to keep it. It's a non-business favorable environment. It, okay. You have to first of all, you have it, to first of all, it, favor it, your, it, let me it, finish, it, let it, me finish, Timba. You people have to, I don't know what you guys are defending. When it comes to your local we production, you have to defend anything. it. Can, 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 that's you how to grow, that's how to grow your economy. You cannot be lying. Cannot be oh, giving, you cannot be lying, that's finish. what you are saying. Let me finish, there is nothing like lying. When you go to China, you see how they do business. When it comes to your, you your local production, no matter, have you no matter how little no matter, you, no you, matter you, how little it is, have you, okay, have we, are to, to we are not here to, we are not here to castigate. Or okay, maintain your intelligence. I beg, I beg. I'm not here to. I'm not here to, call, to talk rubbish. I'm serious of what I'm talking. Maintain your intelligence. I'm not here to talk who is who has traveled most. You understand? So when you come, when it comes to your local production, you have to protect it with all you have. And we have done a lot of things to kill our local production. There is the one called Metro. Metro is operating very well against DSTV. The same government policy took them out of business. Uh, what exactly is that policy? In favor of, in favor of, in favor of a South African, a South African product. And when you come today, you want to tell me that the government did this. They give license to this. Open up the market. In favor your, favor your. Let the policy favor your local production there. Before you talk about other investors. And we know it's happening in our system. But when we come there, we come. We want to defend the government. You're contradicting yourself. You say open up the market. Now you're saying to favor one side. I mean, what are you talking about? No, I still I still maintain I still maintain my 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 this thing. You see, most of the time what we defend here doesn't make sense. We see it happening in other places. But when we come to Nigeria, to be open up or do you want it to be give license to the capable ones? There are many capable Nigerian producers today. Well, tell us who has listen to, me, listen to me, listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. Apply for license now, and then you can come back and tell us. Listen to me, listen to me. If it is not, if it is not, uh, just like what we are doing to our local manufacturing vehicles today, who is talking about them in the government sector? So, who is so talking about they, them? They give Nobody is talking about them. All they, they the local manufacturing, both the one we have in the southwest, both the one we have in the southeast. Who is talking about deny, it? Your government comes on national TV. Let me finish. Your government comes on national TV and tell you they are not capable. But it's just, I just thank God for what happened. I just thank God for what happened to APC, uh, APC today. I will just let me just give I, I kudos to you. Like, that is to show you. That is to show. Let me finish. That is to show you 
that when you open up the market, when you give when you give them license, things begins to go well for you. Today, you people are enjoying. If you are paying one thousand dollar for for a ticket before, if you pay eight hundred dollar today, it's a bonus. So I don't know what we are defending now. There, there is competition in the market in that sector today, and you guys are the one enjoying it. And this one come here today asking me if I've traveled to China before. <laughs> so if you, let us let us help ourselves in this country. Now, Okay, anyway, all right, let's I don't got that. We come here, they will just let's say, 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 Okay, what, what I want to say is this if we are talking on this platform, we are not talking based on the motion. We are, you, are, you have to come with facts, and then you can't. If people are not challenging, if you are giving reason and people are challenging it, you should be calm enough to explain yourself and say, okay, this is the reason why this is this, this, this one is this, this one is this. It's not just for you to just come and put out spurious things that people cannot even you know, reason with you. You say okay, the uh, 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 ITV was was uh, chased out of market by government policy. Which government policy? Because I remember that time ITV they have like half license to even view um, um this thing that that time um, um um Premier League. And most of the time they are not even consistent. Then I remember that time also that the whole bank a lot of money they could not survive. You can't tell me yeah, that why, because why you bank a lot of money, isn't it? Because of your policy. High TV showed yeah, I, 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 I want it live. They may not have the capital. I, I can I allow Simba to land, man, please. Yeah. So, uh, Simba. Yes. I'll, I'll... Oh, okay. Um, sorry, I just tried to. If you have a question, ask question. But Simba, you gotta ask Simba land this point. But if you want to throw question, oh, I know. Question. I, I think I can accept the, the interjection. Oh, oh, yeah, go ahead. Okay, okay. I just. But, but what, hold on, hold on. What some people do sometimes is they don't interject. They just divide the conversation to something else. You know. They Man, I thought maybe maybe he has some maybe he has some other information. No, no, that was why. Right. But you have to be regarding what you are because you already had a train of thought. So. Yeah, okay, okay. I, I can ask you when you come on the platform, you know that many people are listening to you, and when you are giving up information, you know, somebody like me, I will like, what is the guy talking about? So, you don't know the history behind the ITV you are just talking about, you are just talking about government, government, government. That ITV you are talking about, it was even Tinubu that was funded those guys there. Those guys, when they they are like three people, once they make money, they will travel, they will go and watch a Premier League in London, go to UK. They were just spending money anyhow, and that is how they, they that company folded up. So you just listen to maybe I don't know where you get all your information for. You just come online. Oh, all right, all right, TV, TV is folded up. This thing is folded up. Do you know? Do you know any information about those people? You don't know. So. Just don't give up information to you know so that you will not you are you are not talking to yourself, you are talking to many people. So we are hearing what you are talking about. So most times, if you don't know details about things, just check it before you just give information out. That's what I want to say. Thank you. Um uh, let, let's see my continue. Okay, so then on this cement uh, the cement uh, license also. I remember even the better. One of uh, at least the Igbo, he was giving license, but since I've been in Nigeria, I've never I've never even seen the Beto cement, but it's producing. So what has he done to improve his own capacity? I don't know Boa because if you say if you if you sell the uh, like Patosi that was saying that is, they gave license to their friends and cronies, I don't know who Boa is a, whether Boa is a friend to uh, Boa is he a friend to Buari or to Nubu or who. Who is he a friend to? Because even before we don't know Boa. Boa just came in and then he's expanding and everybody is appreciating whatever he's doing. I'm not saying that we should not liberalize it, but a it cannot be given to any Dick and Ari. It's a big business that requires a lot, a lot of capital and a lot of te technical yeah, know-how. Yeah. Uh, Bishop, uh, sorry, Simba. Even Alan Oyema, he was not a fan of anybody. Now he got a license to do his business, you know. So when people keep saying that everybody 
for you to get license to do anything in Nigeria, you have to be a friend of uh, it, it, you it, know, they select you or something. I'm like, come on now. People do business the, like that. The fact that the matter my, is like, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. The problem that we have is that we know that we have we have problem of leadership, but we also have some assumptions that's also causing limitations of whatever we want to do. Somebody that have not even made an attempt to do certain things will already be giving you reason why that thing is not possible. You have not tried it. You only say, okay, you well, know, if I try it, this is what is going to happen. Going to farm, you know, if I go to farm, the, the full and years men will kill me. Have you tried it? And that's the danger of the propaganda they come to the country. Uh, hey, because know, yeah, that, that's it. When so it comes to spreading propaganda, the, they begin to, you know, that thing kills people's uh, ambition and uh, potential. The, the issue here is that we share a lot of untrue story online. Some of us, we don't even have the capacity to be able to see what is true, what is not true. Then we come online also to come and be repeating whatever things that some people have sat down to lies that they have started down to 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 write and then we, we start propagating it which is not going to be good for us all of us say i don't think there's anybody that have any negative notion against nigeria we all want our country to improve but what we are saying is that we should not also be spreading lies against our country whatever no, it's not like lies. It's what you guys are saying it's what you guys are saying because even the guy that came up to say talk anything about high tv I, even the one there is a one that is called metro also because i mean i know what i'm saying whether you are whatever however you want to put it that one that is called metro uh is in the last uh last two years they are showing primarily but they only they only uh based in portacourt people don't know much about it their suspicion is about three thousand naira then okay, so what you understand? it is this dstv that went ahead and shoot and them I, can I, I want to bring it to your notice today sometimes Please just come down, give me just 50 seconds. When you talk about business, we, talk, we have big player, we have small player. Today we have Star Time. Star Time is an investment from China. They cannot compete with DSTV. That one you are talking about, they don't have the power to compete with DSTV. And if you don't have the power to compete with you, you are you are confined to a small, small, small space. And sometimes if you do not do it very well, the big player will, will, will smash you. And you, before you the, know it, you're out of business. So the, the point you are player, the big player is, that is in India. Calm down. Star times, salt times, also show football. But when they don't have the power to meet up with the right of those people that are the premiership or whatever, they cannot compete with DSTV in that angle. All those things. Let me let, me, let me, let me, let me, let me ask you a question, direct question. You are in a labor market. You are selling your stock. Do you think you are the biggest player in what you are selling there? Are you the biggest man? I'm not the biggest player, I but let me let me. You. I want to make I want to make my point clear. I want to make my point clear. Let me let me finish. Let me finish. This uh, I want, I'm coming to from another angle before you came in. This metro that I'm I'm, I'm talking about, they are already coming up very strong. So in Premier League, their suspicion is very cheap, but they are only limited in Portacourt. Once DSTV notices, this is a local a local product owned by a nigerian they just uh went to court uh fight them they said i don't know many things they fight against them at the end of the day this this uh this uh, metro has to go off, off the market because they don't have because the, right. the reason why i know let me finish let me finish the reason why i know the reason why i know let me finish let me finish let me the reason why i know what happened in that is that i sell one of their products and they call uh, the company from here once once i import it and once it's come i supply it direct from here to portacourt and that product up to today i've not sell it the ones that i have some quantity that's almost as in the money is just there after the after the this uh their court case with dstv so at the end of the day they won the case in court but they spent a lot of millions it affected their finance and they couldn't come back as they, they were used to be before they so they have to tell us the reason why they took them to court so that everybody will understand it clearly before we go ahead. The DSTV is to them say that they 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 do this in the they are operating under their they are not they are operating without license and all those stuff. But at the end of the day, they won. They said they have license, but DSTV said they didn't have license. 
Oh, wow. You understand? Because the, the, what happened in that sector is that whatever that, that wants to come on, oh, so DSTV, oh, 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 let me finish now. Let me finish. Allow me to have my now. Let, let me finish one before I can. We, we try to understand let what you're saying. So, you saying so my point is this. My point is this. My point wait, is this. My point is this. Wait, wait, Can I say something real quick? Give me a second. Let me wait. Wait. Can I? Sometimes we ask you because we are trying to cut you off or anything. You want to understand what you are taking us? Like you want to let him stop asking me those questions. I don't ask him one is. Let him stop asking me those questions. Let me finish my talk before I speak. I will speak. I will speak. I will not allow him to speak on it. We just ask me some questions. I don't understand. Can you at least hear what I'm saying? Can you at least hear what I'm saying? What I'm saying is that you said two people went to court, and you said one won the case, and we want to know which one won the case. That's it's not like they are disagreeing. We just want to know. Yeah, Metro letter won the case. That's what I'm saying. Metro letter because they're still in the market okay, today. But they, now. So what's so bad about that? Yeah, they, like, but they don't have the financial. They don't have the financial muscle again to go as they used to go before. So those most of their products are out of the market. So they don't have to reshuffle. Their name now is SLTV. They're still coming up, but they're not as what they used to be before. You understand? So my point is this: I don't know why South African business will come in Nigeria and try to beat a local product, and the way Nigerians. We, be, we, keep, we keep quiet, our government will keep quiet. What are they benefiting for South Africa than to build our own products? And that's my point. Okay, can I now... When, when we see, when we see uh, Nigeria, when we see Nigeria trying to come up with something beneficial to the people, why won't we support it? And their suspicion is even cheaper than that of DSTV, just 5,000 naira. You got all the football you want to get. But we are here supporting, supporting South wait, African business oh, instead okay, of how okay. to support our own business. Wait, wait, wait. I don't wait, get wait, it. Hold on. I, I can, wait, 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 wait. You, you said as you open the market, when, when market is open, you can't start discriminating. Now they can't. I mean, what you are preaching here is that it should kill the South African business for you. And also, when you are saying they are supporting, I mean, the consumer not the one consuming the South African product. I mean, what are you talking about, man? We, see, we, a lot of people, a lot of people want to consume. Well, a lot of see what is happening there. A lot of people want to consume Nigerian product, but once they go in, because these guys so the they have frustrated them a lot. Uh, they will, uh, let me finish now. It's Nigerian product force for me. It's Nigerian product force. South Africa, you, you cannot. South Africa cannot do what they're doing in Nigeria. They cannot do it. We cannot do what they're doing in Nigeria. We cannot do it. So calm down again. In their own in their own country, we can what the what the way they have monopolized our market, we cannot do it in their own country. It's not, I'm, I'm not saying that they cannot they cannot operate you. But trying to use them trying to use them to portray our own our own product is what is what I don't understand. Yeah, first and foremost, calm down. Just calm down. You talk. Are they doing what they are doing illegally? That's the question. But let me go ahead. Of course, Mike. Mike is very simple. Everybody can enter that business, but what you have to look at what is DSTV selling? What is the one that he is talking about selling? DSTV is selling an all-inclusive range of services. You are selling one service, and you don't know the. I asked you a very good question. Do you know why the reason they took them to court? You cannot tell me clearly why DSTV take these people to court. When you are broadcasting a uh, football match, you I get told you, I said they, they said they are operating without license. That's what I told you. Okay, and you said after that one that they won. If they won, why can't they go back and continue to operate like before? So no, they are they are operating now. They are operating so, now. So, Their service so, is going on so, now. So, but it's not down. as it used yeah, to be before. Calm down, calm so. down. Globalcom, Dangote, Assets Bank, First Bank, all of them are operating in different countries in Africa. So should we say because they are assets bank or because they are from Nigeria, they should not operate in Kenya, they should not operate in South Africa. So you can't see it that way. We live in a global village. Any country that with good business can come to your country as an investor to start doing business in your country. And I told you before, in business is very easy. And I also asked you a good question. In your market, you are not the big player. If you are not careful, the big player can, big player can also acquire your business. That is how it's done everywhere in the world, in the capitalist world. All of this thing you are talking about, hey, I'm in Nigeria, I'm something like that. It's, uh, we're already past that one. It's a global village. Why can why do Americans go to your country to operate business there? They have Facebook, they have Google all over the world. So why? It's, it's, it's being liberalized. You can't be talking about, okay, I'm the, if it's in Nigeria, like- I can't want us to be selfish. 
So you see when the airplane, when the airplane slashes the, slashes the plane, I didn't so, say it to be selfish, yo. Uh, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to make sure that, I'm just trying to make sure that Nigerians defend what belongs to them. Because Nigerian poor. Like that. If you want to yeah, give them whatever. It's just like, a, it's just like, a, it's just like a, you saying that they, they lack fun, but you check our 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 banking sector today to borrow money is like committing suicide in our in our in our sector okay, why other countries uh, let me uh, let, let uh, why other countries when they do when, when, when they go to when in their country they borrow money with a, with a good interest rate but when you when you as an engineer you want to go and borrow money to do business the interest rate will first of all give you high dp before you even borrow the money it, it, so it, it, you tell me that okay. you want your you want it, your product to subscribe like, like, it's almost like I can I can want Nigerians to go to their country and make money, but he doesn't want to go to Nigeria and make money. So you want to say? Mike, we have the market. we have the market board. Mike, 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 and even the Nigeria Broadcasting Corporation supported Metro against DSTV. And they said they should even give them sub license to actually do whatever said, they yeah. want to do. You know, just hold on now. Said, yeah. Wait, yeah. see, wait, see, because, you know, it's not the same thing. Because you came here, you said the government work against them, the government policy. Nigeria court, they even won the case in Nigeria court. Even Nigeria Broadcasting Corporation gave, they even instructed Mochi choice, which is the STV, to even also sub license them. So for them to go out of operation is not the fault of the government, it's not the fault of the DSTV. That's what you are saying. No, so no, I did not say the first thing, the first thing, let me finish. Let me finish. Yeah. Let me finish. You came here initially, you said it's government policy. I will ask you that what is the government policy? That government that policy is this. Them. They lack like they are operating, but they lack license. Wait, so if government has given them now, if the government has given them the license they where they had, they need before. The DSTV would have they would have all the old. What are you talking about, man? Calm down. Let me see my come on. You can just uh, over talk us. Man. You, you, sense. you just uh, hold on. We are not here to just listen to your the way you are ranting, you are shouting. It doesn't shout or making your voice to be louder does not it won't make us to understand whatever you are you are you are saying you came here initially you said it was the government policy that made them to run out of operation and we ask you which government policy you couldn't tell us you said okay they that dscv took them to court we were even thinking that okay maybe the, the government used court to to actually Supply, I mean, see their license. I didn't say anything like that. Now you know what you're no, talking about. I just said government policy. Wait, see. But don't say what see. I did not say now. I said government policy can come in different form. Not sure. giving them license is part of government okay. policy. Okay, what is that? Eh? So don't say, I didn't say, I told you that they won in the court. And they still they gave today. them license now. They gave them license now. After the court case now. Ah. Uh. After the court case, they, so somebody, no, let me tell you. Started, let me tell you. Somebody so started operation. Before. No, just hold on. Without Are license. you telling me that they were not licensed to start operating? They just started operation. Somebody that is already view. I mean, rolling out their pro, um, um, program and their channels to people and people are watching and the, people are paying. Are you telling me that they don't they have they license? Not, they, might not, they might not have the license, but you will, you will not say that they are not pushing why it. They, why should they even let me, start anything? No, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Yeah, yeah, they might not have the license. Yeah, yeah, my point is, my point is still this. Mike, let Mike allow me to talk now. Hold on, hold on. I can, I can't do this. You can't do this. You can't, you can't just be over talking and talking. We have to try to make sense of what we are. What we are saying to cohere. We have to. I mean, what we are saying to handle. You can't just be diverting and just. It's like you're just talking all over the place, man. Let's stick there. Calm down, man. Ah, let's try to make. I'm trying to make. My guy, calm down. You just I diverse. If I if I just have the opportunity to go. Say, you know, it's like exposing something, begin to shout and just say, let me finish and take us to a different talk. Come on, man, stop manipulating the discussion.
Come on. 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 Come you say government policy, and then we they ask you what's the policy? You can't, you can't tell us they are now. You say it's uh, that they didn't license, and then we ask you, okay, ah, if they were not given license, how were they operating then? Because if they were operating without license, that would have been illegal, and they would have been prosecuted or fined or something. So if they were not fined for operating illegally for, for without license, that means they were licensed. I mean, that's what we're trying, we're trying to make sense here. Come on now, again, ah, yeah, but I, I'm, I'm, I'm still trying to give you an explanation on that now. Uh -huh. Okay, what I'm is trying the to make that you want to Oh, yeah. Tell what us, I, what I wanted yeah. to say is to tell you that uh, mm. even though they don't have the license there, mm. why wouldn't government give them the license? Because I cannot say that they are not pursuing no, the license. That, because they know the implication. I, I can, uh, you understand? I it's, just like, it's just like AP is coming out to say that uh, they frustrated him in his own country for almost seven no, years. Can, under can, 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 so that's, a, the, that's still the policy we are, are you, talking about. What are, you control, what are you trying to tell us now? That, okay, if I want to do a business in Nigeria now, I should not get license for me to start a business there because i'm in nigeria government should just oh, allow me that like that thing should be easy for nigerians to put to to purchase that license because if it is easy i think metro no, what have i'm saying no because they want a, a, a station you hold on a station started operating without license and you said that government should have supported them to continue operation yeah, if I, if I, if what, happens, what happens in every country is that when you when you identify talent you support that talent you know, 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 my problem with you, you go, you always talk about other country, which you know nothing about. Which country will you say you want to start a business without license? So other countries don't identify talent in their, in their land and support that what talent. What do you mean by identifying talent? What do you mean by identifying talent? Whatever you can produce in Nigeria today, say talent. So you need to have everything. You need to have everything. You need to have everything. If they identify you, they should not. So the property, even if you are, if you are identified as a talent, you must get license. You must, we are, uh, we are, we are all talking about putting things right in our country. But the that, way that, you that are, you are what country. we are saying that is not easy to get in our system. That's what we are trying to tell you. It's not easy to get in our system. But you guys try to say that the, the license is easy to get. Okay, okay. Explain why it's not easy. I can never no, I, I think let's Baba Jaleo could talk. Let Baba Jaleo could talk. Please. What they are telling you, and you know too, there's no way you can start running a business without being licensed by the government. So what they are telling you is that what you said earlier, that uh, government did not give license to the multi choice you said. No metro, metro, a uh, metro, and and um, uh, for that reason, um, DSTV took them to court. You know, sir, they are telling you it's not right, because if government had not given them license, there's no way they will they 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 they, they, they will operate at all. They won't they, they 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 won't be in a business. It is government licensing you to run a particular business that we put you in a position to run business in any country so what you said here was wrong that is what they are telling you the what was the 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 reason behind that uh, dstv to take action against that metro you don't know it Babaja, Babaja, I'm not saying no. that what I said is right. What I'm saying, what I said is good to get license before you. Oh, so you are admitting that. that what you are saying is wrong. So, but my point, yeah, my point, the point yeah. I'm still so, making so is you this. You are wrong. You are wrong. You are wrong. No, no, I think. No, uh, the, uh, the point, uh, no, no, let me let me uh, finish. The point I I'm making let's is this. Point, yes, let me finish. 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 Yes, they are not having license to start a business is wrong. You understand? I admit that. But my problem is this. The system uh, is very wait, difficult wait, wait, wait. to they get really license. Without license. They will start without license. We have, see, uh, Mike, uh, I, I know that sector very well because even in this, uh, let me finish, let me finish. Even in this, uh, even in our market, in our market here, no, a lot no, of people no, can no, do that. Your market. That's yes, to tell, you, to tell you that, that's, that that place is very open, that place is very open for everybody to, to come in. Even in this so hour, it is in the, the, are you saying it's very easy. 
No, no, the problem Mike, is that the problem Mike, is that please, let, let Baba Jai go to us. I can I have a conversation of this so that I will not see you so as being biased. But the problem is still the problem is still that is still that a lot of because people in our market rubbish that cannot talking access about. that license. <laughs> they cannot access that license. It's, too, it's, too, it's very difficult to access that license. So that that, that policy, that government policy is too what I'm talking about. They should make that policy easy for people that want to operate business in nigeria so that they don't go about doing it illegally so if the policy was easy i thought metro would have had the license but explain that's, the that government policy, policy is what i'm still standing on okay, it's us, very difficult for nigerian yeah, business yeah, 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 you keep telling yeah. us policy but we are telling yeah. you tell us the policy explain the policy yeah i just jumped in from pillar to pole you, you see you agreed earlier that oh you don't know this uh, maybe they are registered or they are not registered. They are saying uh, government should have given them. We don't even know where you where, where you start. You know, Ekene is pained because he, he bought some of their products. He couldn't sell it, and he, he <laughs> maybe run out of it. So <laughs> Ekene, you see, they don't catch you now. Ekene, you don't don't say, my money was there. My money was there. My money was there. Ekene, 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 Ekene was, was doing business, business with, with an illegal. Eh? You are doing. You are doing business eh? with an illegal eh? company. Eh? Illegal company. Eh? And you came on the platform <laughs> promoting rubbish. Eh? <laughs> eh? You are doing illegal business. <laughs> you are one of the people that is supposed to have been arrested. It's in not illegal yeah, business, yeah. No. But, but, but we have a lot of we have okay. a lot of talent to develop. That's my point. So we need okay. to put it to work. Okay. Okay. Let, let, us, let us tell you this. <laughs> the, the that metro they register, but what was responsible for that uh, lawsuit or something like that, or why DSB took action against them, we don't know. Maybe there are some. Uh... Baba, Baba Jali Kuku, let me even tell you this. They yeah. went to court, actually, because I checked when he mentioned them. Mm -hmm. It was this case was in 2002, 20, 20, 20, 2022. They went to court. They actually won that case. Mm. In fact, the case went to appeal court. They won the case. Even NBC mm -hmm. supported them. You understand? So, even the information so that. The uh, supporting them. Exactly. As the information what, uh, that Ekene, is, uh, Ekene was, uh, yeah, government was supporting them. They won the case. NBC was supporting them. They even said that DSTV, which is multi choice, she also even sublicense them so that they be they can be streaming the premiership under them. You understand? You know mm -hmm. the problem mm -hmm. is this: if lack of information is is is, is, a, is a very fundamental issue here. Mm -hmm. DSTV, ha they are the one that have the right to, mm -hmm. to view premiership to sub Sahara africa they oh. got the license from sky sport okay in in, in england so okay. any other station that wanted to view it must be under them under them yeah. they will subscribe under them and mm -hmm. they will give them certain region where they can view where they operate yeah they and operate mm -hmm. you understand mm -hmm. so they that was what happened they were um, um, viewing a uh, premiership to Nigerian people, and they extend that even beyond the region that they are they, 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 they actually given to them. But that was not even the case when they even took them to court. They want the case and they said they should sub license them so that they can be under them. So, but what now ma made them to run out of business is what everybody don't know. But it's not this this lock and in this suit. They won the, the case against multi choice. And the Nigerian Broadcasting Corporation asked them, and the Nigerian government, even the court asked them to sublicense them. Maybe mm. they wanted, they don't want to be under multi choice. Under, yeah. You understand? Maybe they don't want to be under multi choice. And that was why. And let me tell you, that premiership, that is the only thing that can make them people to subscribe. Every other thing that they are showing, nobody will watch it. Is, that, is, is it film? Is that premiership now? That is what is that's only, that's only the, only, the only thing that is making the SCV to run in a jail to multiple subscribe is premiership. Exactly. Even uh, even La Liga, you can get it for free. Even Italian, you can get it for free. But that Premier League. You, you know, let me tell you, Ekene, let me, e e e e e e e e e e listen yeah. to me, Ekene, listen to me, you know, because there are so many illegal things that's going on in our space, oh. and you people know, 
you understand and people are benefiting from it oh, you yeah. can't come on the platform and be promoting such things all these things the that you are talking about is a way the fans have actually done something wrong so yeah, yeah you understand la liga yeah. spanish league all those league mm. they are multi-billion dollar businesses that is not supposed to be free it can't be free do you understand and say so if somebody is beaming it free that person is stealing it mm. thank yeah. you he's stealing it and you, you know if you want sanitation if you want something to be good you if you know because you are benefiting you don't know that most of this thing that you are benefiting for they are illegal things and mm. but because you want to survive and they so but you can do that one in your you can't come on a global platform and be championing something that is illegal uh in addition mm. Senda, i said before uh, that dstv is doing all inclusive when you have a dstv in your home you watch music you watch movie you watch sports wrestling uh football tennis so many things but you do and uh, all those inclusive how much do you pay at the end of the month they have different price strata like when i first got it's not let me let me don't even go to the pricing what even let me tell you um uh, nollywood our yeah. own film that they are showing mm -hmm. is not even free they they are paying the people that owns these films they, they that you. is why Just our like our nollywood thing. people are getting money so that yeah. you know you should do, you should remove your from your notion there's nothing free again in the world nothing free again yeah. everybody is doing business you understand even they even before cnn used to be free it's no longer free news ordinary news channel they are not free again so you should remove they that one that uh, channels, are not free. Free. channels are not free again uh, arise they are uh -huh. not free. but the, uh -huh. the point is this the point is this uh the point is this but we are fighting for for price con uh, price you understand it's just like it's just like met that metro today is operating but they cannot still uh show a lot of station even channels they don't show channels solely arise they show but they show premier league and champions league at the rate of five thousand naira which is very affordable to every Nigerians. You understand? To compare to DSTV of, uh, let's say, the lowest, the cheapest you can get to get all those, uh, only Premier League itself, is about 14,000 naira or so. Do you understand? So if you want no, to watch no, Champions League, no, then... no, 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 no. That is not how it operates. The money you pay, for example, when I got, I was paying 10,000 naira on DSTV. You watch football, you watch movie, you watch wrestling. It was so many things. Not only when that, I when, when I started yeah. using DSTV, Premier League alone is six thousand naira only no. to watch Premier League. I don't know. I don't know how you use. Let Premier. me let me. No, I'm coming. Uh, Premier League. To get, no, to get Premier just leave you. What are you saying? Okay, you you are, what you are saying that the price is. Well, the price high. now. The price now. The price now is out of control. It's not everybody can afford it. So people are looking for better alternatives. Which this uh, because best, they have changed their name. They have changed their name from alternative. They have changed alternative their name from, to the Lega. Mm, like to metro, for the fact that to, people uh, are to looking for and that is why people are championing for alternative. People are championing for be, for that. Uh, it should be Lega. It should be Lega. You understand? You should not be doing something. I'm, saying, I'm not saying that it should not be Lega. I'm not saying that it should not issue. It should not be Lega. I'm saying that let's uh, just like what they did to SLTV now. I appreciate them because I told you that they won the case. So that support the, that these guys need, give them that support so that we Nigerian, we at least we have a breath of fresh air because that's the one giving us the price we want. So when you have your local, when you have your local producers doing what they have to do, you don't see other people come to manipulate your market and give you high prices. And that's what I, that's what, 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 what I'm, the point I'm trying to make in everything that I'm, I'm talking here this night. Hey, you no, the point, let so, me tell so you. When, the, when, the you when all this, when all this, our local production, whatever we want to get to produce in nigeria make it competitive then when all these things come on board you no, see a very yes, good price yes, yes. the price yes, will be affordable the right of the football does not belong to nigeria it's been controlled by sky sport this is not in nigeria today 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 sltv uh, today sltv is showing it today sltv is showing it for five thousand naira monthly that's the point i'm trying to make right. but the dstv showing their own dstv showing dstv let me let me finish uh, dstv is showing only Premier League for about twelve thousand. then champions league for almost fourteen thousand or sixteen thousand nine hey, 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 but this this, this hey, dstv hey, hey, today hey. is showing after they won the court case they are showing premier league and the champions league for five thousand naira. no hold on hold on hold on you know 
Uh, if you want to make people to agree with whatever you are saying or to have sympathy for you, you, you don't tell lies. I, I use DSTV in my house. There is no, it is, there is no different package for Premiership, no different package for Champions League. They have, they have, let me say this. There is a different package for Champions League, different package for Premier League. Wait, 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 you have you are there are different packages, even the one the packages that doesn't really include sports. I hope you know that. I know they start from uh -huh. so if you are if you are on compact, you have compact plus, you have premium, we have premium, you know, there are so many packages depending yeah. the, the so they had some channel and it's depending different on the channels you can but, afford. Yeah, what no, you are for so you cannot say. Go what you are saying is that okay, they have a package for premiership and then they are another package for DST for 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 Champions League. Yeah, it's it's like that. It's mm -hmm. just like it's, it's like that. It's like oh, that. When you pay when you pay twelve thousand something, you only watch Premier League. When you increase it to about no. whether it's forty thousand no, or two, that you want more Premier League than Champions League. That if is there. SLTV, it's if SLTV, true. let me tell you, I have, I have if, who, who are the people that are consuming these products? Are they not Nigerians? They're Nigerians. Okay, so if Nigerians prefer to go for DSTV and they don't subscribe for SLTV, they have their reason. If I mean, I cannot go and They have their reason. So yeah, they have their reason. I cannot go. Wait, wait. I cannot go and subscribe for SLTV. Because I know their package might not suit me, might not contain all the content I want to watch. You understand? You cannot tell me you now. If you look at their streaming, the quality, the quality of their product and everything, you cannot compare the two. I hope you know that. I know. So people, that uh, hey, people that. go for quality things, and anybody that can afford it, that is what we call open market. You understand? So if I can afford and I, I I want to get a better quality for my money, I will go for the, su the subscription for DSTV. So you cannot blame anybody for that. If they too want to go into the market, let them go and improve, get more partners, they get more equipment and whatever. And people watch them. They will, they will improve because they just started. Uh -huh. They will improve. Uh -huh. So whatever you are saying even, now. So uh, even channels, I cannot even watch channels there. And they, you know, a lot of all these things that women like, all these BB Niger, all this, um, what are they calling it? Ajazela, all these uh, Indian movies and all those stuff. They don't have it. Okay, you are not, you, 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 got, you are talking now. They cannot improve, get more money, get more partner to improve their quality. And to be frank, let's put this straight. DSTV does not have money for premiership. They have different packages. Once you pay that one, you watch your football, you watch movies, you watch music, you watch everything, news included. So it's not that money for premiership alone. No, that is not you know. No, and that's so, what I want. There is just, even do you know that do you know that they go TV now show Premier League for twelve thousand. You know, you know what that's that's telling that's you. For, there is no package alone. No, no, wait. What is telling you now? There is no package alone for premiership. If you have that package that shows no, it's not only for premiership. Things. It shows yeah, other things also. Uh -huh. that's what saying, it shows other things. But the, what I'm, the point I'm trying to make is this. The point I'm trying to make is this. When you pay for that package that show premiership, it shows other mm -hmm. things. But you, that, that uh, channel is for, because that channel is for the uh, Champions League Youth Cup, it is um, Variety 6 and Variety 2. You will not see that two channels until you upgrade. Uh, you understand? Uh, what, if, you, if you want what, to watch more things, if you want to, let me tell you, you know that, so you know that they also subscribe for, for premiership and Japan differently, and they pay different money for it. You know that's what I'm, I'm saying now. Uh, hey, what you, you should know is that this thing is business. They pay money for for it, and they are, they have to make their money. Mm, they have to make their money at the detriment of Nigeria. So what the point I'm making is uh, when we have when okay. we see people that want to offer it. Uh, in a cheaper rate for us. We well, so what it. do you want government to do now? So, ah, we are, we are, we, are, we so it, it, Yeah, I want them to support, about, uh, I want them to be, I want to, however no, support they want to give, uh, whatever they, just like, uh, you, you uh, the government was against them, we now, we said, 
he said government was against them we said okay now we have proved I say policy, to you now that I say a lot of you I say a lot of policies even though they won at last so i'm happy I they won i said it I want to so what i want is for is for them to improve more to I get even more of that support that they that they that they that the government gave them during the court case i, I want I them want to, to get it for them to improve more because it's for the benefit yeah. of nigeria i'm talking only i'm just saying it for the benefit of nigerians no, no, no. It's very cheap for all. i can ask yeah. a question for you who who told allen Oyema or airpiece to slash the price of their london lagos to london road who asked him to do that is it the government when he slashed the price the other player they quickly also slashed their own price Please, if your guy wants to be in business, it must it not not Nigeria. It's 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 a, it's a, it's a free entry, free uh, what? It's a business. Yeah, that uh, that's the that's the point. That's the point where I make it, Remy. Yeah, because don't, 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 don't force Nigerian government or Nigerian people to do. Everybody have a, they, uh, they have a right. If you have a deep pocket, yeah, I can they have the right. It's just it's just like it's just like this. The world that you can afford. This is an open market. So let us be. Don't let us come here and be. This uh, that open market. Yeah, what they did for what they yeah, what they did for yeah, that what they did for what they did for APs Alenonyema that now affected no, positively in the price of uh, no, no, uh, no, London no, flight ticket. No, no. Is what I'm is what I'm also pleading for every other product no, that wants to no, move on in Nigeria. That's what I'm. That's what, what I'm did, saying. What did they do? What did they do for him? What did they do for him? They, they, gave, they gave him the license now that he wants, that he needs now. Every uh, he Metro needs was given license. What else does he want? What else does he want? Uh -huh. He was given license. It's just like, Metro just, was given you know, license. because no, you know, no, you know no, how, no, they, you know how they, they you know, the, you know how the previous government frustrated him. You, he said you it know the problem, himself. you know the problem, try and be, and be stable. You understand? When you raise a point, let us finish that point before you jump to another one. You said he was giving yeah, license. Does, and, I, <laughs> I, and I ask you now, okay, a, a Metro was also giving license. What other thing do you want government to do for Metro? Because at least you want to sell your product. If our, because if our, if our interest rate is good, they can go to the bank and borrow money. And support you know business. what? Let me tell you, let me tell you this about uh, interest rates. All this, our you monetary understand? process, uh, not, our not monetary not policy. Wait, wait now, wait now. You understand the interest rate of a bank, the lending rate is usually based on the economy of a country. You understand? You cannot expect a developing world to have the same lending rate with developed country. You understand? Our economy cannot support such small lending rates. You understand? That is, you know. Whatever we are talking about, we should try and understand the, the principle behind every step, everything that we are talking about. All these things, they are not just something that you, you can just come out and be talking and be saying, oh, no, it should be this, that they should just cut it to 9%. No, or cut it if, to the right, if the writing is done, let me tell you, if no, the writing is done, wait, wait, we'll have, wait, wait. We'll have, we'll have a good interest rate. We used to have it before. It, it, if the writing is done, well, we'll have a good was, interest rate. Let me tell you, so, there, was, there was no time, just hold on, there was no time that I remember in Nigeria that the interest rate of our commercial bank was comparable to that of developed world. So, thank That's you. I do. It was not never good. So what are the but it's dropping up every day by day now. It's getting worse. You no, know, let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you when do you when if you have some economic problem in a country one of the things that you have to do is to increase the interest rate for a con for you to survive do you understand what i'm saying and um, then and i've Deba, mentioned it here several times just Deba, hold on at eh? me, let the kenny know something let me ask the kenny question the kenny, how much do you think is the interest rate in developed world for example interest rate on lending how much do you think it is I don't know. Tell yes, me. Now, at least low. Something that you think should be low. It should be at what rate? At least low interest rate that you think... I think uh, nothing less than 5%. <laughs> Let me give you an example. Wait now. Let me correct him. You see, eh, even in developed world, at least I can say some of us are in developed countries, like me. Like Remy, like other guys in the US and stuff like that. Do you know that it's only interest rate on... Uh, loans like mortgage loans that is like five percent and all the stuff. 
interest rate on your credit card is about 20 something percent <laughs> people don't know that <laughs> the, the interest well, rate on, e on even mortgage even mortgage is close to interest, interest. even mortgage is going up so you can uh, leave that one say interest rate <laughs> when i got here i said ah, so what's the interest that they were doing i remember when i was in the bank where yeah but because down, of inflation they were patoski inflation made no, it go that high one. when i was in the bank in india we we're doing 22 and i got here i saw the credit card again i said ah, 22 for for 22 for uh purchase and if you do a cash draw you are going to get a fee and they are going to get like 23 or 24 but, but we are more than we are more than that uh, 20 percent no, i'm just trying to let you know that it's not yeah, the interest rate here is that low that you right, but the credit you card know. is variable they are using variable that that's why no the nigeria where do you get patoski is trying to educate um, um Ekene, because what Ekene believes that okay, maybe the interest rates in developed world is two percent, three percent. Because that's what they are what they are telling them. You understand? He's just trying to educate him. So don't well, give all those now, on what gauge now? Don't, on what gauge is now? I don't know what they call mortgage. You know what they call mortgage? Mortgage is not it's not as if mortgage is not is not something that you is if you buy a house. On mortgage, that is what they are telling you. you want to do a business, you want to do your buying and selling, or you want to be an industry is totally different from that. So don't 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 jump, don't jump when they are trying to educate you on site. Try and learn, try and learn. See, let me tell you, let me tell you, I've seen business <laughs> people that left Nigeria to go to other other African country to to generate uh, capital for their business on a good interest rate. So it's not as if I don't no, know what I'm saying. You can come saying. and defend what you say whatever you want to say. No, no, I know. So I've listened to their interview and I watched them because of the 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 business or the interest rate of Nigerian banking sector. It's not favorable for them. So they no, have to no, no, they have no. to go maybe <laughs> a place like uh, like South Africa or any other African country to get that 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 capital they need because so. I know I what I'm think, saying. I don't think they will even move to South Africa, and I will tell you. It's very simple. The reason why. Le okay, let me let me tell you. Let me give you an example. That guy. That so one that you has, mean, uh, in a, you mean if I want to if I want to borrow money from South African bank now, I will give them a, a business proposal in Nigeria, and they will they will give me the. Go and the listen loan. to go and listen to go and listen to uh, the owner of uh, GUO. If you can get his interview, go and listen to him and know how he got his capital to set up a young child company. Then let me finish. Let, let no, me finish. Can listen to you could go to another country and raise capital, not from the bank. You could go to the market there. Maybe I'm not necessarily the, even 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 costaris, even costaris, costaris. If listen to his interview, know how he raised capital. There is a certain amount of capital he raised from from abroad to set up his business. Capital, no, yeah, capital yeah. does not mean. So, capital does not mean. All this is an example. All this is an example. I can I can try and listen to us. Raising, I don't know raising, it. Wait, see, wait, see. Raising capital does not mean you borrow money. Thank I hope you. you understand that. You can have partners from other countries. Because eh? I just never live abroad. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's a businessman and it's well known. Sorry, but let me just say, you see, Kostari says it's going to be easy for him to raise money abroad. Because Kostari did in his exquisite cars that are manufactured abroad. Rolls Royce is a major dealer of Rolls Royce, all this in Nigeria. So if Rolls Royce want to do business in Nigeria, they have to invest in Kostari. Any ex exclusive car, Mercedes Benz, all of them, they want to do big business in Nigeria. They have to invest in Kostaris. So it's going to be easy for Kostaris to raise money from abroad because it's like a distributor to all those places. It's going to be easy for Visa Day, for example, to raise money from Japan. Uh -huh. Because it's the, it's, it's, uh, it can be the partner of France. And they're raising, now, exactly. raising that money. Their interest rate is, uh, their interest rate is very high. <laughs> Just that not, it's not going to be interested. It might just okay. be 
Investment might be any other thing. I know it will be interest. You understand? Oh, that might be, be based on something? sharing formula. I think it's mixing it. It's mixing it up. There's difference between raising money and lending money. When you okay. raise money, you have investors. When you're when you're lending money borrowing. from borrowing money, borrowing. that's different. That means you they lend you the money. So that's where the uh, the interest rates come. But but lending money you, and the raising money are the, is different. Yeah, it's different. When I say <laughs> when I say when I say I need I need hundred thousand naira, I want yeah. to raise hundred thousand naira for a business. Yeah. I go to yes. the bank. Is, is it not raising money also? No, 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 no. no. Can, you if you come to me now, hey, can I let me explain to you? If you if you come to me now and I say, okay, you want you tell me now you want to do a business and you need no data, I can say, okay, I want to go in partnership with you. Okay, I will give you 70,000. 70, and then we discuss we discuss our terms and, and condition. Oh, okay, how are we going? How are you going to share the profit? What is what is be what is going to be my take? You we, by that time you have already raised money. You understand? And it's not for me. It's not going to be be uh, be based on interest. You understand? It's sharing formula that we have to discuss of of, of our profit. Then if you now go to a bank, it's totally different. You you go a loan, you write a proposal, and that is why I ask you a question. That you can't go. Is it possible for you to go to a bank in South Africa that you want to borrow a money to come and do business in Nigeria, and they will support you if you are not an international business person? It's going to be difficult. You understand? So that's what. So raising money, all those maybe you, you don't understand what those guys are talking about, and you think that they maybe they went to bank in another country and they borrow money from the bank. That's what we are trying to tell you. Okay, uh, uh, maybe I want to go to George. No, 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 no. Bye bye. Okay, okay, bye bye. So, so, uh, I think this thing is very easy. Maybe we should just move ahead to uh, another topic because uh, it's very difficult sometimes to, you know, you know, you, you see, you see, the problem that we have is, is this when you have a, 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 a gullible, very gullible population, you understand. Yeah. You yeah. can sell anything to them and they will believe you. And that is what Ekene has demonstrated this morning. So Ignorance. You know a lot of Nigerians Ignorance. have been having it free, watching all these TV stations. Exactly. Exactly. So that is the even when they know. listen, sometimes, even you can even blame some, some of them, even if they listen to things on television, their level of assimilation and understanding also matters in whatever. Okay, like this one is talking about people raising money now. Because he doesn't understand what they are yeah, talking about. You understand? understand. <laughs> and, and he is continuing to say something like by economic policy. Every government come in and then they bring out their policy. A good businessman will know that he has to readjust his business to the policy in, in town at that particular moment. Policy cannot just be one policy blah, all over the year because things is not static. Things don't so the, to change. Let me ask Simba. Yeah? Let me ask Simba. Simba, you remember the first yes. time? I don't know if you remember the first time Kenny came online. Came online. I cannot remember. Yeah. Maybe I, I remember. think it was after it was shortly before the election. Now. Yeah, you remember or after election. Compare yeah. him to now, he has really improved though. Yeah, exactly. Yes. He yes, has yes, yes, improved yeah. seriously. Is is now more articulate. His English is fantastic. Hey, but he still continue to tell I was those to like, uh, in a, Wait, I was listening to Kenny last week. I wasn't on the platform. I was just listening. I, I just joined as a, an audience. You see the way Kenny was arguing at his points, and I said, "Wow!" I wanted to call one man and say, "Look, this your platform is very educative." I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. So gradually, he's learning. Even with this economic thing, he's learning. I really, I it really will, appreciate it, that. It, it will have, it will have learned faster if he doesn't have a. A biased mind, you understand? No, so, Ekene has got to learn English. I, mean. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I don't think he has a biased mind. Eh? Mike, you stop that. No, 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 no. Patoski stopped that. He, he did. He did have a bias. No, he I agree with Patoski. Though I don't think he has a biased biased mind. I think ninety nine percent of Nigerians are like that. Just like he's not yeah, like exactly. don't, I don't Yeah, think that's how they. <laughs> Understanding is it's not their problem. Mm. You can't really blame them for that. 
So, like, so uh, let me be frank with you. Underneath is an uh, utterance that is a little bit of bias. Okay. Uh, and, and that one I do, I cannot. You know, you know, I mean, what I agree totally with what Patoki said. But uh, what, what the only thing I want to add is that, you know, sometimes even when you are trying to educate him, he, he may, maybe because he has uh, this notion that you are always against him, we are against him, he doesn't want to listen. Uh -huh. He doesn't want to listen. And sometimes we say, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't want to even understand. I don't want to understand whatever you are saying. I, I just, this is what I believe and this is what I will say. You understand? Hey, everybody, hey, everybody, there's nobody here that will not say that he has learned one or two things on the platform. Hey, yeah. That person is not being economical with the truth. You know, everybody has learned one thing or the other on this yeah, platform. Yeah. But if you grew up, let, let's say I'm 50, and I've grew up all my life knowing something to be a certain thing, and you all of a sudden I have a conversation with somebody else, and that somebody else has, has the opposite uh, opposite view point of view, and I'm arguing my own point. That doesn't mean that I don't want to hear that person, but I want the person to still understand where I'm coming from because all my life this is what I know. So I think if we look at it that way. I don't, that's why I'm not trying to blame him. I think that that's what he knows. That's, he, he's doing a and, job. But you know, it's possible for you, it's possible, it's possible for you to know wrong thing and carry it till you die. Yes, yes. I know. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> you die, you, you grow with ignorance and you die with it. Yeah, but don't you think it's tough for you to get confused, uh, um, convinced? If that's I think, I that think uh, um, Uriola, I think it also depends the kind of your mindset. If you have a mindset, exactly, that, uh, I am open to other view. Maybe my if view somebody challenges me, I will go and check. You understand? I will go and I will go and check it. Just like exactly. yesterday, when they are talking about the Arabic emblem, and I went to Google and I go and check, and I read it to Midwest, and everything died down because it, it, so, so sometimes people just sell that narrative unnecessarily. And we have to look at uh, our terrain, our culture, and our tradition. They are totally different from most part of the world. Let me, let me, let me, no, let, let me even tell you this. Hey, pa, thank God, Patuski is here and uh, Oriola. There are so many lies that even the Western world have fed us with that we believe. Yes. And it's now that they're just debunk debunking all those things. Seriously. Mm -hmm. they are not we are the ones discovering it ourselves. Yeah, <laughs> if, not, if, not, not, if not that they allow us to also get into their country, exactly. You know, let me, you know, uh, uh, you know, there are so many things, even in medicine, that that yeah. they made us to believe that we have been doing and we have been giving patients, and now they are not said that all those things are not necessary, and that really? time. Will betide you if you don't give such medication to that for for to, you know to, to, you say you have need. Uh, if uh, the patient can no sue you, the that patient will have know. sue you because of it. The patient yeah. will have sue you because of it, and they have will have gotten money. And now they said all those things are not necessary, but they don't do. They don't even the function. Yeah, you know, you let know. me finish. Let me let me hold on. That the the what the 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 what they claim those medications are doing, they are not doing it. Simba, Simba, do you know it's when I get to China? So some people have been taking it and just be dying. Or uh, what? Do you, Simba, hey, do you hey, know my, they might not even die, but the it's effect not, that they said the drug is having on them, it's not having it. It just, you know, it's just like, it's just like a belief. Exactly. It's just like what, you know, it's just like a belief now. Yeah, you understand? They will say, okay, if. They, if they give you parastamol and they say, okay, parastamol can solve headache, immediately you start, you, you take it. Even before, because you believe in it, if your headache might even disappear. And you think it's that it's that parastamol that is working. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Simba, do you know that when I go to China, I always believe in using medicine. It's one Chinese doctor I went to the hospital said, you don't need to be taking medicine like that. It's not good for your liver. It's not good for you. You don't need to do that. Sometimes you wait. This thing can fight itself out. And you might be in pain for one or two days, but after everything will be no way to make there's no good time. No, 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 no. Listen, <laughs> you know, all this my, 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 listen, listen. You know, you know, you know, let me, let me, wait, 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 wait
don't say there's nothing mild anything that will be big will start mildly you understand you. Uh -huh. okay, so don't that, that 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 the uh, blanket statement is not is not that is not good I know, I, for I you know to... uh -huh. I, I, I had a code and i i, Somebody I, I, go and die. <laughs> I, I had a code and because my code is affecting my truth so i cannot speak clearly so when i went to the hospital and they tested me so at the end of the day he gave me some chinese medicine to take for my code but he asked for oh, what is my work what do i do There's so many stuff like that but he, after giving me a kind of um chinese medicine that i have to put it into warm water and drink it went away but he advised me that not everything that happened to me i just have to go and uh, but he shouldn't he shouldn't have he shouldn't have tell you that because it is the wrong information it will make you not to come to hospital whenever you have small you any sick. small thing. you understand you when you are sick it shouldn't have make you a blanket what you have done wait i think we wait let me Guys, guys, guys. Uh, maybe, yeah, maybe that might say something. Let me, what, what, uh, let me, you, well, okay, let me, especially that one that you mentioned, a uh, flu or common cold. You know, it's usually a viral illness, yes. but sometimes it can be complicated with bacterial infection. So, what, what, the reason why you go to hospital is that they will go, if you go to hospital, they'll be able to test you and know that there is no other. Um, um, she, uh, she I, I, I think he misunderstood what Remy said. What the doctor said. The doctor didn't say the uh, coming to the hospital. He's saying taking uh, medicine, like off the counter medicine, all the time. But those things affect liver. You know, I like, can affect liver. But coming to get checkup is different from taking actually taking medicine. You understand? Like, I got. To get I got. Yeah, coming to get diagnosed. Of course, that's very important. You know. Hey, hey, but you, you the Remy, you know the Remy understanding of it. Will be that you know, but I understand. It's you that don't understand me now. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah, Remy, I, I know, know now. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, Remy, 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 Remy. Do you think I will overweight myself? You guys it? know in Nigeria <laughs> when people get small headache like this, they don't. I was afraid. I thought it was yeah, yeah. Yakini, Otigba, Akakbe, Otigbe, Kidera, Ola, Akakbe. Mike, they call it Akakbe. Uh, Simba, do they, you know they, one they, thing? They, we have to fight. We fought with one one woman because my mother, uh, me, me, she uh, rest in perfect peace, just passed away last year. There's one woman always do a Akakbe for her because all of us we are not at home. So sometimes we have to send someone to go and fight that one. Don't go to my mama again and be giving her a necessary drug. Uh, so sometimes what we are just trying to say is that we use medication like in Nigeria that anything just take it, just take it, just take it, just take it. Sometimes it's also not good for our body. But at least what I will say is that if this country they did not open up their country for us to move in, ah, Omo, we still be enslaved to be to frank to be frank. They will bombard us. Look at what is happening in the spirit, the religious world now. So many things. If not because Russia is fighting with the rest of EU, how can you know that they had that kind of picture in their archive? Oh, uh, uh, years ago. Uh, so okay. it, it, which picture? Which one? Don't you think about? that's pro, uh, pro uh, propaganda? Which one? Oh. Which one are you talking about? The uh, no, Putin putting a picture saying um jesus is black or something like that i believe yeah, that's what propaganda. so both of them are using that. propaganda so which one is the true picture i so don't know i'm picture, just saying right? i'm asking you don't you think it's a you don't have picture of christ now so that means what i'm trying to say here is that whether russia or eu or america that may all of them are using propaganda no true picture of all these people so everybody is just buying and they also look let me tell you i went to a catholic primary school wait um they i like to speak to, to the listen, drug listen. thing with simba though i want i want to i want him they to see us, different perspective let me tell you something. i don't know I'll whether wait. you grew up in nigeria but when we are growing up it's that anything that is dark or black is evil I know. Yeah. No, no, no. no. Yeah. They, they didn't make you believe that. It maybe it's you. They well, your you movie makes that. you I believe that. that. Is it I evil? Was you're 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 like, I don't think you grew up in Nigeria. Ask all of them now. Yeah, Ask that's true. Like black everything is black is, is bad. In your doo you are doo doo.
If I don't know the movies, no the white uh, somebody, somebody wearing white sorry, will kill the sorry, someone wearing black. Sorry, so I can never black. forget this thing in my life. I was teaching a set of our teenagers, and I was telling them about witches and witchcraft. And those of my students told me, no, there's never nothing like that. That if I have a proof, I should show them. That is when I now know that all those things I know in Nigeria is rubbish. Mm -hmm. Because they never see any witch that fly. They never see any witchcraft that fly. I said, people no, they are witches. They are they witches. They are, they are, they are, the, no, wait now. Wait, wait. There are witches. But do they fly? The issue, wait now. <laughs> where are you teaching what? Where are you teaching what you don't know, Remy? <laughs> There are witches and they can visit you at night now that you're online. If you say, Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm scared. They can be watching, they can visit you. The morning, I will not be so that you will know. Okay, it's night here in Canada, but there are witches, you understand. And there are evil they are evil they, are they evil fly in the afternoon now. <laughs> they can come there, and meet him. <laughs> Let's not uh over Wait, are you guys alive. for real? There are evil forces now. Oh, yeah, they are. There are there I are forces know, but, but what I was so the now, so they are witches. There are records. There are records in the descriptions that are witches. There are other they experiences. Patoski, they ask me because your students say where is the proof? And they say, when you show us on our own, show, go online. Show Don't worry, us. by Let the time, if, they, if he has a sleep now, and then he has an attack, and he wake up and he finds it, maybe, maybe, he, 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 in his sleep, he had an attack. Well, what, I want to tell you, what I want to tell you, Patosi, listen carefully. This is a population of one, more than 1.3 billion people. And most of them never believe whether uh, in, in Islam or in Christianity. Which people? I'm talking about Chinese people. They don't worship nothing. The majority of them, they don't worship nothing. No, they worship. Uh, they're in, no, no, no. Um, listen, Hindu listen, listen, listen. Are they not Hindu? Listen, no, they are Confucius. They are Shintoists. They have their no. religion too now. Yeah, no, no, just listen, like us. Listen, Confucianism, listen. Shintoism, Taoism. All those things are religion I now. know. I understand you. I and understand you. Because they don't I'm believe. They you. just don't believe in Jesus and no, Muhammad. No, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen. Out of all this what you talk about more only about it's not even up to one percent of the total population of 1.3 billion people that worship all this kind of uh gods you talk about so what are, what's the point are you driving at now what the point i'm trying to tell you is that we are majority maybe 95 or 96 percent of them they don't go to anywhere they only believe in their work what they can do with their hand and because mm. they have an enabling environment to try to grow. So it's very mm. difficult to go to that kind of society and be telling them somebody is flying at night or in the morning, in the afternoon. But in Nigeria, where there is not a lot of uh, basic amenities, where things have been about back for several decades, it's easy to cajole them, to tell them, look, oh, if you don't do this still, it's, it's so easy. But when you have an environment, that yeah, you know, they 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 mess with our brain so. So bad. that's what I'm trying to say. So that is why they will never believe that kind of thing. That, but where that's I'm coming why, from, but where I'm coming from, think about it. If something happened to you, it is Mike that is doing it, or yeah. it's that does not like my face that is doing something. Like yeah, that that's some you of the stuff that's, that's holding us back. It's holding us back. Yeah, it's the one. Yeah, it's really holding us back a lot. So. It's quite unfortunate. Um, I, I like to speak to that. Um, the medication that um Simba was speaking to that after some years they would say this medication doesn't really function like it should, or maybe you don't necessarily have to use it because it's bad for so 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 so. But we have to understand that after um, if a medication before it comes to market, after it passes the pre, uh, it, it get approved after it passes the clinical trial there's still a post-market clinical trial that's going on so and that could take 20 to 50 Hello. years where they will study really? people that uses it and see if there's anything yeah, we can hear you, Patuski. so can you hear me yeah we can hear you uh, we can hear you go ahead yeah so um just like um the what do we have the COVID-19 a lot of us that get the shot uh that we get the what is it thing that we got um, that we get the, uh, yeah, huh? 
the vaccine. Yeah, yeah, a lot of us that get the vaccine. It, of course, it passes um clinical trial before we get the vaccine. But now they're studying that. They're still studying it. So after 10, 20, 50 years, they will know the effect of that. So, and that they can now start coming into conclusions saying, oh, maybe it's not as effective as they think, or these are so, some of the complications. Or, 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 the funniest part of it is that some people get all this shot and they continue to have this, uh, this, this, this uh, COVID. I've, I know a lot of people that they have all the shot, but still they continue to have it. Yeah, There's because you have like, different um, uh, mutation. System. You have different yeah. mutation of those... Um, mm -hmm. This thing that what you are saying is not is not uh, is not scientific. It is. No, okay, hold on. If you have a vaccine, you understand. A vaccine should be able by the time you roll out a vaccine, you can't you can't see because COVID has let's say five different strains, then you, you manufacture five different vaccines for it. You should be able to have one vaccine that should be able to produce antibody against the five strains. That's what they do. Well, that's what um, they, that is the normal thing to do. Um, no, just hold on. For you to be using that one as an excuse for the ineffectiveness of that vaccine is, 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 no, is not, a, is not a tenable excuse. One, you know, I hope also know that there are some medication that was manufactured for a purpose, but in the course of the use of that medication, they find that it also performs some other functions. They were not tested for these functions. Okay, like the aspirin that we are talking about now. Aspirin is an anti-inflammatory anti agent. It's a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory agent, not manufactured for its antiplatelet activities that they claim it does it perform for people with um, 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 um cardiovascular diseases yeah, initially you're proving my point yeah like viagra you understand well. so yeah, viagra it, was not meant for that but they uh -huh. realized so that they were not again. they were not tested you understand so maybe after like using it that for all these accidental functions that they find during the course of usage 10 years 20 years 50 years after they now said okay no this accidental function that we, we told you earlier that this thing was performing actually was not there. How do you how do you defend that? Yeah, but that's that's what we call the post clinical trial, meaning that it's not a, it, was not it was not even the one. It was not even a trial. That one you can't well, consider that one is a trial. It is because it, it was you only it, do trial. Hold on, you, you only do trial. Wait, no, wait. You only do trial when you have want to manufacture a vaccine or a drug. You have certain things in mind. Oh, this drug is for COVID, and you do your clinical trial against COVID. You understand? If you don't do it against other things, it's only for COVID. It, it can only have a target. You can't have multiple targets. I understand you. You are completely right. But what I'm saying to you, after they approve any medication, there's also a um, post um, clinical trial surveillance, meaning they're looking to make sure that. No, no, no. no, no. Don't use the word trial again. You mean just say studies, not don't use trials again. Because trial, that's the that's pre. So the, those say studies, this post, post, and I do like a post uh, studies okay. for the effects. Okay, they, right, the there's still surveillance. Yeah, that's what I meant. I mean, okay, let's take out the clinical trial, but there's two. But I believe that that's the term they're using. Um, but, no, 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 they don't use the, you can't use no, trial. No. You can't, trial you can't, before you, can't you start. Trial, you can't try after, after the You use. can't be doing trial for 100 years and people are no. already using the drug. What trial are you, you talking do, about? You, you do, you do like I was telling you them yesterday, uh, like, like aspirin now, we don't, if you have any issues, we just go to Plavix, right? Simba, we don't even do aspirin anymore. We just do Plavix because there were studies on for over 40 years to study how effective is prescribing uh, 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 aspirin 
as not not like as not terrible, but for the antiplatelet effect that it has. And like if you have like DVT issues, just keep aspirin, go to Plavix directly. That was studies, not not clinical trial. That was you're not doing that anymore. You're just studying the effect on people after that. So I think that's just a, it's a worth you know it's a worth plating that maybe I, I have an issue. With. In fact, you know, um, Babati, Babati. Yes, let me, put, let me put this up. Uh, I'll put it up. I understand what you're saying. I mean, it won't make sense, but it's still under a clinical trial. But I understand what you're saying. It's a post, it's a post surveillance um tracking to make sure that what what would be the effect of the medication after. Yeah, we this is the according the effect. You're not yeah. trying to use it again. That's okay. okay. I w I'm not. I, I won't argue. Let me just put it up. Why you? What? Why? You know, it's English now. Trier. What you say? Trier. What does it mean? To what does it? What does it mean to you? I know what you, I know what you're saying. It doesn't make. It, maybe it doesn't make sense to you. I'm but it's still under a try. Yeah, experiment. Try. But exactly. I understand what you're saying. That it's just a story. You can call it, it the word try T R Y. Hey, hey, try for okay. the coin it from try T R Y. All right, give me a give me give me a minute. I, I'll you are still experimenting with the drug. <laughs> uh, but, but I'm saying that, that scientifically, like the way the way the way it is in medicine, you can use the words to try when people are already using the med. You, yeah, what are you that trying? You know, you're not, to you know, see whether they will die or what. Because oh, you are trying. Already, you want to what's, try? Your, what's already approved for you? You're not, you're not uh, uh, trying. Uh, uh, let me even ask you guys one question. I don't know if you are aware. I saw a documentary on um, on uh, Netflix of a doctor in Italy that's a cardiologist or something, or a, a, a cardiologist kind of, that he, they were trying to do like, um, I think, bypass and um, long and uh, hard bypass and then he also ventured into trying to create um, synthetic lungs for people and he didn't do all this trial and he was just putting plastics inside people did you hear about that doctor plastic yeah plastics I didn't hear anything about that. you mean ah. you, you mean you, you mean you mean stent yeah Stent. Is that his name or something? I don't know. Like to, to, to keep to keep the to, what they would do is if, if you're not going to like cut or do a bypass, so they will put stent. We just keep that thing open. That's not even that one though. This one Plastic. is people that are maybe they have lung uh, cancer mm -hmm. that is not uh, that is it's not is not taking over their lung completely. He will say okay, we we will build. You will create like all those. A long track for them. I don't know what you guys call like it. an artificial lung or something like and that. Now, something like that. Maybe a part of their lungs. You know all those long pipes, all those like um all those things that carry the bronchitis and all maybe those maybe like that. some of the arteries are blocked. You now create another channel or something like yeah. that or what? Plastic. The guy was doing that, and the patients were just dying. <laughs> and very one very powerful between um uh, how, yeah. how, how are they going to survive? Is, you know, you have the, the oxygenated blood and oxygen. In short, uh, you're supposed to. Miss, this, I now. think I have your. I think Babati, I think I have Babati number. I was telling you the, the title of that documentary. You need to see it. You people will find it. Is it a documentary? Is it a real documentary or it was act? act it uh, was the a real thing. thing. It was a real. The guy was charged to court. The guy, there was a. There was an American reporter that was involved in the case. She was dated the he was dated the American reporter. <laughs> the guy, eh? the guy, you know, you know, Fatoski, because I find it very difficult. Because before you, you say you want to actually start a procedure, it's not something that somebody you do it alone. Oh, you understand? Okay, check the shots. If you check the shots, that's the link. That's the clinical trial faces, and that's what I was I'm speaking to. And that will tell you the last part, which I'm, I was telling you guys, the post-surveillance is still on the clinical trial. So you can look it up. Okay, thank you. So I'm looking up the guy now. I'll send you the guy's name. <laughs> and, but, and he's doing it in the, in the hospital 
How many he was working one of the biggest research centers in Europe? Well, yeah, this is the guy. I'll just send you the name now. Discussory. What's this guy's name now? I'm telling you. I oh. thought it I, I could his his name is Paolo Machar Machariani. Wait, um, Batuski, you mean that they're doing clinical trial at the hospital? It's not it's the guy did no, it's, it's, this one is not, it's not it, it's not drug, it's a procedure. It's a procedure. The guy just went in. They say he has not some some people in his in his institute because like a medical research institute, they were the one that started speaking against him. He was so yeah, powerful but they, that but you have to sign a bond now. They like if you, like, you let's say you go to a teaching now. hospital you, now. If you go to a teaching hospital, um, mm -hmm. they would ask you to sign because a lot of students would, would they might use students to do whatever procedure they want to carry out. So you already signed a procedure. No, this guy. No, no, no. Is which hospital did they? No, wait, no, wait, teaching. wait. No. Which hospital did they use student job. as a as a for procedure? Um, when I say student, yeah, so let's say you're your medical doctor now, you the student doing fellowship, or what's the other one? So they, they work in teaching hospitals, so they can use mm. them. That's the how they get trained. No, use, use them for what? Use them for what? Use them for what? Their fellowship, they're not, no, they use, that they get them they, they use them for guinea, guinea pigs. No, 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 no. I don't understand what you are talking about. What I'm is that they can okay, get let me explain it to you clearly. No, 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 no. Patoski, don't, don't assume you understand Wait, what he's let saying. Me, let me explain it to you in a, uh, in a like, paid term now. So let's say, for example, uh, I'm a woman. Mr. Uh, Oriola, you are behaving like a quack. Oh, oh, my gosh. I'm not a doctor, so I'm not. Oriola, they are using students as lab rap. No, let me, let me explain, let me explain no, to okay, Simba. So, for example, now, I'm a, girl, I'm a lady. I want to give breath now. And I now mm. go to a teaching um, hospital. They will mm. get your consent that they can have some of the um, medical doctor that are fellowship, or going through fellowship. And there's another term that they use, meaning they're going through training that they might mm. allow them to do some of the procedure that they will cut. So I want to deliver a baby. They might ask one of the fellowship um, guys to deliver the baby for me. No, no but that's not how it works now. I, I didn't, no, 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 it doesn't work that way. Regardless of the hospital it is, you, everybody signs consent. Everybody I've signs. Happen. I've seen that for now. Hold on now. Everybody, everybody signs consent to be in a hospital. So you have stages. You have interns. You have residents. You have yeah, fellowship. Yeah. You have your you, you said residence and fellowship. So yeah. everybody has the level of intervention. Like somebody comes to the, to your bedside now and says, "Oh, they give something for." Let's say you have like cardiac and they give medication. If that person cannot handle it, they move on to the next, the higher person. So that person will move to the residency. Or he will not even do it without supervision. Yeah, yeah, it's not going to just say because. I, I, let me, let me yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm not saying they're not. They, I'm not but, saying. But they, they are not experimenting on you. Oh, oh she lab rats now. Too bad. Yeah, but I'm not saying they, they are doing it without supervision. Uh, listen to what even, I'm saying. Even you know, you know, my own that side of I'm what you were saying, saying earlier. Yeah. It was that maybe they use those doctors even as for, for procedure. No, but that no, was what he said. Not what no, 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 that's no. They still saying. under supervision. Let me, uh, uh, Mike, Mike, is Mike there? Yeah, yeah, okay. I can mean, hear. What was I'm your own understanding of what he said earlier? Ah, it sounds like uh, real like got it, he's getting his uh, knowledge from, his, from the hood, man, from the streets. <laughs> Hey, because the way he said it earlier was that maybe they use their they use the they use the students like for pro like a lamb rat that they use yeah, them for procedure. Like no, 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 no. Exactly uh, well, I just explain it clearly to you guys now. That's what that's you said. Uh, no, it's not clear. Okay, now. good. No, uh -huh. no, 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 that's not what I'm saying. I'm just. You've been listening to the street, street pharmacist. Yes, <laughs> I, will, I will encourage you. I'm about to go and see that documentary. That's the name of the doctor. The guy, the guy was just operating on people, using them for those kind of things. You, you know, uh, 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 you know what I want to say about that thing that you just said, um, Patuski. Mm, mm. You know, if you want to do a procedure, you understand. Let's say, uh, let me mention one procedure there is this condition that children used to have. 
that by the time they are born, maybe three weeks after they are born, they start vomiting. Because their intestine is somehow narrowed. You understand? And it, it, what happened in that stage is that it is thick, very thick. The, the wall of intestine is very thick. So it doesn't allow food to pass through it. Then whenever whatever they take, they will, they will vomit it. So what normally happens is that, so when you notice that, you can, there are so many, you can do a procedure, but there are so many, for a procedure, you can have so many technique. Do you understand? Different technique mm -hmm. that different people can use to achieve the same, the same um, um, goal. You understand what I'm saying? The same uh, treatment. Mm -hmm. You understand? So maybe what this man is trying, was trying to do is that maybe he wanted to invent another technique. Exactly. He said he had invented a technique. That you can uh -huh. replace people's lungs. Exactly. Maybe the, 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 they, the well known they, technique, they he wanted to invent another technique, which was not now working out for him. He didn't even follow the normal process. He was just telling them, I've done this, it's working. People, all his patients were just dying. Even people that were not bad. There was one of them that I said, Oh, he, he, his voice, one lady said, Her voice was bad. He, not a life threatening situation, no. Her voice was bad. He wants to, she wants to improve her voice. Wants, the guy carried the lady go theta, open her up, put that pipe, put the plastic. They say just get one plastic from China. Hey, they say when they look at it, normal plastic. They, I, they and and what is supposed to do? Is this in Nigeria? What? The, no, no, not in Nigeria. It's idiot. His, 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 his name is Paolo Mashi. Mashiarini. So Which what was... happened to him? Did he get sued? Oh, of course. Which uh, country? Bato, see my that is easy blood DVT clot now. You're gonna clot to death easy now. That is easy blood. Exactly. Blood. People hey, I, I I you know you know what the, the guy what the guy was trying to do is guy just trying to be heroic. And he wanted he wanted God so that bless he... you he likes you he, he will go go address them and press and say, Oh, we have done this, we are Lie, we have done this. We are everybody was telling him as great surgeon that was what made the American journalist to fall in love. <laughs> and that was making a lot of money, yes. And so, uh, uh, Baba them, T. Baba all T. of them and, were dying, yeah. not even one. Baba T and Simba, I want to ask you a very critical question. Wait, did they check the clinical trial thing? No clinical trial, not seen that's. No, that no, no! I'm why? talking to Baba T and this guy. So, so, uh, so uh, I, so I looked at it. So, if you, if you notice that post, that post marketing that they said the F, the F, day will do, they will still use the word studies. So, like after the if the effects of the drug on people. I, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, they do so, it on every single thing. Yeah, but they don't use the word them. trial, not because you know, that is not the. That, that not okay. Good. They won't call it. So even on that chat, if you look at what you sent me, yeah. After, after marketing phase four, like I'm looking. Yeah, at, he's still on the clinical trial. You don't see you don't see them using the word trial anymore. They change. No. So, so no, hold on. So you see drug application review. Okay. I mean, so they they start using what you call we, uh, studies will, will be the new word that they won't use the word trial anymore. Okay. So it's, it's called phase. Look at it. Phase four and post marketing surveillance yeah so, but it's still yeah. on the clinical trial that's what i'm saying but i understand your point it yeah. doesn't have to be clinical trial because yeah, they, they do it for medical devices as well so i know it's not just um medications so but i understand the point you're making so you know, it, and Baba it's Steve, my question to you is very simple you pay for I, consultation let me no, you pay no, for no, consultation no, 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 it's, not, it's not about consultation i i just want to ask why when they develop all this medicine or any kind of uh, medical something, the first place they want to use for guinea pig is always Africa. Why is it like that? Where? No, that's not true now. Where? That's not true. The Africa. I, I mean, why they want to test their uh, medicine? They usually, yeah. let me tell you, they do, they do, they do, they do try where the the disease is prevalent. You understand? Okay. Let's say, wait, let's say they let's say they are trying to do a clinical trial for malaria vaccine. They won't go to US to go and do that. They will only go to Africa, sub-Saharan Africa, where we have malaria. You understand? 
but 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 before before no when sometimes I, sometimes sometimes no, those Simba, pharmaceutical Simba company right, also right no just there. hold on i want to say something that yes yes sometimes they go to a place where they know that their law is somehow relaxed that they can do some things and get away with it that will not cause them much and they know that africa is also the place where they can do that like uh what pfizer did in, in, in nigeria and uh, tali do might tali do might yeah the one I, that they did in Kano. Why, why do you think uh the north the case of polio went up because the final pfizer was doing shady stuff and the band didn't want anything at all which, which turned out to be bad for them in the long run because polio thing it went up but let me give an example remy you know, no, no, you know, the, the, the Babati, no, that one, there was some conspiracy also. Some people started, you know, campaigning that uh, they put a uh, um, uh, infertility drug, I mean, they mix it with that vaccine, that, that we are trying to sterilize our ladies that, uh, so that they will reduce our population. Yeah, but that came from the fear of what Father <laughs> was doing that they found out. It, it, that kind of made it worse. It made that conspiracy kind of spread wide fast. It's not a conspiracy, though. I don't understand why you're saying it. Could, are you telling me they never use us as guinea pig? They use us, though. No, it's no, 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 no. I did listen to what he's saying. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I did wait now. Listen to what he's saying. When that was okay, let's just it's not even what. what they're saying is that subsequently, when they had different vaccines down the road, the fear of what happened. Even when people repel, go away from that. Like we don't even want anything to do with anything that has to do with the West, even though it had nothing to do with what Pfizer was doing before. Remember, they only found out afterwards, years down the road. It wasn't like they didn't discover that they were doing that immediately. It was afterwards. So before it even became reality, like they found out it was the truth. The rumor of it even bad people were even taking vaccines for polio and all those things. Just so just hearing those who were Pfizer and all this stuff in front of Nigeria. People kind of repelled against is what I'm saying, but they did, but they did confirm that down the road. But my point to Remy is that listen, let me give, give an example. It's it's an, 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 an herbs, right? These are blood pressure medications. So they usually, usually they will tell you, oh, we don't use them on black people, right? Uh, Simba, we don't use uh, it's an herbs on black people. It's not good for you because it doesn't have a, it does, it's not good for cardiovascular protection for black people. Turns out that when they were doing uh when, when, when they were making this medication they, they didn't test it on, on black people like they didn't do uh they didn't have a lot of blacks tested some cardiovascular people are actually are actually using it on black people now very good you you have a great point i i don't i i did so you're, yeah. the angle you're coming from is very good because there's are a lot you of are things. you talking about the the arb blockers yeah 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 the, the ace of arabs because the, the, before we don't we don't usually use it on black people because it's not good for them. But it people. works now. I even me, I prescribe it for people and it works for them. Yeah, I'm saying before you're not hearing what he's saying. Before be, because during, during during the trials they didn't have enough black people in the studies, yeah. so they, they, they were like, oh, it's not good for black people. Don't use it for them. It's not safe for their kidney function. But now they're like, wait a minute. It wasn't because it wasn't good for them. Now they did what they are they talking about post clinical trial. They look at the data. Oh, this is actually too, too bad for them. Just 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 watch their kidney function more, and maybe give a, a, a lower dose. And can I give you a, another great example? Another great example would be like, or uh, you know, the Gillette razor that everybody uses for shaving. When you see a lot of black people uses it, they get bumps. That means it looks when they doing the clinical trial, but when they first started, I don't think they do anything on black people with that razor but when you see our other uh, race uses it they don't get bumps out of it but if we uses it if we use it we get bumps so that's some of the things that you have to look at like there's a lot of things that when they before, before they come to market they didn't really use us but we weren't part of like the trial the clinical trial period so when it they comes to market, we're quick to go use those things. And you can also see it even in cell phones, photograph or uh, photography. When those things were coming out, they the the clinical trial process were not involved in it. So when you look at it now, that's that's how when you see some images, 
it's not like we we don't look good, but it's like when you look those pictures, it's like we don't look. It doesn't. It it doesn't tally. Like the pixel doesn't tally. So there's so many things. It's not just with medications. It's so much things, even technology. It just so that's why I'm using like. And if you look at the history, they they already tell us that after animal, the next person will be the black race and after black race then it goes so uh, that's why i was saying that the users are spinning um, who's next after blacks uh you know now <laughs> that's what they said <laughs> the book we read that's what i mean the history of life that's what they said they said uh, monkey they said monkey turned into uh black people monkey will not talk to the uh, uh, you monkey that, talk to so, so, they are good so, for this so, between so between the Chinese, the Europeans, and the Arabs, and who, who's next? Who can last? Yeah, don't make, don't mind them. I mean, this is what we're learning. <laughs> in so the evolution has stopped, eh? Yeah, that that's evolution what has said. stopped now. Don't mind them. Just, so we have not seen any other monkey that turned to human being. No don't sense. mind them. Have you? They, they said or, they or a monkey that is midway. Past the human <laughs> that, is, <laughs> that is in the presence of. <laughs> that, the, the only question I have uh, is those snow monkeys. You guys know those snow monkeys, right? Snow monkeys. You know they have uh, yeah the same complexion snow. as uh, their people. complexion is the same as Europeans. You know, so yes. so was it those ones come to black before they turned to? <laughs> Uh, don't, don't don't mind Charles Darwin now. It, it was more <laughs> it was a racial thing. Like it, it, it's a way of not confer. I admit the black people are the first people. You didn't want to admit that. That's the only the yeah. Only yeah. Thing. The, the way, the way you but, vote just leave the word. Uh, wait, can you guys even believe? Wait, can the you Chinese guys even, follow them? <laughs> wait, can you even <laughs> believe that in the forties and fifties they bring people from is it Togo or Congo and they cage them in the zoo and ask people to be looking at them? Of course. course. Because we look weird. It's so crazy yeah, what be, they did. Be, because because if you also notice when you go back, uh, like if you go back to any Asian history that is very unique, like in terms of civilization, once a black person is involved, they will say they are aliens that 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 built it. They won't give the black person credit. They will say, "I don't know. That must be an, an alien." They will say black people. Oh, he said, "That Even pyramid." The pyramids today, the yeah. thing in Egypt, they still. They can't give us our thing. Like our people has been making different images. We know about gold. I mean, they they're talking about um Ilife having like gold that century like ten thousand years ago. You, give you us know, our that we you, know. Do you know that uh, that that statue of uh, Urudua that they have? Yes. In the video. I was watching this uh, documentary on uh, on that on that uh, it's like a one hour long BBC documentary on that the amazing school. They're like this is impossible for anybody to even build in Africa. We, 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 this is the way they're supposed to do, to design things. They don't they're not capable. I'm like, what the hell is this guy talking about? They don't believe you can do it. So they say, oh, oh it's, it's, it must be an, an alien. One alien came from heaven and just do it. And do it. I'm like, what are these guys? What are they talking about? So there's, there's always been this racial element to to research studies. Yeah, they they see us as I mean, imagine they see us as someone who <laughs> maybe we don't have brain or so. That's how they see us. Yeah, hey, I mean, but we are also demonstrating that now. How? Uh, you say how? So many ways. When you when mm. you still when you take all your money from your so come goddamn country and you take it, you now come country. and drop it with them. I don't understand that. I don't, want, that I don't want to go into so this crazy. tonight, but it, it's hard if when you go through slavery and colonization for you to no, now say you won't think that way. Come on, man. Ah, we allow to see deal. Why <laughs> did you allow them to colonize? Slavery and colonization is the reason why you are stealing your money and taking it to another man's country. Yeah. Uh -huh. What do you want it down? Uh -huh. Is that not the reason why you should not even steal it and bring it to them? You are saving the money and bring it to people that. Put your brother in slavery and colonize. So, 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 are they actually? If you've gone through that, you're supposed to be more conservative. Exactly. You know, you not open to Everybody them. Everybody else, I went through something. They are supposed to hate them. Okay. We are the only oh, oh. Of people that went through something. It makes us dumber. People, not up to now, we are still using them as standard for everything. Hey, no. We are still using them as standard. Hey, thank you. That's do you know what pisses me off? What people describe the, the British? They say, uh, former colonial masters. Who are you calling them that? 
Why do you call, keep calling them that? Like, hey, 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 you, know you know that know what, all the Caribbeans, the they still under them. Do you know? Like, they still under King. All of those guys. Uh, those one, they, they ask Caribbean at least. Those one, they are. They you know, you know uh, Babati. For you, that you, you know, you know, you know, you know these days now. If you look at the the infant formula, all this make that they are giving <laughs> to children, they are now inventing. They say DHA, um, um, HMO, and all those things. Yeah. I I just that they are incorporating all those things to Why improve the brain of. Why would you want HMO uh, seedlings in, in, in Nigeria? Why? You know Wait, that's not going to be good for doctors, you. Doctors, even the rice that we're eating, what does it mean? all what the food that we mean? eat today, are they? No, are, are they hey, natural? Hey, it's a GMO. I'm not saying the oh, GMO, oh, HMO. No, but, uh, Simba, what it's does not it mean? natural. Even all the food that. Can you imagine? Oh, um, man, the they call it margarine. human oligo. Uh, excuse Wait, me. Can you they imagine call it that margarine? Oligo saccharide. Let's let, let Simba land. Let Simba land. Let's hear Human what? oligosaccharide what does it mean they are just all these biochemicals if they know what i'm saying is this they, they are just using all those things to to just they said they are incorporating all those things into the mix so that you to improve the brain of the children and all those things but what i want to say is that all these things are lies because it, it may be in 20 years or 30 years down the road they will say all those things are not performing the function that they claim they are performing but they will have used it Taking additional money, you understand, make additional, you, you understand, oh, and we Sim believe Simba. all those things. Simba, yes. I don't know. The way kids in the United States get tall and get big, I don't know. This I'm not, not talking natural, about. Man. Kids be hey, like hey, hey, huge. Simba. Simba I'm man. not talking Simba. about size. I'm talking, you want, so you want to tell me that the kids of nowadays, they are more brain than the people of those days? No, you're saying that those G uh, HMO or whatever you name, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. something like that. Don't you also, think those things are making people just ridiculous grow? You see, like a twelve-year-old is or ten-year-old is already so during their the period. They already grow like big. Well, well, that is bad now. That is bad now. Why are you? That's bad. You are you accelerating their growth. So seven no, year old. I'm not acknowledging so, it. Are they? Are they? Are they seven are they, year old now is not period. Yeah, uh, uh, I know it's bad, but I'm not acknowledging. They'll be dying at uh, they'll be dying at sixty or fifty something. Yeah, I'm not support in support of it. I'm just saying those things is in everything that we eat today. So my point is that they were supposed to be fighting to remove those things, not encourage to use more of it. Yeah, God you know, you are the doctor. You guys pick up. <laughs> Why should we be? It's like yeah, we're accelerating, you, accelerating you. their growth. I will accelerate so their death also. Uh, <laughs> See, I don't even lie. You just mentioned something that shocked me. You said the seven year old started doing their period. Yes, there, yes, yes, now. yes. yes. Yes, yeah, seven, eight years it, old. Yes. This is in America. Or in everywhere, yes. everywhere, everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. Wow. You can imagine. Everywhere. That when my, my, I was shocked when my daughter at the age of 11 started menstruating. I, I said they panicking. Can you yes. imagine? Yeah, but the worst thing is this. What those days, I those days, kids, age of 15, 16, they are still not even started menstruating. Wait, you know what's even worse? Like, I have little kids, and I'm not even sure what to give them because there's nothing you can give them here in this country that doesn't have those things. Give there's them nothing. what? Huh? Oh my God! Oh my God! Now what? Oh my God! 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 Oh there's a processor you can use to make it into. Okay, your... what about tomatoes? Normal um, blender. Can you even pound your yam? You know this blender I, that okay, we use for Okay, that's yam, one. Yeah. What about tomatoes and the um the big pepper? Those that you think are natural now. Don't go you can still those. tolerate those ones. Buy, but they're not, buy uh, the ones that. Um, it will be, it will be I, stop deceiving yourself. Your kids, I, will, they, they want to eat pizza. They want to eat ice cream. Yeah, you know, you know, you know, all those things, all those things are high calorie diets. You understand? And so it gives them a lot of calorie. Where are then another thing is that they don't even burn those calories. Did they do exercise? 
What did they do? Nothing. Oh, they just yeah, they want. Do you see how big the banana is? Banana that we eat in Nigeria is small. The banana yeah. here is big. They don't, have you, have, the, the taste is the different now. Your life does not have seeds. Tangerine yes. does not have seeds. Yes. Orange does not have seeds. Yes. So, when I, so when the I engineering. And if you let me let me tell you, if you taste it. If you taste those one and you taste the one that we have in Nigeria, you see that there's a lot of difference. Um, yeah, difference it is. I know. It is. They're not natural. They they engineering yeah. plants like a lot of things. Even they are. They, you know why? You know. Let me tell you. Chicken, the rate, chicken that the rate, we eat. The rate at which the rate at which the population of the world is growing, they have to do something like that. For if not, starvation will have re regulate yes, yes, the yes. population. How you come you're not doing food. that in, in Nigeria? I mean, the Nigerian. No, it's getting there. Too. It's getting there. It's getting there. Believe me, it's yeah. getting there. All those things is are getting there. Not doing what in Nigeria. But that's if you go to big stores now. If you go to shop right, that's where you. No, get that's those. why we're having food. Prices okay, let me tell you Nigeria this. Now. Let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. Before the type of orange that we have in Nigeria is seasonal. If you remember that time, that there, there will be a time that you will not see orange again. So, yeah. The advantage we used to have is that by the time one one fruit is going, another one will be coming. Uh, well, but we don't no see them. Uh, uh, hey, you don't see the one fruit all year round. But go to Nigeria now. Any time of the year you get orange. Even the one I have in my compound now. There is no time you go to that. You go to my that my orange in my compound that you not see fruit on it. But the the normal one, the natural one, doesn't fruit all year round. Never. Yeah, but it can be preserved now. That's how you have. If you preserve it, we'll hey, be able to preservation those. that is they are doing now. They have already engineered. Yeah. Simba, Simba, they are using embalming uh, stuff. Oh, man. Hey, no, 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 no. It's not even embalming. They have <laughs> already engineered. They produce some the seedlings now. Modified. Uh, no, modified saying, now that I can know, produce all year land. Even to preserve, is what I'm saying in those stores, embalming stuff is in some of these foods. No, they use yeah, they, uh, they use the yeah. uh, what is it called now? Uh, nitrogen. For my name. How, how would that? Be? They used to how have can you digest that chemical? So you can't. Uh, in fact, you know. Uh, thank you. <laughs> you, know, you know, Baba T. Part of the reason why there is food crisis in Nigeria. Baba T. Baba T. Uh, more, uh, if if you look, exported out of Nigeria to the diaspora every day. Come and see containers loading every different kind of Nigerian food to the diaspora abroad. It's a big business now in Nigeria. Yeah, but they, 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 but they're not even natural. They're, right now. they're not natural. Too. Uh, the problem, the problem now. Let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. There is nothing. There is not life in the world again. All these things that we are just too artificial now. Everything is wow. artificial, okay. artificial, artificial, artificial. And that's why you're not. And, and you know the Babati. If you remember those days, you eat everything fresh. You understand. If you want, you go. If you need already, you just go and pluck it and you take it immediately. The one that you are even consuming today, you don't know how long that no, that you already. Still, Wait, you can still get organic stuff thing. though. You can still get it's something it's fresh. Even if you get expensive. it organic, what I'm saying, Ben uh, Oriola, is not even. If you get it organic, it's not fresh. Yeah, if you go to um, we call some work or uh, what do they call it um, uh, fresh market or something. You can go there. Those those are the people that are coming straight from the farm. But the thing is, they not they don't open every day. How they many people are they are they with? How, 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 can you Simba. how many people have access access oh, to that? It's, it's very Simba. expensive now. It's, it's Simba, you know in uh, you know um uh in Ilori, if you go to Baboko or you go to what is the name of that one that is just down Jari, that market there. Okay, okay. 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 Um, uh, Yoruba Road. Yoruba Road. Just to my feet, but we'll be Central Bank. Uh, Yoruba Road, yes. Yoruba Road. These fresh, fresh things now. In Abekuta, uh, Babati, my wife used to work in that, uh, you know, that former bank page. Me. You know, it's beside Omida. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, she, yeah, cooks, yeah. she cooks every day. She will just, once it's almost closing down, she just call her cleaner. Oh, and she already know her customers. Uh, I will do era this era that she will just buy everything and she get up she just cook it we buy food like rice and everything at home but no if, 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 
you can mm. still get even if you are in Nigeria today you can still get all those things you yes, understand but, but where we are now you just go to one fruit market we don't even know how long those fruit has been they harvested in my own case they will bring you from british columbia eh? uh -huh. they, they you will see okay like we months. we that we are even in the desert here you will see mm -hmm. one fruit maybe only that was maybe from indonesia you know how long that only will have been on for, the for, for on the <laughs> on road the from indonesia to <laughs> you understand? Those are the things that we consume. <laughs> Imagine. That is just. And, and it's about, I, I had this apple in my in my fridge for 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 months. But the but the but the. It's you know. It's over two or three. Konibaje, konibaje. That is it because it's not natural. You the same. The same when it. You can't eat this, you know. You can't eat this. Apple, what do you think, Kokpa? Baba, 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 Atoski. You know the first thing I noticed when I got here, I mm. discovered that things are not getting rotten the way you used to get rotten in Nigeria. With the hot weather, with the hot weather, yes. You leave, you leave, you leave banana, and the thing can be there for days. Still preserved. <laughs> I, I was not wondering if I at a time I was looking at say maybe because of our weather, our weather is humid, it's so it's so hot. Maybe that was the reason. But now I know that those things are not natural, and that's why even the microorganisms are very, very difficult to consume. <laughs> so you can imagine if you now gets into your body, the microorganism in your tummy, how are they going to be able to work very well on it? Hey, yes, how, the normal comments that's, that's how we shit a lot in America, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in Niger, you, you, uh, uh, you know what? You know what? You know what? Mikey, Mikey, Mikey. What I notice here is that you see constipation is a big problem here. Uh, and I used to tell them, I said, in Nigeria, I've ne I've never seen a child that will get constipated. Which where is he going to get the constipation? Kilonje, we're doing it. Kilonje, so I'm constipated because because here they all of them they eat refined food product. Refined. Do you know, do, do you know Mike? It, it's so bad. They have small bowel obstruction. They have they, they have to go in surgically to to kind of un, un, un block that place. Is that bad? Exactly. Well, yes. Now they have they have fika impaction. Fika impaction. You know, they yeah, have, but, they have but the money still, now. though, they when you look at it, when it comes to obesity, I mean, America has like one of the biggest obesity. So I'm not sure about other countries. We're still seeing obesity, like everyone is like turning big as hell, like here. But I think in, in other countries, they're still manageable. They're not eat, eating like chemicals like we eat over here. You no, know, do you know what's going on, Ade? Is the the, mis, the lies that the, the farm the food industry tell you? So they say ah that that one burger is just it's just it's just a uh, eleven hundred calories, but they are they are cooking that burger with trans fats now. Oh yeah, yeah. Which, yeah. Which, which, so, so your mind is, so so your mind is, is about seven hundred calories, but actually you are consuming two thousand. Long day. Ah, they Remy, do, you can't compare the obesity here. Yeah. Oh, ah, no. everybody is fat. Too. Ah, Remy, Remy, <laughs> Remy, 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 hold on. You see, in America, we have some states that they are known for that. Mississippi, <laughs> Alabama. In fact, this, 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 there was one Niger girl and one Niger lady. She came from Nigeria. She was skinny. Six months later, when I saw this lady, Uti Tobi, ah! <laughs> I was like, yo, what happened, man? Ah! I couldn't recognize her, man. She just got fat. Like, real quick. Uh, you, you, know, I, you, know, you, know, you know, Nigerians, they will, they, they will say, hey, look at her. She's very fresh. She's, she's very not fine. big. That she's looking good. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she's, she's, she's <laughs> fine. <laughs> You know, you know, Mike. Mike, you I think you people should start something. Oh, do you know? I saw one document and uh, one um, uh, uh, video on on YouTube on uh, this thing. There was a place just like bathrooms and steaming steaming room. I saw like twelve girls naked. They only wore like panties and this thing. They started pouring some chemical on them and steaming their body. They became side turning to Igbo instantly in nigeria 
Yes, so they are doing it so they are it's like a chemical wash. You understand? You know, you know, um, uh, Patoski, you know, before and then when you kill a ram, you understand? You know, you it is like you pour hot water on it, then you use blade to skin it. Uh, that's what they are doing. They will pour the chemical and then they will start scraping their skin and they will turn white. Uh, they, they will just cover their eyes and uh, cover their some places. Uh, wait, 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 what are you guys talking about here? They will turn to life faster. Mike, Mike, black what, as what the, listen, Mike, what the Atubi loan there be? Atubi? Are they preaching or is he preaching or what are you? What? I don't understand why the preaching is so common. You say how your age is kick color on it. I don't understand. I don't I know. This, uh, you know how the women now fair, 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 fair. All the celebrities they don't become fair. You sure they are Nigeria, wrong? Nigerian economy, you, yeah, you go to an event. All the men are dark. All the women are light. And exactly. Call, are, we, are you all from the same mother and father? <laughs> uh, yeah, but the country, <laughs> but the country that has the highest user of bleach is indian actually is india they always they all want to look white uh, go, to, the sudan, go to sudan the sudanese yeah, sudan is also the bleach here yeah. uh, that's bleach that yeah, 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 that can't bleach you it won't work for them oh, they're they black oh, so the sudanese sudan those are not bleach those chemicals won't work for them ah papa so so bad do you mean so bad do you mean so black you can't even walk over you can't walk that way man that level of dark you can't you guys use sport everywhere that's what there was this guy in college from sudan do you know there's black and there's blue black this guy is blue black dark like my you know uh but you know what's funny the first time i actually saw like sudanese dark was when i came to america like i couldn't believe what i was saying like wow so you might make this dark but then the americans will think like you know in like, sudanese you know, are like, black like, they don't you know i want the uh, like black people ah oh, well, those people, yeah. Simba, Simba, Simba. Yeah. this guy was so dark his gun was dark <laughs> i'm not telling you dark dark <laughs> dark <laughs> my, my, my friend I mean, there's nothing wrong with i don't say anything wrong with you know, someone being dark whatever whatever but that was my first night to see someone that dark when i got to america dark. Yeah, but they're, but, they're but, black but, and shine. They, they it was shiny. so funny. It was so funny that the uh, the me and the Americans were looking at them with the same look, like wow. You understand? Like me and a black American person are actually talking, like wow, wow. Like we, 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 that's the first time me and him saw someone that dark. But then I told him I'm from Africa, but he's like, ah, he look at me like I can't come from Africa. And he's as shocked as me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's looking at me. But he also know that like, the part of Africa I come from, like, we just don't have people that go there black, like, literally that, that, I mean, oh my God, like, but I mean, that's not, to me, I don't see anything wrong with it. It's just, it's just complexion, man. Just complexion, man. We need to do something about that. Government need to find a way. <sighs> yeah, they need to, that bleaching thing, man, they need to chill out with that shit. Look, uh, there was one, you know, there was there was one uh, major, I think this guy was a pastor or something. So she has been dating, he has been dating his uh, wife since university days. You know those days in university now, you take picture, you know, those kind of, that time that Zoom, Zoom camera just came to Nigeria, that you go and they'll take your pictures. So he, the lady, the guy brought one of their pictures when he was, when they were just dating. See the girl, he so was so black in that picture. Now they now took their picture now that they are grown up. See the girl is looking like fantastic. She now, she now posted it and see how the Lord has done so well for us. We have come all, all the way. Somebody in the comments say, Ah, the Lord has transformed your life from coke to fanta. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, uh, Patoski, it's so <laughs> worse that people bleach for their babies these days. The babies for what? I am not for babies. Like, you know, they will beat their baby and they will do that. They will put their. For, for no. babies, baby, 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 baby. 
Patu, Patu. Yeah, but they're doing it because of discrimination. They, so they, they will not only discrimination. Wait, let's be real. Let's be real. So you can talk when you go. Wait, let's be real now. Uh, if you see in Niger- even in Nigeria, like people will put people that are fair skin in the movies rather than people that are dark. I mean, you always see all the actresses and the you see them. They they came in into the industry. They they're black, and after a while, you start seeing like their skin is changing. They what's the reason? Is it because <laughs> you know? don't, don't you think there's discrimination? There is. Well, no one is who's discriminating. What's that? Well, care. they can tell us, but you can tell that they're the skinny. The, the, the greatest uh, female actor of Nigeria of all time is Genevieve, in my opinion, and she's black skinned. So exactly. No one is discriminating now. It's just your. Genevieve is black. One she person out of hey, 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 when, when you don't have a skill, that is when you start looking yeah, now, more so less skin. So, so, so. Yeah. I don't think anyone is. Uh, I don't, I don't really think, even, even hey, my... Hey, Patoski, you remember before, you know, yeah, the, the deep example. soap that they used to use those those days, mercury soap and all those hey, soap, remember? remember? Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. And like... all those things culminated a lot. Of, that's why you see the cases of renal problem now, kidney failure, hey, that really? is very common now. Yes. Because I just noticed that, why is that renal problem now? It's rampant in our times. Is it the drink? Is it the food? So it's no. just that soap. So all those yes, so. soap and cream. Can yes, they you. get into your system. Anything you apply in your skin, get to your blood, though. I hope you know. Yeah. Oh, it's a part of, part of show. Hey, the rough cream. Your, your skin is also get to Do you know that I started applying cream as in vas- uh, like what is vaccine lotion? Stop in using like cream. Man, look, man, look, 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 those cream before they start selling face. them, they did clinical trial. Was it done on our people? Do we think it's good for our skin before they start selling it to us? One, that's some of the things that we just one, but what of Vaseline? Don't Anything care about wrong with Vaseline. Yeah, but it was it did it, did it was clinical trial done on it? And was Doctors, it done on our yeah. people? Does it meet our standard for the standard? Is for Vaseline our skin? dangerous too? I don't know. I'm not a I, I didn't I'm asking the bar about now. Are you afraid? You are about the one that you have consumed. <laughs> you know, eh? You know, eh? My skin will wrong. make you darker. Oh, no, you know when we're in Nigeria as children now? Small. No, I you think it's the environment. I think it's the environment. I will rub it oh, Remy. in my hand, put it on my hair. Then the what I used to rub my hair is what I used to rub my face and my foot. That's all. And I did that until I got here in Canada. During summer, I discovered that my back was beginning to dry up because of the weather. So I started applying the Vaseline lotion on my back. I don't want any to get to my skin and get to my kidney. You, you guys know, you guys know who is considered the hottest girl, female athlete, right? Athlete right now. Hottest female in, in Europe. Is this one Spanish girl? This one Spanish uh, Senegalese girl. Hey, she's from yeah, that, 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 that girl is fine. That girl is fine. Oh, that girl What's her name? Gorgeous, What's her name? Man. Oh, oh man, she's wait. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, oh man, or something. They are beautiful. I, I think uh, she's she, she's she half. Uh, Fatima, uh, Fatima Diame. Fatima something. Yeah, yeah. Wait, that girl is wait, fine. Wait, what sport she does? Fatima Oma or something. She she does track and track and she jumps. Long jump and all those. Yeah. Mm. I'm telling you, she's just she's swing, very beautiful. Face. Ah, all that girl is gorgeous. All the white guys, oh, all of them they cool over together. She's <laughs> like, she's you got any finest girl in Spain? Even in Spain, everybody ah. So the whole skin complexion thing to me, it has nothing to do with beauty, man. It's just something we just. That yeah, is so funny that uh, like Sudanese though. Yeah, she's very dark, yeah. She's almost dark like skin. Sudanese. Wait, yeah. what's that last name? What's that last name? Well, oh, 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 um, it's for, the army, I think it's the army. The army, yeah. The army. The army, the army. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
Guys, I, mean, I want to ask you a question. Don't you think that nowadays there is more black girls coming from Africa to marry white white guys? The the percentage continue to increase. Yeah, because they want know. to have Let you know, them the, go ahead. They, they want to have that mixed baby kin. I don't, I don't know what it is. Not necessarily, though, man. But in Africa, women, I mean, it's more of a status. You know, in Africa, to be fair with you, uh, women usually go more for status. Like your pocket, all this kind of thing. They marry yeah. men that can no, take you. No, 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 because, no. Because hold on, hold on. Nisuru, Nisuru, Nisuru. I'm not saying 100%. Cool. There are some of them that want mixed race. But what I'm saying is typical of any third world country. The women there, the number one thing they want from a man is how much you, your your financial status. That's number one thing. Now, when they now get with you, they can start dealing with the other issue. Maybe you're not fine or you're not whatever, whatever. They can start dealing. But initially, what they really will see is can you take care of me get me out of this ass condition because compared to the other the advanced countries where there's a welfare system there's a there's a there's a, a netting system where if you are women are not desperate to get out of any financial situation you understand mm -hmm. but in those third world countries every people you know you're, you're just one step away from abject poverty so women just want to be financially secure and one way they know that they can easily get financial security to get with a man that's so, financially so, secure. You know? So that's why you see a rise in them not saying no to the white men that come to ask them to, for marriage. Do you, know? do you know what I discovered here? I've seen several women. I mean, finish. And if you talk, see finish, 99% are blonde, man. 99%. You cannot see black hair. Most times it's blonde, 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 blonde. And you see them with a dismissed child. They are racing. Then later I got to know that there are so many Somalians and uh, Eritreans and Ethiopians and also maybe Sudanese that came down asylum. So they just like copulate with these guys. They don't really marry them just to have this mischild. Actually, when you see the mischild, to be frank, let's be factual. Their skin look more radiant and sometimes they look more beautiful or handsome than natural black or than natural white. Okay. So they, they love this thing a lot. And I've seen several of them. And when these kids, they see you as a black man, sometimes they want to like talk to you. They they were kind of in the middle. They, they, too, they are confused because they don't know which one to belong to. Do we follow the white set or do we follow the black? So don't you see that kind of thing? Yeah, that, that's, that's what worries me. The, the future. For that's yeah, what worries it's, it's a big me. issue for them. Yeah, because you, you confuse, you confuse it's kids. It's I think it's like I said, the diagnosis or not like they have this identity a crisis where the whites don't want um, the, 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 the because the black the, they are still operating on this uh, one drop rule of from slavery. Where, but that's America, though. That's yeah, America. But but because the white people say, okay, you, you, are, you, are, you have the black in you, but the black are, oh, we know you are black, but you, you act white sometimes. That Drake effect. Well, you, but the you white, the white, the white, the white, the white, not the before, yeah, but the white are beginning to accept their mixed kids now. So now the mixed kids are beginning to call themselves different races now in America, like oh we are mixed six or something like that. They, they 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 don't they don't do that and black anymore. They just are mixed. No, but I, before I, 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 I oh, no, oh, so. oh, it depends on the environment too. It depends on the environment. <laughs> but in, some, in in many places where the kids grow up, maybe on a, a both parents at home or in a white community and things where they didn't get rejected by the white community they don't do that oh i'm automatically black anymore but before it was just automatically you are black because the white will reject that child and it was that rule that um uh, you, you are mixed you are black so we are just black but it's changing in america gradually but in south africa there is clearly there's no i'm black we are color once you are mixed you are color and they the uh, mixed race kids in south africa don't call themselves black they will tell you I'm color because they 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 clearly create race for them, identity for them. Like if you are mixed, you are color. But in the United States, they had their own drug rule for a long time, even during slavery. The mixed children were still slaves. So, but now white people are beginning to drop that discriminating, uh, rejecting their mixed children in America. They're beginning to uh because the new generation of white America, they're less discriminative like the old generation. So those ones that had kids now. They're not telling their children that they are black. I just telling them, hey, you're mixed. That's it. And the kids themselves are growing up now. They also are setting that they are mixed. They don't call and say, I'm black. I'm a black girl. I'm a black guy. They don't do that anymore. Well, <laughs> um, from what I know, if you have a, if your dad is black, 
It doesn't matter. You're black. Um, so he, I don't think you will ever go away. You're still going to be discriminated against. I've seen a lot of them. Um, they're so confused. Um, they don't know where to, especially if they don't like, if, especially let's say. Well, it's not everywhere that they're discriminating though. This thing you guys keep talking about. Well, well, well Mike, that, that's not there. Mike, listen, do that, that's not what benefits them now. I, I, I do wish not because the same person telling that he's black. Okay, that, that person is half, but they say, oh, we are black. But they, they tend to be the, be the one that they will pick. Let, let's say they need a black person in that, or that for that job, for that company. They will pick the most light-skinned person. So that person is still enjoying being yeah. half-white. Yeah. So they, so they benefit both. Or, or both like they benefit. So, yeah, but if you have a black so. dad, then you're black. That's what it is. If you're, if your dad they, is they, they, you really think, you, you, Papa T, you really think they pick the lightest person? Oh, I'm, I'm telling you that. Me, the, the, I think one white. No, I'm saying that on, in terms of a uh, co corporate yeah, ladder, if you notice. Yeah, that's the. The half white, the half the, the, the mixed kid gets a leg up. So what yes. happens? Is the mixed kid is always playing victim mode on both sides. Depend, depending on, on, on what favors him, so they now play me, victim. They let me give you a, 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 no, hold on. Let me give an example now. You know, you know uh, six steel now from ESPN. Six will tell you, well, I'm not black because my, my, my father is actually white, so you know, I'm not I'm not black. So yeah, then you know, let, let me let me tell let me. It's white. Mama T, uh, Uri, yeah. give me a second. Let, let me let me let me tell you real the way I see white people actually pick you relate to you if you the one that grew up more in their environments that behave more in their culture is who they accept more they really don't care about the complexion the whites you can be half white half black and you grew up black you understand you're talking black you grew up in black neighborhood if you bring that dark black that grew up in white neighborhood right the white people who picked up dark black grew up in white neighborhood that acted more like they're related to their culture than the they don't when they see mixed race and black they don't say because you are light or you're mixed that's you not know, true complexion. mike no, no, hold, on, hold on hold on wait let me learn let me learn they are not the white people when they want to accept the black american they look for the one they can relate to more than they don't it's not the complexion that they're looking it's more the one they can relate to more like for example candace owens would be well more accepted than freaking uh who's the light skin one uh, uh that's from the hood um maybe who's a give me a give me a give me one number of one uh, light skin black my, girl my guy hood. my guy i went to the same school with that girl she's so weird like you, oh. candace she's weird like she never really, she, weird? she never no college i went to the same college with her she never relate to black people at all. Like she's weird. Um, now, 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 now she wants to talk. What are you talking about? I know her. I, I was even surprised when I see her speaking on TV because she I never she relate to Kanye West. Then, oh, man, you don't worry about it. You don't know what I'm talking about. When you say black people, you say she doesn't relate to the culture, to the uh, hood culture kind of thing. It's you know? not hood culture. No, 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 no. Like, black, you, black America always say if you don't. No, you don't, no, you don't, no, you don't no. Let me, let me, let me. Because you're saying that. All of us I that went, I, I, I people that went let to college, let me, 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 you are what? What? correct. What? See Ali Berry. What? See Ali Berry. Because, what? because what? you are part of them. The value, I'm telling you, right. I don't I'm believe it. What about what about the uh, you say Ali Berry? What about Oprah? What about come on, man? What? 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 Me... <laughs> Oprah. What Oprah is not seen as a white now. What about so Whitney? Whitney? What about Whitney? Wait, see. Still... I mean, come on now. Stop saying Wait. because they are mixed. I don't think Wait. that's what I've been trust me, I spent more time around white people than even blacks. I know how they think. Yeah, you should now with the with the what is it colonialism thing of course you you have to i know now I, what are you talking what is the white right? american he colonized us what are you talking about the white american colonized nigeria so what is it colonialism? they're all the same they're europeans man 
They, they, they are not hard to explain. No, a British person is different from a British person. A they British person is different from they a white American. Trust man. me. They're not different. Yeah. They're all. We are all human beings. We all have the same mentality. There's no question about that. But they're so, not different, though. They're the same. They're their the same culture people. is different. What culture? America never have no culture. They left. They their left mentality Europe. is a little different, man. Go, go to England. Go and go there. Even the English white boy will tell you that these Americans are weird. Huh? Trust me, man. <laughs> yeah, they come they here to this. I work with them. Why Europeans come here? Saying. Hold on, hold on, wait. I've been in an environment where Germans, Europeans come to America, they come mixed, and some of them can really relate to an African and relate to white American. They're like, damn, you're Americans. That it, their mentality is different in a lot of ways. So they're not holding the same like Mike, that. Yeah, but they're going to pick me, them before me, they pick you. Me, they're going to pick them I mean. before That's they That's not the me. argument I'm making. No, they're not going to pick them before they pick me. It depends they will. on the situation. They will pick them no. before they pick you. No, if I'm more qualified, they'll pick me. Stop all these things, man. <laughs> I, I, okay. I'm saying that if you're a black person and they know that maybe your mom or dad is white, let, let, let's say in a school, for instance, they know, okay, this person is basically that white. Even if the black kid is very conservative and espouses everything that you talk about, if the light-skinned kid does half of that, they will still pick the light-skinned kid. You're right, BT. I yeah, agree I'm with you. Right. I don't know where he's, what no. he's arguing about. Based on what? Oh, based, based on this America we live because in, Because the parent is half, half of them. They will still pick the one that has a pen that is white compared to the black of all, all true. Uh, Baba T, you, you, you're describing uh, when people are these people that don't, they don't think. They don't have sense in their heads. That's what you're describing them. First of all, when they want to pick someone to come and work, what they are looking for, they, they're not hiring someone because uh, they like you or because... Uh, uh you you uh, they want to like the way you look when they hire you they want to use you to make money you understand okay you get I that will, that's, that's no 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 an, an employer because i trust me i'm an employer when an employer wants to employ somebody one thing that's not, that's not the last thing on their mind is uh what do you look like are you are you like me are you um, uh, they, they no. have the qualifications they want to know if you can make me money that's it I know my, so I, let's leave employment out of it if you want to talk about other uh, uh, areas where they are accepting now. someone my, no, if you want to talk, oh, this is what i'm saying i'm saying at the corporate level you know optic matters if they are both equally qualified for that job the mixed kid tends to get a leg up compared to the black person. Is what I'm saying because they take both boxes. They are still black, and, and I'm more comfortable with them being half white. That is what is working. I'm telling you, a, a couple of that's how it works. A, 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 lot, a lot of it, man. I'm, my friend, a lot of it has to do with a lot of this. Um, uh, hold on, uh, when you this thing they always say, oh, whenever you check the box, they are bi they're, they're more biased towards. Uh, Someone white or mix. A lot of it has to do with uh, culture. You understand? Or the, the culture of an environment. The, the stereotypical, uh, uh, the, stereoty the stereotype How of. How long Mike live in the U or the United States? Bro, I'll probably be here longer than you do. You just uh, wonder. Sure. <laughs> yeah, you don't, I know. You don't, you don't, Bro, I, don't I know. See. The thing is, you guys go by all these uh, conventional wisdom. That's what they say every day. Oh, they did this. <laughs> But I'm talking. I'm going from lift the spirit. He just said, my own. Believe it. We are okay. Oh, really? Like, you, you, the way you talk, you know, it's very obvious. You live, you live more in the hood and all this environment, and you probably what? never even. You don't sound <laughs> like someone that's rude. Just from the way you talk, it's very you obvious. Like about? you, no, no, no. You, you speak to people like I the just, typical person that lives in the black neighborhood most of the time. Uh, and you just go by the normal talk. Oh, the police is out there to get me. The no, white no, man. No, 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 <laughs> You speak like a typical African, though. Like you, that's how we see things. Like Bro, the thing is, I've been in the United States longer than you, Oriola. Sure. Yes, I have. Well, I don't argue about. It. I don't argue about. It's just like a fact. If well, I tell you how long I've been, you will know that dude. This guy. Yeah. Never how how long you been in there? Early, 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 I did from the hood, I mean, I did from dude, the hood. Dude, 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 I say, how long you been in there? I came to the United States in 1998. Okay, sure. How long have you been here? No, I've been here 23 years. Well, exactly. It's not been longer than you, because I know for a fact. So what are you telling but me, man? I live, you don't I live, sound like you've been During that time, I'm talking about that time, like it's different from now. 98, that's what I'm saying. Say it again? You said 98, but I don't... I don't think it's a fact because you don't, you don't act think... like one. Uh, maybe, no, it's not about acting you... like one. I know. Wait, maybe, I'm, you I'm... Came, maybe you came here when you are adult already. 
I no, I was I not. I, was, I came here. I came here. Finished high school here. What? Wait. Yeah. You you did, and you yeah. You talk like this. Because that big, because Drew, first of all, the, way, the, the level you're in right now was once there through the whole, the whole, yeah. No, yeah, no, 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 wait, wait. Don't I've put, lived, don't put me the thing is this, the, the, that's that, the deal, that's the deal. I came here when I was 15, so I know what I'm talking about. And for you to be Exactly, me, around the same. So, wait, wait, wait. I, I once was walked in that same me, mentality, or it's like this, like that. that. It's, it's definitely, although, although, yeah, I can tell, because there's some people that came here around that age too. That they have different perspective, and I, I, and and the fact that I'm older than you means that I was there even longer than you. Well, yeah, um, I, I, yes, I, I, what does that matter? <laughs> so, I, what, what can you tell me? So, so what like can you tell me? See, it doesn't seem like you've been here that long. long. That's what I'm saying. I, I didn't need to do. I don't <laughs> think this guy has been. He's <laughs> lying. He was never lying. I didn't need to do now. Egwene, Egwene, expect to. How would he? How would he though? <laughs> the thing is, no, the thing is, like, what it is is they come here and they go adopt this. Uh, the first thing they do is they move to the black environment and then they adopt. Oh, that's not true. I, hold on, hold on, hold on. What the, you're no, saying no, no. is not true. Give, give me a second now. Give me a second. Uh, let me not you. Let me not say you. A lot of people when they come here. Is that they come straight to the black neighborhood or some come straight to the white neighborhood, and then. They just like consume what the information is in the in the in the in the space in the airspace, and you know how typical America is all about race and this and that and that and that and that. And then the, the, depends on which environment you are in, what the reality is is what you begin to accept as oh, that's the way the world is, right? When I first no, came to not, hold on, hold on, hold on, I calm down, calm down, calm down. Okay. Let me, let me just, Go ahead, I will when, when I first came here too, I usually was in a more like the black environment and what i was constantly talking is black versus white or oh, the white is they just discriminative and oh they stereotype you they i was fed even the media was feeding me all these things you know but i had the opportunity to live so in different so many different places where i saw the truth in some of those things and i also saw the react the, op the other side there's so many sides to yeah, America is so dynamic. Like some white people, you go usually they don't want to see you. And some you go, it's just different. So the whites are not just it's not a monolithic uh, culture or uh, environment. It's different. Even the blacks. I lived in the East Coast. I lived in Brooklyn. Lived in the South. Lived in. I've been all around America in the sense I lived and I experienced the people, and I got to know the real thinking, the real mentality. It's different from what we consume. That is is re as reality. Everything we consume is just. People giving opinions and some people just want uh, everyone is it's political. It's highly political. But if you deal with it, people realize everyone is just humans. You will find highly educated why they don't they think the reason beyond all these things. And then you find some ignorant, they just don't know, they just follow what they're told and what they think, the perception. But there are some people that just why way beyond that. And some of these things they talk about, even I, I got to a point where I will realize that. Even these Malcolm X, all these guys, even they will create them more problem for the black people than even oh my God. than the well, South. That's what I'm saying. This guy is lying. He's never been here that <laughs> long, like he's saying. And if he has been here that long, he doesn't read books. What he's saying is totally lies. Okay, that's tell what me I'm what saying. is the line. What because I said. There's no way. Lying. See, listen. There's no way you would take four years of history. And you go to college and you took another two years of history. You took uh, African American studies or you took any okay. uh, tell, literature. Tell me, okay, and you're okay. telling me, and you're uh -huh. telling me that your point of view is still what you're saying. This guy is lying. It's okay, tell me, okay tell me. Okay, tell me. Tell me. Tell me. That's what I'm saying. Well, this guy. Well, well, not let's what not, you're let's not use are. emotion. Let's use logic. Yeah. Okay. You're saying. I'm not emotional. Hold on. Wow, wait. Wow, wait. Wow. Wait. Let's use logic to to. What to logic? Kind of... Because everything you said is not. Is okay. Not tell me. Okay. Tell me the lie. Tell me the lie. Everything you just said, like you're saying, like that what your judge, you're, you're you're telling me that oh, based the the fact that you live here, you live um in this particular environment, oh, and I live in that uh, particular environment. Now I have the entire view of the whole country. That that's not how it works. Just because you live in one environment and it's like this, that's how people are. If I live in yeah, if I, I live in Chicago, I'm not I, expecting. I, I, I think you're more focused because maybe his asset has not changed like like like. It, 
expect it to change. No, no, but that's not what I'm saying. That's and why. That's me, why. I'm, no, no, no. That long now. What? It can be here for a long time and still have. Nigeria. Yeah, that's why I was asking him that he came here when he was adult, and he said he, no. No, he I came, came here when, when I was still a teenager. I was, I was still kind of young. I was still so, a kid. Uh, so it's Mr. confusing Mr. to me if this guy is a teenager. Mr. Oriola, good morning, Mike. Good morning, um, BT. Good morning, Mr. Simber. Good morning, everyone. I came in okay, you, you call you call me Mr. You call Mike name. How come you can't call oh, me? Oh no, name? no, Mr. Mike. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. Even my even my even my mother is back back slapping me from the grave already. Ah, Oshi Osho Rosso now. Good morning, Mr. Mike. <laughs> um, I came. I came in '88, and my lived experience is exactly how Mr. Mike said. Exactly, that's been my lived experience. I've lived in, I've lived in uh, Maryland, um, well, Virginia, uh, Atlanta, California, Alabama, North Carolina, and I've been to a number of. Was well, stayed in a number of other states. I've been stopped by the police several times. I've, I've said it here before, mostly because of my own stupidity and young and foolish. <laughs> Refused to put license plates on brand new cars because I still wanted to be looking like brand new. Uh, I've lived in Huntington Beach, which is like 98% white. And my, even when the police have stopped me, <clears throat> my experience has been, I mean, the way my mother taught me is, Good morning, sir. Good morning, madam. So I'm not saying there is no discrimination. And like I always say, tell people there, as of the time of um, Obama, there were 3.1 or 3.2 police officers in America. During that time, there was a lot of um, this uh, white police shooting going on. And I tell people, look, the vast majority of police officers in America are white. I mean, the vast, vast, vast majority, the vast, vast majority of them, even if some of them or whatever percentage of them don't like black people, they don't put on their uniform and say, I'm going to go and kill a nigger today. If that was the case, in spite of one police officer kill killing a civilian is way too much by accident, by incident, by happenstance, whatever it is. But take what is one percent of three million? That's thirty thousand. So even the, if you take the no, the number of police shooting of white police shooting of blacks, it is so insignificant. It doesn't even show up on the radar. It has Can to be you, let me even add to your point. Let me even add to your point. Do you know that statistics shows that at the end of the year, there are even more white killed by police than blacks. But the media will never cover that at all. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. They will just play that game. So <laughs> that emotional game. There's, with black. There's, this, there's discrimination in America. Personally, personally, I have never been discriminated against. Maybe somebody did that I don't know. But the way I've, I've said it here many times, I grew up, I went to St. Fimbas back in the early 80s. I went with children of ambassadors and people from all over the world. So I went with Chinese children, Taiwanese children, white children, black, Igbo, Hausa, Edo, everyone. So my outlook in life is I don't see any, I don't see people as different because that's how I grew up. I grew up with all these people. So I don't see a white person as being superior in, it doesn't even come to me, it cannot even come to my brain that somebody is superior to me. So I don't have that outlook. Obviously, there's been a lot of um, issues with black and white people in America. And like Mr. Mike rightly said, if you, if you live in certain areas over time, you will have a totally different outlook as to what the majority of white people are. Yeah, there are those, even a white police officer can stop you and be like, oh, I am going to have me a nigger for dinner tonight. I'm not saying it's not going to happen. I don't, I don't, re even guys that I know very well, I don't respond to nigger. My name is not nigger. 
If you call me that, I wouldn't even I wouldn't even answer you. So, I don't care well, if you're uh, a police officer today will not call you nigga, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm yeah, talking, yeah. no, I'm talking about I no, I'm talking I about I'm talking, talking about all that all that I guys, do, not can police. Do, can do, can do. What's up, nigga? What's up, man? <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me let me say this real quick. Uh, let me say this real quick. Let, let me say this real quick. Uh, first of all, to become a police officer in the United States, first of all, there's certain like scrutiny, background check, and certain they would, and even the trainings alone. This thing they educate the police officers. That's one thing. Now, too, when we talk about these black. Um, Sorry, guys, I had a phone call. Uh, when we talk about this black police interaction thing, a lot of it has to do with the environment the police is going and the uh, statistic of things that happen in that environment. So the level of alliance, the level of uh, precaution, proactive activity, activism, they have, they are, whatever it was the word is, they have to take, uh, measures they have to take has to be different. Now, I will tell you my example. When I used to live in predominantly uh, southern community, it's predominantly black neighborhood, but not because it's black, but because the kind of things that you should take place there, the kind of uh, level of event uh, that's known to happen there. I noticed police used to pull me over a lot there, and they used to like be a little bit more aggressive, a little bit more uh, uh, kind of suspicious of me. And I used to buy into the whole thing about, oh, police is after black men, police is after black men. Oh, it's true. This whole thing is, oh, they really out there, police versus black. Until I left that neighborhood, that community, and went to more of an environment, which is still a lot of black people living, and kind of mixed in a sense. And I noticed the police, they are different towards me. You understand? And then when I begin, well, then after I'm making friends, I've made friends with a lot of police officers, I have conversation with them, both white police officers, black police officer even african police officers to get into why what is going on and when they started breaking down to me like this is this this is this this is that this is and everything started to make sense to me like wow so it's beyond just skin color or just stereotype or this because these officers are not ignorant they're educated they're taught you know, you know, they know the black community unfortunately they're not raised to respect authority like yeah, you, yeah. So, so, I, 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 wait, you what know, are you guys about, talking about? That's, hold on, wait, wait, no, wait, wait. that's what I'm saying. You guys, I give me a second. Give me a second. Let's not let's not do like the black hair statement. Then let's. Right. Not, can you calm down? Uh, oh, like, let's not do the. Right. Like, uh, uh, Baba, see, I disagree with that. Some if it's some black. Uh, so, hold on, hold on. Calm down, calm down, calm down. If it's suburban environment in suburbs, like the blacks that live, they are usually black people. Their their parents are educated or military background those things those kids act different from the blacks in like the low income community like the hood raised by single mom and all those things so everybody Absolutely. know that the police know that Absolutely. so yeah the police everyone knows that that's we what all, i'm it, saying yeah yeah so wait no the police is, can, can you let me talk please just come now talk talk, talk. The, the police know that and they are aware of it like oh if i'm going to this neighborhood the kind of people that are living there usually Middle upper class people, uh, more people with first of all, first of all, for you to live there, you must have a clean record. So, the police is driving through that community when they say black resident, black resident, they're not going to suspect you as a criminal because they know you're likely not a criminal, not likely not to uh, up to anything bad because this neighborhood people that live here are this uh, category of people, this demography of people, so they don't look at it. But then, when they go into certain neighborhood where they know that. You don't need to have a clean record to live there. And most people, they have criminal record. That's the only place they're allowed to live. Police know as I'm coming here, there are a lot of sex offenders, a lot of guys that have uh, uh, criminal records, all kinds of records. This is where they are concentrated, right? When the police is going there, he knows that, hey, I'm going to an environment where there are potential harmful individuals or like people with bad record. They tend to take a different approach and the police officer explain that listen i know my life is likely to be taken in this kind of environment yeah, so yeah, i can't Mike, i can't i have to be a little Mike, bit more aggressive there Mike, so it Mike, comes me, down to it comes me, down me, oh, 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 oh. this guy is saying man it Mike. comes down to it comes down to reality and uh what's the word i'm looking for it comes down to the 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 circumstance 
you know, no skin color. And I, let me shock you even more. There are some white neighbors, some all if you go to all white states, Absolutely. there are some neighborhoods where Absolutely. it's just sin, uh, identical to the same poor neighbor with lower class, poor white leaves where the keys poor are known. White. Yeah. Be, poor white. The police yeah, are aggressive, thing. just as aggressive in those places as they are in the hood, in the black neighborhood. Trust me, it's not about the skin color. It's just about the where they know they're going. It's the Mr. environment. Mike, let me let me let me add to what you're saying. You, Wait, you, you guys have the... had enough. You keep adding. Okay, you go ahead. You go crazy. ahead. You go ahead. You go ahead. You go ahead. I, I don't agree with any of the things that you. you they are both white women. That's why. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. He's never left those neighborhoods. That's why he stuck with that. I believe it. They all believe that. <laughs> I used to think like that too, and I was living there too. You know, he was, he was, he was, he was, he was, Mr. Mike, you know, you know, Mr. Mike, Mr. Mike, Mr. Mike even Mr. Mr. Real, like, you know, Mike hold on, hold on, real quickly. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me fifteen seconds. You can leave, you can leave Lagos without Lagos leaving you. You know that, right? You can <laughs> leave you guys. Neighbors. That's you Those and the, you, you. That's you. Can you, can you, you never left that bubble of the black neighborhood in America. Right? <laughs> and, Sir, and I from the hood that we. I did from the hood. But 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 I used to reason like you too when I was living in the hood. You know, I just thought that's what it was. You guys prefer. Sorry, you guys refuse to like adapt to a new system. You refuse to learn about other people's culture. That's the thing. We, there's like, nothing this, about Black American culture that can teach me. I what, know more what, than what you. Do I to, what, what do I need to learn you know about that who? That is, what do I need to learn about something that is negative? Who, 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 what do I need to learn about negative? What's negative about What's negative? Me believing that I'm going to be oppressed. Me believing that I'm going to be oppressed, that somebody is against me. Is that what do I need to learn from that? Can't believe this. Can't can do. Wait, wait. Can't do. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Oriola, can't if believe. you and I see here today, we begin to di discuss Black American culture. Is it hip hop? I know way more than you. Is it? No, is you it don't. The history? You know, do, you what do we start? What, what do you know about hip hop? The way you act, your thinking, your is thinking it, process it, that, can tell bro, me that you know nothing. If I begin to name, I can it, definitely bro. tell that you know nothing. Like what? Do you know? Do you know? Let me let me even ask you this. What good? What? What, what is the good thing about hip hop culture? It's trash culture. It's true. Right? He's ah, telling me that I don't ah, know anything. I'm trying to let him know that I know more trash than culture. him. No, you don't. You don't. Speak trash like culture. You don't you, can you resign? Can you? Can you, you okay, okay, like okay. Name, 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 okay. Like, let, 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 let me and you. Like let, let me and you test our. Let, let's. Oriola, yeah, let's take five minutes to test. But when you go to a new let's take five minutes. When listen first, when you go into a different place, you adapt. You don't technically have to act like them. You act, you understand, and that's okay. the thing that you're lacking. Okay, you're like, explain to me. Explain, uh, explain to me what I'm not adapting to. Explain. I don't okay, know, man. You you to oh, so you remember what you're telling me? Grown ass man, you need to. Uh, Mike, I'm just letting you know. Mike, what are you telling me to adapt? Not to? Adapting. You're not. You're, you're stereotyping every single thing. I'm not stereotyping. Give me an example yes, of stereotype. Mike, okay, Mike, you Mike let somebody else. Mike, let me let me let me put something across. It's no, it's not going to happen. It doesn't tell you exactly. You just throw so black statements. Let me just put this thing across to you. I was listening to you when you were saying it. Say, if you live in this neighborhood, also in Buenu and Puru Puru Puru. Don't you know that the fact is true now? That was when he was saying you live in this neighborhood. Enu Enu Puru Puru Puru. Wow. If those who live in that neighborhood, and some of them are living, not necessarily because they are criminals, but because they are poor people. That's the thing. You see, this life no balance. I, I agree. I agree with that. I agree this with life, that. No balance at all. I've seen documentaries of poor innocent boy walking on the street, arrested and jailed for twenty something years. This innocent project. Yeah, innocent they don't normally treat them fairly. What percentage of those people? They don't treat what what people fairly anywhere in the world. Percentage? Yeah. So what Wait, percentage no, guys, is that? Oh happen my gosh, to? I can't Wait, even stand them right Wait, now. Let me finish. I'm getting peace. Is there somebody was just his mother told him go and buy this thing? He was on the way, small boy, teenager. He spent 26 years in jail, his life destroyed. Again, was... life look, life There's happens. So many can, of them. Life, 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 so many. Look, life happens. That can happen to oh, everybody. Everybody is not white. Hello, my yeah, yeah, Chinese. Hello, my Chinese. Everywhere in the world, every country in the world. 
In the way, but not just you. Everybody, that your adage, it doesn't fit in. If you but not, if you just be back when you're man kuni, it just you. Okay, man, I need to fetch it. See, I need to buy my money. Okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry. That's why I'm sorry. 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 You can tell. That's can, can you explain what the mentality is? You keep accusing. You make an accusation. You are not explaining your accusation. Emma, 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 Maybe you make sense from me. Hold on. I told you that experience. That you want me to was, babysit you? That's what you're saying. Somebody I'm was not going to babysit jail. you. Can we change? Yo, let, 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 let's hear. Let's hear. Uh, uh, you are American. You have already you have monopolized, you have monopolized this thing. Now. Oh, that's, that's true. We need to do that. That's true. That's true. Uh, Patoski, finish and stand back. Coming. Somebody was put in jail because of that. Somebody. I saw another one where the person was killed. And it was later they discovered that it was the wrong person just because it was in that neighborhood because the guy is in that neighborhood and his mindset just like you said his mindset is like this is a crime infested neighborhood so every young boy when you see black people gathering together when you see white people white boys teenager gathering together oh they are just playing small boys they are having fun can you when imagine you black, that's not true if you go to poor crowded, black crowded, poor white neighborhood it's the same thing let's stop when it stop it black people crowded, they are they are drugs, stop it eh? crime. okay then, let's get from simba let's get from simba no 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 anytime my children are going out in car with their friends i just tell them please when police stop you just maintain quietly do you live in america if it's white even canada if oh, in Canada. Yeah, you are talking about America. Happened America. over there too. Okay, yeah, let's hear from Simba. Let's hear from Simba. I want to hear from Simba, please. I also want to say something also. Simba, Remi, after white, Simba, then. Remi, come in. Yeah. Wait, if it's Simba, white. does he happen in Arabic? Uh, if it's white. Dubai. Can we let Simba come in? Real life, please. Oh yeah, Simba come in. Eh, well, me, I know there's racism everywhere. You understand? So the level of racism that is it is varies from one place to the other. Even even here, we, we, it happens here. You Thank understand? You. And it's not because of mentality. It's not because of anything. It happens. I told you that if I'm discussing with uh, some people with the indigenous here, by the time they see their fellow, they will abandon me and finish whatever we want to do before they even attend to me. Is a form of racism because if everybody is treated equally, it's not supposed to be like that. So for is I don't think it's actually good for us for somebody to come here and say no, there's nothing like that. It exists and it's it is it's only is affecting Thank so you, the degree sir. vary from one person to the other. Yeah. Um, okay, yeah. uh Simba, uh, Remy for you coming. Now let, let's make one thing clear about my arguments. I never argue that there's no racism. I never argue that. The argument here is not about racism. The argument here is simply about the system, like policing oh, and uh, oh. why why certain things happen. You understand? Like the, 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 uh, and that's why I was trying to explain that. Hey, this guy has spoken to a white police, black police, African police, all police, and their job is specified. In fact, American police are the only police where. Every the camera is on them, the, everything they're doing, they have a manager that's directing it, they have protocol every step that they have to do it. And it's where the, the, they are training, they also make them aware of which okay. area, which Why area was potentially happen. Those things. Why well, Remy, go ahead. Let's hear Remy. Can you answer that? Why Why do do Remy come come let, let Remy go ahead. Remy, go ahead. No, Mike, I beg answer that question. Why do these things happen? Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. I think you are misplacing the argument there. Bad no, policing happened. Cameras on them now. Uh, let, me ask, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me ask this question. Wait, wait, give me a second. Give me a second. Let me ask this question. Let me ask this question. They have camera of them on them to capture what they do in case they do wrong. Yeah, bad policing. That's what they've been doing. Uh, okay, but can you wait? Me. Can no, you wait, just, please? Not just, not just because of what they've been doing. Look, in every profession, uh, in a, you, you have bad nurses, you have bad doctors, you have bad teachers. There is no way you're not going to have 
some bad people. Yeah, okay. Uh -huh. Yes. There, okay, there's been a let, lot of. Let me come in. Can do. Let me get a comment. But bad police happen to both blacks and white and everybody. Bad police yeah. happen to everybody. That's the point we are making. Here. Okay, let me go ahead. The way I see it is very simple because I happen to work with a lot of Americans also. And I they sometimes they will tell me their mindset and their control. Less uh, to me, I agree that poor black neighborhood are unfairly treated more than poor white neighborhood. And in America or in Finland? Uh, in America, let me finish. Thank you. And you've been here <laughs> You are finish. right, Remy. You are right. I've never been there. Uh, let me finish. You have to look at the statistics of how many of these poor guys from this neighborhood are in all your correctional facility or your prison or wherever. Remy, do you know they're more white? They are not white people. They are more white people in prison than blacks. You know that? No, right? that's not true. That's not true. Really? Yes. Uh, okay, let's look at the number. Wait, 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 wait. That you can, you cannot, you cannot. Yes, go even and do that. that one, it can even, you can't can do that yeah, because we are more, more white population. We are more white population. Common sense tells me that there are more white people in jail. Common sense. Percentage is what you want to argue. Percentage, you want to argue, but you want to talk about number. There's more white. Yeah. <laughs> I, look at what I said, though. I'm not generalizing it. We are talking about poor neighborhood. We are not talking about privileged neighborhood. We are talking about poor neighborhood here. If we are talking about poor neighborhood, there is every likely of every black poor neighborhood incarcerated. I mean, put it to prison, maybe white, white poor neighborhood for them three to one. We are talking about poor. We are not talking about generality. If we are talking about generality, of course, white would be more than black. But if we are talking about poor neighborhood, and I've seen a lot of cases, but I read the case of one woman uh, at age of 15 or 16, she had committed um, uh, shoplifting. Her mother was in prison. At age of 20, she had two kids. And then she went and uh, rob again. And she does not rob with a gun or rob. He just rob with, like when he robs you, he now fight with you. And this particular young lady was sentenced to 20 years in prison. It's unbelievable. So with two kids, nobody to fend for them. And she said, her mother is in prison. Now what is said, your point in this one? What is your point in this one? I agree with you. My point at the end of the day, my, in conclusion, I totally if She committed an offense. Now I wanted one no, that no, to be free or what? what so what is your point? Uh, my conclusion <laughs> at the end of the day is simple. There is more black, uh, poor neighborhood incarcerated compared to poor white people in Kassitin. You know, the question you're supposed okay, to be doctor, asking now, do we doctor have... Remy, no, doctor, let me... Doctor Remy, no, no, not Dr. Remy, Remy, not Dr. Remy. If, if, I, if, I, or if I commit an offense in Lagos, most likely I'm not going to spend the night in jail because my father has influence. Mm -hmm. If some other guy whose parents don't have influence, oh my wallet, no, the, the three, three weeks, no, there, there's no so way in the world where it's life is fair like for poor people. If your, father, for poor if your parents, if, if your parents have what kind resources, of this? if your parents have it's resources, it's reality, it's not where I want it to be, but that's just reality, real life. So that's the reality of life. That's life, I'm telling you. I, I've been to poor white communities and I see the way the police treat the poor white kids compared to the way they treat the uh, uh, privileged white kids. It's not the same. It's not the same. It's just life. Yeah, if and you that's what I, that's what I... Uh, what, what, once you are a poor kid, you're likely raised by uneducated parent or a uh, single mom and you probably didn't learn too much. You grow slow. You probably didn't learn too much about life. You start making a lot of mistakes as a teenager, as a young adult. And police will deal with you a lot compared to someone oh, that is has it, is it possible to look... Okay, Mike. And, and, and compared to... Uh, okay, uh, let me even kill all this argument today. Guys, just give me two minutes. Let me kill all this argument. Uh, Simba, as a city in the United States where even me, say, I have a house here. I live here sometime. Call Houston, Texas. I'm sure real life probably live there too. And Baba say, I'm sure you've been there before. That's the only city in America where there are more Nigerians, probably, probably more Nigerians than even the black Americans. Or if I would say they are probably, probably, probably 50 50, because that's the most populated Nigerian city in America. And guess what? Guess what? The people going to prison. Are the black Americans? Not, I'm talking about Nigerian born here. I'm not talking about those of us that came here. We have like up to even second generation Nigerians here. 
they're born here, grow up here. But guess what? There are even less Nigerian children being arrested than white children, than Hispanic children. They are way, probably, on, probably 50 to 100 times more black Americans still being arrested by police than Nigerian kids. So what is the, so why is the racism there? If it's about race, then all of us will be getting arrested now. If it's about race, then all the Nigerian kids will be in prison. But our children don't go to jail because most Nigerians are just raising their children well. And our children are not engaging in bad things, most of them. I'm not saying some of them are not. Do you know but why? we don't have that to the point where even the police, even the police, where, where even the police know that, oh, the African kids are going to behave themselves. They leave them alone. They don't even, like, they, they literally, like, just ignore the African kids and they're more focused on the black American kids. Because they know that those black American kids, they are the ones that like, I'm not saying all of them, I'm just saying like most like they, their culture, their hip hop culture, they, they believe in this destructive culture. I'm sorry, not all of them. There are some that are raised with, but a lot of them have that dysfunctional problem in their community. And that same community is where the Nigerian population of African children live. But the African kids are typically not engaging in those behavior. And the police come around, they know the African kids, they know the black American kids. Even to the point where the police will have conversation with us and be telling us, like, ah, we know you guys. I have police officers have conversation with us, the group of Nigerians, say, we know you guys. The only thing we suspect you guys are doing is something financial, fraud, or things like that. But as far as breaking robbery, uh, gang, you guys, we don't look at you guys for that, you know? So they even broke it down to us that like, we go after what people that are typically doing certain things. So it's, that's what I'm telling you. It's not about race. It's just about what you are known for and they come after you for it. And when the FBI, all those same people that are investigate financial fraud, when it comes to the black neighborhood, they look for the Nigerians. They don't look for the black Americans. When they're looking for the first stars, they investigate the Nigerians. They come after us because they know that we are likely they want to do that. So they know what, who's doing what, and that's where they go for. And these police, you have to understand that the way they make their promotion is by how many people they bust. <laughs> you know? So, <laughs> so let's go ahead, Jack. Continue. I think uh, you are spoken with, but at the same time, you must also uh, agree that because the first generation of you guys, I mean, African American, I'm just saying, I'm, sorry, I'm blacks from Africa. The way you raise your kid is totally different. And that is why now that more and more population of Nigerians are going to the US and you guys continue to churn out these professionals. That is why they now say, okay, let's give more chance to Nigerians to come to the US because it's likely you are going to raise your kid very well. Because you already know the system in America, and you don't want them to do the same thing like American kids, so you you you, you not try to like raise them properly. But those American kids that they were born there to American parents or something, I mean black Americans, they still think that there should be equal right among white and black. And sometimes they fight for this thing in an unorthodox way, or sometimes because they are they are not enlightened enough. No, not so, equal right, equal opportunities. Yes, they equal. Equal. They, they fought for that one. Of equal people. opportunities is what they do. But that's the reason why. But why, 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 is it, why is it that the Nigerian children, why is it that the children of the Nigerian people get those opportunities that those black Americans do? Who gave you that opportunity to be able to be here in the first place? No, that's not the argument. Stop shifting goals. Stop shifting goals. That's not what we're arguing. All of my all of my nieces and nephews went to school. All of my nieces and nephews went to school. They're all making incredible income. But you know, know what? Do, do, do you know that the, the, the Nigerian are even doing it better than most of the white rights that you're enjoying? <laughs> Dude, it's that's bro, bro. Right. That's we are talking enjoy. history lesson. We are not talking about we versus them. That's yeah. not the conversation here. Wait, wait, wait. No, but, but, but you are talking I'm down talking, on them. Talking, talking We're about, not talking I'm down talking on anybody. We're just American telling you the truth. I don't know why you're so sensitive. We're not talking, talking down. We're analyzing reality. I'm talking about the black American children that are of the same age group as my nieces and nephews and the children of other Nigerians that I know. They they went to school here. Is the parents in the is the environment That's is the what sacrifice I'm saying. It's that difficult for me to have a conversation with you guys. Nobody owes nobody it. owes no, no, nobody through. owes you nobody owes me anything. Who nobody owes you, owes you anything. something. If you fail if you fail to if you fail to educate your children, not only in the classroom, but at home to be respect respectable and respectful children, that is your fault. Not okay. anybody else's fault. 
you are that able to stay here and talk you cannot about be, you cannot be playing that you cannot be playing you. you cannot be playing fuck the police and smoking marijuana in a state where marijuana is illegal and the police officer comes to your car and say and uh, say hey, well, what do you stop me for for now you think you're not going to get cited or arrested you should be arrested you, you, you see your behavior like i always tell people your attitude will determine your the level of your altitude and to bad damn it see what you you have a better chance of so, telling so the, the issue here I can do is very simple how can the black community i mean not black american they have to do a lot of reorientation some of them are really trying but when you look at the percentage of those kind of children so many factors you have to consider do they deliberately make this black community to remain poor is there any uh proper education for them like do they have good schools because i've seen some movies and some documentary that when you look at the black community and you look at uh i mean poor black community neighbor you look at their school they are not up to standard the classrooms are not clean uh, uh remy remy uh, calm down so remy sorry let me before you continue let me let me let me hold on hold on hold on hold on before you continue that same school is where our even my youngest sister here she one of the worst school in the city where she grew up and she just grabbed a mechanical engineering degree with african children that's where we all went the same we, we didn't come to america rich we went straight to the ghetto when we came here nigerians all of that came here in the 80s 90s we came straight to the ghetto and we still raised our children that's it hold on hold on hold on in the same they went to the same black school hold on hold on hold on they went to the same uh black school that the black american kids went to and somehow they figure how to use that utilize that opportunity that same school to take themselves to figure themselves out to get some right i will ask you some question that's the caveat to what you said First and foremost, you have a good parenting at home. Hey, okay, that's where the argument is. So don't don't point out that in school. Listen, your classmate that time, where are their parents? Maybe they are in prison. What are so you now you are making our argument, then. <laughs> so that's where the problem is. Yeah, I know. Exactly. I said, I agree that, with you. That, so don't start telling us that it's because argument. the school don't have good uh, classroom, the dirty classroom. The parent. You are telling us it's a dirty the classroom. Parent. Is, is the classroom as dirty as the one we have in Ajegunle? Uh, most of us that went abroad, no, nobody will forget to go school for Lagos and for Nigeria, and we still figure it out and we still made it out uh, outside of Nigeria. The community in Nigeria uh -huh. is, is totally different, even if you come from a poor neighborhood. No, I'm arguing against your uh, your argument saying this is school, dirty classroom, and, uh, and, and bad uh, books. Uh, uh, some of them will say the books are dirty. They will say the books are old. <laughs> <laughs> it is the, it's, uh, it's ultimately the parents a lot of these children that you see in those circumstances i'm not saying that even if a child comes from the best homes that they cannot turn out bad they can but uh, you see i mean you go you watch some of these programs uh, uh lakisha she has four children by four different men how in the world do you expect a good outcome those are the type of we have a lot of um, black um americans that are doing very well very very well yeah percentage wise the the, the numbers are low but things are changing if, especially now more black women are graduating from college than black guys you know why? that's the word you know why things are changing very fast because it has been discovered that recently there are more american women marrying to the african fold because they no, like that's, that's, no, that's not that's not the reason. The percentage percentage of black um, American, white American, Spanish that are marrying even Nigerians or African by the numbers, they're, they're so insignificant. It's not even is that it's just that people people have known now and are knowing now that your best way in life is to go and get some college education. So it's not because they are associating with Africans and yeah, there are those that are, but by the numbers, I talk in numbers, by the numbers, that percentage is so low, is is, is totally significant. Whether you go to Alabama, you go to New York, you go to Alaska, women are just getting in, in school. There's uh, there are lots of grants, all kind of grants for people to go to, especially community school. You don't have to go to Harvard all you need is just you can even do all this online education you you you'll be surprised as the number of black american women 
that are now PhD holders that they didn't in um, they, they only went to a community school and did their um, whatever programs online. So the opportunity is there, and those who just like look, this is what I tell young people: life is not fair. I don't expect life to be fair. All you're entitled to is opportunity, not not outcome. And the opportunities are at least in America, the opportunities are there. If you choose to take it, it's there for you. You, you know what's really funny? I can do like literally when I sit down with Spanish people. They'll come in zero English. Zero English. They can't speak no English. This kid will come straight to the ghetto, the same neighborhood with the blacks, the same school. And the Spanish kids are going to the same school with the blacks, too, and they don't they have to go and take in, learn English so even understand the subject and do uh, English as second language. And the and the and, 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 and the and the parents are cleaners, the parents are cleaning. The parents houses, are cleaners, the parents don't speak English. Sort of, Thank you. Yeah. And these kids, these kids. I watched a lot of them grow up. I'm, I say, I'm, I'm, I'm speaking from watching these kids grow up with the same neighborhood as the black kids. And most of the Spanish kids even turn out better than the blacks. And I'm like, yo, you had a big opportunity. Then these Spanish kids, they literally didn't know no English. At their teenager, they have to start going to learn English. It's like double work they have to do. But you, you don't have to do that much. So when we're talking, come on, let's stop this. And unfortunately, the reason why the black kids never get it is because the, we have the characters in the elders in the community that keep telling them, oh, it's not your fault. The reason you're not progressing is because of uh, this person, is because of the history that you went through, and you cannot the white man. And the kids are not, they're not going to know what they need to do because now you already give them an excuse why not, why not to put in work. You have to put in work. Let me let me ask you something happened recently. Do you know this guy called uh, Emmanuel Acho? Is, is yeah, a, yeah, they're hanging the guy right now now because he's, the he's guy is, to that girl. <laughs> so the guy was reminded. Do you know what happens is even if you are born here as a Nigerian, if you have if you're critical about the black community, maybe you have been objective, you're just critical. If you don't throw that line of what they think you should. They will oh hand 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 you me. And that's what I realized doing yesterday. Yeah, see, the I guy was so that. Really <laughs> that dude, dude, you are, we know you, you are born here, but go and study by a firewall to, to understand trauma. I mean, like, what <laughs> yeah. That was some. I mean, no one, is, stuff, no, no one is saying that, they, no one is saying that there is no discrimination. There is discrimination in you, among your robot people. Oh, the former, oh, the former Ijebu. It's eh? life. Oh, no, no, the the no, activities no, they are no, giving is it's, 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 it's just I, life. I know, Kando, I, I am Afi the but and I know how that was. It was tough because they don't they don't mix very well. You know how that means. Yeah. Means, but don't yeah. Mind much. Yeah. Like, Oyo and the Jebu, I do that one. Yeah. Because my father is a Jebu, my father is Oyo. Ah, oh, well, they don't agree. <laughs> So that's, that's, where that's, my mother's that's family, thing, my cousin, that's, that's my cousin, the, that is, 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 life is not fair, life is not going to be fair, you're not entitled to nothing. If you have people, parents, uncle, that took you in and gave you an education, you're not entitled to anything. And just like I, I say, there are Lebanese in Nigeria, there are Chinese in Nigeria that are doing well. There are the, Americans, uh, uh, black uh, Americans in other parts of the uh, world uh, that uh, are doing uh, well. This Aguri family in Nigeria, in Nigeria, they've been in Nigeria since almost the late 1800s. I, I hope you know that. They, they've been in Nigeria since the late 1800s. No, no, 1890 something. They've been in Nigeria. That is like five generations of, of Lebanese. They're not new. They've been there for yeah. that long. And they are doing yeah, but very what, well. What they I'm they saying say is because. because uh, they, they, you, Niger will discriminate against them now. Nah. If those Lebanese job anywhere, they will start to go back. What I'm saying is, you can. What I'm saying is, you can have Nigerians that are not doing well in Nigeria that can go to Kenya and do well. You, you can have Kenyans that are not doing well in Kenya. They go to the Namibia. They do well. That's just life. No, we are not talking about people doing well. We are talking about system working against people. Yes. Uh, let me give you my get, why why <laughs> is give, it that like no, Mr. Mike just said? Why is it that those Spanish so those Spanish, uh, Spanish kids whose 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 parents crossed the uh, the route into Texas? 
Hold on. I got you. I got no, you. I've heard this. I've heard this narrative. You I've did, heard you this. Didn't this get me. My God. This is I've heard this. Give you my experience. Hold on. Can do. Can do. You're gonna have to explain how the system works. Don't start giving us more individual. Let me just. Let me just put this one before you go. I've heard this defeated, defeated mentality. I don't know what I wanted to say. So I say, Emma, Solo, Emma Solo. That's prejudice now. Yeah, we know you're about to give us the example of one person that got shot. There are something happened no, to this right? man, people <laughs> in life. Life is not balanced. People work hard to do it. As we are complaining now about Nigeria, that is our top. People are still making money in Nigeria. That's not the issue. We are not talking about people making money or people not making money. We are talking about a system that makes people feel somehow about themselves. But against all all people still beat that barrier and still achieve what they want. I don't I don't I don't Wait, I don't now, care I don't care about people's feelings. I don't care about people's feelings. Okay. Let, let's just, let's let our those guys explain it. I don't care how you feel. Hey, can you let him explain the system? Let me finish now. Can you let him explain the system? I don't care about what I feel. I feel. You see, if it's that tough that you don't even care, you don't know me, so you don't care about what I feel. It doesn't matter. It's anyway. not you. I'm talking That's about those people you're talking about. I don't no, care about feelings. I don't care about feelings. That you have a system that is working against some people. Those people against all odds. Please explain the system. Don't just say system. Explain it so we know what you mean. No, we have a system of this. We have a, a discriminatory system. I'll give you a good example. By who? Hold on. Wait. Let me give you a good example of two that I've experienced. I am, uh, I am, like you know, I'm black. I attend a white church. I'm giving you an example in the church. I attend a white church, a Dutch church. They have a very strong presence in South Africa, and um, they, for a long time, there was a policy. This thing I'm saying, I'm saying it because it is a church, an open thing, and we have to. They have corrected it. In those days, there was a policy that gave them the impression that. If you are black, you can you might not even enter the kingdom of God. It's in their policy of 18 something. This is a child that's over 300 years old. And as we now grow, and I was I was in that um, a forum, just like a small scene or it where that thing is being debated. And the people felt that no, that was crazy. That was a bad thing then. And they are trying to, they have to expound it. You understand? But they are not, for them to be able to expand you, they want to do it formally so that it doesn't look like they just gloss over it. They want to really document and document everything. So it was brought up as debate. And I was there. I was there as a black guy. There was another, there was an Egyptian guy there who was a pastor. And uh, after we But those people, why you even continue to go for that? We asked you as many system. That's only people back. You're telling us about the church policy. As of no, the church policy, you, if if I started, hold on, hold on, hold on. If I became my own church, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, no, no, no. You have to wait. You have to wait. You have to wait before you can even go for that because you're already. That's already ridiculous. If I, if me, I create my own church today and I say decide to create a policy in that church that we people will not go to heaven. How does that affect the man's? How, how is there a system that's affecting a white man's life? If, if some people create a church and they tell you you black man, you're no, not going to heaven. How does that? How is that a system that affect your life? I, yeah, yeah. Is that a, is that a constitution? Is it a, is it a constitution of a country? Hold on that's, now. Are you you're come asking, on? You are asking for no. We ask you to explain the system. You are telling us that's only somebody back, and you are giving us an example now. of a church. We are talking about a system, and I've come to you to say that. I give you two examples. I give you that one that even in a place that you don't expect something to happen, they have a policy. A policy is a system of oppression. I don't you understand English. Tell me, That's bro. a church. I, listen, I, I listen. Don't you know that a policy is a system of oppression for any 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 organization? Or it's or not. We are talking about society. We it's are talking about the society. No, 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 no. A church is a social system. Uh, oh no, this is not what we're going to do, man. If you want to start insulting me, I control the button. I'll just, you know, let you out, you know. We are having conversation. There's no need to be insulting me, okay? So let's get that out of the way first. So, um, we are talking about let life. Let me change this topic, I beg. I'm, 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 I'm okay. Not... okay, thank you, yeah. Let's we are having a conversation about me existing in, in a 
uh, country. A system. In a society, structure. Hold on, hold on. Okay, society. a society. Or a society. A system of that society is a, a governing system. Oh, Lord. God, Lord, allow me to talk now. A system of a society <laughs> is a constitution that everybody lives under. It's a policy right? of a church, not a constitution. Wait, every, constitution. Everybody, no, everybody, no, no, everybody, no. In that, everybody in that country is not a Christian. So they're not We are not beholding to that. Let me let me we, if I land maybe you will get where I'm coming from. We understood you even before you spoke. We understood where you were going. We understand where it's going, and that's what I'm trying to explain to him. Because you already have a protection. Your mind is still okay. Okay, I think I just have to put you in the back because you just yeah, he's just not gonna listen, man. Here's the no, deal. I know, I know, uh, you know, I know, I, I no, think no, I have no, an idea of where no, 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 what, what I'm trying to explain to him, what I'm trying to explain to him is that. When it says system of society, that's a system, a rule that everybody is uh, subject to follow, which will be the law, a constitution, of right? The that's the, of the system, land. exactly. That's the system. But now, me as an individual, in my own little property, whether in my house or my building that I, I own, my church or my inside my house, I can make my own rule. You understand? I can make yeah. my own rule within that space. Now yeah. it's up to you to say you want to come inside my and uh, that space to come and be sharing my rules, right? So that's not a system for society that's holding anybody back. If I make a rule in my house that okay, nobody should wear clothes inside my house, you must be naked. That's my house. Or if you make be the church, you know, I say, you, you, in this you, church, you, you, you know what? If I build, if I build okay. a church and say anybody that comes to this church must only wear this or must be half naked. That's my church. That's my building, my private building. So he's telling us that some some church, private where individual, private individual building or create for themselves is a system of society. No, it's not a system of society. Yes. Yeah, was well, Mr. Riola and people like that, you know, they follow all this. Like I tell if if you listen to well meaning, well thinking black not people in hollywood not people in the music music industry they will tell you why black american culture is trash it's trash it, what it has taught people and why some of these people if you hear them they say eh, biden is a bad person he doesn't like black people because he said yeah, black people should be put in jail back in the 80s and i tried to remind them i was here in the 80s there were a number of um, black american churches that were advocating that a bunch of these black drug dealers should be put in jail and thrown and have the keys thrown away because back then the killing if you think the killing in chicago now is bad it was ridiculous how all these drug dealers were killing people killing themselves over territories in the 80s in washington dc this washington dc that That you see today where they're selling houses now for uh um, three quarters of a million a million all those areas were ghetto even the people that were living in them moved out drugs was so prevalent dc um, um areas of maryland virginia you name it um, florida the that was the uh, pablo escobar days so people were if even even people in the black churches were like we can't continue this way, which was why they came up with some of these crazy draconian rules about crack cocaine. And that was why you were seeing that there were um, uh, white people that were selling uh, powder cocaine were getting less years than the blacks that were selling crack because of what not only what crack was doing, but the shooting, the killing was just incredible. So those who don't understand the background or who fail to understand, they were like, hey, they put all our people in jail. What was going on? It's important to examine what the situation was at that time. But I don't, I don't ascribe to the narrative that uh, blacks are, in general, just like we said earlier, you have a lot of, I mean, I know, I know, even not to just the ones I know, I see them online in so many different places. Black women are going to school. Black men are going to school too, but the percentage of black women that are getting all kind of degrees 
is a little bit higher than the black ones. And my point is, yeah, there is discrimination. There, are, of course, if you live in a better uh, neighborhood, the the way the school districts are funded as by are by the taxes that are collected. So if you live in a you know a nice neighborhood, they collect more taxes. They're able to equip those schools better than the ones that are in poorer communities. So that is there. But like we rightly said, you have all these Spanish people that come here, cross the El Dorado or cross whatever mountainside to get to America, and they 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 are determined that their children are going to do well. And you see a lot of those children doing well. What okay, we have had, Carlo, yeah. Carlo, here's the point. Is, is there racism? Yes. Is racism as strong as it was before to to prevent you from succeeding? I would say no, for the most part. You you it's not going to hold you back. I think it's a it's a cover for failure sometimes. When somebody fails, they say they don't, they don't to to be to be responsible for their own failures and to get better. They hide behind racism as a way. It's a cop out. So it's still it's there in, in a way, but it's not the racism is not as strong as it was in the seventies or sixties to say, oh, is that that's the sole reason why I did not succeed? It's just I, nobody should blame that in today's world as the reason why. Now people will say systemic uh, racism. Uh, go go ahead. Yeah, and th those were the points we were making. We're not saying that the racism doesn't exist, and like we rightly said, even in our own country, there are different levels and degrees of you know racism or whatever you want to call it so it does happen and like you, you rightly said the degree of it has has, has gone down big bigly so um i i just don't ascribe to the mr oriolas of the world i want to tell you that this there you are because of this neighborhood yeah they are bad neighborhoods go to chicago go to philly even you won't want to drive through them and some of them are predominantly white. Some of them are mainly black. Even black people don't, even the black people that are not in the music industry, because that unfortunately is the, is the madness, is the madness. Because black culture strive on, hey, what are all these people in the music industry and the film industry are doing? I tell them, I ask them, name me five billionaires that are black. They can't name one. They cannot name one because all their heroes are the people in the films and music. You have blacks that are that are billionaires in real estate, in the in the markets, all kind of markets. The guy that paid off all the all the um, all the tuition for all the graduating class of I think 2022 or 2023. He's a trader. He's a billionaire. Um, Smith something Smith. Most people have never heard of his name because he doesn't wear gold chain and show his Bugatti to everybody. Those are the people that I talk about. I don't care about, you know, some guy on TV or showing music video. I don't care about those people. So the system is definitely changing and will continue to change. Yeah, there is discrimination, no doubt. But you cannot let that hold you back. Yeah. But whether it's um, African parents or uh, Black American parents, when you when you have parents, I mean, I have even in my own family, you know, I have sisters that their husbands made sure that their children went. They sacrifice not building a house in Nigeria so that their children can go to the best schools, and you can see the outcome. So you you sacrifice for what you're willing for what you want. So that's my only two two cents. That's my only two two cents. So. Anybody else on? No, no, no. We're here. We can do. We're here. We can. We can hear you. No, I, yeah. I mean, that's my little summation. Mm. Yeah, but you know, I, I, I because I'm a fan of uh, people like uh, Emmanuel Acho, you know, and that's the second time he's getting into trouble with the black community. 
So I, 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 cause I, I sent him a message there, you know, uh, I'm like, you know, cause it's one of, it's, it wants to solve a problem that I think if the community does not want that problem solved, it will be like, he's wasting his time pretty much trying to bridge the so-called divide amongst the communities. Like you say, I want to, because I didn't experience that slavery, whatever, I can bridge the gap between black and white. And I'm like, they're going to remind, I told him that like, like years ago, they're going to remind you that you're not one of them. So you can claim to be black all you want. They're, at the end of the day, they are not going, if you don't agree, I, I think that blueprint, maybe I'm wrong. I think the, the liberal whites, they've boxed this this liberal black in, in some kind of corner where there's this playbook that they, you have to toe the line. And if you appear to be conservative, I mean, to be reasonable in some way, shape or form, you are ostracized. Now, in being of Nigerian descent, it's not, it's not helping this case. What he's saying is absolutely right. You In sports, if you say you are, you are the big bad wolf, when you lose, you cannot cry. It doesn't make any sense. You can't be the villain and cry when you lose. So how that became him going against black women and him being sexist and misogynist and again, I didn't know. And for them to even bring Biafra into the discussion tells me the level of hate they have towards Africans, even within the black community. So that bothered me a little bit. And if, he, if he's not careful, they will destroy him. They are very vindictive on that part. They are very vindictive people. And if you don't throw the line as a black person, they will destroy you. So I, I, you know, I followed that story too. That before she, she lost, they didn't bring conversation about being a victim or going through anything. You understand? He was all happy. Oh, she's having fun. You know, celebration, even taunting the other when she won the last year, she was even taunting the other girl. Uh, you know, but all of a sudden, you lost now. It's about slavery, it's about uh, you're a victim. <laughs> I'm like, you want to convince us that you're a victim, you're going through stuff. I'm like, so why didn't you tell us all this before you lost? Is it after you lost that now you realize that uh, you need to let us know that you, you've been going through something? I mean, come on now. <laughs> yes, they can't. She, she, she should not be criticized because she's a black woman. So therefore, we should, we should uh, not you, say you can't, you can't criticize black American woman. No, uh, it's against the law of nature. <laughs> they, will, they will come for you. They will come for you. You know, I, I'm, honestly, <laughs> honestly, I honestly, honestly, I'm not gonna. Uh, I think it's the pattern with I, I don't know I may be wrong but I think it's the pattern it's that behavior is common in the black even in Nigeria in the black way I'm sorry we when we want to approach situations or even problems or anything we we prefer to approach it from an emotional stand rather than a logical stand like and it, it's like we want to we want to and if you don't if you, if you don't attune with that emotional view if you're view is no appeals to the emotional you know stand oh you, you you're, you're just wrong you but logic the time of logic is it's got to be all about facts and facts and figures and truth honest that's what it's all about you have to you know and, but it's going to be it's going to be bitter it, it's gonna be doesn't bitter. care about facts but what exactly facts, facts, if, 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 you, if you approach exactly if you approach it that way it's going to be very bitter but at the end you're going to solve a problem and you're going to you know, uh, 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 create a change, but the emotional approach, all you're gonna get out of it is just opium. Yeah. <laughs> that's, it. that's all you're gonna get. It's temporary, opium. temporary, temporary eye, temporary, temporary eye. high. That's it, and that's what people don't fail to realize. All you're gonna get out of this trying to appeal to emotion, protect feelings, and just making a political correct statement to make sure no one is everybody feels good. You don't solve any problem, you just get that opium. And we go yeah. repeat the same mistake, as, and that's the same way we approach our problems in Africa. So I'm not going to lie; it's yeah. not picking as you, black as, as you, When as Nigerians are sitting there having conversations, it's that same thing we do. It's just uh, yeah. we all want to be emotional. Dude, let's talk to the facts. Let's talk to yeah. You know, as you all, as you all who are in America probably knows, uh, the black man. Every uh, most there are so many black women. They they call themselves queens. Actually, it's, it's so bad. There was a there is a dating website that I went to and created a profile, and I wrote on there, "I'm not interested in any coins. 
I'm not interested in any boss, especially bosses that don't have any employee. They are all bosses and coins. They have to be, they have to be. And I, I, I have had this conversation that even in Africa, how many women are queen? How many? In Africa, go go. Oh, but email the logic queen. If we email the new Allah, we let it, let it, the daily Allah ba. The Bobo is a queen. Even the guys now, you, oh, I'm a uh, king. You're a king. King Ibo. It will not be SC. It will be a king. They are queens. They have to be worshipped. You know, like my very good friend, Kevin Samuel of Blessed Memory will say. You know, the women that your grand, the grandparents of these people, some of them had five, seven children. Some of these people now, if you have a child for them, they want you to buy them a thirty thousand Birkin bag do, for do, do, your do you, child. Do you, do you believe that? Uh, in my opinion, I think that that man was killed for what he was saying. I I don't think that. Yeah. Don't, I, I, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't. Things that I don't know, I don't. I don't. I, I don't say. Know. I don't know. If anything okay. is possible. But, but but what I'm this is my point. Look at the level of hate towards the man for speaking the truth. From absolutely, look at the victory. Even when he died, they were happy. Vivica Force was happy. They were celebrating. Happy. Yeah, they were celebrating. They were celebrating <laughs> because they are, they are, they are just, so, the guy was know, just you know, pointing out the truth. You know, you want you know, this type of man. What type of a person are you? Do you think that that type of a man wants you? That's you all know, the guy said. You know, you know when you are so used to being in one comfort zone. In that comfort zone is even killing you, it's not helping you. But you are so addicted to that comfort. By the time somebody will come and start trying to get out of that comfort, <laughs> you're likely gonna like you're literally gonna hate that person, man. And that's what it is because that comfort zone, some people have always, and which is what realize doing and all these things do. When you push when people are in a comfort zone and they need to get out of there, you constantly give them reason why they should stay there. And trying to explain mm -hmm. why they are there, you constantly yeah. giving, you know, giving them that opium to remain there. It's like that person is stuck in one bad place, but you are giving, making drug available for that person to stay high in that position. Now you're giving that person reason to stuck it, get stuck in that place now. So that all these emotional things and uh, appeal things that we do, we just giving people opium to remain in our comfort zone. So by the yeah. time Kevin Samuel came and started saying, "Come, this is the truth. Too. <laughs> this is the logical." Ah, come on. This is this uh, uh, I come on. Is, 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 is your is your ma, is your mama black? <laughs> it was this. Hey. It was this. Uh, 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 there's this uh, data I was looking through. I think I saved it on my computer that shows you the voting pattern based on marriage and uh, the demographic. So the single black women, sixty five percent of them, they vote Democrat. That is the reason why the Democrats. Mm. Are so they don't want them to be it's like a little box, just stay right there because you're, you're a huge voting yeah. block. So they always yeah. appeal to them, like just they don't need the man, but we'll give you whatever you want. So mm -hmm. the marriage, the, once you get married, you tend to be conservative with your finances, you care more about yeah, you, your got, kids. Yeah. you care more. But if you're a single person and a single mother with kids, you hate men, you want more government benefits. So they want to keep them that way to get they get the benefit, but they get to vote. Yeah, so that, unfortunately, <laughs> this, <laughs> unfortunately, these are black leaders. These are black leaders. They continue to tell them uh, it is the system that continues to keep this you down. But, exactly. Yeah, this but system. Those, of them, <laughs> those of them that are able to go and get one community college education somewhere, they themselves can see where I can get a better job. They get a better job. They see that, okay, maybe if I go and take some advanced clinic or somewhere, I can even improve myself. And they're seeing the outcome. So things are changing. Things are changing. But the, the Mr. Oriolas of the world that will have to tell you that, hey, you know, yeah, do you know when 1776? Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. That, you, that, know, you know what's funny? Oriola yeah. thinks, he, he thinks, he, he wants that good thing that I'm like, dude, bro, this is not new, man. He, I, I know that response. 
I'm used to it. I mean, for over 20 something years, it's the same thing I've been hearing from day one. Like, but, once but, we start but, talking but, about but this, they start referring to. Do you know? Do you know, uh, uh, do you know in uh, 1844? Do you know in 19 bros? That's not what we are talking about, man. Do, we are talking do, about do, now. You know, that, that playbook <laughs> is so 80s because the blacks coming from the Caribbean and African, and like you said earlier, the Latinos coming. They are, they are, they are, they are yeah. debunking most of these lies about race. And that's yeah. why they argue with you guys. They don't like it. So when you come and, you, and you're doing well in, in, in academics, debunks the idea that the, the test is racist. Because mm -hmm. you're passing that test that came from, from, from a third world country. So if, you, if you're in a first world country, how come you're failing? When you are succeeding exactly. that world, and, and they're failing, exactly. they, you are making them look bad. That is the reason why they don't like you, because you're making them look bad. Like, listen, I'm supposed to blame the system, but I'm making it difficult for me to blame the system because you are doing well. That's, yeah. so that's where some of the hate comes from against, not because you're speaking against the issue, but, but what's that are, as a black person in America from, from Nigeria, I tend to shy away from having uh, this talk with black America because if you don't agree with them, they you know you know how that goes out then real quick yeah i don't i don't have it either i don't i don't have the time because you cannot you will not change the, the narrative in their mind you have to support and uh, don't you know the the the, the 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 oppressor yeah the oppressor is there we're not saying that the oppression is not there but how do you elevate yourself i mean i i go on so many um programs you have mm -hmm. black guys that are getting their, their cdls they're driving trucks they're making 80 80 000 a year they're making 110 000. so financially they're getting themselves out of that rot but they so want them to just a, you know, i i had i was talking to someone i think she went to nigeria and she was mad that she saw so many white people and lebanese and chinese there She's like, how do you do? Oh, yeah. What do you do? I say, in your own hood, don't you have foreigners doing business with them? Don't you have Arabs? Exactly. You have, you have so, Chinese, you have uh, Taiwanese, so Mugu Japanese, they want to learning. Go to Africa, yeah. and they don't want to see what white people there. What, 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 what mm -hmm. they do in Africa? I'm like, what, what kind of world do you think we live in where we just black exactly. people? No, it's a, it's a business. People show up. And they will not say, they, look at you. They've been watched you. They've been watched you, Africans. Yeah. It's a way. We're not, not in law school. <laughs> I, so I, I, I just give up. I'm like, you know what? Just forget. You're right. I'm wrong. Let's just move on. There's no way. <laughs> Daniel, who has the time to be arguing with you? They want, they, they want, they want to. That is uh, can do, BT. Yes, it's sir. not the same blame game that I also do, even as black generally. We don't want to take responsibility. What we yeah. are talking about is that they fail to take responsibility, and they, there are opportunities that, that they, they, they fail to see. People who come from mm -hmm. other country see the same opportunity that they say they don't have, and they use it. It's not the same yeah. thing that we do even in Africa, even in our own country. It's the same thing now. Uh, that's what I was saying earlier now. It's the pattern. It's, it's like a trend, yeah. trend with black people. We have the same mentality in Africa too. So the black Americans have the same mentality. Do you know, Simba, do you know that they are the only group of people that blame government for the <laughs> economic condition? Where the rest of the Asian, the Asian Americans, the even Hispanic, the white, not nobody point finger at government for their economic position in society or whatever it's only they just ah. Mike, can, can, can I and ask i'm you like dude this thing is it's right? the only ah, i'm like this is what we do in nigeria too Mike, it's a you, blink you, of me you, for everything you you, you <laughs> high school here right you you, you think high school in america right and I, I i tell people i said if you're a poor black american in this country you can literally go to school from high school and get your phd for free because you're black you can actually do that yeah and you will not pay for anything even I, I think I said on, on, on uh, Simba, I, I went to a graduation, and the people that studied uh, computer science, MS degrees, it was mostly black Nigerians and African and Caribbeans. Do you know why they and they went to school for free? Do you know why Simba? They could not find enough black Americans for that for that program. They were literally begging them to come and do it. They, they couldn't find them. They, they couldn't find enough of them. It was free. Easy job. And even before you finish the program, Dell is already offering you one one fifty bucks, one seventy five k a year before you even graduate. 
they could not find enough of them to do, apply. Well, for why do you think America is running to Nigeria to go and, and give uh, and all these Indian, all these countries where they you know now, that, you will not see that the guy. people are academically serious because you America is that guy ah. finish. Mike. You will not see that guy finish doing well. You will not see that the guy stole your spot, he stole your opportunity. What do you mean? It's your opportunity. Did you take the advantage? The, the same thing. The same thing. The South Africans are doing to to uh, say the people are selling their job now. Yeah, I think he's a mentality. It's a black mentality, man. Nigeria. Yeah. Is, is it not the same thing that uh, Kenneth came to do earlier? Saying the Nigerian government is allowing South African <laughs> companies to, uh, to, to yeah, thrive I, in Nigeria. Come on, speak Nigerian opportunity. <laughs> I, I listen to that and I'm like, where is this guy coming from? You're not <laughs> supposed to be operating a business without a license in the first place. He doesn't know, so, you know. MTN. I mean, can, MTN took the risk. They were the first to show up. They took hey, the risk. You know? Babati, Babati. I'm very sorry today, and it's not a thing because of private. They like doing illegal things. You understand? And that's what where they thrive on. They they don't like they like lawlessness. They thrive and if there's no anywhere there's no lessness, that's where they like living. It, it, you know, it comes there. That was the day I was telling. Was it Canada? I was telling that I cannot believe whatever Kenya is saying. He was asking me. I said, "Why? Because it's a, we always believe that it's a grant." The guy who come yeah, and it, it was it was it was me. Oh, I'm not. I mean, I was uh -huh. listening to that thing. I, I saw. I heard him go back and forth. Okay, uh, now you now change, change your mind now. Uh -huh. Yeah. So they, you know, they, you know where they, it's coming you, from now. How do you give a license to somebody who is operating an illegal business? Uh -huh. Look at uh, can yeah, look at they the, said that the talent that their talent they should have supported them. The, uh, I, I heard I heard you, I heard you talking to him. I'm like, what is this guy talking about? <laughs> look at the 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 bad beach landmark incident now that happened recently. You know, they've turned that story to, to Chaba now. It's now because the person is an Igbo man, that's the reason why this business was turned down. Even though the man built a legal, a legal store on the ocean line, they made it try. I'm like, well, this has got nothing to do with tribe. Yeah. 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 That's what we do. I mean, in, your, in, your, in, your, in the first place, you're not supposed to be in business. You don't have a license. You should be shot. Down. And, you, know, you, know, you know, the guy, he was actually showing premiership illegally because he doesn't have the right to be premiership to Nigerian people. You understand? That was why it was, super, it was, I mean multi choice it, took, it took, Skype, took him. Even Skype should be even Skype should be suing him. Skype go go they should have gotten a lawyer in Nigeria and sue him and sue him for every penny that he make from that subscription. I mean we we're just as as a people we like illegality. As uh, people, even can do that was a time that was a time in Lori that was in the maybe late uh, but around 2006 2007, one guy has a cable TV, and what he will do, he will come to the Middle East here. That time it was uh, not Bain because it's Bain now, they have changed their name to Bain. But that time it was uh, this one Qatar, Qatari television. He will go come and buy, he will buy their card here, and he has this big I don't know how the guy was tapping the thing from the Middle East here. And was selling it to people in the lorry. You understand? But when the but my DSTV got to know about it, they yeah. arrested him. And because people are benefiting, because he was showing it cheap, because it was not even how much was he spending to get this yeah. something. Ah, no, why are they doing this to him? We are enjoying mm. the, the service now. It, it is cheap. It was this, it was, you understand? It's, sometimes we like yeah, illegal yeah. things. And that that's, is why we, that is what we have. That's what Ekene was saying this morning. He was selling it cheap, 5,000. Now they want uh -huh. 12,000. Why wouldn't they uh -huh. want 12,000? They're providing a service. It doesn't know business. That's what I mean. He claimed to be a businessman. doesn't know business. Premiership now. If you, the premiership, the what they got from TV right, from premiership alone, is about 2 billion pounds. 2 billion pounds. And then you yeah. not somebody will not be beaming that premise free. The people that pay for it, won't they make their money? I beg Nigeria. And then the, the, the problem we have is that whenever the, the law cut us with us, 
will come on here, will now whip up sentiments. So oh, they okay. are doing this to me eh, because I'm this. Uh, nobody, no, none of them will come out and tell them what infraction they have committed. Look at uh, uh, Simba, look at uh, that guy. He said, said, Oh, they only informed me that they're going to bring them a building well, seven days' notice. I'm like, You are lying. How do they want to who bring down with the properties within seven days' notice? They've been warning you for so long, you just thought like you can get away with it. that. That, that, uh, that is now I can bribe somebody in the office, I can get away with it. You would you would have to stop for so long because you don't want to do the right thing when it's not time to get to, 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 to but see, that's why I, I don't know whether they tie their spirits to, to water. There is one rich evil guy also in the lorry. You know the land he used to go and he will go and be sampling all those um, 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 marshy area where they are. You are not even supposed to tamper with. But those are the area where they used to drain water. He will go and sample, block it. You understand? Now this one now, by the time the the law now caught up with him, they will not say because it's evil. Because he's you know I don't understand the way we do this, and we want everything to be right. That we don't. It's like what we are asking for we are not ready for it that is that is the way i see us as nigerians we'll be asking for okay this thing must be right everything must be but are we ready to actually make that sacrifice to put everything right we're not ready because we are we are used to do things in an abnormal way so people don't even understand the normal again is that abnormal that they have seen as normal Okay. I cannot I cannot tell you all how many times whether it is the driver who wanted to take a um, BT BT whatever lane, whether it is this, I'm like, no, you're not going to do that. Because I will not be able to have the mouth to criticize those that are doing wrong. If I'm doing wrong, in any capacity, in any way. But our uh, people are so used to, you know, let a court corner, even in business. Most people just want to say anything, anything, anything. Oh. In fact, no, in no. Nigeria now, they can if you are not even your wife can do if you are living in Nigeria, your wife will force you to go and do wrong thing. She will she will she will she can cry, she she will in fact put all those pressure on you. Ah. <laughs> You know, they say, hey, why, are you, why are you not doing it? Is that, is that not what everybody is doing? Is that not what everybody is doing? Why they will say, only one, 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 I know somebody in the government that can help you. There's always something that I can help you do illegal things. Somebody's always willing to help you with that passport illegally. Yeah. Somebody yeah. Somebody's has done mm -hmm. illegally. And if you can pay yeah. them with the money, they will help you out. They are everything yeah. available to help you do the wrong thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we're just so we're just is is the is second nature to 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 us as a people. And just like what we're talking about black Americans, it's just second nature. Is second nature, even even I mean, you, 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 we're caught from the, even the black Americans. We're caught from the same cloth. If you see, I mean, I'm, I'm talking in general terms now. You will see people trying to uh, cut corner. Uh, let me talk to Black by Jack. You know what the rules are. Okay, what the rules? Like okay. Yeah, you know the rules. Try and follow the rules. You know. But that's that's what we do as in general, in general. I'm not saying everyone, but uh, uh, yeah. uh, look at the, the 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 power thing that they were talking about yesterday. Yeah. I remember back in Nigeria, so one, one house, so the guy would be tapping. Mm. Seven, one person would be paying for lights. Why? 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 Mechanic area tell, all over collect everybody. <laughs> tell people be tapping one line for one for one for one customer so one customer seven seven houses they'll be tapping lines yeah. three, three, three mm -hmm. poles all over the place underground yeah. underground lines all over the place like the book you yeah. know <laughs> even the the, 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 the they'll be tapping for mm -hmm. the now yeah. 
I don't know what it is, man. We just always find a way to do this. I don't know what well, it is. Why do I do it? 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 It didn't take interest, you know. You know that uh, a good thing. I, I've been following that thing for since 2016, so I, I am kind of uh, emotionally into that project. Right. Yeah. And, and that thing, if they can build that highway and it opens up that area, that place, I'm telling you, can do in the next five years. It, it's going to be almost Dubai-like. I am telling you. No, they're going to do it. They're going to do it. They're definitely gonna. But do why? That. Why is this guy going to the to the media to go and no? If you want to make any deal, go and talk to the guy. Why are you making the Tunubu look bad? In, 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 the guy went to CNN of all places for God's sake. CNN yeah. of all places to go and complain that they want to destroy. Yeah. Like, what you can do? Nobody wants to destroy his building. One, he can't destroy his building. Eh? One is to extend it because Your building will still exactly. be there. But the way they make it look like, ah, it's coming down. Oh, they want, that's the word he's saying to the public now, and it's not true. Yeah, yeah it's just like when they said they were going to move um, a part of a uh, she whatever came from Abuja to Lagos. Ah, they want to move everything to Lagos. You know, I mean, you cannot. Was that what they said? That's not what they said. They said they were moving a division, a division from Abuja, because that division will be better operated in Lagos, because that's where the businesses that they deal with are. But you know, sentiment, ah, but they buy everything was equal, because the Nungu is there. That's our people. That's the mentality. That we yeah. need proper general orientation. Yeah, but general you orientation. You can't grow with that kind of yeah, the yeah, the grow by any and go to meaning you can't develop if that's the way you yeah, um, 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 babati, um, um, no colleague you cannot grow because it this it it will be getting worse. That is what you that's what you get. You get. The oh, okay. will okay. get worse. Yeah, airpiece. Airpiece is flying London now. He wants to come mm -hmm. to New York. Guess what? They have other airlines that want to that they want to come into play. That maybe right. they are owned or do or whatever mm -hmm. that they want to come in. Next thing you hear is why would they give them a chance? It's supposed to be air peace. It's supposed to, what, 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 it, it's been fighting for so long. Why would they want to? Is it, this is you know if, if Alan Yema was like a not now. You remember person? Ah, oh my. They will say no. They are giving him a privilege because it's. Angute, it's just monopoly. They are giving him monopoly because it's running north. So. Yeah, it's. But, I, but, but, but I, I look forward to him uh, routing to Atlanta and New York. That would be exciting if we can. Do yeah, that. that would. Yeah, absolutely. And he can crash the price also. That would be great, man. That would be great. Uh, I mean, I'll be going to Nigeria every, every two weeks. <laughs> I, don't, I don't. I don't know because because uh, you have you know you have landing landing fees. And all this stuff that they have to pay, I mean, whatever airline. So I don't know how those um, um, price crashes can uh, crashes. No, no, no. can do. Look at what they did with the UK thing. What I know is in America, it will be cheaper than what we are paying right now, is what I know for a fact. Yes. It will be cheaper. Yes. Now, if it goes as low as it went with the UK one, the, imagine saying Kandu can fly to Nigeria for $600. That is crazy. Yeah, that is that is, yeah. that is something. So you know, I don't have to share. I don't have to share. And he's working. He's very. He's working. You know, he's working. He's very, very diligent with what he's doing. It appears to me. So I think he will, he will get it done. Yeah, he'll get it done. 
Now, wow, we've gone from um, black Americans to <laughs> to uh, self but, 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 but uh, the realities of black Americans. You know, I used to reason I would be before. When I first came to America, I was living in a black neighborhood, all black. I was even adopting their culture, everything. I just thought that was reality. All those things they would tell, oh, racism, they have to get us. You're black, you're this, you're that. Until but, I had a privilege to move around and but that's, that's different part of I'm like, oh, no. that, that mentality, has, the, the politics has, has moved away from black America. They, the, the new voting bloc is now, is now the Hispanics. Yeah, even people. back then, you know, when I first come to America and I was in Nigeria, you, you go to black yeah. neighborhood, the first thing becomes a Republican. They first make you a Republican first. I mean, sorry, a Democrat. They would don't you like that automatically. They are Democrats. They will get you into it, be so emotionally into it too. So until you now leave that environment, move around, and actually go start to read, start to get educated, and realize that come. This you know, what, 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 I think what I think what Baba T is talking about is in terms of population, they they actually going to surpass Black Americans. Now they already surpassed them. By yeah, by numbers, they're going to no, surpass they, them. They, they, no, they surpassed them. Now Hispanic are the second largest. Ethnic. No, it's already done. They already passed them. What, what, what oh, okay. that? In terms of the the the, the, the need of you needing to vote to win elections, in the next ten right. years, you don't even need Black votes anymore. It will not be relevant to even say you want you need you to survive the way they, they do with the Democratic Party. At, the, at this rate, because all you need is a, a, a Hispanic. You know, Hispanic, they are very smart. They, it's like almost half half, almost almost all the time. Maybe yeah. 40 yeah. They might do yeah. one beside do, 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 they, they can't put they don't put their head in one in one basket. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They, must, they will give you what they want and you must do what they want to get their vote. They don't play. Mm -hmm. Only black will vote because you are black. They will say, ah, yeah, Obama is black. That's good enough for me. What do you want? We don't know. <laughs> just, just like, just, just like you rightly said, Lord, oh, I know. You vote for this person because it's Yahusa. You vote for this person because it's Yoruba. You vote for this person because it's Igbo. Same mentality. Regardless of which way, oh, she ain't gonna for you. By, by, by the way, can we try to digress? I'm hearing that they say the PDD might be an uh, uh, informant of the FBI. That's what they are reporting now. That he, he's been an informant for so long. Who? So, did, you, did you read that crap, though? That who? Who? Sorry, I didn't hear that. Oh, that did now. That he, he's been an, uh, an FBI informant for so long. Uh, you, you can't you can't really take any of that past any of these people, you know. Um, especially when they know they know your own in and out. If some of the stories about him and guys or no guys is true, you know that's a that's a very good foundation to be turned. Especially what about you know the adofuro. Uh, yeah, but uh, it's not it's not looking good for the guy. He keeps getting worse every day. Just new yeah. it's like my god. Yeah, but what I'm saying, what I'm saying is someone like that or anyone like that, if they if they have information about you being, you know, being with guys, uh, but I mean nothing turning you around. Yeah, it can be anyone well, just about anyone can be turned. Yeah, I won't be surprised at all. Um, but you, you know, Burner Boy, you know, you know what it does to female artists now, like, you know. Yeah. But yeah. Burner Boy was also around him. I've seen Whiskey in his house. Ah. Like, like what's, but they, I'm not seeing the video around him, but I've seen Whiskey and Burner Boy in his house. Like I've seen videos and pictures of them. So. <laughs> but more what's what's wrong with that she, she. Uh, <laughs> oh, man i'm like bernard don't tell me you gave it up oh. <laughs> that, that grammy is, that, that grammy is looking suspicious now yeah <laughs> yeah yeah, and the way it is, it's, I mean, it's unfortunate, yeah. I mean, 
Well, it's 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 all business at the end of the day with these guys. You know. So by the way, can do but what are you coming back to the states, man? I'm why I'm I'm leaving Wednesday night. Oh okay. I'm leaving Wednesday night. Yeah. I, I, I sent you I sent you an email. I, I want to trade spy this week. Uh, can you send me uh your target numbers? I want, I, I think I wanna wait till it comes down and buy it up. Oh. Or something. Oh. I don't know. Okay, let me check real quick. Give me one. Let me pull up uh, Will Fool here. Let me yeah. check. Let me just check this. Because you know, uh, I, I, last week I, I I already hit my my target for the next three weeks for last week. So oh. I'm taking it easy for the next. So because uh, my that's my thing. Once I hit my target, I don't like going. Yeah, you said that. You said that. Which is you, you see that is the thing that a lot of people don't understand. You have to have that discipline. That discipline is so important, regardless of whatever else is out there, what amount of money you hit your target, go home. Greed, greed always kills. Oh, I think, uh, get, get was okay, greed, greed is good, not in this type of business. So, yeah. um, I will, I will look to it and I will, I, I, I will. I will. Yeah. And you yeah just please just um, email it to me or something yeah i want to i want to i want to get something from that spy this um what, 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 what are you going to trade from Nigeria? you know we're discussing this yeah yeah, yeah yeah i traded spy i traded spy uh and and i traded spy and target i think no no i tried uh, spy and tesla two week two or uh, two weeks ago yeah i was Did actually shocked I'm thinking of something because you know I do low comp, so I'm very flexible. I'm, I want to do yeah. work here, and if I can set up like a, a space in Nigeria where I can, I have a trading session where I can because it, it, it's even better for me though. If I have something going on in Nigeria, that would be like two o'clock, right? When the market opens in Nigeria, right? That would be two two thirty in the afternoon that the market will open, right? Do, so if, do you talk to Mister Triumph? No, no, yeah, I, no. I haven't spoke. I, I've not seen him in a while, though. Yeah, talk to him because he's talking about putting up something like that in Nigeria. So I, I can have a, an actual office just for trading. Yeah, yeah, so, that's what he's talking about. So that way, said, that way, in the morning you can do your regular business or whatever you have to go. In the afternoon, yeah. you do it till six, five, four hours. It's like a regular. Mm -hmm. Then I just had yeah. to do some research for me, look at some data for me, analysis, and break it down so I can I can use it. And, yeah, uh, actually, now you know I'm even thinking about coming back in the next two months, Baba, because there are just some things I'm seeing on the ground. Like man, but, but how was your internet? Did you have like Starlink or something? I'm thinking of getting something more. No, I was, I was using my just my phone, and at least for for what do you call it? I, I didn't have any problems at all. My sister brought her own. I think she has Sky, uh, uh, Skylink. I was. I said I was going to talk to her about it. Actually, she said she should, she should leave it with me. I said no because I don't have.